Megan. He. No, I said we, not he. We is very different he. from P. Those mean the same oh, thing. We. Oh, we. Yeah. I, have, I have a terrible story to tell. Really tell your story. Oh, no. I haven't played any Elden Ring today. Oh. Okay. That's uncharacteristic of I, you. Yeah, I, I, see, this is Metal Fort thing. That needs again, pre preparation, general. and no one's doing it for me except me, so. What? Yeah, it's weird, right? Like Wait. the last couple of times, the infos were just there. It's like, boom, there's all the notes for the movie. So, yeah. Oh, you 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 watching what you? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf, right? That's what you're watching. Yes, and I, I realize that is, and and I I realize that is a dense movie. There's a lot of going on, and I have to take a lot of notes. <laughs> uh, anyone here seen that? No, I haven't no. either. You have to learn. Uh, it. Wait, so you've seen it now, Mel, right? I'm still not what done. Movie? I'm like what? one hours and ten minutes in. There's like oh. what movie? Left. Sorry, it's two. Sorry. Who's what? afraid what? of Virginia Woolf? Yes, that's the movie. What? Who's that? Well, I guess it's you'd have to watch the movie to find out. <laughs> no, that's no. The movie will just tell me who's afraid of her. I, I don't. I, Isn't I, a, I don't know. I'm betting they give you the context beforehand. I don't know. These days, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's from 1966. <laughs> These days, you don't. You you don't have a fucking clue. Also, can yeah. I can I get a high five for starting exactly on time? Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. Normally, yeah. we're waiting for someone that's who will not be nuts. named. Yeah, Mel. Uh. Jay. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey! You guys don't <laughs> wait for me. That's true. We don't. That's yeah, true. <laughs> um, that is the truth. So, hello, chat. How you doing? We're here today oh, hey. to have a discussion, more than likely. Uh, more than likely. Good. We're not going to discount the possibility we never <laughs> get to the topic we came here to discuss. It could happen. Not, not only that, the, the possibility there is just literally no discussion. That just doesn't occur. Yeah, we could just. Not talk. Sit around and talk about our yeah, Vincent dream. Price playing uh, Saruman dreams and Let me all grab kinds a of J stuff. video to play and no, no, nice. uh, we'll just go have some nuggies or whatever. I heard there's a cool one with a house. Can, can yeah, it would be kind of a fun meme to do that on this stream at this point. To just play that <laughs> video. Do you, the nuggie cool, I need to take a shit, so that'll be a, a good timing. Do you guys like no, the simplicity no. of the title this time? Sometimes I struggle to get everything in there, but you know, I, I just like, read it and um, I think oh, it's hilarious. Oh, let me click. I'm what opting. is Hero versus ah. the Batman. Ooh. I'm bopped, bopping. Why didn't, bopping you write Batman, man? Why, why didn't you write Batman v Ben Shapiro? It feels like a missed opportunity. Ooh. Wait, what's, Ooh, what yeah. am I missing? Batman. Are you implying that Ben Shapiro why, why didn't you, is Superman? So, so, there is a film called Batman v Superman. Why didn't you just write the Batman v Ben Shapiro? Why didn't you flip it? I don't know how much that... That would work. I think that would work, I, all right. I just don't know how much I that like benefits. That. Dude, what's, I don't see um, much of a difference. So, I think so all I'm asking you is what, it, what is the greater it. utility from the order that you put it in? The Ben Shapiro is a familiar face, and it's like, oh, you've covered him before. Oh, that makes sense. And then it's also out of the the it's clear that order. he's the one. He's the one going after the Batman yeah. rather than the other way around. Yeah, yeah. It's not I like okay. it's not like yeah, the yeah. Batman has taken true. has gone out to say, it you does, know what? Yeah. Fuck Ben Shapiro. True, true, true. That's true. That would be very yeah, yeah. funny. That's, that's that's a fair point. That is a fair point. You know what? That, ben Shapiro like attacked by a masked vigilante. Destroys him with. Facts and logic. It's, it's the I'm imagining the title as a court Batman. case now. He throws well, yeah, his yarmulke I... at him. Oh, like it's really sharp on the edges. Yeah, like the guy in uh, B James Bond. What? So it's like Kung Lao. The surviving edge with oh, lights on, like edges. razors in it. I think. Yeah. Wait, does Odd Job predate Kung Lao? Does I don't know. Uh, oh, that's a good point. So, yeah. Odd Job. Oh, yeah, it would. Would. I imagine it was. Because yeah, Gunlaus yeah. of the 90s. I think so, because uh, yeah. Odd Job is from 1959. Holy so, fuck. Yeah. Goldfinger I mean, is 1964? I, I never knew that. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. that's that's right. And the novel, and the novel is 1959. Holy right, so. moly. Didn't the guy pretty, who pretty played pretty Odd Job, didn't he murder years. someone? Wait, what no, the fuck? Um, Odd Job I got this wrong. He was, was a method actor, yeah. I may have. <laughs> got, well, it, I may have gotten this wrong. Maybe he killed someone too. But the, the Jared mistake Lee I also made did that on the set of Suicide Squad murdered someone. Yeah, Harold yeah, part, part of the role. Um, so I made a mistake before. You may have heard the mistake from me. I don't know, but it's actually the actor who played Random Task in Austin Powers, the first movie, who's a complete parody of Odd Job. He's the one who like captured and ate and killed people or some shit. Um, oh, Joe Sun, or is it Son? <laughs> Joe Son, because it's he's Korean. Son of so, Joe, son of, son of Joe. Joe. 
random task was apparently Joe's a fucking crazy Mama. person. Austin Powers yeah, trilogy for movies. That could work. 27 years uh, for killing a Kern County cellmate. So he was in prison before that? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, golly. Or he's in oh, my goodness. something he did to a cellmate. I feel like you're skipping a step here. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and then he was a, a torture conviction and the rape of a woman. Jeez, uh, what a bad he guy. He like a very nice person. He sounds he's, like a poor guy. He's a villainous one, that guy. You, what, are we going to cancel him? <laughs> yeah. It seems like he already has been canceled I think he's been in a very canceled, physical yeah. way. <laughs> Though, I think we can say that legitimately this time he has canceled himself. Yes. By torturing and raping and then this, killing. Uh, so was a Ben Shapiro thinks BVS theatrical cut is good. Please don't take him seriously. To be fair, we don't. Oh, no. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> no, don't you worry. worry. Ben Shapiro, we seriously. Maybe this person doesn't know, but this is not our first Ben Shapiro video. It's not our first Ben Rodeo. Rodeo. Yeah, ben. we covered Ben Shapiro's rankings of the Star Wars films, and boy, oh, right. was that f fun. That was something else. Boy, mm -hmm. what a what an EFAP that was. Ago. You guys should watch it. But um yeah, I forget which number it is. We meet with him once again for his opinions on the Batman, of which he's gotten in many troubles. Uh <gasps> very controversial. They were like, How dare you, uh, Ben of House Shapiro? And oh. I suppose we'll be finding out what it is that he got in trouble for today. Ben as well as Shapiro. adding some extra comments that may have been missed about the Batman, if any of you should have any. If we, you know, that we missed in our, what, nine-hour discussion? Of yeah, it was only a quick one, wasn't it? So, you know, you yeah. just gotta get it yeah, out. Sure. Oh, I'm sure yeah. something will come up. Maybe. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Something's uh, maybe. through the cracks. Mm -hmm. I saw it again yesterday. I still Why? like it. Ew, cringe. Go, go away. No, you. Oh, man. Gotcha. Say metal. Disliking people, me. liking things that are disliked. By See, I'm just, I'm just off my game. I'm off my game. I haven't played Elden Ring. Like I'm, I'm fucking, I'm, I'm itching. The walls like, are crashing around. around you. You're that already was, rusty at the like, game now. You, you that was episode 100. By the way, Ring. I think Fringy said something, but I couldn't hear it. <laughs> I said you've got withdrawal symptoms. Yeah, like your yeah. Elden Ring is your crack, and you're scratching yourself, and you're sitting in the corner. The yeah. walls are yeah, crumbling you're scratching all around your crack. you. Oh. I'm just back my stuff in the corner. <laughs> now, why do you have to rings, go, why you go and do that? All right. Come on, Metal, you're better than that. To be fair, I did he... finish the game last night, but I still want more. Give me more. Yeah, Give I had to more. stop my stream of it when I was like on the cusp of finding more. Oh, Mel, I played the, the Godskin duo boss. It's one of my oh. favorite bosses of the game, probably. Really? The gods to do it? I, I had a lot of fun with it. Everyone in chat was like, you're going to get so salty, you're going to hate this. Oh, okay, here comes worst boss of the game. But I played it, I was like, that was fun. I like that. Um, so I'm, I'm, still doing, I'm still doing, I'm still, I was still doing my mage build, so it was kind of meh. So I, um, I'm really looking forward to my melee build and see how the whole game is going to change on me. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, oh yeah, I hate the dragons in that area. Yeah, that's just annoying. I don't like the dragon fights. They're kind of just lame and awkward. But uh, did you? Did, did oh, you so like Skyrim? Dragon? Did you Probably. kill the dragon on the little platform? Did you kill that one? Um, it's like off, like a little off the map. Well, once chat told me there. it was optional, I was like, no, I'm not wasting my fucking time. Oh, okay. They're worth like twenty like k runes or some shit. Oh, it was so not worth it. I lost ninety k runes and I got twenty <laughs> back and died ten times. <laughs> yeah. It's just painful, but uh, yeah, with the Godskin people, the fat guy when he gets to second phase is a nightmare, right? Because he just crashes through the whole fucking map until he hits you. But um, the oh, other guy when he goes first, to second so. phase is <laughs> fine, and so I figured all I'll do is damage thin guy and keep respawning thin mm -hmm. guy, and that should be chill. And I was just trying to control fat guy throughout the thing, so it, it felt like a strategy that made sense, and it worked, and I was engaged and entertained. Yeah. Um, is that how dating up. works in Eldenville, where you Eldenville? don't get to you don't get to <laughs> you don't get to bases, you get to phases? Like, yeah. oh, dude, Elden, I got the second Eldenville. phase with this hot, this hot chick last night. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a rarest attack this animation. Isn't even my it was wild. final phase. Good shit. So, she she did steal all my runes, though. <laughs> they always half of it. Well, Rags, there is a girl you can hug in the game that'll take resources from you in exchange for it. So that is, I, I didn't know this game was a fucking simulator. Simulator. People oh. didn't know about it. Oh. Now, I am providing the link in He's which you can ah. reach 
this miracle that is watched oh, together. And uh, from there, we will discover what it is Beneth Shapira has Shapiro. to say. Now, we have seven in this call. I see five in the... Uh... That's almost seven, mm. right? Yeah, it's not really... It's basically yeah. seven. It's close. Five that's in six. the... That's too many. Six. It would seem we're still oh, missing one. Oh, the watch one. together looks oh. different. The little name things look a little different. But yeah, they no. do edit watch together here and there once in a while. Every once in a while? Just to remind you. Right. So, here he is. Yeah. And all this hey, ben. Let's this is Sup. This is Ben Shapiro of the Ben Shapiro Show. Yes. He's on air. Don't Actually, know. Actually, he's on a he's on a chair, probably. He should say on chair. So was was he <laughs> named Ben Shapiro as a result of someone designing the show, and that name came on that, and then yeah. he came on. He was like, I, I think I should have the name Ben. Shapiro I really for this. hope that's the case. I really. He want reminds to be me canned. of Frank West. He's actually the third host of the Ben Shapiro show. It's just a massive coincidence <laughs> that finally the host name matches the name of the show. I like to think that he was reaching for a name, and he just saw a sharpie at the end of his desk, and just like Shapiro. Yes. He has prominent eyebrows too. Those things will, that'll keep the Are rain off your eyes. <laughs> what? No, these are voluminous and thick and full of just they're wow, those are powerful. Nice, nice incorporation of voluminous. Ben Shapiro has inspired me. Wrote eyebrows? To do what? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, we're going to. Oh, there, just, right. someone in chat said it. it oh, hey, it's right. Rags Mahler and uh, the other guys. I, I guess it, the meme. Was, this is this is capital O opinions. Then we have Fringy, and then J. Hello. Then Mahler. Hello. And then there is Metal. Then there is myself, and then we have the meme repository. Sup? I don't know why These I low key expect you to skip me. I don't know why, but I thought it would have been funny. <laughs> no, 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 we couldn't do that. Because people would ask questions. Um, like well, where we hide the body. <laughs> hey. All righty, folks. So last night I went and I saw The Batman. My review of that is coming up in just one moment. <gasps> this video is sponsored by Ring. Ring? Oh, Ooh, what's that? Ring. Is What's Ring? Should we watch his ad? Ring! Give it to me! Is it a doorbell service? We tend to watch ads. Oh, it is. It's the security system, isn't it? What? I don't know. I I have no idea. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. I always see the water, like the Ring watermark on loads of um home door like security cam footage of like uh you know like motion like, uh, sensor at the door kind of thing when, when you're yeah. seeing like a funny video of like a porch pirate tries to steal my package and then they <laughs> crash uh, their car on the way out then it's often got like uh, a ring watermark Those they encountered really some fun. rough water will say, those porch pirates. all of chat's now saying elden rings like metal has gone a whole day can we please get him to day two without you guys constantly i mean i was the one yelling elden ring just now so. no it's okay <laughs> that you did it because you saw it in the chat i know it's okay no, I said, I'll look after you. Why okay? am I always getting discredited like this? Just, think that's really I'll hack your computer and break your Elden Ring files to prevent you. <laughs> no, from. I think this this freeze frame we have. I think it would be funny if that was just the the title of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Well, he he the, the Batman. Yeah, DC. Um. Ah. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh. Spoilers just, ahead. Just what, a, what an anti-climax there of like, the Batman! The Ben Shapiro. The Ben Shapiro Show. <laughs> Actually, it's me, the Ben Shapiro Show. I'm your host, Ben Shapiro. I mean, that's not a lie, so he's doing well, all right? He's, Prepare you know, to get you know. excited. Then. I went and saw The Batman, went and saw it with my wife. It is one million hours long. <laughs> and it's one of those movies where <laughs> I start Ow. off, and I was like, <laughs> the, first thing, the first thing of note is that how long it is is the most prominent thing. Oh. The, the first thing to say about it. That. Hey, that right. Does it surprise you long. just to know that that's the first thing I said about it? No, it is it. Yeah. You and him are in cahoots. We are. That's the, that's the first <laughs> thing Mewfully said to me when I asked him about it. And he was like, well, first of all, it was long. <laughs> yeah. And I, uh, I was sure I've got my eye on you both. I got one eye on you and one eye on, <laughs> on Mr. Shapiro. I mean, no, I, I wouldn't have it was said long, it no. was millions of hours long or whatever, but still, close. Like half, like half a million. Yeah, I think half, half a million, million is fine. Half a million? Half a million?
Like, okay. And then I Long got enough to wonder the desert further in. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, all right. And then I got to the end. I was like, meh. That's <laughs> 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 your, your review for today. I just kind of want to <laughs> fucking replay that, but instead he's talking about his first sexual experience. <laughs> oh. yeah. All right. I finally tried it. <laughs> then I got finally waited until further. after marriage. And I was like, a little uh, all right. And then I got a to little the end, I was like, Meh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it sexualizes everything. No, I can't help but think that is exactly about his first sexual experience. Like, we got a little further. And I... <laughs> <laughs> we got to the end. I, I like, like to Meh. imagine this is like a print review, like on a website, where it's just like, I got a little further in, and then. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to download the video now so that I can post that clip out of context. <laughs> That's what's happening. That's going on my second channel now. I don't know why. Like made... oh, Did you expect him to go? Oh, that was circum super. Oh god, no. <laughs> Beautiful. And then the more I thought about it, the angrier I became. Oh no. Oh, I oh, no. <laughs> See, the no, we're, prom we're, we're coming through on the promise of Venge Pure versus Batman now. Where did, where did Batman I touch became you? vengeance. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I took up my the mantle of the Hebrew hammer. Oh. I am the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> Right. He's just not, it's just not that intimidating. He does man. look awfully dark. He's wearing black. Oh my He's God. in a black and red environment. The lights are dim. Maybe that's on purpose. I don't know if there's this any video is it. 4K. Sweet. Whoa. You can see Ben Shapiro's face. <laughs> ben Shapiro. About the Batman in 4K. 4K. Nice. Even I only do wow. 1440p. Does it? Oh, is he doing 60 frames per second? Ooh. Maybe okay, we need to know. Doesn't Check look Jay. like it. Can we see his yeah. eyebrows Jay, change know. motion in 60 frames? Um, we can slow it down. It is not in 60 FPS, 30, unfortunately. Right? Fuck. Ah, uh, fuck. Almost. So, you know, he he may have 4K video, but his temporal his temporal resolution is embarrassing. Damn. <laughs> embarrassing. That's my review of Ben Shapiro. His temporal <laughs> resolution is embarrassing. <laughs> and he's going to he take that to heart. time like a eh. fucking normie. And so you're about to hear a lot of hot takes on the Batman. Yay! Oh my god. Yay! Because we love hot takes. takes. They're on a fan. This oh. movie. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoever <laughs> did, did a great job. Right now, though. We got yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, first of all, I'm just going to tell you right up front, spoilers. Like spoilers are plenty here. So if you haven't seen the film yet... You already told us this. Spoilers are plenty. Dude, his his um his editor is pretty good. Like yeah, minimal but gets the point across. I like it. I wish everyone's editing was at least up to as good as Ben Shapiro's because I'm liking this so far. Yeah, I wonder if Batman so, like, will be able to compare. You know, this um, is the first you know, battle. He's just he's just talking to camera, but um, it's like the the uh, the edits here are. Because, you know, lo loads of people do these edits where they, like, make their face go, like, red when they say something like that, right? But this is the same kind of style, but it's taken above and beyond in, like, a really professional way. I want to hire yeah. whoever does his editing. Oh, wow. It it does seem... It, it's not, shall we say, indulgent. <laughs> no. I mean, if you say well, so. then again, Ben Shapiro is paying him, and so, mm. you know, you don't want him to go <laughs> overboard. Yet, and you want to see the film, and you don't want to be spoiled, yeah. I'm warning you, you've been warned. All right, this is Detective Batman. So if the original Michael Keaton Batman was sort of crime-fighting Batman, and the Christopher Nolan Batman... Wait, what? what? I mean... I guess we're getting to the... I guess we're getting to the point. He hasn't made a judgment on it yet. I just, I was curious if that's normal to people, that they refer to the Tim Burton Batman as a crime-fighting Batman as compared to a detective, but I guess he's not as Supposed, detective you know, sure. I suppose the so. This one... crime-fighting Batmans, I suppose. Because I think the Are they I think all the crime Batman. Yeah, I think yeah. they all yeah. fight crime. Surely the, it's how much of a detective they are. The crime fighting Batman. Because there's that yeah, there's but, that big I mean, sliding scale between, I guess I don't know who who's on who's the most detectivey detective ever who right. never does it. Monk, right? There's a there, <laughs> Monk is on one side of the of the sliding scale, uh -huh. and the other's end of the sliding scale is Faust. What? <laughs> Would like it be Punisher? Lost me. <laughs> or, or 
Well, I don't. I didn't mean Punisher, but Punisher works excellently as well. People are probably more familiar with Punisher, but mm-hmm. yeah, like, and then there's everywhere in the middle. Where does the you know the fighting and the you know? By the way, I want to see a Punisher Monk <laughs> crossover where they team up. <laughs> And every time he rips off someone's face, Monk is like, oh, Punisher. Dun, 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 you know, dun, dun. okay, let me ask you this. If we did have a Monk-Punisher crossover, do you think that it would be in... What if you had Monk say the line, it's a jungle out there? Would you approve of that or... Absolutely. Dis- Absolutely be- approve. Because I, I think I would approve of that. I think it's a really good nod for those of you who are who don't know the the intro song for monk it's sung by the toy story guy and he says Randy Newman. Done, the very air we breathe and, and so one of the lines is it's, it's a jungle out there which might be the name of the song but i think that would be i wonder if monk's I think, any good i remember i think tony it. shaloub should play monk and the punisher that's what i think uh, just like a great tony name monkisha <laughs> shaloub tony shaloub <laughs> Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say Pun it. Because like the word shalub sounds like a combination <laughs> of the word lube oh. with the effects of lube. He was born six years before Odd Job in that novel. Okay. That's great. I'm glad <laughs> for him. I hope they call it the Munisher if they do that crossover. The Munkisher? The Muncher. Yeah. Or the Punk. Ooh, that would work. Punamunk. Ooh. Anyway, um, yeah, it, don't right. the don't the Batman video games lean heavily right. on the detective element? Oh, I'm not uh, familiar with them. So. They do. You'll like go through crime scenes and then mm-hmm. pull up like a little detective holographic mode. thing and try to piece it together. Yeah, I need to replay yeah. them. I remember them being pretty good actually. They're pretty fun. Uh, yeah. Arkham Asylum and City are pretty fun. Yeah, yeah. I never played. Um, I never played them. Uh, all I remember is when Arkham Knight, Knight. released, yeah, and it was a work. huge kerfuffle because it was just it just yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, they had to pull it from Steam. That's how broken it was for the majority of people. Ooh, I was like, put it back out in November and it was still broken. My, mine worked for some reason. I don't know why. This is Detective Man. Feel proud. Wait, is it, did you say your watch killer's not working? Wow, what? his ear No, 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 no. I, I said the, 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 the Dark Knight <laughs> oh. video game thingy worked for me when it came out. Oh, okay. I had no problemos. Beautiful. Batman. So if the original Michael Keaton Batman was sort of crime-fighting Batman, and the Christopher hey, Nolan West Batman was, was city saving Batman. City saving. City. They're all city Gotham saving. City. I guess uh, he, hmm. he. We talk more on. He focuses on like large scale calamity prevention. I mean, do you remember what happens what in the, both of the Burton ones? Yeah. I'm. What I'm. I'm trying to be like. This is what he's saying. Because I. That, how could why, I forget what happens in the? But that's why I said he's wrong. Because there's. Oh, this is Gotham City and all of them, but they're always climactically huge events, to be honest with you. Like, um, except maybe The Dark Knight, which is one of the ones he's citing as city-saving. Yeah, because in The Dark Knight, it's not like the whole city's fate, like, you know, like, it's kind of is, but it's not like the whole city's gonna explode or anything. And in Batman yeah, and Robin, isn't it the whole battle. world is gonna enter into an Ice Age? I, so that's the biggest, <laughs> like, stakes yeah, of them all. That, <laughs> he said Michael Keaton Batman, he's not including the... The ones, True, but to to refer to the Nolan should. one as the city saving one is weird. Yeah, because he, sh- oh, he yeah. should say, and then um, what's the actor who plays him? Uh, Christian uh, Bale. Not Christian Bale. The 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 sh- the the Tony Batman and Robin one. Tony Shalhoub. George Clooney. Yeah, Cl- George Clooney <laughs> Batman. He's a plan. He's more of a planet saver. Right. He saves right. the planet from global cooling. More a planet cooling, saver. Yeah. Which you think Ben Shapiro would Ooh. like? That's actually More applicable too, over. because in Batman Forever, I'm sure Riddler's plans were going to go further than just Gotham City and probably to the whole world. So, in a way, save the world in both of them. I'm sure. Uh, yeah. Nice. Well, the so world saving this. Batman is Schumacher. So this is the thing. Well, I just thought it was weird best. categorization, like crime fighter, detective, city saver. It's like city saver. <laughs> okay. This Batman is supposed to be Detective Batman, and this has a long history in the Batman comics. Some of the best Batman comics. Particularly my favorite, The Long Halloween, is rooted in the idea of... Long Halloween, what do we think? Because I don't have any context. Do we, we have any comic bookers in here? Long. Do we have anybody in here who's read The Long Halloween? Fringy? I, I haven't. That's one I need to read. It's, oh, on, it's on the list. It's on wow. the list. Oh, oh, wow. I've read it. All right, chat. Oh, tell us about it. 
I I just read it this week. Honestly, it's uh, you know what's kind of funny oh. about it is that it's um, is you know how in the movies, especially the Nolan movies, he does like the disappearing thing. Everyone goes, "What?" It's kind of a meme at this point. Uh huh. It, it that meme is especially strong in the comics. One thing I found funny about it in the Long Halloween is that he'll be talking to someone. And then in the next panel, he's disappeared, but they never show any of the other characters he's talking to turn around. So it's like he actually vanishes, like vaporizes in thin air and disappears. Oh, okay. <laughs> Neat. Because I feel like fun. having them react to him just being gone is one of the, it's an important element to his disappearance. So yeah. I've kind of only watched it, so there's an animated vision of this as well, I'm assuming? There may well be at this point, yeah. yeah the Long Halloween is... A very recent one. You there is like an overarching. Color. There's a there's a killer who's killing a bunch of people, leaving some clues, and as they to do, out who it is. Yeah. So. Well, looking at this cover, you got Joker, Two Face, Christmas, possibly Scarecrow. Oh, there's a bunch of people in it. The Riddler's in it. Scarecrow's in it. Two Face. Oh, Moon Gun Man. Moon Gun Man. Yeah. Yeah. On That's the right Jim. There. Jim is Moon Gun Man. Moon gun, man. Yeah. moon gun man, you have mistakenly identified a man in the moon. Oh There's man, you haven't man read Moon Gun Man? Not. It's one of the most famous Batman villains. I see a man, I see a gun, I see a moon. Moon gun moon man. Moon gun man. <laughs> why didn't she why isn't it man gun moon? Why why is why Cause he ain't gun man in the gun moon. moon cause that because first off, man gun moon is a character from Star Wars. He was a Jedi warrior. Yeah. So that name has already been taken. <laughs> what about Man Moon Gun? What about man, man Moon Gun? That's a Chinese director. Yes. They didn't yeah, want to disrespect him. To Korea. They want yes. him to have that name alone. What about Moonface? We, we could try face. Moonface. I don't know if he ha maybe he has a moon face. I guess when we get close to him, we'll find out. And like his face changes with the phases of the moon. Whoa. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. like his power level maybe could be influenced by the moon. Or whenever he's in a city, maybe the tides rise. Oh, Ooh, we've done oh, it. We've got a comic, oh, The Long Moon. Very cool. Fucking do it. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Ben. Uh, Batman, not just as Cape Crusader, but as a, a great detective, smarter than everybody else, capable of picking up on clues, investigating and tracking down crimes. Okay. Oh, I mean, all right, I, I, all right mm -hmm. then. Yeah, I, he's definitely, I, he never said we're, if it was good or bad, which is interesting. Both, it's more like he's just kind of, describing that it's more of a We're fine so far. Batman. I just would like to ask him why he categorized the Batmans the way he did. That's and I want to know where uh, George Clooney Batman is. <laughs> what happened? Because I have what no idea. with them, Ben? Where's the Clooney? I don't, <laughs> with Ben Shapiro, you don't know if he would think that they're the best Batman movies <laughs> or the worst. You have no clue. And that would be the fun part. It would. I'm going to start with what's right with the film because okay. it's going to be real short. So what's right with the film is <laughs> oh, the shit. It's going to be real short. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Great. It is a film noirish take on Gotham City. It almost feels kind of like retro taxi driver Gotham City. So everything is very dirty. It's all taking place at night. It's shot in kind of grayscale at, at times. You know, when you said That's it all takes place time. at night, you probably ah. shouldn't have showed all the shots of it taking place in day. That was probably a mistake. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> also, yeah. like, shot in grayscale feels like, it's more like it's it's just like I never noticed it. I think that would be... Yeah, yeah would, it's not it's shot then, in grayscale, is it? It's the anti-Justice right. League. I can see colors. Oh yeah, I, I see colors right now. Yeah, we're looking at colors. I don't see uh, color. Um... Apparently he ranked, he ranked the Batman movies and put Batman Robin at the bottom. That fucking What? Demon. <laughs> I, this guy. <laughs> How dare you think he? he is. So rude. It's got a lot Send of warm or What was that? Send him to the pit as punishment. Oh, his, I know that. Okay. From Fallout. It's kind of like yes. retro taxi driver Gotham City. So everything is very dirty. It's all taking place at night. It's shot in kind of grayscale at, at times. It's got a lot of. More... I just, I love that. I love that he just doesn't know what that, those words mean, and he couldn't be bothered to check. Is clearly grayscale. what's going on there. He he was unsure of saying that's like it shot in the kind of grayscale at times. I yeah, I guess maybe if you're not, it maybe for more of a movie normie, which I'm sure he would not be, you know, happy with me calling him that. But <laughs> I I can see how people would call it that without knowing like what it is. Like people who call like people who don't know what frames per second is when they see two things that are different frames per second and they don't know what to call it in a way. I mean, he, what like, he, the words he's looking for is muted colors. 
or desaturated. Is it desaturated? Is that a fucking word? It is. Saturated, desaturated, yeah. yeah. Desaturated, yeah. Um, but not, yeah. It's 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 not it's not it's not grayscale. Like I don't I don't know what. <laughs> like it's, it's just yeah. not in color. I think, I think charitably there are some scenes that are rather uh, like monochromatic, like especially like that hallway scene. You know what I mean? There's some scenes There's that definitely I agree. That's not monochromatic it's, though. It's bichromatic colors and. Well, so there are scenes that will where like the contrast in colors gets so low that it becomes much like it's it's very but it's not it's not it, yeah again it's not like monochromatic or like or grayscale at all it's just desaturated yeah i'm trying to so, think of scenes where i can be like was there a moment where it was basically black and gray only and it's like i don't think well, so there are a lot of like sharp contrasts at times where it's like black and red like uh mm -hmm. when he lights the flare and leads people out but again that's not that's not grayscale. That's color. It's just what was it? very he's not being pedantic. Sharp so, like, I'm literally interested in what he probably meant, and then what the film actually did. Uh, I don't actually care that he said this that much. I'm just interested in the conversation. I apologize. Yeah, we even start off by um, saying that he he just probably didn't know what the word was for it, um, or he didn't. I mean, I, who knows? It's 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 not exactly certain. We're all interested in it as, like, video makers ourselves, right? Because exactly. I'm pretty sure that for none of this, like, I don't think any of us would consider this acceptable in, like, our actual review of a film, is to just be like, oh, I don't know the word for this, I'll just say the closest words I can think of and then move on. Like, yeah, I with, like, think I know what he means, but that's what the discussion here is about. I know what he means. Also, he means second he means Batman film to be that's compared to Taxi Driver. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> People like those comparisons, don't they? No. Yeah, the yep. movie's Taxi Driver. Warm <laughs> oranges and reds, but against a very dark black. So it's a lot of muttered dialogue. It, it, it feels as though... That, what, that muttered felt, dialogue? Wait, I feel like... So he thinks that people are mumbling, whispered, maybe? Whispered, but, well, but, 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 but That totally it's, felt like we, we, just we, hadn't, we hadn't yeah. quite finished his point. That he was just like... Like, as though it much of dialogue colors, is a part dialogue. of the grayscale. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah, that was just a... Just sort of well, came out of nowhere. And also... Way. It's a bit of the jumble way that of he, thoughts there. In the way he pairs them together, because he clearly... I, I don't even know what he's really saying about the color. Whether he says it thinks it's good or bad, he's not. See, he doesn't seem to be making a judgment so much as an observation. This is, of, this is part of the what I liked section, so I would. But then he goes into he liked the way but, that the film looks. Here's what I'm saying. But then he goes instantly to a lot of muttered dialogue in yeah, the but, good section. Yeah, but so and ties what, it almost so what, like what a weird thing to jump to after talking about whether or not it's grayscale. Yeah. A lot of warm oranges and reds, but against a very dark black. So it's a lot of muttered dialogue. It, it feels as yeah. though it's yeah, so. It's a lot of muttered dialogue. It's a <laughs> weird way to. There's, there's I mean, a weird way to do here, that. Yeah. Is that mutter? What he's uh, done. What he's done is he's just turned on the camera, and this entire review is an unscripted stream of consciousness that's completely like. Well, uh, yeah. Maybe that unrefined. was the editor's way of cutting it. Like he went on to say something else. Maybe he had a bad take or something. Because if you watch it, the clips end. And then we're into yeah, yeah, him yeah. talking about dialogue. I love this very frame. dark black. So it's a lot of muttered dialogue. Oh my gosh, it, it, it that's feels crazy. Though... Okay, pause it. Pause it's probably pause, pause, right. Pause. Yeah. So here's what's interesting, right? That screenshot that you just took of Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. While you screenshotted that, I googled mutter just to make sure. <laughs> mutter is a studio album by Ramstein, and this is the cover. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Small world. I will have to Small show this. World. So you got that. Oh my! The... <laughs> shot and then this was the again. You know, uh, Ben Shapiro may have done some pictures <laughs> for Ramstein. Could have been. He's not as pale as Ben Shapiro, but the album is. It is kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing around. It's, we're, it's fine. It's fine. We're just having some fun. Oh my god! He said a racial <laughs> slur in the editor cut it. I'm sure that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Batman would be friends with. <laughs> so anyway, the dialogue. But against a very dark black, so it's a lot of muttered dialogue. It, it, it feels oh, no, as though it it's taking in. place in the same city as well, Joker is taking place. It, so if you it, saw they Joker, couldn't salvage that cut because like the sentence like bled into the next one. I it's, mentioned it's, that the, it I, I believe now that that was cut. The editor was like, "Ah, oh, fuck!" Like I can't cut it. <laughs> I would just cut the word "so" there, so it just sounds like a separate thing. Uh, I don't know. He does talk rough. real fast, though. 
So it's maybe you yeah. could fix it by oh. at the end of the statement about the color. You play a small clip from the trailer, really small, that, that shows oh, the darkness, yeah. and then you cut back to him saying the dialogue because it feels a bit more natural, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's oh. ironic that the editor used the word "so" to stitch those sentences together. I get it. Thank you. <laughs> do you guys get it? I get it. I, don't I totally understand. get it. Oh, right. I do Open get all that. Just warm <laughs> yeah, oranges <I> <laughs> and reds, but against a very dark black. So it's a lot of muttered dialogue. It, it, it feels as though it's oh, taking place in it. the same city as Joker is taking place. So if you saw Joker, Todd Phillips' uh, Joker, which looks so like see it. New York. It, I could see uh, it. Uh, oh, a little bit, maybe, yeah. I could see it. Yeah. More than most other Batman it's, movies, yeah. I And this is in the good section, so I guess because this is in the good section, he likes it. So, you know, all right, I guess. Yeah, yeah again, he's not really like... He's, he's not, not told us why it's good, he's just yeah, mentioning it. Yeah, yeah, he's just saying, like, these are the things, that how it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we didn't have any context that this was in the good section, these seem to be just general observances. Observations is that's, generally that's the I'm correct saying. word for it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, not, very, not a lot of strong statements being made, but definitely some uh, observations. It feels almost like the, the other half of that, but it seems more like the take on what future New York would look like if you were living in New York in 1970. Now, that's, that's sort of a, a good way of putting it. The music to the film is... What, what really? A future, what I didn't even see what he said. New York <laughs> would look like if you were living in 1970s. I don't even, I just do we don't have examples it. of that? Of, and that's not true? Like what the 70s envisioned to be the future? Um, um, just movies and stuff. For, yeah, we would I, we would have some movies surely showing that. I feel like we, have, we can just um, sort of. I feel like a more apt description of what Gotham looks like in the Batman is a modern city that has managed to retain a lot of its Gothic architecture and integrate it. Yeah, the cityscape. So, like, and that's, like that's, yeah, an alternative. Not, well, it, present it's city. um. I think the way that I. I, I really like Gotham in this film, and the reason why is partly because it feels like a city that could exist, but kind of doesn't. Um, whereas in The Dark Knight, Gotham is just New York. Um, it's like if you were to visit well, Chicago, maybe an old yeah. New and England Chicago, city yeah. for the first time, and you'd noticed all of the, the particular uh, colonial-style architecture, and it's not really that present everywhere else to the same degree and you'd be like oh this is a city that's just has a sort of a different style to it like i'm walking down old town washington dc or something like that like like victoria outside of dc and so the buildings have this kind of look to them and the streets just have the, this sort of style and everything's sort of positioned in the way that they are in, in terms of you know the spacing and whatnot so you sort of know where you are but it doesn't doesn't freak you out. You believe it, but it's just clearly a different place. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, um, like Ben hasn't really qualified what he means by like a seventies vision of the future. He was just talking about how the colors are presented in the film. So it's like, and the dialogue was muttered. So it's like, and I, I, I sincerely doubt that that's what he means. It's like, yeah, you know, we, in the seventies, they all thought in the future the colors were going to be a bit more muted. No, I don't think that that's. You That's mean, what he's going for. You there. mean the structure of the sentences would lead one to believe that if they were reading it like kind of well, like a robot, but if you more, more so like the, it's just unclear what he does mean because he hasn't qualified that statement with anything. It's just like he said that it is a seventies vision of the future, as if we're all supposed to immediately know what he means with the context of the film. When I'm just like, no, I'm not really sure what specific aspects of the depiction of Gotham he's referring to with that. So what, like I, the steel I, man he did on his favorite. The Steel Man in his favor would be that he's probably saying that it captures the vibe of like seventies New York, but it's in the future, or like yeah, twenty twenty. Like That's like what he's still saying. Still as gross, like as dirty and gross as Taxi Drivers New York is, but it's in the future now. Behold, yeah, it... Moonface. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone linked me this on oh. the Discord. Called it Moonface. How do I put that on screen? That Even is a question me... you must ask yourself. Open link. Oh no, that just downloads it. Oh well. Sorry guys, you don't get to see Moonface. Anyway. <laughs> you don't miss much. Okay, Revolt. I think that Michael Giacchino tends to be a little bit derivative in how he does the scores. The oh, this man. one, he I... basically... Man, nah, I don't agree. Well, we hear the whole comment first? He's, um... 
I mean, I took neither, but... He's 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 gonna he's gonna have a trouble pushing this one against because that's just one of the universally celebrated elements of the film. But let's see what he says. Mm -hmm. The film is okay. I think that Michael Giacchino tends to be a little bit derivative in how he does the scores to the films. This one, he basically True, takes the, the films, music that Hans Zimmer like, and James Newton Howard wrote for Batman Begins in the Nolan trilogy, which the theme goes da da, and here he just inverts it. So instead of da da, it's da da. Okay, fine. So it's mad, a little bit derivative. Da, mad. Wait, wait, it's all, if you're gonna I've talk about how it sounds that. similar, I would have gone Imperial March, but okay, I, go for. I a feel like Ben Shapiro is not equipped. To let, let us topic. let us remind people of this uh, Michael Giacchino. I suppose his name. Uh, Giacchino. Uh, Cappuccino. Michael Michael well, Cappuccino. So, so for reference, guys, he he composed the Incredibles, uh, which yeah. is yeah. an amazing. Ratatouille. I love that soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. Up. Yeah, he's done a lot. Actually, might be the Incredibles might be my all, -time, all time favorite soundtrack. Thinking about it, just uh, it might be. Uh, but it's yeah, uh, he there. did The Incredibles, Ratatouille, Up, Inside Out, Coco, Incredibles 2, Jojo Rabbit. Um, oh, that's interesting. He did uh, some stuff from Lost, uh, Prep and Ew. Landing, The Muppets, Wizard of Oz. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, this, he's, he's, he's an extremely talented individual. And he has done, oh, he's done video games too. Um, he hasn't done them for a while, though, from what I understand. Yeah, the last one was Lego: The Incredibles. <laughs> so I don't know how much we have. That might yeah, just be that it used his music rather Him, than yeah, did like, anything for probably, it. Yeah, uh, Call of Duty, Medal of Honor. A lot of Call of Duty and Medal of Honors here. Mercenaries. Some, yeah. Well, and of course, he did all the Spider Man MC Spider Man films. Oh, did he? Oh, yes. Nice. Wow. Not saying I agree I with Shapiro, but he knows music. To be fair, Chris Stuckman knows film. Right? <laughs> well, I just well, listened to him thing. say so, that, so that was clearly a lie. Like, I, I actually don't love the main Batman theme in this movie. And um, I wouldn't use the word derivative, because I don't think, like, originality is a value I hold very highly. But there is something kind of, uh, like, simplistic and basic about it in a way that I don't really like. I don't think it's Michael, was it Giacchino? Is that his name? I don't think that's like this movie is his best work ever, but the way Ben describes it is as if like, oh, he took the, it, they took the theme from uh, the Nolan movies and inverted it, which is just not true in terms of like the music theory of what's happening there. It's that's not accurate. And so I, thought, like, I, I feel like we, need to, we need to talk about a little bit more than just it's inverted. <laughs> Yeah, and no, it, but it's but it's, the, not, it's like not. The, the way it, the way it's actually just played tonally, not as much more to it than just the notes, right? And yeah, but it's Chad not is even um, the, it's not even the same notes in, inverted. It's not interestingly it's uppity. Like, the musician doesn't understand music as much as the internet video editors. It's like whoa. Um, I mean, hello. Uh, to be fair, I have played saxophone for like fifteen plus years. Well, so I was going to start there. I, I was a musician. Step one. That said, I've been a musician for like eighteen said, years as well. I, I, look, I, I will say, even with that part... said, I okay, yeah, go for it. Thank you. So, part one, you have no idea what our background in music is. Literally none for any of us. But why would you even ass like? Secondly, video editing wouldn't know anything about music. It's like, why would you say that? What would make you say that? What what an absurd point to make. Third, why is it that you would appeal to an authority? You think a, musicians can't be wrong about music? They fight well, each other all the time. So we need to go well, back to so, so what I was going to add in is um, movies. What I was going to add in as a preface is I played saxophone for a long time. I don't have a particularly great understanding of music theory. There's a difference between playing music and composing music, and even then, you know. Like it varies. Remember the, I don't know his background. Beatles couldn't read music. Like, what the fuck? Y'all made just, the statement just, he doesn't know music. None of us said that. I never said that. None of us said that. <laughs> when, when he said we, he's not equipped I think, to, to. I don't think. Maybe I did. I say that. Well, okay, well I don't well, remember no, saying that. I'm going to defend you. Maybe Hold I on. I'm going to defend you because you said <laughs> that he's not equipped to make this criticism, and that is actually true. Because what he actually said about the music isn't actually correct. So, and it's obvious that he doesn't actually have uh, maybe it's because it's like a stream of consciousness rant like we've already said but he's not making a very specific or um substantive Correct. criticism of the music so fringy saying hey 
he doesn't seem equipped to make this criticism is not saying, oh, he he must not have any experience with music at all. So he doesn't seem equipped. And which I is, would agree with that. Yeah, yeah which, I, which if you gave me this clip and said, guess, this I guess all I'd say is, music, if, I'd say if, no. If that is if that is a comment that uh, people don't like, I'm happy to just walk it back to, I think that just saying that it's inverted is not enough. We need to talk about it. Oh yeah, that's going to be the thing that surely everyone can agree on. Why wouldn't he, as right. a music expert, spend more time explaining to us why the soundtrack is limited or lacking when that's one of the most praised elements of the film right now? That seems like there's a lot of insight to give on that. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I liked the music uh, quite a bit. I thought it was a good part of the film that it's definitely worth praising. Um, and th yeah, I, I feel like we need more than that. Yeah, because um, when I was watching the film, like the main thing I was thinking whenever the Batman theme came on um, is, um, oh, this kind of sounds like Vader's theme. It kind of sounds like Imperial March. If I were going to make like a comparison, that would be the one I would go for. I wouldn't go for the Dark Knight. It doesn't sound anything like the Dark Knight soundtrack. And I've watched those films pretty recently. Like the, these are pretty distinct sounds um, from each mm -hmm. other. And yeah, so no one's saying he can't talk about music or that they're denying his history with music. What he said, though... Ain't 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 mashing up with what we understand to be the reality of the movie, which we do hear all yeah. the time, even if it's music. Yeah. Let me know how long I need to play an instrument until my opinion is better than Ben's. <laughs> that's, the, that's the other thing. It's just like, you know, you really gonna question James Gunn's opinion on Polka Dot Bad when he's the writer and and he's made movies and you guys haven't? It's like, yes. Yep. <laughs> you, know, you could do this the same way. It's like you really gonna let Ben? Are you really gonna come question a professional film composer? You think you know yeah. better than well, him? That's, yeah, okay, that's, you could do the same Maybe. thing. Yeah, we did this with Martin Scorsese and uh, you know the MCU not being cinema. Well, it, the a, a bad opinion can come from anyone. Yeah, so, they're kind of beautiful in that way. <laughs> sort of. Anyone can be cringe. It's the great equalizer. A bad mm. opinion can come from anyone, Death and even cringe. even Women? Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. uh, Bullshit. Trilogy, <laughs> which the theme goes. I really enjoy the idea that oh, that sentence was going to end in women. <laughs> <laughs> da da. And here he just inverts it. So instead of da da, it's da da. Okay. Wow. Right, so two it's a little notes. Bit like I said, wow. it's going to use way more elaboration yeah, on this okay. point. Right? Yeah. yeah. True. Wow. Yeah. Two notes. Wow. You're going to have to give me more than that. The score is totally fine. The acting is so yeah, because well, he was, he was listing it's totally fine if it's listing if it's good things. We've already made it into the so, neutral yeah, things now. Right. Like, okay, so, yeah. okay. that was a very <laughs> sweeping <laughs> statement about Michael Giacchino's capabilities as a composer, <laughs> and the only <laughs> argument we got is it was uh, duh uh, duh instead what? of duh uh, duh. <laughs> like <laughs> that was in the good section. That, that was, was in the good section. section. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We've moved into neutral now already. Totally fine. We're in the neutral section now. We've done good. Can't wait for the bad section. I know. Great. Look how long the video is. We've got a lot of the bad <laughs> section. Oh boy. Oh my goodness, you're right. Is okay, as we'll find out in a second. They give Robert Pattinson nothing to do as Batman. Nothing uh, to do with Batman. What? 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 I thought what? this was a section um, about what you like. What? <laughs> I um, think, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going um, <laughs> My voice has gone up. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm going to paint. I'm going to paint. <laughs> so this might Ophelia. just be like, what else can we conclude other than? So there's a difference between a non-performance and a subdued performance that's uh, deliberate in the approach to give you a sense of what the character is currently feeling and thinking. Ben doesn't know what a subdued performance is. I um I don't know what else to say about that until we. I don't think we'll get examples, right? Because he's not going to have the clips. I'm gonna do it. Um, well, we so. got two notes for the soundtrack, so maybe we'll get uh, who knows maybe. we'll get the acting examples. Uh, yeah, it gave him so nothing let's... to do. It's like, oh. Yeah, let's see what he does. All right, I made a slight edit, by the way. I, I, um, it's all the, it's the thing we talked about. Is everyone, have you uploaded it yet? Is it like <laughs> I have. Like it's on my channel now. It's on my second channel. Public Ben Shapiro describes his first sexual experience. Um, it's the <laughs> clip with a slight edit made to it. Mm. I'm gonna play it. How long is it? Off, oh. It's just a few seconds. <laughs> and then I got, that that <laughs> seems like a very uh, all right. And then I got to the end. Uh, I was like, eh. Are Jews a protected group? It, the angrier. <laughs> yes. I started off. Right. The more I thought about it, the angrier. 
<laughs> That's good, Jay. I like it. I like it. <laughs> anyway. Gold star. Where are we? What's happening? Here we go. Find out. You can't, no, you can't say gold star to Ben Shapiro. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, right. Fuck. Uh, green tick. There you go. Uh, yeah, there we, there we oh, go. There oh, we go. Jesus Christ. Dodge that bullet. And they give Robert Pattinson oh, nothing shit. to do as Batman. Nothing <laughs> to do as Batman. I didn't think that Zoe Kravitz had any sort of chemistry with Robert Pattinson. This is, isn't this a section about what he likes? We've already moved into <laughs> this the neutral section. We're, no, we're not we're even in neutral weird, now. We now this, we're this, this clear oh, cut from they the gave intro him to the bad, uh, good section, and I was like, now nah, I'm just going to go on. Just we just nothing, nothing, that, nothing that he said in the good section was actually praise. Not really. <laughs> it, it was, was more like, just no no observations, it. and then the, the music was fine. Fine, but worthy of criticism. We fell like, off the cliff of the good section and hit our head on the neutral section on the way flat little, down to the bad section. He did has say a it was title be card very come short, up? So. But but remember, we got a no. little card for the good, right? No. Have we gotten but, one for the the neutral no, and bad yet? I'm assuming we're not going to get one for the forget. neutral. He's going to go to the bad, but he's included the bad in the good. <laughs> so it's like, what's the happening? The bad man. The editor, the oh no. He, he pays by the edit. The, oh, edit, dude, hero. the edit was the editor was probably like, dude, you've not this doesn't uh it's fine. I'll it's fine. No one'll do it. It's fine. Would Ben Shapiro <laughs> be stingy with nah, probably not. Let's carry on. Nothing to do as Batman. Nothing to do as Batman. I didn't think that Zoe Kravitz had any sort no. of chemistry with Robert Pattinson. Oh, are we moving so on? She's fine, she's kinda of flirty, me. I didn't see anything no particularly wrong with her performance. I just didn't see a lot right with her performance. You have John what is I learned? liked her. And her relationship with Batman, I thought they got along pretty neatly. I yeah, wouldn't mind yeah. seeing more of them. Uh, I wish I had examples to the contrary that he maybe brings up. Other than, I get, he just sort of says it doesn't work. And I think that their two characters can, because they can go and, I think if we had another movie with these two characters, I could see them either becoming direct foils to each other or starting to cooperate a lot more. I could kind of see it going both ways where you have, you know, Batman doing his thing and she's like the more willing to break the rules, the more even more morally gray than Batman, if that's if that phrase makes sense. But um I I think it could be interesting, but I I guess we're not going to get much commentary on that. When it's a huge part of the movie is these two and how they interact. Um I guess I he's just talking gonna... about acting chemistry. Maybe he's going to talk about writing more later, including oh, of maybe. their relationship. Or, yeah, I guess I didn't even consider if he was talking about the acting or the, the actors or the characters. I have the sneaking a, suspicion he's not really going to elaborate on anything at all. I, I, just feel like he's, he's I have a feeling these topics aren't going to come back to. We're going to be talking about something else for a lot of it. I didn't see anything okay. particularly wrong with her performance. I just didn't see a lot right with her performance. You have John Turturro showing up as Carmine Falcone, and he is John Turturro, so he's okay. He's somewhat menacing. The best no, performance in the film. False. He is so good in that movie. False. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was great. <laughs> Incorrect. Yeah, I, he was a, a great back on you. A pox on you. It's fun as well because I I've seen him in so many more comedy roles that seeing him here I was a little like, eh? and then I was like, oh, actually, okay, he's taking this very seriously. He's actually like comes across as Mr. Yeah. Mob Boss Man. Exactly. Is Colin Farrell playing the penguin? You literally cannot spot Colin Farrell in this makeup. There is no way that you can see Colin Farrell here. The whole movie. So Agreed. that's a plus, right? <laughs> I like, I mean, I like yeah, that as a praise. Is that the problem? Yeah, the exactly. <laughs> we went from the actor was okay. We went from the chemistry was fine to could be to not very good to the actor was fine to you cannot tell who the actor is in the makeup. This That's crazy great. He just, plus, yeah. got, he we, just we really doesn't locked. like looking at Colin Farrell, so he was very happy that he couldn't see him. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm staring at him going, that's not Colin. It, it is Colin Farrell. It's the best <laughs> performance in the movie. Paul Dano gives a good performance in the film, although he's sort of playing the Joker a little bit, although he's playing it more wide-eyed as, as Paul is Dano he? is at. Um, uh, I guess I could understand someone saying it, but yeah. Yeah, I could see someone saying it, but I would like you to qualify it with, I, I, I would like to know why you say that. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because the Joker could be a lot of different things depending on the performer. So I think that's a very broad um, description of of, of someone's performance. Because, you know, you could have a more subdued Joker and have that still work. So I'm not not entirely sure, like, how how he would qualify it being a little too jokery. I think what we needed was we needed Riddler to have a tattoo on his forehead <laughs> no. that, that said, what gets wetter as it dries, just so that we really understood the character. Go ahead. That would be really funny. Um, a towel. I, I would imagine that, uh, that it's possible for people that because all the people say no, and it's like, I, I can understand why someone would say it. I disagree with it. Yeah. Obviously. I I would like to hear it, it's kind of like the like it's it kind of like everything he says. I would like to know why you think that, not just that you think it. Yeah. Correct. Um I agree. Also this reminds me of something I didn't say when we first went over the film, but um it's kinda of crazy that they showed in the trailer him getting captured when that doesn't happen for a decent chunk of movie. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird because yeah. when I was watching the movie, I totally forgot that he just gets captured in the cafe, and then the scene started. And I'm like, "Oh yeah, duh, it's yeah." But I um, I, just, I thought about it about for it. a couple of scenes because I was like, I was trying to figure out how this would all come together with him getting captured. I was trying to figure out why he wanted to be captured before he it happened. Um, and I was just really surprised. Like, fuck, we're finally here. Yeah, damn, they put that in the trailer, and I think that's the opening of one of the trailers, right? Him being captured. Yeah. Interesting choice. Yeah, Act especially you. to like put like substantial things in the trailer that come, you know, well into like the third mm-hmm. act of the movie. It's kind of an interesting choice. In terms the main of giving character away what happens. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The film is the Riddler. And herein lies the main problem. Wait, did you say the main character in the film is the Riddler? I, I mean, that's not right true. That. If we sure needed to have the Riddler, we, we never got a scene where the Riddler says, I'm a conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I'm an enigma. <laughs> Uh, no, he's just totally wrong. Like, the POV character is Batman for, like, the vast majority of the film. Might even be, like, 100% of the scenes, if you think, like, if we actually thought about it. Is like, it he's is a Batman hardcore one? POV character. It, not Batman, yeah, like, like Catwoman. It, it is. It is hyper well, POV, yeah. Once again, maybe it could be explained if he was to elaborate and say, by maid, I mean person who everyone's reacting to is, is the one that's making things happen or something. But then again, Batman would still count in that. Mm-hmm. Well, the whole weird. theme of the film is that it's about his effect on Gotham and how what he has inspired, yeah. us. and that includes the Riddler. Yeah, strange uh, thing to say, okay, but okay. So, yeah, it's, it's just—is it just the intro scene? Is that actually the only scene where we don't see? Because, like, I'm pretty sure that uh, like 100 percent of the scenes are Batman's POV. At least like 90 90 percent. Yeah. yeah. There are some with, uh, yeah, with Selena. Like when the city was yeah. flooding, there were parts. Any with Selena that don't have Bruce, though. Yeah, when she uh, goes to uh, at the end, when she goes to confront. Uh, you're right. Yeah, when oh, she's getting the yeah, gun yeah, ready. Right. So that's who. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. More wide-eyed. But he, Paul- he is like majority of the. Of no. The yeah, you're definitely right on that. And there's they one where it. when uh, the uh, Alfred's opening up the package. Maybe one could argue that that is Bruce imagining what that event would be, but um, I wouldn't want to yeah, go that far. We don't like, need to. Yeah, that's actually that's what I was thinking. That is when basically I saw the scene. Bruce's POV of the situation right there. Like, well, it's not. That's something that Bruce well, understands literally. to have happened. I guess that's what I'm saying. You could have it. But yeah, yeah. Contextualize as what he what is saying. thinking about, but I mean, I don't think that's what we're supposed to think at that Seems point. Seems like it really happened. Yeah. Yeah. To apt and of course, there's the main... Arkham Asylum scene at the end. That's definitely no. Nope, Bruce was in there in a little corner doing a peek. <laughs> <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Goodbye. Stop talking. Character of the film is the Riddler, and herein lies the main problem. Okay. The film. The biggest problem. Wait, shouldn't it say the bad now? Where is the bad? Yeah. Well, well, no, I was asking for no, those we're title cards the good earlier. Section. We didn't get we're them. Still we're in the good still section. the good section. The, film, good section. the film hates Batman. What? Okay, oh, right. so okay. you're gonna have to justify this. Oh, Wait, what, what was that? Interesting. The film hates Batman. Right. The film hates. Okay. Oh, right. I really don't agree. Anti-Batman really bigotry. Agree. Well, 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 I don't know what he means. Maybe it's coming Mammals up should now. stay on the ground. Apparently, God intended them to be. You never know when this is gonna happen, <laughs> but apparently, we've got people who are surprised that we're pausing so much. Uh, 
Uh, oh hi, welcome have we got, to Keith. Have we got Every some frame fans, of pause. Hero fans dropping in? Like... We've got people who've not seen the show before who are here to see what what the big hubbub is with me and, and us and, and and Ben. It's like it's just so this show we just watch videos very casually. We've got no issues with anybody necessarily in terms of their background. As as Hitler. people, we're just pausing the fuck out of everyone we watch. Don't worry, not because we just yeah, hate we'd... Shapiro and want to rip into. Yeah, him. We, we, we're just doing we do it the way everyone. we always do it. Yeah, we, believe we do this with everybody. Here. Our show is called Every Frame a Pause. It's in this there. This is what we do. You see it this on the screen. Sh- this the is our stick. See it right there. Yeah. It's in the, I made sure that that would be on screen because you can see it. Every frame of pause, all right? We'll be pausing a whole bunch. When you say, please let Ben talk, we will eventually let him talk. Yeah. Ben talk! Also, he, he has his entire channel where he talks and he doesn't sh- shut the fuck up. So he's going to be, he's, he's fine over there. He, he can talk as much as he likes. And uh, to anyone said, like uh, Dr. Uzi here, um, so pausing too much loses context, though. You know, maybe that's totally right. And if we ever do that, then I'm sure you'll be the first to let us know. Yeah, just let us know what we missed. Yeah, Yeah, just uh, yeah, give us a holler. I genuinely feel like our hyper pausing has actually helped us discover the editing errors there earlier in the video, where I think if you're watching it straight, you may have missed it because we heard it so many times. I think Mac Jack Mr. Sitch has the best opinion on the pausing. Oh yes, what is that? Um, that's you know. gay. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think pausing's a little gay, yeah. Yeah, nice to throw a little gay in there, sprinkle it in. Yeah. Oh. But all right. Um. Gay. All right, here we go. I was this film say, hates Batman. I'm if you heard curious. that in isolation, um, I'm sure I, I'd imagine all of us would disagree with it. Um. But I, hey. Well, like he tweeted it in isolation. Well, that's the thing. I, uh, it's time to hear the reasoning, I suppose. Here we go. So I'm going to have my mind yes. changed. Mm-hmm. Actual Batman Magic. character. Hates the Batman character. And this drives me up an absolute wall. The right. biggest problem with the film is not the wokeness. Yes, not there's just a multi- wall. An absolute what? wall. An absolute <laughs> wall. <laughs> Can I... Not one of those shitty sort of walls. Can we just... he's, he's doing the, like, okay, it's not even the woke stuff. I'm talking about Batman. <laughs> like, it's just, he wants to make sure everyone understands. This ain't about woke stuff, okay? okay? I'm being very specific. This okay, is about ben. that okay. one line or the, yeah. fe- or the race of some of the characters. No, this is about the film. You know, we're talking about the film today. Yeah, he's, what? He's wow. to make sure that. I think he, he's on a, on a level of trying to be like, I need you to hear me out because it's not about those things. It's about. Batman. You think he's what? He you, has... you think he's really trying to appeal to like other demographics besides the one who? No, like, I'm just... saying like I, he he's very passionate about this. I think to the point where he's like, my own fans, you must listen. This is not about the woke shit. This is about yeah, Batman. I think he's oh, I he's see. separating himself from his politics when he says this, which I don't know if he thinks that gives him more credibility. If it does, that would be interesting. But uh, just I guess it's for clarification's sake. I'm fine He's with He's saying it. this is not a politically motivated opinion. As yeah. a political commentator, yeah. this is not a politically Dude, motivated opinion. This is anything, a film opinion. This is a nerd opinion, really. Like, oh, and that's yeah. fine. That's true. Like, I know. No, it's not. The movie is, I've never seen Banish. someone wear that hat who isn't a nerd. Uh, uh, Jacob Kane? What you bring He's kind of nerdish. He's a little nerdish. The, is he, is he, he just sits in his office and drinks all day. Is that a nerd thing to do? He's not even playing Elden Ring. We, to be fair, a presence, lot of nerds though. sit in their office all day and drink these days, especially. <laughs> the problem with the film is not the wokeness. Yes, there's some woke touches. You have Catwoman, who is a woman of color, who is, of course, good. <laughs> Catwoman's <you're- laughs> a woman. Oh, no. <laughs> the, the, uh, the thing about that, though, is she was, she was black in the Halle Berry water. She was, uh, Eartha Kitt always gets referenced, right? She was the one in the TV show with Adam West, I think, or at least one of the potential Catwomen. <laughs> And you could tell yeah. there was some work moments. Catwoman is a woman. Yeah, but... he he said in a non he started with a in a non woke way and then went to that. But theoretically, this means that if Halle Berry wore white face, Ben Shapiro wouldn't have this problem with this movie, right? Maybe. Or would he? Uh, uh, he'd have an extra problem. Yeah, I lack. I don't know. References oh, for whether or not who is a woman. Catwoman has ever been black in the comics, or whether uh, Commissioner Gordon has ever been black in the comics. I assume no for both of them. I, I don't know. Uh, I, as I've far as I know, yeah, and let's, there might be like a parallel universe where, like, um, you know, 
there's race swaps going on, but uh, as far as mainstream goes, it usually won't. Mm -hmm. It's where I saw someone post a comic panel where Catwoman was black, but I guess I don't know the context, so... Well, I, I, yeah, it could also be, like, a super new comic, which is hard to count sometimes, because obviously... Just well, yeah, like... I mean, the, pe the people working within this framework don't count that, right? You know, that's... And that's the, um, I guess, the... The, the the playing field that they're on. I suppose yeah. I should make, should make um, it clear. Selena Kyle. Like there could be another one, like another Catwoman that is black, but like Selena Kyle is normally white. Is uh, what I'm saying. Got interesting. Yeah, Mola Woman... didn't speak up to Ryan Kinnell on Friday Night Tights, but he's very vocal about someone when they can't talk back. So I didn't talk to Ryan about his video at all. Um. What he got in trouble for, from what I remember, or of what I've been told, I haven't, like, seen the whole video, is that he said too many white people were bad guys, except the main character and Alfred, and all the black people were good guys, and he just didn't, he felt that was motivated politically. Um, I'm trying to think of, like, splitting that into, how you split that into, like, a categorized, like, a, a reality, it's like, is that true? It's like, can you guys think of... Any of the white people I, who are good people. But that's not his comment I specifically. Like was a... was um his comment specifically? He says um, too many of the black people were good guys, and I didn't like that. And you have to infer oh, from no. what he means. Well, you have to inf well, you have to you have to steel man him to get any non garbage fucking read from that. Like, oh, mm. I I know. I think. Well, I know that's the thing. I know him say, enough to know. I know him enough to know that his point wouldn't be I don't like it when black people portrayed as nice people or some shit. Like, it's just... So Very poorly worded, yes. It would... Well, it, uh, uh, that's, what I, that's what I've heard as well, that the clip isn't fantastic on its own, but again, I just... It would be a surprise to me if, uh, if, if he meant something like that, that dramatically uh, 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 inappropriate, you could call it. But... Um, the thing is about like people complaining about the accuracy of races from comics to screen. I think that's fine if you wanna if that's a position you take and you apply it consistently. For example, like you would be as mad about a white blade, and I'm pretty sure they would be. And uh, that's fine with me. But um, it's not something that I get bothered by that much uh, at all, that really. Good, that'd be a good uh, like um like if I became a ninja, the white blade. That would be kind of <laughs> yeah. Be, you know, the white the samurai. White Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we could go on adventures well, together. Chat is battling over whether or not what Jay just said is wrong. They're all at each other's throats. Look what you what did, I, Jay. The... Let's. Uh, I could go and re-listen to the clip to get the exact quote, I guess. Let we're all. I we're all giving Ryan the. I'm pretty sure I gave him here. the exact quote. We're all, I think. We're like all I, said, giving I, the I don't believe he's racist at all. He may have said it, and I mean Ben could have phrased that better. You know, <laughs> like yeah, there's an understanding. So I'm, I mean, I'm not giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving him the I don't know him and I don't really care to look into it of the doubt. Um, but yeah, I'm not. I'm not declaring him to have meant a particular thing. Uh, as far as uh, Catwoman is concerned, uh, we seem to have. Uh, she seems to be a multi-ethnic character. We see many, even animated wise. I'm looking at pictures of her. There are, there are whites and browns everywhere. It's just a, it's like a big, big um, mocha <laughs> frappuccino. It's just, you know, it, it, it's all kind of just whatever you get is what you get. So I don't, I don't think it's a big issue at all. Um, yeah, well, uh, most people know that our, our position on adaptation, so like, it doesn't surprise me that this, this would be something that wouldn't bother us at all. I don't think anybody's brought it up that... Uh, she's not white for, for like our analysis sort of thing. I'm much more concerned with how she's characterized. And uh, yeah. I like her uh, in the Batman. I still prefer Michelle Fife as Catwoman. I actually rewatched some clips of hers. <laughs> she's white. She's <laughs> because she's white. <laughs> um, the I really. Oh uh, my goodness. I wouldn't mind. I would look forward to watching um, Batman Returns with 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 yeah, uh, you. Not long, seen that. That is a. Um, oh, it's quite it's a fucking fun. movie. It's. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I've back. rewatched it recently. It's an interesting one. <laughs> Very oh, interesting. In, while while we're on the topic, uh, to Tony Swan, who says in chat, "No cat woman is white." End of story. So, end of story. Commas are very important, you see. If because no cat woman is white is different than no cat woman is white. End of story.
right? Two completely different things. Commas are very important. True. Um, so give it another seat try. Belts. Let us know what you think. It, indeed, it takes three seconds, and it could save your life. Wear your seatbelt. <laughs> Wear your seatbelt. It, <laughs> saved, it saved Penguin Save. in this movie, so it could save you too. He's a big boy, right? Wear your seatbelts. Give a hoot and strap oh, a boot. You know, in case anybody's like curious, uh, we think it's hyper cringe that she said the comment about pe the bad guys being white. Um, that was yeah. That, was... that took us for, uh, that took us mm. out of the movie. That was out of nowhere. Yeah. We were just like, yeah. What the, fuck? the fuck was that? Very strange. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I guess moving right along to this film thinks Batman is the uh, villain. This this movie yep, hates yep. Batman. Found the exact Ryan Kennel court, by the way. Oh no. Um, oh, it is. He, he says that um, Jim Gordon is black, Catwoman is not white, and then the mayor is a black woman. Uh, it's very on the nose for current Hollywood. I didn't like that. That's the thing. The if you idea. if you know the context of all the things that he's, he typically looks at in terms of messaging or whatever, you you'd have a way better understanding of that. But that in isolation comes across as really sus. He's also doing the fucking Anita Sarkeesian thing of just, hey, this individual film has these demographics, so that's a problem. Whereas if you want to ever make a point about um, demographics in Hollywood, it doesn't serve you looking at individual films. You want to, um, you want to look at trends, and, uh, looking at any individual yeah. film to try and make a point about demographics is I fucking think useless would, and stupid. You'd probably argue it is part of a trend, right? Well, he, he almost certainly would, but then to every time a film comes out that has like, you know, whatever race of whatever characters or whatever genders or whatever, right, to just be like, this character has, you know, this character is this race, bad, because it conforms to the trend. That's the issue, because no, if you, uh, let's, let's just for the moment accept his framework that that's happening in Hollywood, that it's all politically motivated, uh, black people everywhere, um, Right, let's let's accept that fully. Let's let's un, let's say that's uncontroversial right now. Um, then even then, um, what you've got is you can't then set up a sense where every time someone of that demographic appears in a film, that you declare that that isn't something you like, or even you know multiple people um, in in one film, um, because ultimately that is simply you know that's just them being them existing. Um, it's it's the trend you don't like and not the individual instances. Because I, I suppose I suppose to make the point clear, in a vacuum, uh, I uh, I don't think that he would complain about this. If if this was like the first ever film um, to, to 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 race swap characters, I don't think he would complain about it. Certainly not in the same way. Well, yeah, so from what I am aware of, they, they would chill with a lot of the examples that you could bring up from, like, earlier decades because of the fact that there wasn't a push for it. Um, they see a push, and then they'll use these examples to prove that point, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, I think it's only ever valid to bring up the examples as part of a wider point rather than just making the point individually about every film that does it. See, I, well, I, I guess, is he talking talk about... about the movie. Yeah, yeah, we, we can I talk, about, talk the about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Very let's well. talk about the movie. The actual Batman character hates the Batman character. And this drives me up an absolute wall. The biggest problem with the film is not the wokeness. Yes, there's some woke touches. You have Catwoman, who is a woman of color, who is, of course, good. <laughs> and you have the black female mayor, who is good. And you have the black <laughs> Jim Gordon, who, who is good. Oh, my Every God. Like, that's what I mean. I think you need to include your uh, your context for what this is referring to exactly. Because yeah, you, you guys understand in chat, context. right? Like this in isolation will make someone conclude something uh, very easily. Absolutely, yeah. Something mm -hmm. else, me. I mean. Well, I th I feel like this has to be like a pretty clear example of when you're communicating something and you think that everybody is like knows exactly what you mean. They're already like, that they're in, yeah. they're in your circles. They're on your side, I guess, and like that they know exactly like what you're trying to say. But of course, I mean, plenty of people don't, right? So like, if you look at are, this, could is it possible that he doesn't care about people who don't know what he's trying to say and he's just trying to preach to a choir here? 
Like um, he's not trying to reach a new audience. Maybe, for this. but I'm not sure. Maybe, but I mean, like, I it just it it looks bad. Like, you know? maybe he's <laughs> just so maybe he's like, just so used to aid... it that he doesn't well, I, even I just think, think about it's, its presentation. If, if there were, people. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's just like if you're gonna talk about it, you might want to like put in all of your additional because <laughs> otherwise it's just like because we do this know. with that woman when we see a white male that's introduced we're like instantly he's gonna die or be a villain and it's just it always happens <laughs> it always happens yeah the white character so is scary, apparently man. bad like all of them fine whatever i don't really care about that that's fine oh hey there you go he doesn't well, even care. Yeah, you care a little you care oh, okay. a little bit <laughs> i think we're well, gonna bring it up I think what the audience is going to care. But I think they wanted him to acknowledge it. But I, uh, I think what this is, is he cares so much more about the, the issue he takes with the film, which is that it's angry at Batman. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but let's see his uh, yeah, justification. See. Yeah, I'm curious. You have Catwoman say stuff about white privileged elites, and and she makes a suggestion that Bruce Wayne is a child when his parents were killed. He doesn't really have a right to be super upset about that because, of course, he was very, very rich. That that doesn't kind of rings hollow. You know, a lot of these lines seem like throwaways for for. Wait, remind me of that one again. Wait, I'm. I, yeah, is that what I'm, she said? Yeah, I I don't recall her saying he doesn't have a right she, to be upset. His parents. So she, I remember she that there was a line when she. Right? I don't think he's talking about that line. I think it's a part where um she makes the observation that he must be rich, like he must be because of the way that he his perspective oh, on uh, I, I see. On, like so what she does. You, yeah, but I don't believe that that is because I mean she doesn't know. Oh man, that echo. Um, she doesn't know that Bruce is. She doesn't know that Batman's Bruce. So, sure. I'm not she sure what he know. means here. I no, don't. Didn't, either. didn't, didn't I she like say to know what that line he's referring to? Didn't, didn't she say that that uh, he's not like I don't know a real orphan like they are because he was, was looking down Riddler? on the city from his apartment and not. Wasn't that Riddler that said that though? Was it? Was Riddler it? said that Riddler, about Riddler. Like, yeah, that's oh. It. Am I mixing those two up? Not, it could be, yeah. Yeah, because she doesn't know that he's Bruce Wayne, as has been said. So I don't know how why what the link is to. Well, it has she to be talking about the Riddler, then, right? Yeah, but she she was she she talked about Bruce Wayne without knowing that he's Batman. She was just a general talking about Bruce Wayne, I think. Yeah, I just think um, the part about um, Bruce Wayne, you know, not being, you know, hashtag not a true orphan um, was yeah. um, from from Riddler. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so you might be right. Riddler. I might mix those up. You're right. The line, you must have grown up rich. No, that that's something she said, but she doesn't say like she's not like she says she says you must have grown up rich, not you must have grown up rich. How dare you be sad? Your parents are dead. <laughs> he has to be talking about the Riddler then, because like the Riddler was talking. Did he specifically say he was talking about Catwoman? Well, pull it back. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think she pulls a cosmo. Oh, uh, we're having some smooth blames in the chat again. They didn't even watch the movie and critiquing the critic. Fuck off. I watched it I... for a second time last night, I'll have Fuck you off. know. I was, I was asking for clarification of if she yeah. said it. I don't quite remember. She, like, I don't remember her definitely not saying it. I was just what I would ask. <laughs> you, you haven't memorized every line? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck off. Jesus. Suggestion that Bruce oh Wayne God. is a child when his parents were killed? He doesn't really have a right to be super upset about that because of course he was very, very rich. That that doesn't kind of rings hollow. You know, a lot of these lines seem like throwaways for, for film so lefty. He definitely Twitter. attributed that to Selena then. I he's think a... he's he must I think he's confusing details or maybe I, I could just actually can't... understand he's... it. Um if he's taken the Riddler line of like you you didn't have the true orphan life because you grew up super rich, and he's melded that into Catwoman's like you are you must have grown up rich to Batman. They had different POVs though about. Oh, different totally. Topics. That's yeah. the thing. That's why it's like trying to. F he says it says it rings hollow. Um, I don't think I disagree with him. That part in particular, the I've, I always find it hyper cringe to be like, if you're a rich person, <laughs> then your parents dying is pretty chill. <laughs> like what? Well. I don't know about that. I don't think it's hollow in terms of um, exploring Riddler's character and beliefs. True, I agree with that. I I I, I believe it oh, from yeah. the Riddler as a character, but I I, guess, yeah, it's, it wouldn't be like a valid criticism or anything, I guess. Yeah, I guess I should clarify that um, it as a point to be taken seriously as like an actual reality is something I I find rings hollow. But it, it telling you their perspective as a character, yeah, I'm fine with that. You know, in essence, in essence. I mean, maybe there's stuff to be taken from it. In essence, um, Riddler is jealous that 
Bruce was getting all this sympathy because his parents were dead when his situation was significantly worse and he wasn't getting any sympathy at all. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there could be criticism of like people's priorities in there, I suppose, but um, uh, of like, you know, I, I well, guess I the point would be that people should have been taking more care of the even less fortunate, right? Just because someone has had one horrific event doesn't mean they need all of the care and attention because ultimately Bruce did have a support network around him and would have been is was eventually going to you know not not get better from the like his parents were going to come back, back to life but he was ultimately going to turn out much better than a lot of more people who needed a lot more help he didn't need any more help than he already had i guess that's the way to put it um i was just going to give a gap for anyone else to add anything but I, i'm more than happy to carry on if everyone is. yeah carry on mm, no right. yeah. it's cool. It's cool but the main theme is not a throwaway the main theme is what matters here. The film Stop despises playing. Batman. So every bat oh, That is so interesting funny. when yeah, you're talking let's go, about let's hear it. here. It's interesting as well to think about uh, despises Batman. It's just like, I, I mean, it's it, uh, without having him explain yet, but I probably agree that it's critical of elements of Batman. That's probably the furthest I'll go, I guess. Um, I think that's fair, considering that well, Batman... <laughs> changes in a reasonable way and the film's like yeah that's a good thing to do i would also think it's fair to be critical of batman um yeah it's fine it's to like, be critical of batman he's a he is a vigilante yeah there's you know well, there's, yeah. there's a discussion I mean, to be had there what sure. are we what are we what are we saying about the idea of arcs if not like if we're not going to have any part of the story where like the hero is flawed to some extent well, yeah, because I guess we'll see what one... kind of point he wants to make. But I mean, is it does it mean that you hate the character that like you present it as he's not his arc is incomplete and he's in a bad place, and then his arc is completely changes and he's in a better place? I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't say that the first Iron Man movie hates Iron Man. Well, you, yeah, you'd have to argue exactly. Civil War hates Iron Man or something like that. You wouldn't argue something. the first one hates Iron Man. Well, I I wouldn't. No, I mean, by the uh, metric we're having presented, because the first one isn't... You you might be able to argue it's critical of Tony Stark, like, it, it hates Tony Stark because he, you know, he goes on... Because I'm assuming that's what your point you were making there, Fringy, right? Like, um, d if you go from X to Y in any shape, way, shape, or form with an arc, then are you thus a film that hates X? And, like, exactly. I suppose what you does could it mean be... for a story to hate its character? Yeah, yeah like, well, if you go from, you know, the worst kind of human in every single trait, and by the end of the film you're the best kind, it's like, does this movie hate... Worst people, and it's like maybe. Yeah. Um, I guess it would just be because I don't think that context. a new hope. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that the original trilogy hates Luke Skywalker living as a moisture. No. Farmer. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't. I yeah, I. Farmer. You'd have to really work hard to convince me that this film hates Batman he at can. the beginning of the movie. But maybe he can, because I would say that right now that the film is just saying it's not. It, it is not directing his efforts efficiently, if anything, because. But I guess we'll find out. Uh, well, Batman iteration it, has to... Right? Because I think what, what the film's trying to say is it's just trying to say, you know, there's a good way to be Batman and there's a not so good way uh, to, wow. to, be, to be Batman. But I wouldn't say that's hating Batman. I'd say it's just so, about focusing where that Batman energy goes. It might be worthwhile before we proceed to lay out... Well, I say we. I think that, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure Meme and I have the same opinion on this. The film is about how batman ought to operate it's questioning yeah. the way like what 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 do you seek to achieve as batman and how should you best go about it that's what the film is about so to some extent it is going to be critical of his motives or the way that he operates but i don't it... see that as meaning that it hates batman at least well i mean i certainly don't feel like the film hates batman but i, I guess yeah, we'll have to see have... what his arguments are the movie would need to essentially take the stance that the world is worse off for Batman instead of Batman could be doing better, which I don't think this movie is saying. Well, there is a part where Bruce says that he he starts to wonder if he's actually making a positive impact. And of course, the Riddler's existence is like a key example of, oh, this isn't working. Yeah, but like, I don't see that as a condemnation, right? This isn't working, therefore give up. Like, I would there, argue... there should be no Batman at all. Yeah, because I, I think that might be part of my, my most interested and favorite part of the film is like that opening is like I've successfully struck fear into all these. And then I think the rest of the film is like, was that good? 
Yeah, exactly. Is it working? I mean, even it's like crime is up, shit's going wrong. And then, of course, when you find out that the Riddler was inspired by you, it's like, hmm. Yeah, having uh -oh. unforeseen circumstances like arise as a result is going to make us think, like, wait, oh, okay, hmm. Yeah. I am vengeance. You're like, damn. I don't see how that yeah. means we hate Batman in this vengeance. film, you know? That it's. He's not. It, he is Batman. He is dressed up as Batman. He's in the suit. People call him the Batman. But in terms of like becoming the Batman that we broadly understand to Batman to be, that's a bad sentence. You know, <laughs> he's not there yet. He's he's getting there. I don't see that as dis despising Batman. But hey, let's see what his arguments are. Yeah. I'm, mm. Now I'm fully excited. Has to explain mm -hmm. why a man who is a billionaire would dress up like a bat and go around beating up criminals. It's not answered, and the director doesn't know. Wait, what? Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Sorry, can Wait, we hear that what? again? I, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah I'm gonna I need to back. hear that again. The theme is not a throwaway. The main theme is what matters here. The film despises Batman. So every Batman iteration has to explain why a man who is a billionaire would dress up like a bat and go around beating up criminals. It's not answered. And the director doesn't know. No, it, it is answered. It's it is vengeance. Answered. It's, it's pretty much like, <laughs> what? that's basically it. It's vengeance. It's, it's answered in one word, vengeance. I, 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 I I'm vengeance. The whole scene with Alfred and everything. I was going to say, I feel like the film definitely covered this. this. Yeah. I am... Um, I can it, see someone saying, like, they didn't cover this because they assume you know, and that's why we're doing year two and not year one. And I'd be like, oh, well, the film did definitely go over it uh, to make sure we had that. It wasn't without it. Um, as yeah, for whether or not I that mean, is how Batman... That's, that that should be the reason that Bruce becomes that's Batman. That's what the film is about. I, I feel like, yeah, the film is looking at that. Um, yeah. And I've seen clips and, and excerpts from comics. This is definitely in there. This isn't <laughs> made up. And and I believe High Top has said this is the most accurate version of Batman he's ever seen. So, I mean, <laughs> whatever that, that means. That is an interesting thought. Um, I don't I'm know. not yeah. sure that it's that simple, though, when we're talking about a character with so much history. No, I, of no, course. No, it's I, not simple at all. There's no one accurate version yeah, of Yeah, he Batman. might clarify, you know, Hytop would be like, no, accurate to this run. And I'd be like, right, right, okay. Right. Your favorite or the one that you like the most or something I like certainly that. have no fucking clue. I, I, don't, I wouldn't even know how to yeah. categorize them. Like, Well, I mean... If you, if you were to say accurate to all Batman or <laughs> the infinitely more wank accurate to the spirit of the character... Then wow. he's being no, done. The, soul of the, the spirit character. of the character can be whatever you want it to be, really. Yeah. I, I guess it's just, I would say that it's kind of like a mix in certain senses. It's incredibly faithful, but in other ways, like the fact that the Bruce Wayne personality has basically non existent. It's like, well, that's usually a thing that you see that it really Isn't... plays up the billionaire playboy persona. Uh, usually it's a front, obviously, but, but that's like not here at all. So. But but I mean I think that's a that's that's like deliberate on the part of the writers. Uh, someone asked why did I bring that up at all then? So Ben said that um, he did, like like the uh, Matt Reeves doesn't even know why Batman uh, why Bruce became Batman. So I assume he's appealing to something of a source like uh, as opposed to because like these are all adaptations he's referring to and it's the adaptation's job to reflect the reason the reason not like you can choose your own. And he said, like, Matt Reeves doesn't know what it is. And it's like, so it's, it is a reason. I'm assuming it's from the comics, and that's why I'm referencing it. High Top has thought that um, uh, a lot of Batman aren't good enough. Like, like the films themselves are pretty cool. I think he, he says that Batman 89 is, like, a disaster as an adaptation of Batman, which, by the way, I think a couple people in chat will probably agree with. I know that's a relatively common sentiment. I wouldn't know. Um, I, I don't know if it. Batman Returns is... Better or worse in terms of that, I have no idea. It's just I'm just saying that uh, it's interesting that someone who's obsessed with comic accuracy, quote unquote, from High Top said that the Batman uh, is the most accurate that he's seen. Apparently, it's a disaster. Huh. No way. So disaster as an adaptation. That's what I've been told, and and I have seen clips where Tim Burton's like, I don't fucking, I don't even comics. What? I don't, I don't do that. You know, like, oh no. I'd say that both that? the Burton films are pretty disastrous adaptation wise. Like they're really cool to look at, and I think they have had a, a big influence. But like as far as um like the more substantial details go, they tend to get. Um, uh, do I say dare say almost everything wrong? But um. <laughs> I, I don't oh, know if boy. I want to completely go that far. Um, I, I would have to like, because that's like, there's so much source material to go through that I don't want to commit to everything. But I would say 
there was not a lot right adaptationally when I uh, rewatched it recently. Because people are saying like, he kills the fuck out of a lot of people in those movies. That's true. Oh, welcome to Batman movies. I was going to say, it's mm. pretty much in all okay. the Batman movies. Yeah. Except this. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> the trend uh, continues. The trend continues, yeah. And the writer doesn't know. And this is the problem. So in the Nolan films, to take mm -hmm. the contrast, the question as to why Batman does this is because if Batman does not actually intimidate the criminal underworld Hello? because the city is so... Huh? Wait, is yours not working? My, 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 my watch no. together isn't working. Let me, let me oh, re... Yeah, Damn it, re metal. Going. Metal ruined everything. You have failed us. He finally okay. talks. I fail every time. Oh, hey, up. I've been there. I think that's the... That's the... The Nolan Batman Wayne Manor, right? The Bat Wayne. Well, you've been there, so you can tell us, right? Yeah. I have, uh, I'm, well, rejoined. I've been there once, about a year ago. So oh, so, it's, sure. oh, so you can't remember anything about it? Well, it looked so vague. I'll tell you something, Rags. It looked vaguely like that. Ooh. Um, was was he on the stairs like that? Just as you yeah, he's by? still there. He's, he's still there today. That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. Somebody help me, please. I want to leave. Ben Shapiro. He, oh, there it's too. like it's like Bly Manor. He can't leave. <laughs> Oh, nice. Imagine I'm imagine if you were haunted by the ghost of Ben Shapiro. <laughs> That'd be strange. You just, I you just, just hear like just echoes of his voice the coming through the wall. It would be the least spooky voice to hear through the, the Every wall time he, of like a building. you do something he'd done the proof of. Eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Um, it's rolling back a bit. Doesn't know. And the writer doesn't know. All right, we this good. is the problem. So in the Nolan films, to take the contrast, the question as to why Batman does this is because if Batman does not actually intimidate the criminal underworld because the city is so corrupt, no one else will do it and money isn't going to solve the problem. And so he needs to create a theatrical kind of fear in order to dissuade the criminal underworld from participating. And then as it turns out, he also has to save the city itself and demonstrate his faith in the city by becoming a symbol. Here, you don't really know why Batman is doing what he's doing. Right. How am I saying that? It's very clear. Maybe, I don't maybe know why. you don't yeah. know, Ben. Yeah, because because well, fucking well, so wait. Well, it's it's funny well, how he lays it out. In the Nolan films, he becomes a symbol of fear to deter criminals. It's like, yeah. So he try he tries that in this film. It doesn't work. That's the point. It yeah. didn't work. It had ad it. In fact, it actually motivated some people to which uh, do thing to to commit crimes like to be like him. Is that his point that you're not supposed to do it that way? But he he he's saying that I like that the, was something the film, for the Batman saying, since always. What well, the, like yeah, to scare the people? idea that no like the idea that what he does inspires criminals to be like his opposite in a sense. Um. Well, I guess it's it's complicated. Um. It's like that vision quote in Civil War that our strength invites challenge. It's like I think there's a difference between that and like people being directly inspired to like be like you, but they're actually the bad yeah. guys. That's like yeah, because they're just we know so. Yeah. As opposed to they rise to confront you, but it's certainly an some... element, right? That like that that the Joker and I mean it's it's one of the things that's often talked about with the no kill rule, right? It's like, hmm, what good does it do to just keep locking them up if they're going to break out of jail again? But then it's like, well, is that Batman's responsibility or is that the state's responsibility? Like, what is Batman's role in Gotham? That's often explored. This is just one look at it. Yeah, I would say this is far more nuanced than the Nolan films um, as far as like exploring like Batman's modus operandi and the consequences of that and him having to learn um, and mature as, as a Batman while uh, the Nolan films, um, uh, a lot of it was was just focusing on, on the fear element and uh, there was a little bit of uh, focusing on consequences in The Dark Knight, but I don't think it goes anywhere near as close as um, what this film does um, from... Uh, from at least from where I'm standing, having watched well, yeah, them. Yeah, I think recently. in the Dark Knight, he gets to the point of saying he should probably hang up the Batman to stop the Joker from using that as a, like an excuse to kill people. Like I'll keep killing people who don't reveal who you are. Like Batman at that point is being used as a almost like a th you know like there's a there's a connection there with this film and that film. But I agree that yeah. like this film, this film is doing like the you know it's pretty clear at the end, right? The 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 it's almost one of the biggest payoffs in a sense. The the girl who grabs him and. Uh, He's like shocked because he doesn't, or at least it comes across a little bit like that, that he's not used to this. He doesn't know what it means to be like a, a person that is encouraging and inspiring people. 
It's like, wait, yeah. could, that, could that be part of, you know, your operation? And I assume that's what we're going to be exploring in the second film. Well, I hope so. I'm hoping we get, like, Robin and stuff, and we see... Because um, because the idea is that he has been... He has inspired people in this film, but only criminals, which is the exact opposite that he's wanted, and he realizes that he needs to put more effort into inspiring the goodness in people and not just the people who want to imitate his crazy, insane tactics um, fear-wise. So I think it's quite a beautiful message in his own way. I think the comparison to The Long Halloween is actually rather pertinent here because I was so I was just reading it last night, and there's a part where Gordon asks Batman if he thinks that his influence over Gotham invites you know, crazy people to come challenge him. You know, the, what we've just been talking about. Gordon asks Batman if he thinks that's the case. And in The Long Halloween, Batman kind of flatly denies it. Or at least that's what he says to Gordon. It's not really clear what he believes, but he kind of denies that. He's like, no, it's, you know, he kind of denies responsibility for it. So I think I think it's interesting that if he's talking about The Long Halloween as what Ben, that is, if he's talking about The Long Halloween as like, his definitive Batman comic adaptation. And in that, they don't try to blame or associate um, like the the escalation by the villains on Batman's presence or his his tactics himself. But in this movie, they do. So I think he probably doesn't like that. I think that might be where this is coming from. And there's a lot of talk of what he is as a symbol in this film. It's... Uh... It's it's not it's definitely not something that's just not present. It's just that they seem to have a different idea in this film compared to Nolan's, and uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out if Ben recognizes that or if he does. Like if he thinks it's not there, or if he thinks it is there, but it's not right. It is difficult to tell. I hope I hope he will clarify, and I suppose one want to find out itself Same here, and yeah. demonstrate his faith in the city by becoming a symbol. Here, you don't really know why Batman is doing what he's doing. It's never explained. He's very wealthy. He doesn't apparently do anything with his wealth. He doesn't try to give charity. He doesn't. Try, I mean, exactly. So that's addressed is in the movie. That is that is, that is, yeah, the movie. That is exactly the and movie addressed. Yeah, you know that, that because it's addressed in the movie. Yes, and, that's how you know. That's the only reference to. I'm it more in the specifically movie. talking about him as a character. How he's addressing, like, like Alfred's, like, you should be doing the stuff Ben just said, and then Batman is like, I am. That's what I'm doing. Like, without realizing necessarily that there's more you can do with the Bruce side of your personality than just Batman, but that's how he sees it in this film, is that Batman is all of my work to make things better. Um, if you don't like that, you know, I, I, there's not much you, I can do with it, because this, this film just is... Just tell me why it's bad. Yeah, yeah you, you need to then yeah. arrive at a criticism... Well, I think what, what, he's, what he's trying to say from Steel Manning here is that in the Nolan movies and in the comics that he likes, Batman does use his money to try and help the city, but it doesn't work. So he becomes the Batman because nothing else seems to work. But in this one, it's, it's kind he of the doesn't other way around. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. give a bunch of money to charitable causes in the movie at all. And um, it, I obviously the movie does explain why he becomes Batman, but I think maybe. The the most charitable thing I could say about Ben's take here is that he thinks it's odd that he hasn't tried all these other means of helping the city first. You know what I mean? Um. Yeah, I think that the movie's just trying to tell us that he's um he's like incredibly narrow minded, and that this is the film that's breaking him out of that as a character. That he thinks that like Batman is going to be the best tool to do this with, and yeah. uh, this is a film where he realizes, holy fuck, I was very wrong about that. You know, yes, it's the story of Batman growing up while still having the maturity to know that he doesn't have to give up Batman entirely. He just needs to change what Batman is. And I think the implication is also, because they brought it up so many times, that he needs to, you know, Bruce Wayne, to quote Alfred, Bruce Wayne needs to make more appearances. Um, you know, you know, it was a very big deal when he was putting the suit on and he was just like, oh, is Bruce Wayne actually going to make an appearance this time? Which to me, uh, when you combine it with a lot of the other references earlier in the film with um, him talking about how you know his his parents' company is being run to the ground because he's not giving it any attention. Um, you know, it's very clear that Bruce Wayne in the, in the film is being considered incredibly important, and a, a lot of the idea is that he needs to stop neglecting that side and balance it with his um, role as Batman. Um, 
I, I, I don't know if that's just not clear to him or if, if he's taking issue with how that's done. But I don't know. For me, it was pretty clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I think the film relies on it being clear. I don't see how the film works without that understanding being conveyed to the audience. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know how you miss it. I'm trying to remember the um, in Batman Begins when he comes back from his big old like pilgrimage slash adventure. Does he engage Bruce Wayne stuff or Batman stuff first? Um, well, I think his main goal is to engage with Batman stuff um, first. He becomes he, he he just makes he makes his presence known at like the stock when when the company is going public um, at the beginning, but. Yeah. Um, he starts slipping into the Bruce Wayne stuff gradually after he's come back, and I think Alfred stirs it on a little bit, saying that you know he's got to he's got to he's got to keep up appearances, otherwise people are going to be wondering where Bruce Wayne is yeah, spending so, his nights. So to clarify, what I mean is, does he engage in big ph philanthropy first, or does he do like get, go on his first crime fight and spree first? He definitely goes on the crime fighting spree first unless i'm missing something um i think you're right you're, yeah yeah where's the trevor actually made a plot point he's a bad man he's white he's, he's a bad white man who doesn't, doesn't, who doesn't actually give bad. charity he's a Wait, bad what? man because he's white he's say a he's bad, bad. White. there is there's just back i'm confused there's yeah, just he be characters being good. critical so, of him not using the, his money which i think is yeah the, Part yeah, of the true. reason why the white privileged comment comes out of left field is because there's really nothing else in the film that, like, like that. yeah, yeah. To the conclusion it's out of nowhere. Is, and, yep, it's just like so, there he is. Yeah, like I, I feel like the film really doesn't care at all that like Bruce is white. Like it's not, it doesn't matter. Like that's not important. It's much more about like wealth than it is about. I didn't even. Oh yeah, get oh. the impression that Catwoman <laughs> cared about it that much until she said no, it. I was I like, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Catwoman yeah. doesn't seem and to care in any like, other scene. Yeah, or at least if she has any care about like racial relations There's or whatever, nobody, right? Nobody, nobody it's ne it's not explored at all. Like it's it's very much like power oh, I think, dynamics I think and that line well, yeah, is yeah, something that Ben was right well, about. Yeah. Um, I think that ben, when ben Ben says that like there are a couple of lines scattered in there to get like lefty Twitter talking, I think he was broadly right, except they're also there to get like right wing Twitter talking as well, because the idea of lines like that is to create discourse so that the film is more talked about and uh, sells more tickets. Ooh. I think that's generally the idea of that, right? Yeah, my issue is that I could just see the studio exec putting their hand up her ass to get her to say that line. It yeah. was just very in your face. Honestly, man, I feel like everyone can agree on that. Even if the people yeah. Yeah. like want to agree with, like, like, listen, strictly talking about characters, just like seems to come out of fucking nowhere. Wealthy, he doesn't apparently do anything with his wealth. He doesn't try to give charity. He doesn't. Try, I mean, this actually made a plot point. He's a bad man. I mean, he's white. He's, he's, he's a bad white man who doesn't who bad. doesn't actually give charity. He's not involved. No. I think, I'm pretty sure he's involved in doing stuff with his wealth, Ben. I think it's fair for her to be critical um, of him for that, for her character. That's totally fine. Because, yeah. well, like, mm -hmm. yeah, the thing that the thing that he is doing with his wealth, objectively, is being Batman. Like, that's yeah. got to cost some fucking money, right? Which is his point. Well, but... That's what he believes to be a response to the idea that he's not doing enough in relation to the Wayne legacy. He's like, this is what it is. This is what I'm doing with my time, effort, and money, for sure. All that Batman gear doesn't cost nothing. Yeah, yeah like, because imagine, right, like, you've got some... Imagine you've got some fucking volunteer relief worker who's invested a huge amount of his own personal money into buying all this equipment, and what he go does is he goes and, like, goes into, like, fucking war-torn areas and rescues injured children, like, and that's what he spends every day of his life doing. And someone goes up to him and goes, well, he could be donating, donating more money to charity. That guy would be like, you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm one of... <laughs> mm. like, do, you, do you not see how fucking altruistic I'm being here? I'm like a saint. And you're like, oh, but donate more of your money to charity. Okay. <laughs> I like the idea off. of that relief work. Being like, hey, I'm a saint. Okay. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> fuck you. Um... Like he, he, so, Ben is saying, unless I'm, I, I misheard him twice. He, he is saying that the film is saying that Bruce is a bad man. Well, I'm, I didn't get that vibe at all. I got the vibe that he's a, he's a good man who has taken a very flawed methodology to the good he's trying to do. Um, His priorities so, are sure, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't know where he's getting the whole he is well, bad angle from. As people are mentioning, you've got to take into consideration POV. 
None of these people know yes. he's Batman. They just know no. he's sitting on a lot of money and he doesn't do yeah. anything. And he's also it's thinking about how last time the Waynes gave money away, everything went to shit. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Whole, yeah. the whole thing. It was so last time they gave a billion things, dollars yeah. away, everyone was like, oh, I want a cut of that. And everyone just, uh, did, did all the stuff. Does he know that at that point in the film? He doesn't know that yet. That's a, but, that comes in later, yeah. yeah. Which, by the way, you could argue is the film's way of saying sometimes throwing money at a problem isn't the solution. You know, it depends mm -hmm. on how, how you want to read everything. And he's not playing that as a role. Again, this is part of the problem, is that Bruce Wayne and Batman are the same character. So if you, I, I keep using the Nolan comparison as the, because same it is the gold person. standard for all superhero movies, not just Batman movies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just put a cap of face on screen, but I can't. Mm. I don't know about that <laughs> listen to that again? Mm. We can <laughs> listen to that again if you would like to, Jay. Here we go. I would like to. Bad man, because he's white. <laughs> he's a bad white man who doesn't, who doesn't actually give charity. He's not involved. And he's not playing that as a role. Again, this is part of the problem, is that Bruce Wayne and Batman are the same character. So if you, I, I keep using the Nolan comparison as the, because it is the gold standard for all superhero mm. movies, not just Batman. That is a Ben Shapiro take. That, that is his not perspective. Not that there's anything wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong with that. Of course. <laughs> that is nothing, opinion. <laughs> nothing wrong People with that. People are entitled yeah. to the way Absolutely. they think. Absolutely. Yes. What, what incredible films those are. Yeah, and, and he believes that they are the gold standard for all superhero movies. That is he certainly does seem an to think interesting that. perspective does. to have. Fair enough, Ben. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, you know. Mm. I do want to just mm. take a brief detour, which I'm sure is going to annoy <laughs> a lot of people in chat, to acknowledge <laughs> the people in chat who were going to specifically be annoyed by this detour. Who, by what detour? I, I don't oh, no. know where this is coming from, but it's fucking hilarious. People who keep saying that I've, like, raided this entire EFAP with my hate for Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> Wait, what? There's comments that they're like, this isn't this isn't a EFAP anymore, this is just the J hate Ben Shapiro street. <laughs> so first off, what a horrific mouthful that is. I you don't even never call it that. <laughs> <laughs> I, f I feel like I would I would know. I, I feel like I would pick it up if I felt you were just being mean to him as opposed to his points. I feel like I feel like I would know this. Hate like, speech one of the things that they brought up, like loads of people brought up the comment. <laughs> Uh, like, there was loads of stuff in chat about when I made fun of his voice for not being intimidating as a haunting <laughs> voice. Oh, like, that's everyone, though. Man, what a mean joke that I made about Ben Shapiro. It's just like, fucking going, I'm voice. going all in on him here. Didn't his we all voice do that? wouldn't make for an intimidating ghost. Oh. I oh, I murdered him. I thought we oh. all... His voice wouldn't make for an intimidating ghost. We are ruined. Oh, I didn't even know that was... It, does anyone disagree with that? <laughs> like, Ben Shapiro just doesn't have an that's intimidating the thing, right? voice. They can't, yeah, they sure. can't possibly disagree with that. They could only just be like, mean, shut up. <laughs> that's mean. Well, fine. Yeah, yeah. You, could, you could call it mean. Well, that's okay. Let's, okay. let's get this out of the way. Ben Shapiro happens to be a very popular political commentator. True. If we found, that's how we found him. Right, that's how we found his incredible film opinions. Yes. <laughs> if we just found him out in the wild, as it were, we he would he would be equally fascinating with his opinions. I just think there's some meme quality that comes from the fact that this is Ben Shapiro with mm. these opinions. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is the thing. We're not. I don't. I, don't, I just think I, Jay, you've been you've been absolutely fine. If not, if not gold standard for all reactions, including superhero I'm, I'm movies. I'm gold standard for superhero <laughs> movies. <laughs> um, He's, he, ben Shapiro is like a human being with small dog syndrome. <laughs> I thought you were just going to edit a human being. And I was like, oh, he's like what? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't make fun of his voice. Human music. And you know, he <laughs> thinks he's much more intimidating than he actually is. <laughs> so when, when you look at Nolan's Batman, mm -hmm. Bruce Wayne is the character that Batman is playing. Hey, Bruce Wayne is not real. Batman is real. Batman is who Bruce Wayne really is. And so he has mm -hmm. to play a fop. In not Batman Begins, I... he's Squire. I really enjoy that as a clip out of context. Bruce Wayne is not real. Batman is real. <laughs> <laughs> um, is. I, by the way, I agree with him. I agree with him on this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah sure. He's going yeah. around ladies in his Lamborghini and he's buying hotels and he's doing all of this just to cover up for the fact that he is Batman. So you get very separate Batman and Bruce Wayne. You get the same thing actually with Michael Keaton. Batman and Bruce Wayne are two different characters. Here, Batman and Bruce Wayne are the exact same character. There are points where yes, Bruce Wayne is boys. walking around. He's got the same deck. 
So it's this is the problem. It's being highlighted though. almost as a criticism, which is... Um, yeah, but yeah I, I'm sure that in the next film he's going to start doing the Playboy thing, or at least at some point in this story. He'll start working on it, I imagine. Yeah. Like, it'll, it'll become more thing, relevant. I have respect for the, the movie basically trying to be like, this is why he's going to start doing that. Mm -hmm. As opposed, no, like, imagining... and, and someone could be like, they could have had it in this movie though. And it's like you, you could theoretically. Well, they, they could have, have done a million they things. To tell this story specifically yeah. that he is obsessed with Batman. Uh, yeah, they, they could have made a different movie. Thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's right. This but is they the story they're not. choosing to tell here. Yeah. yeah, I, I really do think we'll get that very soon in the continuity of this Batman. Dour expression, same glazed look, same kind of emo thing going on as Batman does the entire movie. Emo and so thing. there's no dichotomy. Alrighty, folks. Well, th th yeah, oh, that's so, the point. Um, okay, so. Oh, are we so, got, so. oh, are we done? Okay. I'm guessing that's the I end mean, of that point. The, the interesting thing, thing is, now. he is correct, uh, but, but, but like there's nothing substantive about there's that as no a criticism. There, at least not, yeah, not right now. You need to flesh it out a bit more. I can totally yeah, see he, someone he saying is like, correct. that, is, that oh. is a necessary component of a Batman story or something like that. It'd be like, um... This film is how we got there. I don't, like uh, I don't know. It's the same as the um as the like people who don't like MCU Spider Man because he's not um Spider Man fully he's... learned all of the lessons that they right. expect a Spider Man to have learned yet when he's still on his way. Yeah, uh, I I think it is similar. That that that's that's not the story they're telling. And some people are like, yeah, well, I don't want to fucking watch that story. And it's like, all right. That's... Oh well, love. Thank you are in luck, man. I've got some good news for those people. Well, I, w the, I will say the, the the anger then would come from the fact that they're like, why did three of the two hundred million, however many budget things, go to three stories that I wouldn't want? And it's just like you're unlucky on that front, I suppose. Um, <laughs> you know what else? Could you yeah, like no. there are stories that we would all like to see for Batman, presumably. Um, we won't all mm -hmm. get the one the exact that we want. I don't know if this was the exact one any of you guys were looking for specifically. I think Free is close to like something you've always it? wanted, right? Kind of. Uh, I well, I really like it. Yeah, it's, so uh, it's it's a really cool take. There's Batman. almost a lottery element sometimes to these things, and it's just like, yeah, this was the one, and some people are like now is shit. <laughs> like, oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, I, I really agree with a lot. Like, I wouldn't say that this story specifically is something I had in the back of my head, but as far as, like, the underlying philosophy of this film, I would say that I've been waiting for a Batman film that, like, presented it, um, the, the philosophy um, in this way. Um, so, yeah, I'd say I was happy in that regard. I think uh, when we have the full context of the trilogy that I think they're probably going to make, and, you know, I could be wrong on this, I could be proven wrong eventually, but I don't think I will... <laughs> Um, is that in the full context of the trilogy, we will have, or oh, well, however many films there are, we will have something that really fully demonstrates the nature of the discrepancy between Bruce Wayne and Batman, because we will have seen him already being Batman, which is his true self, you know, is, is, uh, that's just unfiltered him. Um, and we will see him slowly form the Bruce character that he plays for the public eye over time, which will make it. It's much more unambiguous than any other portrayal that that is, um, that that's what's gonna, that, that it is a separate character that he's playing. That which one of him is the real yeah. him? Yeah, and the Nolan yeah. trilogy had him being, like, he, he was he was Bruce, quote-unquote, and then he moved into developing into Batman while also crafting a Bruce Wayne for the public. I think that's what the Nolan trilogy, you would argue, happens in Batman Begins. I haven't seen that movie in long yes. enough now that I'm kind of quoting it without knowing fully about it. But like, I wouldn't mind watching that again soon because uh, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I would like it. to see it as well. Uh, in terms of I like, watched it back, again recently you know, and I liked it. I, I remember this because the Batman origin story that I think I most think about when thinking of Batman's origin story. Um, There's a lot of cool things in it. There's definitely a lot of cool things in it. Mm-hmm. You're starting to sound like the Force Awakens apologists. They'll flesh it out. They'll explain it later on. Um, we've already so got substance. So this thing, we have an arc. We yeah. have a story. The story is already there. Uh, if the film, if they never made any more, we still have a story. Uh, but, Force Awakens, um, yeah. you don't have a story. You have a what, he is, what he's complaining about is an aspect that he would like to see explored, which this particular film hasn't done. And our point is they're probably saving that for the next film. Like, Although, you know, yeah. if they don't, then his criticism 
I don't think it's a valid criticism. Like it's not a reason that the film is bad, but it is something that it's valid for him to be disappointed about it by because it's something he wants and isn't getting. I think mm -hmm. that you can have all these perspectives and it's totally fine. It just gets awkward when you try to frame them as these are definitive criticisms of the movie. For example, I wanted to see Superman fight Lex Luthor, not fucking Zod. Screw you, Man of Steel. And that's my only criticism of the movie. You're like, damn. When well, someone says, well, Luke's, Le Le <laughs> Luke's Luthor. Lex Luthor will be <laughs> in probably the next one. And be like, oh, so I have to wait until the next one. Uh, is that is that the excuse for this film being good? It's like, no, it's just not what this one's about. That's all. It, you, you, you'll, there's a lot of payoffs everyone's going to be looking for, right? I want to see Scarecrow in this in this universe. Mm -hmm. um, and if they go, you know, Batman 2, no Scarecrow, I'm going to be like, oh, oh well. <laughs> like, I guess I'll still I'll see what they're up to, you know? And that's probably likely uh, with with all the different things that uh, they can do. Yeah, who a lot knows? of people were saying like they'd like to see a Mister Freeze, and I'm like, I don't even know how they would approach Mister Freeze in this universe. <laughs> I, I, I feel like everything's on the table as an option. Lift Arnie's Mister um, Freeze <laughs> completely. Don't change him at all, and just put him into this universe. Yeah, I would like his, that. With his hockey themed thugs and everything. Oh, I yes. love the hockey themed th dude. His weird <laughs> car I, with the spikes on it. I was going. I needed. Uh, I think I was looking for Batman clips to do with Batman and Robin. I can't remember why, but um. I just, as I do with Batman and Robin, I just started watching it, and I was like, oh, I fucking love this movie so much. <laughs> when the hockey players arrive and start landing, and Batman and Robin are about to fight them, in the background, you can hear Mr. Freeze say, yes, destroy everything. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, what? Was this part of the... All right, all right. I mean, we'll do it. We just, I mean... Yeah. What do you mean? Well, we're destroy everything. <laughs> What I think they legitimately might have thought that they were going to play hockey against other hockey teams. <laughs> I think so. And then only discovered late that this was a super villain with ice powers in a mole car who just wants to turn the world into an ice cube. Well, like the whole place is iced up. Did he ice the floor to make sure it's suitable for skating on, you know? He he supports his thugs when I mean, he, he must do. He goes in, he's like, let me go well, in first, guys, I'll get it all ready for you. I mean, part of it's like, like, okay, what about that as a strategy where you have you get your thugs to wear ice skates and then you ice the floor of everywhere you're gonna fight, so they have the advantage. <laughs> Is clever. there something hey, play, wrong with that strategy? I mean, play your strengths, man. If you if you have a bunch of guys who are really good at ice skating, you want to alter the field of battle so that they have an advantage. Like, you wanna, yeah, you want to genuinely. That Genuinely, that sounds like the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard, but I can't think of what the actual problem with that plan would be. Hey man, if you play <laughs> Zerg, spread creep. It's just, it's what you do. Play your advantages. All right, everyone, chill. Imagine they did bring him in, and they got Arnie to give off the best, most, like, nuanced acting performance ever, and it's a non-supernatural Mr. Freeze. He just wants another chance, and he begged Matt Reeves, and he got the chance. <laughs> it's like this really contemplative character. I'd like, like it. It would be cool to see, you know. It would be cool to see. Isn't the uh, isn't the meme what? with that marketing thing that Gotham loves a comeback the on the on that website that they set I up? I think so. That's what I've seen. Man, I wonder. <laughs> Everybody likes a comeback. <laughs> Maybe it's more likely than I thought. Um, also, I saw something funny. Uh, you do know that technically in the Nolan universe, the Scarecrow is still out there, scot free, never caught, never punished. <laughs> punished. <laughs> <laughs> just this pun. <laughs> the, the Punisher? He was never punished. Boom, I'm, I'm gonna I'm punish you. But he was punished with a taser. Um, Someone said, something. maybe do EFAP movies for Batman and Robin. We already, well, they already did. <laughs> boy, <laughs> are you, are you in luck? In luck. <laughs> Give wow, it a, you're gonna be a happy man. Pop it in the YouTube search, you may get something. Maybe. There might be. Oh my goodness. You will not oh, be punished today. Man. No. Well, I may not Mr. love the White Batman, but Christmas. here's the thing. Real Batman knows how to protect himself and protect his family. Oh, right. Ad, Real ad, Batman. Batman. <laughs> Real so what's ad. this music, by the way? It's ad music. It's chill. Ad music. Boom, boom. <laughs> Ooh, ad what's time. the segue going to be? It... Well, that, we just got the segue. That Real was, Batman knows was, how to yeah, protect himself. Oh, I guess Batman so, yeah. invests I mean, like, in what? ring security systems. Oh, yeah, that's right. He probably does. They're that good. And you should, too, because you need ring alarm.
It's true. No. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's scary, Ben. Don't, don't oh, scare my. me like that. Oh, my goodness. That's scary. That's pretty intimidating. Oh, my intimidating. gosh. Actual <laughs> chills. Like... <laughs> Like, is, wow. is sexy the vibe he's going for? Him? I think like, so. <laughs> Chat said Ben wants to be Batman. I, I, you might be correct. I think Don't every Halloween, all. I bet Ben dress if he's like allowed to do that in his weird religion or whatever, if he would absolutely dress up as Batman. I think so. He'd call he's himself Batman. Ben Man. Ben Man. <laughs> Chat <laughs> asked <laughs> if I'm scared <laughs> now, and the answer was yes. I am terrified. Anything that I've said about Ben that could be construed as less than flattering, I'm sorry, and I take it all back, Ben. I've got a tinkle, but I'll be right back. Ew. Ew Ooh, that's gross. The tinkle. Disgusting. The yeah. tinkler. Have you? Oh, have you seen? Have you seen the tingler? What's that? <laughs> The, the movie? <laughs> that the old movie, The Tingler? Is that where the villain lies on your arm so that it goes all tingly from Ninja Needles and you wake and up you and you're like, ah. And it feels like someone else is doing it? Yeah, it's not actually that. Um, it's oh an my old God, it's movie. Real. Yeah, The Tingler. It's got Vincent Price. It has. Oh. It's like, it's, what, what year is it? It's like 1960, something like that. 59. It is... That would be an interesting. It's one of those old horror movies that might be interesting for an EFAT movies watch. Mm. Don't look up anything about it though. The whole uh, thing is free on day. I got the, I got the mover movie poster here though. Mm -hmm. um, that counts as looking something up about it. Metal. Although yeah, you've, you've looked up stuff now, man. Oh, that's just when you see a poster like that, you're like, oh, it's of that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's an it's an old that time because back when horror was kind of like shit usually some sometimes or the way that they would try and present it was very interesting uh, that might be a good efap movies we might have like, like a classic movies efap arc where we watch some you know some silly movies like this and maybe the old blob and stuff like that that could be interesting you mean usually aside to, from the tingler which is excellent and a masterpiece what we'll have to do is we're going to have to avoid we, we have to be careful with our selections because a lot of these old horror movies are Military men in suits in an office, yeah. and fifty percent of the movie is World War II B roll, and it's shit. So we have to be really careful which ones we actually pick. I'm it's an alarm. Mr. Ring White alarm is an award winning. I'm Mr. Snow. Ew. That's right. Home Emperor, yeah, Emperor Grampity knows. So in the <laughs> Tingler, for those who didn't know, the Emperor, um, but the guy they had a theater gimmick where this will make sense when you see the movie where some of the seats in the theater they had like a tiny little electric buzz on them so that randomly some of the seats would give you that little buzz during certain scenes in the movie Ooh. which tied into stuff that was happening in the movie and what the tingler was about like shrek and 4d I'm not familiar with Shrek 40. You'll have to catch me up. I'm, I'm not sure if that's the correct title of the film, but you know, one of them, them Shrek rides that's like a, a cinema, but it also like squirts you with water when a character sneezes oh. or whatever. Oh, yeah. I, did, uh, I did one. Yeah, I, I went on one of those rides. It wasn't Shrek. It was in Bush Gardens. And it was called Dark Castle. Whoa. Metal should like that. And that it was... It was a 3D ride, and it would do stuff like that, where you'd, they'd get some water sprays and things, and it was legitimately very impressive, because you'd have the you'd have your 3D goggles on, and the chairs would move, so it would simulate like falling and going up and down, and it was it was really quite good. Bush Gardens is great. They had the Griffin, and I'm a big roller coaster guy. I, I love them. Can't get enough of them. I think it's Earth great. of Dark Castle. Dark Castle. Yeah, the thing that, that full ride seems to be on YouTube, actually. Neat. The, the really cool you won't get water about. sprayed in your face if you're just watching it on YouTube, Mel. You just have you to have can, someone uh, to spit on you. you, yeah, can, exactly. you can, yeah, you can spit on yourself to simulate. Yeah, easy. Yeah, if you have a fan blowing at you, you could spit at the fan, and then it'll just get, you know, you. You just oh, yeah. spray upwards a little bit. But then it won't, like, surprise you, you know? I think you need someone to learn the cues for you. Oh, yeah. So they have to you're learn the not cues, expecting you can't... it. Yeah, someone has to teach them the cues, but you don't know what the cues are, so that you you don't expect. That's right. That's right. Though I assume whenever you see water, you'll probably be like, ah, this is probably it, though. Well, 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 what's no, they, actually, I, I feel the like they could spit on you surprisingly. You. What if you had VR a VR headset to watch the actual material, so you actually you no idea what's happening? 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark struggle. Castle. It's not just the 3D and, and everything. It's the the chair, the seat that you're in. It moves and it turns around. It spins like a roller coaster. Uh, and you're in a dark room, so I don't know how much space it actually takes up. I think it's probably <laughs> just the chairs moving. But because works. all of your vision is taken up by the, the screen and the 3D, and it's incorporated very well in terms of when the objects fly at you and things like that, that you really kind of you, you really kind of buy it and you lose yourself and arrive. It's great. Had a good time. Uh, the, the cool thing with the Tingler um, is um, they had the vibrating seats, of course, but um, they also paid actors to be in the movie theater to react as if the Tingler had gone after them because it's just the point in the center of the film where it's just like, everybody, the Tingler has been released into the theater. And then the, the seats start vibrating and people start screaming and running out of the theater. It's, it's fun, fun it's stuff. It's called the Tingler and the seats vibrate. I it's don't not, know. Yeah, you know getting different vibes have, here. There's an extra level. There's an extra level here. It's not just called the Tingler. It's called the Tingler in Vincent Price's voice. <laughs> the Tingler. Ooh. He has a very. It's not a low pit. It's it's a very distinctive voice. Um, I bet everyone's heard it. You just don't maybe oh, don't associate that name with the voice from uh, at least from Thriller, right? Uh, oh yes. Yes. Yes, that's true. Yeah, that's right. Once they you hear his know voice, you know exactly who it is. Rags is oddly enthusiastic about this. I don't. I didn't know it would lead this way. I just think it's, <laughs> it's interesting. This I is, didn't know it would. Rags, lead this you're way. just generally an enthusiastic person. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Am. this is in character for you. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't feel this is a violation of your character. <laughs> They've not assassinated you with your tingler enthusiasm. <laughs> And I find Wait until not only that, the... the Tingler is the kind of thing that typically you would get very enthusiastic about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, just wait until we watch the four Scorpion King movies. No, the five Scorpion King movies and the four Dragonheart movies. It's going to be insane. Oh, boy. Top I'm going to start reviewing content. real life and just keep saying that everyone is acting within their own character. This is in Putin's character. Are you going to start with season one, episode one, or are you going to just jump into the new stuff? Ooh. Uh, I'll see what I can find. Mm-hmm system with available professional monitoring. It's more than just security. Ring Alarm can help protect your home from flooding, freeze, and fire as well. Ring Alarm it's works flooding. It's oh, flooding. Oh, oh my god, he can do wouldn't his famous I'm... quote. Not, not a really nitpick, but wouldn't those fall into security? Or maybe inside Sorry, leaks? come again, I was thinking about the tingler. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I, think, I think I thought something else. I thought for a second they're like foreign, uh, you know, like if the, if the town flooded. Like it could, it can warn you of that. It's like that's a form of security, I guess, right? But then I think it's referring to inside. Like if you uh, if you left your taps on or something, which I guess wouldn't come under security. That's more so. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah I suppose you could leave your taps on and then because it. Is I guess it's better cause to flood? learn about it. Mm -hmm. It does. You I can tell you firsthand. Yeah. That happened to me last week. Oh, last Wait, week. <laughs> metal. <Yep. laughs> metal. What do we tell you? You silly what? man. It was the what, basement, happened? what happened? Well, my washing machine yeeted itself off the pedestal it was on and ripped out the what? water thing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I just came back down to the base to get my laundry and there was water everywhere. Was it yet? Jay, have you not seen Home Alone? Uh, I have, but not since I was a kid. The wet bandits. The whole thing. You did wait, wait, you didn't watch our Oh yeah, leaving the taps on. No, I did I did see that coverage, yeah. Okay. Right. The wet bandits were not springing to mind though. They should have. They should have. So, so Jay, um, I just want to point out that you said, um, uh, isn't that going to cause a flood? As my cat right next to my desk was taking the longest piss I'd ever heard in my life. So it was very <laughs> oh, weird. no. Flood. I need ring. Help. You've, you've ever heard. Yes. <laughs> That's a great way to phrase that. How loud <laughs> Listening to the pee. Oh, this so one loud. Pisses, I can hear it now. You can hear it from across the apartment. He just he, what, he what are you hearing? Pisses. As he pisses, he screams. Oh, I'm, I'm hearing pss right into the box. Oh, okay. Because generally, yeah, you don't hear the pissing itself. Yeah, you hear when it hits things. Which I guess I guess my mind went to something else. I was just <laughs> oh, <laughs> I just thought it was odd when you said it because I was like, you hear it pissing, and I was like, no, it probably makes more sense that he heard the mm -hmm. urine bouncing off of something. That was probably yeah. every time the cat pisses, it makes yeah. the loudest noise it can with its mouth, just to let you know. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> You can add sensors for motion, doors, and windows. 
Their professional monitoring gives you the ultimate oh, peace look, of mind. Oh, look, a white Wait, guy. The, the, I like the Man, way the they showed those clips. The looked like the robber was successful into the like, like, trying to get and out of the window. Police show up at night. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Police are all not all day to get there. He's got to show up a day so we can see him, Rags. Otherwise, it would be all dark and it'd be confusing. They can't do that. Professional monitoring gives you the ultimate peace of mind. All of their services are part of a Ring Protect subscription. There are no long-term commitments. If anything happens... I have no idea how effective this service is, the... but if it's good, then good. Yeah, I, yeah. I wonder if you can just go to, like, ring.com and buy the little signs that say protected by Ring to get <laughs> discount coverage, which that is a lie. Is, that is a thing. People do that with, like, uh, cameras or they dogs. Do. They put the signs up just to make you think it's there, which is this better than nothing. Is totally protected by a Ring. That's a <laughs> scene in Mindhunter, too. You promise. Where... Or the Mine, like oh, this. that's German. Metal oh, but, um, that, that happens in evolutionary Wait, biology as well, where is... animals will mimic the poison stripes of other animals so that mm. they just don't get eaten, even if they are themselves not poisonous. Neat. That's the same thing. Yes. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, I thought you meant animals would carry around unloaded guns. <laughs> it's loaded. <laughs> 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 Professional monitoring will call you and can request emergency services. Best of all, <laughs> imagine it's like really good to the point where the thing breaks in that an android spawns and captures him, ties him up, and it's like, why did you do this? Tell me your motivation. <laughs> like, why did they tell you to come here? <laughs> and then, Who like, are you, you working you, for? You know, you're in town having a drink and it phones you. It's like, you must return to your homestead. I have captured an intruder. <laughs> you get home and there's just like... A scared man being waterboarded. <laughs> no, it's your grandmother who came like, to visit. My, my, my kid threw his ball over the wall. I just wanted to get it back. I saw the door was unlocked. I do not believe you. <laughs> You're a liar. Why did not you knock and let me know? You could have done it more effectively. This seems like the fakest room ever. It does. <laughs> It, that's a promotional room. Like the the lamp it's isn't even plugged in. The cord of the lamp is just bundled up down at the bottom. So it is. And there's nothing in this room. There's no <laughs> table or anything like that. And they just random plants because humans like those. And it's just. And what is that that's... light fixture? What the fuck is that? <laughs> why is that? Look look, why funny. is he letting the plant block the window? That's my question. Like so oh, I guess some people light. do that to let it get light. Yeah. 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 And oh, it, yeah, I get and it. it mutes the, the amount of light that comes in depending on which side of the house the window's on. Mm. Right? This is a very it brightly a lit house already, so I think well, they're okay. It, well, yeah, because yeah, it helps that plug the, in the it's white and everything's light. <laughs> That'll help the light bounce around on the inside. Imagine Which um... is something that you need to take account into, into account into. When you paint your house, you need to be aware that different colors will absorb light differently. So keep that in mind. I'd be it's curious important. if Ring is activated by, like, absurd auditory elements, too, and it calls you, and it's like, feline like urination has been detected. <laughs> oh, we have to see <laughs> It is <laughs> this other concerning volume. Who's <laughs> your good robot Rad voice, Molly? My parents are architects. <laughs> Not only are my parents architects, one of my sisters is in college for interior design, so... I don't know. I don't think you have to go to college to know that the color of your house is important. <laughs> but it. This isn't yeah. a real play. I think this is a just. A, a, this is a super <laughs> fake. This really is fake. a super fake room. <laughs> is is my point. You can't they should have tried me. a little harder. And can request emergency services. Best of all, Ring's professional monitoring is an amazing deal. You get so many great features, award-winning professional monitoring so, for less money. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I want to. I want to get clear on that. Hang on. You can request um, emergency services. Is that what he we said? Just rewind wanna... on the ad. Fuck yes. me. I just, wanna, I just wanna get this clear. <laughs> well, you had sensors see, for motion, Jay? doors, and windows. <laughs> their professional monitoring gives you the ultimate peace of mind. All of their services are part of a Ring Protect subscription. There are no long-term commitments. If anything happens, professional monitoring will call you and can request emergency services. Best of all, Ring's professional monitoring is an amazing. Man, the idea that I know what you're gonna say, Jay. Or, I know what you're gonna have say. You, have all say of it. you guys seen the South Park episode about mm. insecurity? Because I'm pretty sure that it's like exactly this, where if someone breaks into your house or something, they call you to ask you if everything is alright, and then they'll call the police. And then there was like a whole joke that they did in this in South Park where it's like, in the time that you've spent on the phone with me verifying like what's going on here. 
I might already be in serious trouble. Well, I thought, didn't you say that they have the capacity to call them and they can call you? Like, they... They, they probably do both. I thought I, it was that they call you first and then they call the police, I got the, right? Isn't that the I thought from what he said, that say for example you're being chased around the house by a murderer, that they would call the police immediately, that they wouldn't call to ask if they can call the police. I, I think that's what I got from what he said. That's kind of interesting, though. That means that they have cameras on you at all times, right? I don't know. I it's probably so. to. I, I think it's probably to limit the amount of unnecessary calls to the authorities. That's like they get the ring. Their, um... Someone calls you to check and make sure that like it's actually a thing, and then based on the response, they will call the police for you. I'd assume that the um, the cameras on at all times is with professional monitoring, where you've actually got people on the other end looking at what's happening, and you so can tell like them to stop South when Park you're in episode. your house. It was that other South Park episode about the TSA, the Toilet Safety Like Administration, where there's the dude with all of the cameras <laughs> looking at everything. Simpsons already did it. In the middle it. of a big room with a bunch of sco No, South Park already did it. South Park's old enough <laughs> that they can take that meme. Simpsons did everything first. Mm -hmm. Everything. Characters. Simpsons was the first one. And so many great go to heaven, you just see Homer Simpson there. He you was see, the Jay, I of thought time. the joke you were gonna make was, "Wow, you can pay for a service with, it and then you could note, like, you can contact the authorities." Wow, I wish my, wish my phone could do that. Yeah, that is the joke I was gonna make, and then Fringy made his point, and I was like, "Eh, <laughs> yeah. I feel like my, my time has sailed." But I'm, Your I'm time glad has that, sailed. I'm glad Your time has sailed. sailed. Nice. My time has sailed. <laughs> <laughs> little clock on the water. <laughs> on the <laughs> it's, on the been, water. it's been fun, but I gotta go on my own adventure. I gotta embark I'm, upon I'm glad this journey. I'm glad that we have to make the joke for you to... Oh, and then you ask the clock, where will you go? And the clock's like, you mean, when will I go? And then he's now. And then he's a whale <laughs> eats it, and it's like, oh. <laughs> Gets my time more wild. Winning professional monitoring for less money than most <laughs> professional alarm companies. You and your loved ones can rest easy, knowing that Ring Alarm is helping to protect your home. Get protection and peace of mind with Ring. You know, my family relies on Ring Alarm. I'm always concerned about security, and Ring Alarm makes me feel so much more secure. I know what's going on. Oh, I got him. Ah. <laughs> oh, you feel so much more secure. They needed to put the little Metal Gear Solid exclamation mark mm -hmm. above his head. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra my bright LED floodlights, HD cameras, and two-way talk. Oh, so you could be like, excuse me, sir, degrees. what are you doing? And you're like... Uh, <laughs> well, I feel like you want to put on the mask of Echo. As well. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. oh, imagine that you're walking the... outside someone's house and then Ben Shapiro's voice just comes across. Oh, like, Excuse me? me, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'll have you know my wife is a doctor. I see that you have a dog, but that's not. <laughs> I think you're scoping my place out. Is that what you're doing? No, I have a talk about that. If I was a, a burglar and I was trying to break into someone's house and then I was threatened in Ben Shapiro's voice, I would leave. No, what? Oh, goddamn, there's so many memes. It should be the ad for the house that uh, Professor Frank made. Oh. No, if it's a tax day, the house will get up and run down the street oh, to Oh, yeah. That shit was fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> Does it just crash up. through and fall on? <laughs> it, it crashes and then all of the- and then they've got the little dolls on fire fall out. He's like, the people won't- <laughs> the people- the people won't burn quite as quickly. Go, <laughs> hey. <laughs> The concept that the safety your house will lift itself from its foundations and run and down run the away. street is so then, funny. Oh, as, 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 tends be, as tends to be the case with a lot of Simpsons gags, something just bursts into flames for no reason. And then they have the part where it's like, it, it should have the thing as well where like Bart throws the rock at the house and then lasers just pop out and like blow it up. <laughs> well, then then the house next to it uh, runs away. <laughs> yes, and it falls. Yeah. Oh, that joke's so fucking good. And then it, then it falls down and explodes. <laughs> <laughs> like the rock is taken care of, and yet it feels the need to get up and run down the street. <laughs> Isn't it the next door house that runs away after it's triggered by the lasers? <laughs> yeah, and then it's triggered and by then the other the only, security system. The only run house away, but again, fall down and then burst into flames. He does the exact same thing the model did. <laughs> God, that's so fucking good.
It's a great joke. Classic <laughs> Simpsons, man. Doesn't a Burning Man fall out as well, or did I imagine that? But I don't. Oh, I can't, I can't remember. I don't think they, they have like people yeah. running out on fire. So. I don't think they do that. Damn. Property at Seems all like times. Seems like the kind of thing you'd remember. I, yeah. I I don't think they do it. That's why I don't remember. Yeah, and all this craziness, I could see why with all these houses getting up and running away, you might not remember the uh, <laughs> the people. It's such a hideously <laughs> stupid security system, and I love it. It's fucking hilarious. You may not have known before, but it's true. Ring has not like this. Ring seems to be pretty good, uh, from what I can see. Yeah, well, yeah. as that award-winning alarm, go to ring.com forward slash Ben Shapiro to get a great deal on a Ring alarm home security. If it offered his voice as an AI for the system, that <laughs> oh my god, that would complete it. Oh my oh god, god, yeah. How was your day? How welcome. That meme definitely exists with like Alexa. Hang on, let me. We detected a leak. <laughs> Someone's definitely made it. Kissing. Your house so you is getting a leak now. It would set off an alarm whenever an intruder was in it, and we'd just go, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do <laughs> like that, that we've spent. It feels we've we've spent more time talking about Ring than we have about like the characters. <laughs> I the swear film. to God, we get a lot of stuff out of we the ads. We spent people more time do. talking about Ring than the characters in this film. What do you That's want us I mean, to yeah. do? It's <laughs> not our fault, just, man. No, I, I'm saying that he, yeah, like, God damn. Life gives you lemons, you know. You, you gotta, lemon you gotta squeeze them. Or run away from them. But I want to hear him do a Rage Hatter Legends read, though. Well, the one, <laughs> Ben Shapiro, one of the most ambitious RPGs. Yeah. My favorite he character really is loves it. Glormac, it all the, the orc, and the who best part, has a hammer. Be well, wait, no, but he wouldn't like that. And the best part, it's free. <laughs> like... Oh, oh no, he, he wouldn't, wouldn't like that. that. He wouldn't mean, like that, wouldn't he? What he well, to, I mean, he I'm would, not sure what Ben Shapiro's opinion on uh, microtransactions with free-to-play games handouts, is. On handouts, you know. I don't know. I don't know how he sees. Maybe uh, no, he, well, I think he'd yeah, probably consider a, a respectable business model, right? To uh... maybe, yeah. I, well, because he would know. I know. He would I've know by the clue. fact that they're promoting it that it would. It's, it's a hyper successful game that's making a shit ton of money, but it's free. So even he would be like, "Wait a minute." How are they doing? I that? use Rage Shadow Legends to protect my family, and you shouldn't too. <laughs> <laughs> I summon my favorite character. I don't know what the characters' names are in that fucking game. Oh, fuck it, chat. We're not talking about a big Jewish. We're talking about a big capitalist that he would want the Someone product. Chat said Rage Shady Lemons. <laughs> like what the <laughs> fuck? He's I a capital Jew. I, I think I would understand like, someone be, who's like hyper capitalist being like a free to play game. What? But I'm just, once they understand the business model, they'd be like, oh, okay. His, a lot, a big part of his job is sharing his opinions on matters of economics. Maybe he has explained his um, his approval or disapproval of of, uh, of Raid Shadow Legends. I don't know. Comes out with specifically Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is not pay to win. <laughs> It today that's ring.com forward slash ben shapiro i played it it's right oh, play, play to win i recall See, so talk. this is weird we did the good the biggest problem the plot yeah it's, it's well I, I feel I'm, I'm fairly sure that his review is just a stream of consciousness um and then his editor has to make something coherent out of it right i hope I his editor so. gets paid yep. a lot i think you're probably right it makes yeah. sense out of ben shapiro's <laughs> ramblings on movies so here is the actual plot of the film Batman has only been Batman for a couple of years. So he's not really good at Batmaning yet. And he Batman. is tracking down criminals and he gets drawn into a plot by the Riddler. The Riddler is giving clues so that Batman can track down all the way through the system of Gotham, this citywide corruption that apparently is going to bring down the entire superstructure of faith in the city. I mean, that's, yeah, that's the superstructure fair. of faith yeah. in the city? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I mean, this is going to be a plot that? summary, um, isn't it? I'm trying to think of superstructure of faith. Does he mean the it's people's like faith in the institutions? Yeah, the people's of faith in like the that. politicians and the systems that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Meanwhile, you have Catwoman, who's Selena Kyle, played by Zoe Kravitz. And Zoe Kravitz is similarly engaged in an attempt to commit a robbery against one of these underworld figures, but she's drawn into Batman's orbit by a murder that both of them are investigating at, at the same time the murder of her roommate. Maybe, maybe something more going on there. The Riddler is. Correct again. All right. Just, yeah. yeah. Did, did he forget so her far. name as he was talking there and try to avoid saying it? A roommate. Well, I feel um, like he's no. investigating her murder. At, at I, th I thought he said who was called and then trailed off. Did I just completely imagine that? Who was I, called her roommate? <laughs> I didn't catch that. I don't. I didn't hear that. But I'm not sure. maybe I'm going fucking mad. Maybe you just that... hate Ben Shapiro so much yeah, that you're desperate. Yeah, 
Jay. Mm. Calm Stone. down, Jay. Lita Stone. Stone's out. Here's the main villain of the movie. You see the penguin a fair bit. Carmine Falcone is, is one of the big characters in the movie. You get a little bit of Alfred. I like how many people still call him Falcone. Falcone. The film was like, Falcone. Mm -hmm. Macaroni. Like, <laughs> Let's get Jim Gordon, whose main job in this film is apparently just to say Jesus over and over again. Christ, it's Coulson. Whenever something bad happens, he just goes, Jesus. But, <laughs> 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 he does some other I stuff, guess. but okay, I guess. Yeah. I, I yeah, guess this is a joke. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. fine. Yeah. I just want that to be the movie right now. Every time we see him, he just goes like, Jesus. Jesus. I, I, like, well, I like that Batman Jesus doesn't Batman. have anything to do in this movie. Robert Pattinson doesn't have anything to do as Batman. And Commissioner Gordon doesn't have anything to do besides Jesus. saying Jesus. Yeah. And to be fair, I'd watch that film. He takes the name of the Lord in vain, which I do not appreciate. <laughs> It was like six times. He, like Jim Gordon. he wouldn't think Jesus is but Jubish. Gordon does nothing except for we said basically Christ stop Batman from getting arrested a lot. That's that's pretty much all he does. He's a Um I mean that that's not inconsequential to this story, surely. Like no. that's a pretty important uh, component. And there's the you know uh, there's a, there's a lot of character that would come as a result of uh trying to prevent the police from getting to Batman, right? Bad yeah. detective, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you? That's a weird clip to put there. <laughs> it's it's an amusing clip rogue. because it's like I'm supposed to believe he's a bad detective gets punched by Batman. <laughs> that's just um, a good detective would I, never I, get punched funny. by Batman. So uh, like, yeah. I guess so. Like, is he a bad detective? It's like, well, he relies on Batman for a lot of the progression of the of the events for the for the crime. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have enough to say he's a bad detective, just well, kind of a neutral one. It makes sense that I feel he gets that allowing Batman because into the crime in scene is a bad the... detective. Yeah. Like... I think you could argue that. I, I think that's fairer to argue, because um, there's What's a lot that of metal? pros and cons to it. I, I don't know what Jay just said, because I think I just talked over it. But, 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 I, but I said uh, it makes sense that Batman is in, these, in, the, in this plot. Now I just completely lost my train of thought. Fuck. <laughs> Because you should, have, you should have played Elden Ring today. You, yeah. I think no, you said something no. about how the he was directly addressed. Yes, he was directly addressed by the Riddler. So commissioner, uh, or he's not commissioner yet. He's like lieutenant or lieutenant. something. Yeah. He's uh, still little G, yeah. And and gets him in there because this is addressed to him. So it makes sense that he's in there. Um, call for him. I still, even at that point, I would still argue that just, just because of a, a crazy person has directed at a particular person doesn't mean you bring them onto the crime scene. Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure, sure. I think that uh, they would open it first um, and look at it all and stuff, and then ask if they can get their hands on Batman be like, does this mean anything to you? Does that also um, <laughs> bring compromise the Riddler's character because there's no reason that Riddler would assume that Batman would be the f would even see the messages that he sent? So I would move to say that the Riddler is aware of Batman's cooperation with the police, and thus yeah. he can rely on that. That creates the other side of the problem, where mm -hmm. I don't believe Riddler would think Batman is his inspiration if he is working with almost all of the corruption that Riddler's concerned with. A lot of it is the police in the film. Yep. Yeah. The plot is that all these people get killed, Batman uncovers it, he realizes that his dad was corrupt also, or that his dad engaged in corruption with Carmine Falcone. Finally, we get to the end. Paul Dano does the... F it's such a ripoff of Seven. He gives himself up. He doesn't get captured by... That's not a ripoff of Seven uh, to give yourself up. I feel like seven. that's not a ripoff of Seven. I haven't even seen I feel like seven. you're neglecting but a significant I, amount well, of information. I don't like it when... Is yeah, why isn't Dark Knight then? Well, fucking Joker gave himself... Like You could be like, he didn't give himself up. He got captured. It's like, that was on purpose. Yeah, but he wanted to be captured. However, you so, see Mahler, have you considered Mahler, however, that Christopher Nolan Batman movies are the gold standard of superhero movies? Well, then... Therefore... What you said is invalid. So this is pretty good, yeah. right? Because if they're the gold standard, mm -hmm. you, what, I, you have to be more specific. Is Batman than, a Christopher Nolan movie? I don't think so. You have to be more specific is, than he got himself captured on purpose. There has to be more than that. This is definitely a stream of consciousness thing because he's getting a lot of wired, a lot of wires crossed throughout this whole thing. Like clearly, this movie takes a lot of inspiration from Seven, especially Correct. aesthetically. And so he goes, oh, well, the killer wanted to be captured and it's a detective story. So therefore, this is a ripoff of Seven. Instead of acknowledging that the killer wanted to be captured is a trope that's in a ton of a things, of things yeah. at this point. Yeah. And, and so man, is it reminiscent of another 
era of talking about a gritty, grounded superhero, quote unquote, movie mm-hmm. being a film that copied another one. Discourse is always so very engaging. Mm-hmm. By Batman. Batman does not prevent a single one of these deaths. Batman, in fact, is complicit in one of the deaths by accident. And he doesn't. Complicit by accident? Wait, which one? I'm trying to think of which one he's talking about. Complicit by accident in one of the deaths. Um, oh, I guess he's probably talking about Falcone since he, like, brings him out. Ah, come on. I mean, he didn't no, know. That or... is not complicit. No, I, no, like I, I agree with about... you. I'm just thinking that's probably what he's talking Wait, about. Wait, what about if he's talking about... Monica? What if he's talking about when he dodges the gun to a, and, and has it go into another guy? Uh, I don't think so, because he hasn't gotten to that part of the story yet. And that's, like, one of the... That's yeah. not one of the Riddler's murders, and I think that's what Pan is describing here, right? Oh, okay. In that case, I... I do not know how you could frame Falcone's killing like that. That's that's amazing. Yeah. Can you be complicit by accident? Is he somehow Am referring to Annika's death? Somehow twisting it around? I don't know. Uh, oh, I some don't... people are saying the DA maybe. Oh, um, no. I feel like he puts all accident. the effort. He gives yeah. all the answers to the riddle. Save his life hardcore. And nothing about that do? is his fault directly. And I you mean, can argue. I, it, that um he didn't like do he he wanted you could argue why he wanted the uh the the rat's name to be named it wasn't to save the mm. da but ultimately it, all the effects are the same like he just definitely doesn't want to be complicit in the da's murder yeah that's yeah that's a strange one well, some people say in the car chase i i, I don't but no one directly dies in that that we, that we see, are shown. So. Yeah, it'd be weird to cite yeah. that. We know people died in it, probably. But we're not I think the... he's talking about Falcone. I think that's what he's talking. I think about, you might be that's right. Not a very good about example. It. You might be right. That is, Please yeah, tell that us, is Mr. The, Mr. I think Mr. that's Shatter. the best guess. Yeah. It's the shot. And with Carmine Falcone, finally we get to the end. Paul Dano does oh, the. F- well, yeah. It's such a ripoff of Seven. He gives himself up. He doesn't get captured by Batman. You know what? Look at the way that's edited. It looks like he would have continued on exactly how it's a ripoff, but then the editors cut it out. Look at the way this goes. He's getting engaged in corruption with Carmine Falcone. Finally, we get to the end. Paul Dano does the... It's such a ripoff of Seven. He gives himself up. See? Oh, yeah. Like, he he did the whole explanation, ended it with, it's such a ripoff of Seven, and all that middle stuff got totally cut out. Yeah, and after it, his hands are up, and then we cut to another shot, and they're down, and he's talking about someone else. It's just like, hmm... Uh, I wonder what yeah. he would have said. Someone in chat suggested that he said another racial slur. Oh, gosh. Darn it, Ben. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably directed at Catwoman. That's probably true. And it's, if he said that, like, him giving himself up doesn't seem to make a ton of sense, you know, then then there's something we can talk about. But it just being a ripoff of Seven is not really a criticism because what if his reasoning for giving himself up was actually really strong? Like, he's well, saying you famous... can't do that now. Famous example I've seen cited a couple of times is a lot of the Star Wars tracks are inspired by many other tracks that are quite similar. If you listen to them, by from John Williams, like moving. Oh, you're talking about music. Yeah, and if someone said Uh, no, he just ripped it off. He'd be like, okay, we're gonna have to talk about the difference between a ripoff and an inspired work, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, it's it's difficult to listen to Mars, the bringer of war, and not think, oh, this is proto Star Wars. The second best of the planets by Holst. What's the, the best first? One? Obviously, being Jupiter. And you're wrong if you think otherwise. Remember, people know that the camera so changes the right. hidden cuts. True. Oh, okay. Saturn is good, though. I like Saturn. I think he's a cool guy, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't get captured by Batman. Batman does not prevent a single one of these deaths. Batman, in fact, is complicit in one of the deaths by accident. And he doesn't actually capture... Also, yeah, to your question, right? Uh, that is an interesting thought. Can you be complicit by accident? Um, I guess I'd have to look at what complicit know. means. Yeah. I'm is not it... sure. I might be confusing it with a different word or concept. Mm, but condone, I think to be maybe? Complicit, complicit, you have to be aware of it. I thought that was a... Fringy, complicit, you are you're a lawyer. A... <laughs> not a lawyer. <laughs> Tell us what, what, in your professional law uh, opinion, what it, do you have to... Can you be did, complicit by accident? Did, was I your reaction to right saying that you're not a lawyer? <laughs> no, I said, uh, I said I'm not a lawyer. Um, uh, yeah, I have to hit it wrong. I mean, yeah, complicit, complicit involved with others in an illegal activity or wrongdoing. 
Like, so I, yeah, like, I think you could I, be I accidentally involved with others in an illegal yeah. activity. I don't know that. I don't know that. Like, complicit is the word to describe it, though. You know. Yeah, because if like, you're unwittingly... accidentally helpful to a crime, then like, what would they prosecute you for? Unless it's, but that would be like negligence or something like that. Well, that wouldn't be. I mean, being complicit in a crime, right? If someone, um, if someone's like, "Hey, I'm. I need you to take this. Uh, hey, you're going to. Um, you're taking a trip from." Uh, fucking the US to Canada. Can um, you take this little bag with you when you go? You know, don't look in it, please. Um, and just um, give, it to this, um, give it to this man when you arrive. His name is Jumbo. You know, he's going to be there waiting. Um, um, I feel like you're complete. You know, you might just be very trusting and have accidentally so, been complicit in a crime. Uh, also, some people say negligence. Negligence has like negligence has a more specific meaning like negligence would be that you ought that you did something where you ought to have known better is i guess if you broadly describe it that way mm -hmm. i yeah like i feel like complicit is not the word that you would describe for like what? you brought somebody out you arrested them and then someone yeah, else shot them if you go like, um, just... <laughs> like you drove the getaway vehicle like, or you knowing you, well, you well them a vehicle well, that you knew would be if if, if, if we're saying that complicit means you're involved in it i don't i wouldn't consider that to be involved in it like you you didn't well, do anything wrong you know it says involved with others in an activity that is an unlawful or morally wrong so if that definition is trying to tell us they are involved in something morally wrong from their PO, like they're doing something morally wrong, which in the example of the getaway driver would be able, you could definitely make that argument. Someone who's like, hey, watch out, and bumps into you while you're in their way, they fall over, and then someone is able to execute them as a result of that when they were trying to, it's like, you're complicit. It's like, no. You, you, are you involved? It's like, I suppose you are. Well, I, I guess that's the thing, is, is that you have more specific terms that are going to describe more narrow... Yeah. So like negligence would be one thing, and then there's like, uh, my brain's not working right now. Um, complicit is like that's too vague, I think, or or at least like I don't see how it. I don't see how you would say that what happened with Falcone was complicit. Like, I'd, if that's what he means. Well, the fact that he said that. accidentally complicit, right? It seems like he's almost there with the word he wants. Uh, you know. Well, unwittingly, inadvertently, these feel like yeah. better. Yeah. These feel That's like a better word. Complicit. We, we, know the means, right? that, we know what he means. We know what he means. Yeah. Because the point that yeah. he doesn't prevent any of the murders, and he doesn't actually. Well, what would you say? He kind of doesn't solve the case in that the Riddler gives himself up. You know, a, a, as a point of, I don't know if that's a criticism, but it's definitely something I could see not liking that he doesn't actually solve the case or prevent yeah, I mean, the murders up until that point. Also, we I got can, um. I, I can understand that as a preference. Mm. Crazy idea, guys. Maybe he misspoke. Oh, our conclusion. That's what it was. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank <laughs> you. Nice. Thanks for catching um, up. Also, I actually didn't really care again that he had said it. I was more so interested in what does it mean to be complicit, actually. Yeah, like sometimes someone will say something and that starts a conversation within, like, among the group. Uh, yep. And then you'll every time this happens, there'll be like you know people in chat or whatever complaining. Guys, it's actually not that important what you know the exact <laughs> wording that this person used. And we're like, no, we're beyond that now. And yeah, I uh, I just I find some of this stuff interesting. Don't worry, you don't have to see it all as I hate Ben Shapiro. I don't know why yeah. you would yeah, that's frame everything that way unless you felt pretty insecure <laughs> about Ben Shapiro's uh, being attacked by us, which you don't have to worry about. I have agreed with him on many things so far crazy i just don't know that what he's highlighted any criticisms become? of the film i personally am here to attack ben shapiro see Talk I, that's the only reason i came on efap unmasking the truth <laughs> my first efap appearance i was i was going one day i will get an opportunity <laughs> one day batman does not prevent a single one of these deaths batman in fact is complicit in one of the deaths by accident and he doesn't actually capture the riddler because he's clever the riddler gives himself up by sitting at a diner and getting arrested then he unleashes a bombing of Gotham that essentially causes the flooding of the city. And Batman goes to the Madison Square Garden where a mayoral event is now being held. For oh, man. Batman blowed up the whole roof of glass to get yeah, in there. That so so dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. That was rough Why on the rewatch. Why did you do that? <laughs> no, that was rough. You did. The I, funny thing to me is, like, wouldn't you want to have the moment of the riflemen are all <laughs> aiming and they're doing their thing and then 
One of them, like, maybe looks back to get some ammo, and Batman's just there and fucking punches him. We don't even need a reason for how he got in. That's just how Batman yeah. do. Just, He's been making yeah. sneaky appearances all movie, and now it, it, mm, I guess the time for its sneakiness is past in his mind. I just like to imagine, like, these people on, <laughs> on the floor. It's like, oh shit, there's water, let's get out here. They finally get to higher ground. It's like, oh, thank God we did it. It's like, oh shit, there's glass! Ah! Oh, the, ah, the villains, they're shooting out the windows above. And Batman's like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you, you villains, you. <laughs> and, like, I I also don't really like that he doesn't actually catch the Riddler himself because the Riddler gives himself up. You know, as far as a conclusion to the mystery of trying to figure out who the Riddler is, as far as the detective plot goes, I also don't especially like that. It's not necessarily a problem. It's not a flaw necessarily, though. You know what I'm saying? I think so. I get you. I get, I get uh, you. The way that Ben has framed it, I can totally see someone taking issue with this, but I would just break it down as to maybe look for the elements of showing that Bruce does have an intellect and does use it. I mean, the fact that he solves basically 90% of the riddles on the spot. Yeah, he's clearly smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He knows his stuff. Yeah. He's not a dumb guy. Very it's just a problem-solving brain, very quick recall. He's just he's got a great brain, he's got a big old sexy it's slime a, it's, brain. It's a little lame narratively that the Riddler just kind of like, basically everything that happens after the Riddler giving himself up kind of it, it takes a turn away from what I really liked about the detective story in the beginning. Hmm. I've seen that take a lot of people pick on the third act. Um, I certainly yeah. did. For the brand new mayor, who is an uplifting black female who has no other story or backstory, so she's really uninteresting. It starts to flood. I don't even necessarily disagree so with she, that. She we has just, like she has like five minutes she, of screen yeah, time. She's at there most. to be. She's there to be good. Yeah, that's it. That's that's that's, that's, that's the why she's she there. She's there to be good. <laughs> yeah. I think the film would probably be better though if she had a few like problems, maybe. I um, because I would, then the Riddler's good. Or just have more, more scenes to with kill her, her. Really, I was gonna say I don't even need her to be flawed. I just I'd like to see more of her. To maybe even believe a bit in her to be like mm -hmm. know that they're coming to kill her, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. like yeah, I don't care if she lives or dies because I don't right know now. her. Yeah, there's just nothing yeah. about her that I. She has I that scene know. in the very beginning where she's, you know, she's critiquing the current mayor or the incumbent mayor. And but we don't really get to see that she's actually not corrupt herself or that she is corrupt herself. We yeah. don't really get to see Because a any corrupt of that. person could say the same things in exactly. a public debate. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, some more meat on the bones as far as her character would be nice. But then again, mm -hmm. it all it already is a very, very long movie. <laughs> And so mm. one wonders, you know, what mm. you have to sacrifice in terms of telling. I feel story like there are things tell. we can cut. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm just there does get a point where like you can't flesh out everyone as much as maybe we would True. like to, you know. Um, though I think it's worthwhile for her to get a bit more flesh because the uh, you know the ending in a in a sense yeah. it was mm -hmm. we were all trying to stop them from killing her and the people around her. Of, yeah, I mean, but I don't like that I mean, turn just, at all. I, I, so. <laughs> is it fine? That, can't can it not just be that we're trying to we're reinvested in Batman, trying to stop the slaughter of innocents? Like, is that not an? Well, it, I I guess I'm not arguing it's strictly a better <laughs> choice storytelling wise. I'm saying I think it would be preferable because of the fact that a lot of weight is pressed on her, and she's representative of the, the Gotham turning in new leaf per se. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I guess I'll, I'll tell you now that um like. If if she was a much bigger character in the story, um, my take would be um, that the plot armor becomes worse when she gets shot, and, and all those guys are shooting there, and she's. Just I think fine, it's I equally guess. as bad for someone to not be that that, that there is just because someone has more screen time, them not dying from a bullshit, yeah. or not being shot at. You know, it's the same level of plot armor, but I think I agree that you'd you'd find it more impactful as a like save, is it? Because you don't really know her versus she's like a main character. Yeah, and instead of like, oh, an extra in the background. Just I was just going to say, to a, to a, to a, yeah. consequentially, the same thing happens, right? If you get to know her as a person better, it doesn't change how much it changes the world if she dies from the many, many shots. There's I guess also it would change your, your the, POV of it. It's also the fact that the Riddler, like, targeting her is like a bizarre turn in his character in general. So, like, the whole... That's how I feel about fine, it. Yeah. yeah. And up on top, in the wings, are a bunch of Paul Dano's followers, are a bunch of the Riddler's followers who are all dressed like the Riddler, and they are shooting down into the crowd to try and kill members of the elite in Gotham City. 
You know, just random thought. You know they're all on those things so the Batman can push them off and they don't die. Imagine they yeah. just, like, got back up. They, like, started climbing up the little things. And then yeah, I was thinking up. that, too. <laughs> they were just sort of dangling there, but surely there's a way for them to use, like, their arms, legs, maybe, to crawl back. Did they all drop their guns when they got when they fell off? You'd I, think I don't know if all of them. Yeah. They'd all have side arms. You'd think maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe not. If, if they're dangling like so, yeah. like from their like if if the if unless they've wrapped themselves around their own tether, I wonder how what their ability to be uh, to reach back would be like. I guess it would be dependent on the person, right? So some of them would be in better shape. Yeah, you'd be need more flexible yeah. than others. Well, so here's the question, yeah. right? You're, if you're setting yourself up and you are the one guy who didn't bring the, the hook and you're like, oh, shit, yeah, I didn't think <laughs> to bring that. And then the one's like, oh, you can borrow my, my, one of my spares. You're like, okay, cool. So the idea here is that in case we fall <laughs> off, <laughs> then what happens? And he's like, we won't die. And it's like, yeah, but who saves us? And he's like, theoretically, the police... <laughs> like, but at least we won't be, but at least we won't and then be you go to jail. So something. Maybe yeah, they expected but... to save each other because only one would fall off at a time. Maybe that's it. That's really yeah, bizarre. Maybe, maybe. It's very strange. Yeah. I would have loved a shot if like one of them has his gun and he's just dangling there and he's still shooting at people <laughs> like it didn't actually incapacitate <laughs> him at all. And Batman's like, fuck's sake! Like, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something about that. These guys are I guess That could have been the plan to just like jump off the thing and still get sh still start, keep shooting when no one can actually get to them because they're just dangling from, from the <laughs> ceiling. And you have to like because they're so long. You're like, I will cut this. I will stop shooting. You're like, no. <laughs> like, I mean, no. I imagine I'll it'd be throw harder things to aim, at you. But you never know. You don't kill people, Batman. <laughs> you won't cut it. <laughs> you won't do it. I've read One. the comics, Batman. You're too much of a pussy. <laughs> You're a pussy. <laughs> and so Batman goes up there and he's beating people up. There comes a point where he's beating this guy and he's really like maybe beating him almost to death. And he stops and they take off that guy's mask and they say, who are you? And the guy says, I am vengeance. Okay, now this is the theme throughout the film. Why didn't the you theme. take okay, it? So in order oh, no. Whatever. Why'd you do it like that with the I hands? just did the themes <laughs> meme. Because <laughs> that's, that's just... He, that's the way that Ben he doesn't expresses himself. It's through. Don't let your themes fans. be memes. All right. Well, it seems like he doesn't. Uh, my imp impression from that is that he he finds themes kind of you know eh fine sort of things. Which um, mm -hmm. hey look, it, you cannot value like themes. Sure. Yeah. I so, thought, I, I would assume he was talking about the theme of this movie in particular, not that themes in general are maybe yeah. to be dismissed. I don't know. I got an impression yeah. there that he's like eh, yeah, let's talk about the theme, like because. That would have, ah. but, which is interesting because um, I'm pretty sure his whole point is about how much he hates the theme of this film. Yeah, I don't think he's, I don't think he's disparaging the idea of like themes and metaphor and Just all that sort specifically of specifically this one. You mean? Yeah, mm -hmm. looks That's like possessed. Why this is a problem? You have to now understand the character of the Riddler. So it says right at the beginning of the movie, "Who is Batman? I'm Vengeance." Right? He's just on the streets and he's beating people up. I'm Vengeance. And then people keep calling him Mr. Vengeance for no apparent reason. Like we don't know why Wait, they're calling no him that. For no reason, he calls himself Vengeance. He says, That's I am yeah. Vengeance. You showed the clip. His like, name was Vengeance ago. Wayne. <laughs> do you think Ben Shapiro just goes around thinking, "Why don't people call me Ben Shapiro?" They keep calling me the Ben Shapiro Show. <laughs> 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 Mr. Ben Shapiro Show. If I'm if if we're trying to steal man him, does he mean that like it's weird that everyone else calls him Vengeance when? Like, does he always call himself vengeance, or did he only call himself vengeance? In well, that I think one that's scene? the implication, right? <laughs> yeah. Is the question like, why the fuck aren't they calling him Batman? I don't know. Well, they the do call him is. Batman, though. The letters say to the Batman. That's, yeah. That's what I'm, I, I, Batman. So I guess it's just yeah, it's just some people in some places are calling him Vengeance, Mister Mr. Mr. Vengeance. He must he must say it enough that it's a uh, yeah. at this point. So the thing is, Batman, you know, he takes himself very seriously. And some people are just gonna make fun of him. Like that's. I think I think that's, that's what well, someone said. With... How would Penguin and Catwoman know that when he beat someone in the subway? So the implication is that he's probably said this more than once. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I feel like he's almost certainly said it more than once. So it would be a little <laughs> he's weird. Come across <laughs> a lot of yeah. terrified criminals who are like, "Why the fuck are you doing this? Who are you?" And he's. I'm vengeance. <laughs> Glad you asked. 
Where are they? And there is only <laughs> actually, I'm, I'm actually glad really glad you asked. <laughs> give, me, give me one second. <clears throat> he's, he's down to one. <laughs> he's yeah. got one criminal left. He's about to beat him to knock him out. And he's like, God, do you want to say anything? You want to ask me anything? Do <laughs> you <laughs> have any questions for me? <laughs> Like, no. Any questions with you? Do you know right who I now? am? Do you know who I am? Yeah, you're the Batman. No, 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> Ask me. <laughs> that, that, that is true. Idea. However, I mean, like, what else am I? Someone in chat says, "I'm vengeance," and I'm rags. Oh. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Um, but there is always a thematic component to it, which is to say, like, nobody, like, the fact that more people refer to him as vengeance than Batman is kind of like a subtle way to show that he is he is not doing, he is not portraying himself in the way that he should, that he should be, that people are not a- associating uh, the, the proper um, identity. Yeah, um, they're not, with they're him. not calling him justice. Yeah, know? exactly. <laughs> what was your justice? I'm justice. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Just. Yay. <laughs> because he never actually publicly says he's vengeance. It's in his creepy diary. What? <laughs> he, he literally tells. You, you played the clip of it. You literally played the clip. That was his editor. That was his editor. Was his editor. I don't care his if it's the editor. The down. video's position is now fucked. That's the editor's fault, I guess, that now it's incongruent. But the he editor just, knew. He so just can't. The clip. <laughs> he he just seems to That's not be able list. to imagine that Batman actually says this quite a bit, and his reputation has got around. That's all you really have. Okay, well, Batman said it once. To steal Mad Hib, he's probably thinking in his head he's never announced himself as vengeance to the people, or something like that. Yeah. But like he never like, gave a press conference? Yeah, but you would never... He doesn't do all that it, anyway, but like, <laughs> why? I think all you it would have take to is for one that he person does. to film him saying it, and then suddenly it's everywhere, right? Like... I think the the based on how everyone interacts with him, you, you just you just have to assume that he has said this a bunch of times, you know. And what's the problem with that? <laughs> the video hates Ben Shapiro. <laughs> oh no! Which again is supposed to be a mirror image of the fact that the Riddler also keeps a Zodiac Killer style diary. So they're supposed to be two halves of the same whole. Batman is beating up this follower of the Riddler. Two halves of the same it's- whole. Oh right, H O um, or W H O L A. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Funny thing is, for a second there, I was like, "Yeah, Rex, he's got, he's onto something." That, like I said, I I really got that sense when they did, did the, yeah, the POV yeah. shots of them them doing a creep Checks on out. on the buildings. You know, yeah, mm. to see here checks out. He takes off his mask, and the guy says, "I'm vengeance." And suddenly, Batman sees. Suddenly, Batman realizes he can't be vengeance. That's not what he's meant to do. He's betrayed his mission. And so he then descends on a... Ele- betrayed I'm, I'm, his yeah, mission. Yeah, I'm doing a big peepo sus right now. I'm like, uh, it's yeah. like, it is uh, ambiguous I'm, I'm as to whether or not this is the good way to carry out the mission. Yeah, I'm not I th- I'm not waiting for the point because I'm already thinking about, does he feel he's betrayed his mission? It's like, hmm. But I think he's realized his methodology is flawed. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't. I don't, it seems so, Ben Shapiro doesn't think his methodology is flawed in this movie. So <laughs> when he like tries to mature and change from how he used to operate, he's like, "No, but you were fine the way you were." Like that's how it seems. That's the vibe I'm getting. Electrified cable because he's trying to stop people from being electrocuted by this flying electrical wire, mm-hmm. and he cuts off the cable. He's holding on to it. He falls down into the water. A rebaptism. He gets up. And then he proceeds to lead a bunch of people who That's, are uh, not really trapped, but kind of trapped, I suppose. They're terrified, is the point. He's they're, leading they're, us. Yeah. There are, they're, there are active they're, gunmen in the situation. I, like, I think, yeah. yeah, and they, they see Batman saying, like, come on, let's go. We're going to get you to safety. Like, I think that it's important they see that as opposed to just being like, should we stay There's here? Water. Should we stay How here? Yeah. That? Yeah. That's fine. Though I did have this same thought oh, when come I saw on, it I got in our- the theater. I was like, wait, how is he saving them? They seem like they were actually fine where they were. But then, you know, as it's, I thought about it more. I was going to say, I was going to say, it's perfectly in line with what the f- film's going for. He's a beacon. He's a he's a symbol. It's not that he's actually done anything mechanically yeah. in that moment necessarily. It's more so, look at him. He's an idea, is him. what you're yeah. saying. Yes. He didn't <laughs> clap before that, though. So, mm. <laughs> so it's okay. And he leads them to, I guess, a safer place by carrying a torch. And then he goes, well, yes, they're under rubble in that's a place a flab, that's falling apart. Ben. <laughs> I, th- I <laughs> that's feel what they call it in America. Oh, no, 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 they don't. 
I feel like it's the safest <laughs> bet to get them out of there right now. It's not a safe place, okay? I, yeah. I, I think that's yeah. fine. Come on. He goes up to the top yeah. of Madison Square Garden, and he is helping people Benjamin. be airlifted and evac'd out, medevaced out. Mm -hmm. And this is how he has learned fulfillment. What? Oh, uh, all right. Well, yeah. that's the end of that. Um, <laughs> learned then. fulfillment. This is the thing. It's just like, I don't know. It's more so he's, he's been exposed to another portion of what he could be doing. And yeah. clearly mm -hmm. it's a good thing and something he should probably look into. Yeah. Believe me, he was getting Ooh, fulfillment good. out of what he was doing. He was fucking passionately beating the fuck yeah. out of people and being like, they fear At me. At the expense of mm -hmm. his real persona. Yeah, but... That's what I mean. Like, I feel like this whole film's about there's more to it. Not that it's exclusively bad what you're doing. Yeah, it doesn't berate him. It doesn't say like, oh, Batman, you're just shit and you're awful. It's like, consider this. Mm -hmm. So, consider what? this, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Your methodology is flawed. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 no, that'd be a great Riddler line right there. That's an odd place to put like a weird title, like it's separating it into chapters. I feel like what he's about to say now, hopefully, can, it's just a continuation well, of what he was just saying. You know what so I mean? So I would go as far as saying this is why we're here. What's what he's about to say? All of it up mm -hmm. to this point has been preamble and set in the stage and giving an idea of what he's up to. But this is it now. We got well, well, I, well. With that in mind, pause a moment so I can use the loo. Because okay. I don't want to miss the reason why I'm here. Ooh, I'll do the same. You know, um, <laughs> I've just been lost. We intended to Everybody watch it up. two Ben Shapiro videos today. We're only watching going to be able to do the one. <laughs> like mm -hmm. This will take another <laughs> half hour to an this hour. Content is and, uh, that's just, you, you, you never know with these things. I didn't think this it would take us this long. Is, it's think? very dense, and we went on a lot of tangents. So How, how long have we been going? Wait, it's a three hours. We could... No, we, we nah, definitely could, nah. but the thing is, I would rather get the Super Chats read, because there's a lot that have come in, and I want to make sure, because like, we keep stacking them up, unfortunately, because the timer keeps running out, so I would, uh, I'm just, yeah. Well, the thing is, his Rise of Skywalker review, that's just memes for another day, everybody. All right. See, no disagreements. Everybody's, everybody's on board. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nolan consensus. handled these ideas much better. I don't... I'd have to rewatch them to see about... I feel like he handled different ideas differently. I think you know, so, yeah. I, uh, I, mean, I, just yeah watched I, the Bat, uh, I just watched Batman Begins like two days ago or something like that. It's a very different movie. I don't feel like they're exploring the same ideas really. I mean, there's some... You know, fear plays a big role in Batman Begins, but I... You know, it's it's a weird apples to oranges comparison in terms of the themes or the messages of the movie. I saw someone was saying that uh, Ben Shapiro doesn't normally review movies. He's not a movie reviewer primarily. Now, I did, he... He uh, does quite a bit. Well, so, I, uh, I didn't know that Ben Shapiro played violin, but I did know that he, he wanted to be a screenwriter, right? That was, like, what he did before he did the politics oh, stuff. Oh, God. Well, he wrote fiction, yeah, he, from what I understand. Well, but I don't know if hasn't he, he written a film? Doesn't he? Have yeah, a I know that he's. Company? I know that he's written a fiction novel. I guess it's <clears> just. <throat> I I wouldn't say that it's like this is a topic that I should expect zero familiarity with at all, well, right? Like yeah. movies and storytelling. I would also argue that the main reason that I was more interested in this wasn't because I expect a meme explosion. More so because I'd like to hear someone argue that the film was terrible and that the reason being it hates Batman. That's interesting to me. I want to see what your mm -hmm. references are. Um, yeah. If you said, yeah, but this person's literally, this is the first video <sighs> they've ever done and it's the first movie they've ever watched, I'd be like, that's fine. I'll see what they say. Well, of course, you're allowed to talk no, about it's... You don't have to have watched a million films. The first film you've watched, you're allowed to talk about what you thought about that first film. <laughs> Exactly. Um, I think I've said before in EFAB that someone who's never seen a film before, it would be pretty fascinating to hear their review of, like, mm -hmm. anything. <laughs> the first film they ever watch? Yeah. Maybe. Moon I would love that. to if like get a time machine and abduct gently someone from the past. Abduct gently. And bring, and bring them to the future and just, like, show them a motion picture. Yeah, it would be really cool. Um, from Which different one? eras. Like, take take some ancient Egyptian Say so like, take a break from the pyramids. Snefru's got enough dudes. Let's go. And then, and and the, you have to learn ancient Egyptian, which luckily you still can. Coptic Egyptian, we know how it's pronounced. And then we 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 grab it, and then we bring it, bring him back, bring it. It's a it person, him. It'll be a him because he's working on the pyramids. 
So we, we grab him and then we bring him here and then we're like, hey, don't worry about it. Um, and uh, my Manubis's brother and this is watch this. Tell me what you think and get his what movie. Are you gonna yeah, show what him? movie? Yeah. Ooh, Cleopatra. Nah, um, <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't, I don't want to jump to an answer quite yet. I, you know, I, I that choose would be funny death to one. smoochie. That's what Ooh, I choose. No, let's not. Let, no, no. <laughs> Um, and then we get someone from like a different time period, maybe like the Renaissance, right? We bring them in. The Renaissance um, men we, are coming. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And then we get someone from like 1920s, 1910s, the infancy of movies. And then we bring one of them and get their opinion on a modern movie. Rise of Skywalker. Get all their pers- oh. Show them all Rise <laughs> well, of Skywalker. We don't want to tell them the future. We don't want them to think the future is hopeless. <laughs> why would we lie to them Rex? why would we lie <laughs> oh no <laughs> uh, then TV, we so it's get a TVA good... oh. but it's just Rag showing ancient people movies <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine like um, how because if someone said like oh maybe something like the Lion King like, could you imagine them watching the Lion King they'd just be like what the f <laughs> here's the thing I would like to know what Hitler's opinion of the Rise of Skywalker would be? Absolutely, I, dude, I that would be amazing. It was so funny. <laughs> Hitler, if you're Hitler, if you're watching, oh, send yeah. us an email. I and we'll get you on. Dude, it would be so great if his initial name. reaction was just, "What the fuck was that?" <laughs> like, oh my god, Hitler, what? Why are you so confused, buddy? It makes sense. He's just like he just wishes he won even more. <laughs> we could have stopped that movie. We would have stopped this. We we only further convince him that of his conviction. Well, the best part is he would have zero context for what Star Wars is, and that would be his first experience, potentially with science fiction in general. <laughs> the Rise of Skywalker. First reaction he has wow. is, I can't believe they, they brought back Palpatine. It's unbelievable. <laughs> well, not someone yeah. in the chat, Hitler was a big fan Palpatine. of Westerns. He was vaporized. I watched it with my nose. Made no eyes. sense. I was there on the opening day in Argentina. I saw it. Oh, I would like to show Hitler <laughs> Iron Sky. That would be fun. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. have him, yes. yeah have him, maybe maybe like he loves Wolfenstein. Wait, Rags, have you seen Iron Sky? No, I know of it. I've I've, I've seen it. It's, it's worth watching. And there's an Iron Sky too, <laughs> isn't there? One. Where they go to the center of the Earth with dinosaurs. Is that out? I, I don't know if it's out. I, I just saw like the trailer for, hell for like ten years or something. Yeah. Hang on, let me. I I, I don't know. I, I want to watch know. that if it's out. Sky. Make him watch Jojo Ooh. Rabbit. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Ooh, that would be interesting. He'd like the first part more than the <laughs> last part. <laughs> Maybe we could just stop at the scene in the middle and then Ooh. just tell him that's the whole thing and then he'd really like it. Mm. Sure it is. Out. It came out in 2019. It's out. I'm going to fucking watch this film. Okay. Oh, I'm really excited for this. <laughs> I'm glad. That's great. Anyway. Oh, I really like the first Iron Sky film. I look. For, that's going to be a great EFAP movie from what you've mentioned of it. Oh my god, the it's second hilarious. one is called The Coming Race. The Coming Race. The Coming Race. Iron Sky, The Coming Race. That film was built for you, Jay. Jay. Do you win? Do you normally win The Coming Race when? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, whenever, whenever coming is involved, I win. I oh. win. Yeah, and this is how he has learned fulfillment. Oh, right. This is a Jew. What's it about? So. What is this movie about? This movie is about how fighting criminality does not actually help innocent people. He says this at the very beginning. He says, I'm not sure I'm doing it. I don't sure. think that that's what they're trying to say. Uh, I don't yeah. think, yeah. That is, yeah. I think that is a very, that is not a, no. That's not what they're trying to say. Because Batman, they never say Batman is going to stop fighting crime and start, like he's just going to get a volunteer yeah. job at the Salvation Army down the street at 6th and Main, they definitely don't say that. And, maybe, and his maybe citation, what it is way. saying is that there's more to it than punching criminals in the face, and that that's not on its own. That's not actually going to solve the problem. His citation is a piece of dialogue of "I'm not sure." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the the film is raising the question. I feel uh, I don't I don't think the film concludes. Yes, fighting crime is bad. By fighting the criminals, crime is still up. It turns out. That Batman has to stop being Batman. Batman. No, has been, no, he doesn't. No, That's not what the film is saying. On. This film has a very wrong. reasonable no, no, takeaway. No. No. <laughs> no. De no. Definitely not that. He's he's, he's well, gonna continue to be Batman. Full <laughs> <laughs>
The, the only way that I feel like this would be proven correct is if in the next film there's no Batman, it's only Bruce Wayne. It's Which like, but that's I not going to fucking happen. No, they are we, not yeah. going to do. Well, what if I mean, they, unless they just I mean, call it, it the Bruce. The Bruce. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, that would be the a Bruce great Wayne. title. For, I mean, we've not had a film called Bruce Wayne yet. You know, maybe maybe that's what they're working true. towards. True, maybe. Maybe they're going to really do something bold. But, like, I feel like, I feel like he would be... If if the next film was like just Batman like saving people from burning buildings and he never actually like punches a criminal or whatever, right? Then I feel like he would be proven right. But I sincerely doubt that's what we're in for. I doubt yeah, it. I think the film would have said. I think the film would have done something completely different if that was the angle they were going for. It's way yeah. too nuanced for because saying you should stop being Batman is a very extreme position to take, and it's not one that I think this rather uh nuanced sort of outlook on what batman should be doing would lead us to that conclusion been missing it the whole time what batman really has to be is superman batman needs to go into areas like madison square garden and not fight the criminals he needs to go and lead people with a torch Sorry, to a but, but he does him fight fighting the, the, him so fighting the criminals is a yeah. very important part um, of what he did in that him, him fighting the criminals saved Gotham. Like, why would you think the film thinks that's a bad thing that he did? The film was yeah, not. I like what. What a weird reading of the film that it's saying. You know what? Fighting criminals in general cringe. is bad. Is cringe. Yeah, like. that's. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. No, no, no. Batman and Superman. They do have a lot in common, Ben. Like, a, that's not exactly a revelation you've just had. It's very strange, like like the whole climax. He's he's beating the fuck out of people to save lives. I don't I don't think the the film then is like oh, but that was a mistake. Like no no no. Uh, no fight why. people as well. Like yeah, I don't I, I don't get it. I just don't understand it. Slightly safer area. He needs to help medevac people on the top of the. He needs to build habitat. Okay, so uh, once we've done the whole beat people up and stop the deaths, then we have to deal with the wounded and the people who aren't safe. That's not so, like can... he's describing this as though there was a way to medevac people out by beating criminals. It's like no, that's <laughs> that doesn't no. He needs it... to medevac out the criminals he beat up. <laughs> it doesn't line up. I uh. I sort of Does mentioned think... this. I think in our original discussion of the Batman, but I think there's a reason people. I think often gloss over it because it said so much about him, but the fact that Batman is called the Dark Knight is almost like a contradiction uh, and i think there's there's an aspect of duality in that you have to be you super tough and you have to instill fear in criminals and there is that element of you know edge but in a good way and then there is also the 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 knightly aspect of protecting the innocent and you know that sort of thing and both of those things need to exist together in healthy measure i think you're absolutely right that um a knight is often thought of as, as that ideal. So why is he called the Dark Knight? Well, it's because he's a little bit unconventional, but he's still got a lot of qualities you expect to be in a knight. Like yeah. taking yeah. someone to safety he, when they need it. Does he think he should have beat up all the bad guys and then left while everyone else dealt with the aftermath? Is that what is that what he wanted to happen? Sorry, I, I don't. I don't like how Superman. you can't. I don't see how you can argue him. this is not <laughs> like, what he's done. He legit wants him to be like Superman and Batman v Superman, where he just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing explodes. This is the thing. Read a comic rags. It's a play on words. So honestly, they agree with you, you and they don't even know. Yeah, like they. You should. You should have said nothing because if that's <laughs> true, oh. because if that's true, I made your comic better by hey. giving it that double meaning. Not to, <coughs> ooh, night sounds like night. It's that's a very astute observation. Um but Yeah. I had a I feel feeling like... I had a feeling some people might listen to what you said and think you were critical of it. I was like they... No, I'm not being critical. That's a I That's what I mean. I'm just like, how did they do it? How? He's, they did it. He's saying that there's a lot of depth to the title The Dark Knight that's not a criticism. <laughs> it's and it's prompted by you going, wait a minute. A it's not dark deep rags. Night. night sounds like night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. All um, right, Batman fans. It's all good. But yeah, I think it was as simple for Ben as seeing the beating up of criminals, and then he has his baptism, right? Which means everything going from his there baptism. is the correct thing to do. 
Everything before it was not. He's a changed man. Even though I seriously fucking doubt that Batman regrets his decision to save everyone's lives from the rifleman. I, I yeah. do not think that I is think the case. I think he's alright with that one. I think he's gonna sleep alright at night. Or yeah, at I, the day. I'd say so. Well, I don't know why he would think that, considering, like, do you think the police think that they're doing the wrong thing by trying to take down bad guys in this movie? Because they're doing it too. Like, if you wanted to be more specific and he's like, no, just vigilantism is, is the problem, I'd be like, well, there's a discussion to be had there too, isn't there? But, um, yeah, yes. I'm getting the distinct impression that he thinks the movie's message is that... Because he's treating that thing as a baptism. I, I can understand connecting the imagery, but that doesn't mean everything before it was wrong and evil. Yeah. Cat for humanity. Just get to Jim yes. Jimmy <laughs> Carter and build houses for homeless people. That's what Batman needs to be doing. This really is a. I mean, which wouldn't be well, a bad thing. Well, I mean, thing. Bruce, Bruce <laughs> typically does do philanthropy. I was about to say, yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, yeah. what you want, Ben. You were talking about it in the beginning. You said you, you want wanted that. more of yeah. that. You'll get it. That's, yeah, that's, that's what this film is arguing. He's learned man. about is this probably a good idea? He's, there, he seems to think that the lesson of the movie is that he should stop fighting criminals and only go build houses. And it's like, what movie did you watch? <laughs> only go well, build he houses. Think, yeah, he yeah. The, go the build idea that houses. <laughs> Why are the beds on the ceiling? That's not how normal people sleep, Batman. <laughs> Dude, that's, yeah, that's uh, kind of like nineteen ninety three. That's another can't, really can't punch criminals. All he knows is build houses. <laughs> Eat hot chip and lie. Um, <laughs> this is kind of like saying we have the army. Why do we need the police? Like it's, it's a multi-tiered thing. You know, it's not as simple as one thing over the other. Uh, that was a, you just remind me, by the way, I was saying that um, in Batman and Robin. So I was skipping around. I don't know if we ever talked about the it while we standard. watched the um, the yeah the gold standard for sure. Gold but standard. when Mister Freeze hits <laughs> him blueprint. and he falls off their little like place with the telescope. Batman, like, flips as he falls, and he gets his legs in the bottom of it. It's really fucking weirdly edited. <laughs> and um, it, 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 like, clamps in, in a sense, right? Like, the feet have hooked in on some metal stuff so he can hang there. And um, he, like, makes a conscious decision. It happens in a couple of seconds to cross his arms as though to look more bat-like as he hangs upside down. <laughs> I remember seeing it and being like, why have I never thought about this before? Like, that's just a strange thing to do. Because, because that movie is a delicious buffet with it is. many, many things to pick up. We were talking about the depth of, like, potential in, in, in the name. Batman Robin's depth? Infinite. Just infinite. You can never reach the end It is of uncountable, that. the depth. It is... <sighs> it is 30 depth and yes. plus. And beyond. He sort of Death attacks is uncountable now. Mm. 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 No. <laughs> I didn't expect <laughs> I feel like Quiet. he should have expected mm. that. I need to build Habitat for Humanity. He needs to join Jimmy Carter and build houses for homeless people. That's what Batman needs to be doing. This really is a sort of attack on the idea that fighting crime helps innocent people. It's an almost defund Wait, the... No, it's not. Uh, uh, no, 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 this no, film no, is no, not no, saying no. that. Surely, this not film wait, movie, wait, but, but also, like, surely, is, isn't, is Ben Shapiro not in favor of, like, philanthropy? Wouldn't he like that? I don't even know. Like, well, he's not saying that he shouldn't do philanthropy. He's saying he's that saying the that movie he, is saying that that's all he saying, should do. So, yeah, but it's not. True. It's not. No, so, it isn't. Yeah. So the read <laughs> I'm starting to get on him is that he wants like the Bruce Wayne component, but he wants all the Bruce Wayne stuff to be a front. He wants even the philanthropy to be a front, and the fact I that he genuinely is looking no, at that. I wouldn't say that. I would. I. I think he thinks this movie said. Oh, he shouldn't be beating up criminals anymore. He should just be doing philanthropy and stuff, which is not in the movie. And clearly, though, I think. God. Why would he? Why would Batman be in his suit at the end of the film if he has come to the conclusion that like Batman as an idea I think, is terrible? Yeah, he on, ends yeah, the movie I honestly, as Batman. I think he sees that as just well because he was wearing it before. It's like no, no, no. That's consciously the film trying to act as being like, look, he is Batman and he's inspiring and helpful to these. Yeah, people. that's. You, yeah, you, like that, that, that is, you know, good old I fashioned. I feel like it's not. 
That's Matt Reeves trying Kobe to be character. like, look, 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 I'm trying to tell you something with this. And he's just like, what do you mean? He's just wearing the suit because he's wearing yeah, it like, earlier. It is, it is so incredibly straightforward. There's a reason why we got Batman in the costume in the daylight with the rising sun in the background. With the news not, cameras looking at him, with him yeah, being grabbed with, while he's with the in the suit. With the news saying, like, the Batman is, like, helping people. It, it, it's not meant to be... I... I, I they could I have don't, easily I don't had him. Him. Well, it could and the end of the movie, they could have very well shown him fucking off as Batman and then shown Bruce Wayne as Bruce Wayne doing all of the things that the film maybe thinks he should do, but they don't. They very consciously have him being Batman. Yeah, like it's exactly why why would they not end the film with him like taking off the mask and the costume and like burning it or something yeah. if he believed that like being Batman it's clearly it is so obvious that the point is that Batman needs to be a symbol for hope rather than just fear that I do not understand how you could come to the conclusion that it's saying Batman in general is a terrible idea. I don't know why in the world it's yeah. it is it is man like it's I don't really get it. bad I, I don't, I don't understand it very bad absorption of the material I don't know what yeah because the material not, is just very this is a couple not this questions that you could ask him that would poke happen. real big holes because it yeah and it would be curious to see how he would react to this like uh these questions I feel like I feel he just... would be easy to convince if you just explained what actually happens in the movie. Yeah, it could it be as simple like as he goes, well, that's not maybe. what I got from it. Like, oh, yeah, he might have possible. just, like, literally not remembered, or I don't even know. It's tough to say. Like I said, I think he doesn't... Uh... Yeah, it's, it, it, he hasn't thought about the, the Batman suit being in the end, being worn while helping people as anything significant. I think he just sees that as a result of what he was wearing it before he's wearing it now. And he ought to protect maybe, his identity, maybe. you know? When I think yeah. that, like... I, it's pretty clear that when he's he's grabbed by that girl, that that I think that's like one of the biggest points the whole film is making in that moment. There, that's like one of the most important mm -hmm. things that happens in the whole movie. Yeah, but they also could have shown him as Bruce Wayne in the, the end, and they showed him as Batman at the end. And I think that why is would... saying everything they want to say. So I'm just remembering another thing. Why would Selena say that like the city's gonna kill you if he thinks that it's just gonna be Bruce chilling out and and doing like philanthropy? Like how does he how does he view that final scene through the lens of this is the last time that we're ever gonna see Bruce Wayne in that suit? I don't, I don't understand. Maybe he That's would say yes, he's gonna carry on being Batman, but this film is saying he shouldn't. But it's no, not. Maybe he's well, saying, of course it's not. But yes, he'll com continue being Batman. But this film is saying that Batman should be a guy who just goes out and airdrops people out of danger or whatever. I, I guess that maybe would be maybe. Air lifts, air drops would be if he was putting them into danger. Just going around and air dropping people into dangerous situations. <laughs> um. Police attitude toward what crime is. And it's an attack on the basic idea that individuals are capable of doing justice by finding bad guys and fighting them. Instead, apparently, individuals are only capable of doing nice things by helping little old ladies cross the street. Um, I, uh, what man, movie did like, you watch, what, Ben? What? I don't God. Even, I, what a what a take! What a take! The chat is full of people asking for Gadelb. Um, uh, I will sort it out. Don't worry. Um, the 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 because the, there's a couple I've missed at this point, so I decided I completely forgot to write them down, and so now I'm like I'm just gonna listen yeah. back through this thing and and grab them. So don't worry. No, oh. just wants an excuse to watch more Ben Shapiro movie opinions. Yeah. You know uh, was there anything else you anyone wanted to say about the thing, or should I roll it back? Yeah, or? Go, no, no, no. Play it, yeah, play it, like, uh, okay. play it again. Play it again for me. Yeah. That's what Batman needs to be doing. This really is a sort of attack on the idea that fighting crime helps innocent people. It's an almost defund the police attitude toward mm. what crime is. Ugh. And it's an attack yeah. Yeah. on yeah. the basic idea that individuals are capable of doing justice by finding bad guys and fighting them. Instead, apparently, individuals are only capable I mean, of doing nice things by helping little old ladies cross the street. Oh my god. I mean, that's not in the movie. <laughs> oh I mean, the, the film goes out of its way to say, no, there are good cops. Empower them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. very yeah. clear in the film. Line from the film, you're a good cop, Gordon. Yeah, he, we have yeah, like a whole, you have him saying you're a good the cop, Gordon. 
we have we have the element at the end like it looks like we're not all corrupt and there's a bunch of cops yeah, exactly. there. It's a very this is not an anti-police movie. It's an anti-corruption movie wherever that corruption comes from, be it exactly. crime lords, institutions and the police. It it's anti-corruption. Mm. It's too good like for the watched... power you have. That's a, that should be a very uniting message. Yeah. Do you I feel think like so? He, he well, saw the part where Batman beats up that that shooter and they have to like stop him from going too far and it's like he interpreted it to mean that he shouldn't beat up the criminals at all or something well that was weird man I'm... like if he was just chatting with me in real life and he's like this film didn't even encourage people to become vigilantes i'd be like um <laughs> i mean <laughs> there's, a, there's a few things to break down there <laughs> Probably shouldn't, Ben. But at the same time, yeah. I don't think it really was critical of Batman ex just as a whole. I just don't think so. You know, it's about the focus on where that energy is family. going. <laughs> it's about family. Um, it's it's about because you know the idea is that it shouldn't be about the criminal beatings on their own. It should be beating criminals for the larger purpose of saving people. And have or, or just for fun, up for the that. right reasons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's this sort of mentality that has led to New York turning into Gotham City in the last couple of years. By the way, what? What? what, what? Like anti vigilante? <laughs> uh, <laughs> we need know. more Batman yeah, in New York. Uh, well, you see, they, just they, they right rounded ahead. up all the vigilantes in New York, so now it's Gotham. Come we force them to become We're trying to get rid of some uh, I don't know. This, this, this definitely feels to me like his political. Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Like, okay, so he at the start said, "Yeah, it's not a problem of like it being too political or woke." But that surely, was surely this would qualify like as that this... for him. It well, kind of creeped in at just... the end there. Yeah, you'd think yeah, that he would consider this things, woke yeah. messaging, right? I don't know. I don't know. I just, it seems I like don't. he he kind of wildly interpreted the movie's take on Batman's whole M.O. And then now it's sort of turning into like political at the end. Someone said you knew he was political. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's been we know that he has. <laughs> yeah. What if I told you everyone has political? So, I was about to say, opinions. everybody has no, a political leading. Not Frederick. But <laughs> oh, Frederick. Shit, <laughs> right, I forgot about Frederick. <laughs> when he says like there was no chemistry between Catwoman and Batman, it's like that's not political. That's just him saying whether or not he thinks there was chemistry there. It's, like, you know what I mean? well, it's like, mostly it's been all... apolitical honestly, until and, and then very right to here, yeah. And then we just stuff. what happened? Well, like when he said defund the police, it's many people in chat were like, "Oh, brain rot." It's just like this is <laughs> how people feel. It's like it's like there's there's your uh, your perspective has marred your. That's what people would assume from this. I don't like we already went over. It's like I just don't think that message is justified uh, at all. I, I think he's ignoring a couple of references to make it so that that is the message. Yeah, they yeah. made Shapiro political. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fundamental betrayal of what Batman me. is. What makes Batman different no, from nah, the Riddler? And, no, and, and... no. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, no. let's let's it, hear it, how let's, is it? Or... <laughs> let's. Well, I mean, even if we granted that everything that he said is true. It depends on the interpretation, whether or not it's good or not. Well, I'd like him to tell I mean, me what Batman fundamentally is, and then we can decide whether or not the uh, the film yeah. betrays that. The film, yeah. Let's see what he says. Lady, he's crossed the street. It's this sort of mentality that has led to New York turning into Gotham City in the last couple of years, by the way. That's a fundamental betrayal of what Batman is. What makes Batman different from the Riddler and than any of these other criminals is these criminals target innocent people and Batman targets criminals. That's the basis of the character. Riddler doesn't, the entire, well, Riddler Riddler doesn't target well, so As far as Riddler's concerned, not until the end, but uh, until yeah. the end. <laughs> <laughs> for those of you who are just joining yeah. us for this, we do have a previous EFAP where we talk about the Batman and we we have some concerns about, about them, Riddler's yeah. consistency, shall can we I, um, say. But can I just point out, by the, the way, I don't know that or, what they good. did means they should be fed to rats in the see they're not innocent yeah, it's like, it's, oh it's well good, yeah. they're not they're not innocent yeah, they're not, quote, innocent. Unquote, they're not clean from rats, having yeah. done anything in life but um it's yeah like it's not tantamount like we're saying riddler targets them because of a reason not because like they're not just we're not, not targeting them indiscriminately yes there you go. yeah yeah and they're not innocent, but his sort of weird extra <laughs> punishment is not... Yeah, uh, they've not definitely justiced. broken the law with what they've done, and there should be a punishment 
tantamount to whatever their systems are in that world. It's just that they've uh, they've gotten away with it and they've taken advantage of a lot of people to do so. Again, though, not looking to feed them to rats. <laughs> basis of the character is the cops are bad at targeting criminals because they're corrupt. Bad I mean, so that, 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 sort of, but that doesn't mean, as Rag said, that's about corruption, though. Not that cops in general are corrupt. So there's no point in even using yeah. them. The yeah, the film never says cops are shit. The cops, the, the film is very the bad. Much corrupt cops are cop bad. bad. Cops it's funny. The good yeah. cops are yeah. good. It's funny like, because I was about to say Falcone is about to be put in prison by the cops. So they're not, exactly. you know, he's not even, he's a but then well, and someone, also, could, someone could, someone could counter me and be like, yeah, well, why didn't Pr Penguin go to prison? Because they're corrupt. I'd be like, no, because that's just, because the writer is the, fucked the, up. The writer, floor, yeah. the writer forgot just... to put him in prison. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> the writer <Right>. forgot. <laughs> more, more so they wanted him to not be in prison. So they just decided he wasn't. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Because they want yeah. to do more stuff with him. Exactly. Which is great. But I mean, but Man, you could have just written the story differently. <laughs> yeah, and you can still do more stuff with him. With him going to prison at the end of this story, there's, there's if, no reason that. Yeah, this is infinitely weird when you've got the film's like address all of this potential view in that series. It's like it's all those cops. He's like, I owed them. It's like all of them are here to get you. Like. Oh, well, I guess they weren't as corrupt as you thought, Falco. And then Benjamin was like, no, he's saying they're all corrupt. Stupid yeah, movie. it has, it's very much, it's, it's got a, it's, it's a more subtle, uh, like the, the New Yorkers on the subway and Spider-Man kind of vibe. Yeah. Um, it's, but, but and the reality is like several corrupt cops could be among that crowd. The point is Falcone is being taken to prison by yeah, all, there all isn't holding. enough corruption to yeah. keep him out of prison. He can't like he he, he considers himself like the Good king of the has city. Won, essentially, he's immune to everything. It's like not quite. And this is the thing: we don't mm. know what would have happened to him going forward. We never will find out. But uh, it was enough to get him arrested. Still pretty big. Yeah. Batman is good at yeah. targeting criminals because he's smart and because he's rich and because he's incorruptible. That's the entire basis of Batman. And they take all that and they flip it on its head because they don't like Batman. Wait, can we, sorry, can we, Wait, can yeah, we hear that again? Say that again. I need to hear yeah, that uh, one more time because that's an I'm going to roll him back a little further just because this is the, almost the thesis, right, of the video. Of mm -hmm. doing nice things by helping little old ladies cross the street. It's this sort of mentality that has led to New York turning into Gotham City in the last couple of years, by the way. That's a fundamental betrayal of what Batman is. What makes Batman different from the Riddler and than any of these other criminals is these criminals target innocent people and Batman targets criminals. That's the basis of the character. The entire basis of the character is the cops are bad at targeting criminals because they're corrupt. Batman is good at targeting criminals because he's smart and because he's rich and because he's incorruptible. So what do you think of that? that uh, there Batman... is a lot more that you could latch on to fundamentally about who Batman is that I think you could leave all of that out if you really wanted to. Yeah, That's so the, we already did the, the, the Riddler Batman thing. Um, it does feel like so saying cops? that the point, of, the point of Batman is that he is incorruptible, unlike the cops. The Which, there's an the interpretation Batman. of Batman <laughs> yeah, that is what we commonly see. There's a lot sure. of stuff I agree with with what he's saying there. It just feels like we're missing lots of other pieces we're as well as a lot, yeah. additional elements of Batman's character. Because I, I like the idea is like, why does Batman get started? It's like, well, Gotham is crime-ridden. And why is that happening? Well, because the police don't really police it as well as they should. Why? Because they're corrupt and they're in the pockets of uh, Falcone, Maroni, all the all this stuff. So, so that's why it gets started up. It's like, well, there's a lot of reasons why it gets started up. That's one Falcone. of them. Well, I say Falcone because I'm pretty sure that's the general pronunciation. If I'm talking about Falcone mm -hmm. specifically from this movie, I'll say that. Um, okay. I was curious because I still I don't even know what's happening. He's called Falcone in the Nolan trilogy. He's called Falcone in this one. So I don't know which one is the general one, but uh, because then the rhythm well, would have to say like, "What is uh, what is an Italian bird with wings?" Hey, Falcone. Uh, Instead of I don't know. You tried. What were you gonna I say, Frank? That's what really matters. Uh, <laughs> right. now it's it's gone now. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, but yeah, like the you know why why is what is the difference? Why is Batman who he is? Why is Brute? Like it's just like there's gonna be a hell of a lot more than that, but I agree that these are elements of it, but I'd now like to know Absolutely. why... Well, I guess the reason why he thinks this has been betrayed is because the film thinks, fuck the police and fuck Batman's attempts to beat crime, you need to do philanthropy. Uh, which is like, okay, no. Yeah. No, 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 no. No. 
No. I mean, no. I'd go as far as to say this film probably pissed off if you defund the pe police people with the lines like, you're a good cop, Gordon. Yeah, or like, definitely. Yeah, look like they're not all corrupt, are they? Yeah, this, this, um, yeah, yeah. this is, this definitely has a empower the good police message, which will upset some people. I think you were just, you were just on point with the, it's about corruption, not the police. About family. Yeah. That's the entire basis of Batman. And they take all that and they flip it on its head because they don't like Batman. And this is why I have real problems Wait, with but, the movie. It's, but Batman I, I is hate still incorruptible in this one. But, but they still... About? I think they're he's not... saying he's supposed to be incorruptible? Yeah. But... And he's upset that Batman didn't catch the Riddler, ultimately. Yeah, but, but that's what Metal said. It's yeah, like, Metal... He, yeah. Batman's okay, great because okay. he's incorruptible. It's like, oh, is he corrupt in this? Yeah, no, he's, he's not. I thought your criticism was that he is doing philanthropy now instead of beating up criminals. I thought that was the chief Maybe plight. he sees... Batman arcing as being corrupted. <laughs> like, I don't Bad. Know. Yeah. Um, like, the, like the most you could get is that his principles were corrupted by other people who were imitators of him, but that's not the same as Batman himself being corrupted. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Yeah. Hmm. The more I think about it, the more I get angry at it. Because they take the fundamental idea of what Batman You've is supposed to be the protector of the innocent who targets the criminal, and they say that if he targets the criminal, this makes him no different. And criminal. No. No, 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 no. 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 Also, no. that's in like no. that's in like all Batman stories as well at some point. Like what what separates him from them. Like that's an important element for any vigilante. Yeah. yeah. Like there's no there's no there's nothing wrong with questioning that, but at the same time this movie doesn't definitively claim like, oh, he's he's no different than the Riddler crony. It's like no. Correct. It's just a matter of yeah. uh his messaging can be corrupted. Yeah. He, yeah, he needs to be more responsible with his Batmaning rather than the Batmaning itself is bad. And he just, I mean, the movie just wants wants him to think about what the difference is between him saying he's vengeance and the the Riddler followers who also think that what they're enacting is also vengeance. And exactly. so it poses the question for him, like, oh, what is the difference really? And he has to think about that. The movie isn't saying there's no difference. The most important person who needs to know the difference is Batman. Correct. He's learning all about who he yeah. really is and who Batman is. Because Paul Dano, who's the Riddler, is also targeting criminals all the way up until the very end when they have to just sort of add on this attack oh, so on does Madison Square Garden and New York Broad Rit we for no reason. He has no motivation Correct. for blowing up a bunch of trucks and no flooding reason. downtown. Like, oh wow! I don't know if I go as far as saying he has no reason. I mean, he does I, have no reason. It's a bizarre, weird. Yeah, the reason. reason is a contradiction. It's inconsistent. Yeah. 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 So I'm with you there. But... And I, I'm going to give him some room on this. I have seen a several reviews of this film. Many people don't know why Riddler did any of that. Um, and to be fair, that's the first question I think I asked for you well, as I mean, well. I, I think everybody agrees. Right, the third act is the weakest part of the uh, of the film. Yeah, it's just I it is agree. a strange thing that uh, to have people questioning is like, why did the villain do his climax? Like, do hmm. his final thing. Yeah. <laughs> why did the villain? Do his <laughs> also, Chad, <laughs> yes, for no reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Say the thing. People were very happy to hear that in the TFA part four, by the way. <laughs> The clip I uploaded from the ZFAP oh, yeah, to video. my second channel, of, well, like, not from the EFAP, I guess, just from Ben's video with the edit in it. It's now my best performing second channel video of all time for its first two hours. <laughs> Wait, which one? This one here? The, on Empress the one I posted Milk, in the right? chat, yeah. Oh, okay, um, nice. I mean, it's pretty <laughs> funny, not gonna lie. And you stole content. I wasn't content. expecting, I wasn't expecting just this 10 second clip of the Ben Shapiro yeah. show to outperform any other video I've ever posted to that channel. Jay is learning all of the wrong lessons. Doesn't, doesn't get, yeah, what are the tough comments? Does it get slotted into the short se short section if it's so it short? Doesn't, it doesn't, no. Um, oh, okay. I was always wondering it how that works. And, and it has to be in vertical video to be a short, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but, no, I, my, my second channel is now going to, from now on, become a Ben Shapiro Clips channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but one of the top comments says, you've outdone yourself, Jay. This is gold. Could this, <laughs> could this be Jay's greatest meme? Jay, have you peaked now? I have. That's it for you. I'm sorry. My, my peak was a clip of Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Like, none. Man he doesn't explain why he does it. Wait, sorry. Uh, uh. Boop. Boop. When they have to just sort of add on this attack on 
Madison Square Garden and New York Broad writ for no reason. He has no motivation for blowing up a bunch of trucks and flooding downtown. Like, none. He doesn't explain I mean, why he does it. He, doesn't ex- he said... He does, but it sucks as an explanation. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Inconsistent. Wasn't, wasn't the reasoning he wants to, like, restart Gotham, basically? Yeah, so but he's everyone like, gets gonna, flooded. But that wouldn't everyone goes help. To the and if Madison he's a Square smart Garden, person, he should know that just flooding it, everything no, doesn't heard. wipe out corruption. That's no. fucking stupid. If anything, that just seems more metaphorically effective, but that's about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like I was thinking about rewatching it yesterday, but a better resolution for him would have been if he was, like, getting all of his followers, like, he's already getting them to put on the mask, but maybe now it's a mass... Um, exodus of gotham like it's a mass siege of gotham with his um cronies like they're going after all the people in power um using the cronies and you don't need to flood the fucking city to do that it's just very specifically they're using the oh, yeah well how would you do it politicians. yeah how would you do it yeah. yeah tell us in detail how you would enact your yeah criticize the problem it. with flooding the problem with flooding the city is it's not going to do anything people will just sell their homes and move yeah that's true. yeah that's, that's the thing. <laughs> Maybe the that's how he's going to do it. it. Everyone in Gotham moves. So there's no more people in Gotham. Mm. No more systems. No more systems. Yeah, there's no people, no system. No well, system, huh? no problem. No more systems. I, I had to make the joke at some point. You've made it several times. I have. Sorry, which <laughs> joke is that? Um, also, it's, uh, it's God, I thought out. I was saving it. I'm sorry if I've just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, someone said, I thought he said in his uh, podcast that the corrupt elite would make sure they get into the shelter over the common people, thus putting all of his targets into one location. So the problem with that is that it's going to absolutely include random civilians. Yeah. Um, so that, and he should know that. And so all it's going to do is pack a whole bunch of people into an area and you just nondescript shoot them all, including, by the way, children. It is fucking insane that that is his plan. Yeah. Yeah, that and is all a really the other thing to think. And all the commoners who don't get into the shelter, if that's how commoners. it works, they're they're just gonna what be flooded Common and peasants. yeah. Why are you okay with stranded? flooding Gotham? Why is why do you want to do that? Yeah, like yeah. don't you live there? I'm like I guess because you're also, in prison now, so you think aren't you he just, lives on like the third floor though, so he'll be fine. Aren't you just <laughs> harming all the people that you're doing this on behalf of? Isn't that... And like, if your if your target is the wealthy elite, I've got some news for you. Uh, the penthouse is at the top oh, floor. If you're oh, trying to eliminate for the fuck's flooding. sake, someone just said in response to that. Well, Riddler is meant to be insane, so he's like, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. There it is. I will, it hurts my I brain. Pull it out. I will pull out the comment. I swear to God, the fucking comment that perfectly explained why it, this is retarded. It, where did I put it? There it is. Just d- 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 this is why that's a bad explanation. Here, oh, you, should, that... should one of us read it out, or he's gonna put it on screen? I don't know what's happening. Yeah, you, um, dick. you did. Okay. <laughs> I, I can read it out if you want. You crazy it seems like you want. Yeah, yeah. Crazy is not actually a Looney Tunes type thing. There are people who have complete breaks from reality to an extent that it's near that it's nearly impossible from an outside viewer to understand what's going on in their heads or to figure out how they might react to anything or why. Those people exist, but they are not functional. They're unlikely to be able to take care of their basic needs, even with an institution that provides them with food and beds and showers, etc. They can't create plans and carry them out. The mentally ill people who are able to plan ahead and interact with the world and with people in a way that is coherent enough to... to be understood and even affect some change are not the ones whose actions when viewed from the outside would seem random they will have patterns of behavior that can be comprehended and they will be able to communicate their understanding of reality to a certain extent a heavily medicated paranoid a heavily medicated paranoid schizophrenic once explained to me that he believed his family including his pregnant wife were conspiring to do him harm and he was terrified of them and angry and confused but he also knew since he was heavily medicated that this belief was his was of his was a result of his mental illness and that it was causing uh ter- the terrible and was causing terrible distress to his family and knowing this is horrible in its own right since he couldn't stop believing those things the thing is even if he were off his medication and couldn't trust the truth as he saw it His behavior would still be consistent if you understood what his view of the world was, however distorted. It would 
make sense for him to hide things, to try and defend himself, to try to spy on his family, etc. It would not make sense for him to suddenly act as if he was Superman or a variety of other behaviors that stem from a completely from completely different delusions that he does not have. Yeah. And there is no reason in writing a mentally ill character to throw away proper characterization because it's perfectly possible and preferable to depict mentally ill people in realistic ways. If um if he <laughs> Because would you be getting this excuse if, like, in the climax of the film, if, if people think the Riddler's going to go fight Batman and instead he shows up in his underwear and starts clucking like a chicken and, <laughs> like, says, Batman, your milk is ready. Like, <laughs> well, he is insane. So. Yeah, he, he is, is insane. insane. Ooh, That's spooky. within character. Um, uh, people so, always some... use insanity as a way to explain inconsistencies, not consistencies. And someone just replied yep. to it. I I think this is a reply to what I just read out. That was the dumbest shit I've that ever was read. The dumbest shit I've ever read. I've heard dumber things. Oh yeah, I've, I think. I've, I've heard <laughs> I've read dumber things. Hey, maybe they're replying to another chatter. You, maybe. I it's hope it so. says the dumbest shit. Doesn't. There's no <laughs> way. Hey, maybe they want to get past the uh, get past the sentence. Yeah. No, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe. Also, yeah. someone, I just want to make sure we cover it. Someone in chat said, uh, "It's uh, it's true. Uh, Riddler wanted wanted to be captured because he wanted to be safe from the flood in Arkham. It's like there are oh, many, we talked about this. many yes. ways to be safe from the flood. <laughs> we talked about this when uh, Mola erroneously claimed that uh, that oh, not the water again. would be hot. No, it's okay. We don't we don't have to. <laughs> hey, so, like, you know, you know how that. in like. You know I got rags on my side for that one. You gotta take us both. You know how in real life when there's a flood, oh. the immediate response from emergency services is to send everyone to jail? Just because people. that's the only <laughs> safe place. <laughs> Ever so welcome. Let's just put it this way, right? Again, like, the, the end of the film, when he's foiled and he's just sitting in a cell, it's like, that's really, like... Now what, what you, did you think fucking would idiot? Like, yeah, if you had yeah. not done really that, you that could... You're in prison and can't like, do anything. Did you yeah. think your plan was so perfect it couldn't possibly fail that it doesn't matter you're in Arkham? It's like, come on. Did you just want to flex? Or like, just go what, to a hill. You... I just go to a hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have the ability to acquire multiple vans, vehicles, and... Sea level just describes travel. the level that water sits at uh, in the sea. And uh, land <laughs> sometimes true. higher or lower than right. the sea level. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, pretty much the vast majority of land Most is above land, sea level. Yeah. And like, Otherwise, yeah. it would normally be more sea. And I'm not trying uh, to... You know, fucking... with the exception of Death Valley, I guess. Not looking to insult anybody, but when I you wouldn't... say, like, Ah, he went to Arkham to stay safe from the water. It's like, why do you think that's so clever? What? Yeah, you just said a I really like, dumb um... thing as if it wasn't stupid. But so, it's still so... stupid. When we talk about movies, often films will provide explanations for things, but just because the film has an explanation doesn't mean it's a good one that you should use. Depends. Yeah, yeah. yeah which, by the way, is different from Ben Shapiro's criticism, which is that there is no reason. But but wasn't it apartment above the water line anyway? Like, did I miss I feel like there? any two-story building was. is above the yeah, was. I, would, I would say it yes. It fully yes. was. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of feel like standing in one story. That was building. the the amusing part about the safe haven was it seems to be this middle of the city sinkhole that all the water can pool into. It's like maybe yes. don't go here actually. Yeah. It just reminds oh. me of in the day after tomorrow. Quick to the library, not the Empire State Building or any other tall place. <laughs> I want to at least have something to read while we wait this. Yeah. Out. Well, then they're, they're, they're burning, burning all the books. Yeah. Fire. That's right. Yeah. I'm finally yeah, he tells the homeless guy tells him to to wad up the newspaper and put it in a. Remember little, how they wouldn't let the homeless, homeless guy in because he had a dog. Also, and then fucking, when the yeah, fuck died. those people, they should die for that. Someone just said yeah. Arkham's not even yeah, on the same land. Um, whether or not Arkham is on the same land isn't even like why would we? Why would you ever if if Arkham is you could safe? Literally, have right? stayed in bed and been safe. I would, I would, I would literally have been like, Riddler, why is Arkham so safe? And he goes, oh, because it's elevated a couple meters off the ground. I'd just be like, well, maybe, maybe there are other places that match you mean, that. like all these skyscrapers like your own over apartment. there? Yeah, like, you're... the only thing I can think of is that Arkham might have supply lines that his apartment wouldn't. Like, he might be able to get fed there because there would be... Uh, but I don't even know how that would work. Well, I feel like, like he would surely, have considering advance, his right? criticisms of Gotham... That he mm. doesn't believe that and Arkham why... prisoners are going to be prioritized with food when the supply lines break. And he's he's and got access to his outfit. I retract my thing. 
his outfit is from like a supply store of the list, right? Like I'm sure he's a, mm. he's probably a doomsday prepper to some degree. That character, I can believe that. Yeah, I mean, like he, he could afford yeah. several Perfect. vans. You can just yep, leave yep, that's the a city. Very good point. Yeah, that's that's just you could yeah. just town. walk out of city Buy a shit ton of border. Cans. Yeah, we we'll just move. Just leave. Just sell oh, your God. house. Just, just, yeah, exactly. leave. just sell your house to Aquaman and move. <laughs> Exactly. Like Airbnb. Aquaman exists in the universe. Because he, well, I mean, I don't want a clip would work for him because he has the unique advantage in the situation of being one of the few people who actually knows it would. It's gonna. This event is gonna happen. So we just said maybe it was to remove suspicion, so he could get away with blowing it up, and the minions have to like take responsibility. So first of all, they already know. He's about in what? prison. What? What? He's in prison wait, 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 for the crime. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's, it's wrong for several reasons. First of all, you have to rely on all of your minions not telling anybody or not showing that you commanded them to do all of it. So that's a tough one. Secondly, do you know do you know why he's in prison right now? <laughs> like he's <laughs> <laughs> Because because that's an illegal coffee shop. You're not allowed yes. to drink coffee there. If you they, they they just the cops just sit there, and they just wait for people to go they in sell, and order yeah. coffee. Mm -hmm. They sell cocaine coffee. Entrapment. That sounds pretty good. It's a coffee sting. I mean, I you know that'd be a hell of a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but you know, they they call it a cocktail, right? Take it away, Mister. Madison Square Garden and New York Broad writ for no reason. He has no motivation for blowing up a bunch of trucks and flooding downtown. Like, none. He doesn't explain why he does it. He doesn't explain what the he purpose of it is. Shit. All the way along, he's been saying, I'm exposing the true face of Gotham. Okay, that's a, that's a rationale. But what does that have to do with blowing up the city? They add that on just so that they can create a false distinction between... Oh, I was, I was what? almost, I was waiting for him to say the thing that I would have agreed oh, I with. Know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, Lord, ben, you came it was nearly there, Ben. It was nearly there, Ben. It was nearly there, Ben. It would have just one more step, one they more just step, wanted then the, a, yeah. a gust of wind. They wanted a big, <laughs> grand finale. Direction. Yep, that's why. Mm -hmm. I think it's as simple as that. Matt Reeves was like, we need a bigger finale. It's not going to be like a private thing in a room with two people or anything. This is, this is going to be something that affects the city, and it's going to be representative oh. of the city. I want... I wonder if not even Matt Reeves wanted that. I wonder if that was specifically a it mandate just, going Oh, yeah. sorry, yeah. Obviously, uh, I'm included. I, I don't know why I said Matt Reeves, to be honest. It's like the, it was wanted, and it happened. Simple as that. Uh, it's, it's like they went, you know, the Matt, you've, got, you yeah. know, you've got avalanches in your Planet of the Apes films. Could you give us a water avalanche in our Batman film? <laughs> oh, yeah, to be true. fair, I'm not inclined to to just chalk any sort of bad writing decisions up to the studio and not. Oh yeah, you know, sure. The that's, and well, I mean, you know, yeah, it that's could why I clarified. Anyone. Yeah, it could have been anybody. It could have been his. Can I just as well? Someone said, "How about you let him finish his sentence?" No, we already well, know he went around the wrong direction. He, we know yes, where he's going. He already said the wrong well, answer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? If we play it and then he corrects himself or whatever, you know, fixes we'll the issue, it. we'll yeah, I certainly hope. I certainly hope that you say the same thing if we're watching, like, High Top. Or Movie Bob. Let him finish. Or, or Well, then again, it tends to, the first time around when the coverage happens, there's a lot more of, like, let him finish, but then after, like, the second or third video, it starts yeah. to rapidly <laughs> demand Please, let this him finish. fucking guy. I don't even know <laughs> well, what he I, this guy. I remember the first time we watched Fomento, there was plenty of let him finish. We don't see that so much anymore. <laughs> for men to, what he said about and the, the Vietnam War. The funniest War, thing man. is that, like, you <laughs> already know about the <laughs> That, by the way, has the that aliens. has that made it into the EFAP Hall of Fame? Because that's one of the most incredible comments I've ever heard about anything. Can you remind oh, wait, me? Which, I, which I'm thinking right now. He, he compared the war with like the aliens in the future to the Vietnam War. Oh yeah, War. Oh, right. Dude, yeah. his. He was like quoted like saying yeah, the enemies shit. they were they were like so foreign to us they were like aliens and it was like what the fuck. Who <laughs> 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 did this? Oh, oh, a momento. Momento. That was Filmento. The poor guy. He he fell. He into looked at the Tomorrow War and he <laughs> saw the Vietnam War. <laughs> oh, why would? <laughs> the Tomorrow War of all things. You're like that's Vietnam. Uh. 
Oh man! Good but, shit. The, the, Good should already be. Efap audience should already know who Ben Shapiro is, though. Like that, we don't need to give him this because we've covered him before. We've we covered have. his Star Wars rankings. Well, but also, like, is that how our standards work? The first time around, you get hyper benefit well, of the doubt. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. We give pretty yeah, good they... benefit of the doubt. We just don't let them finish. We don't. I'm sorry. Gilger clarified. He said they're basically an alien race. That's what he, was, that's what he said. He's like the Vietnamese are basically an alien race. <laughs> but guys, don't worry. We will hear literally every word he has to say in this video several times over. Right? Yes. We're not going to skip anything. It's just we might not get like, there yet. We basically if... are watching this video twice. That's the thing. <laughs> um, and I feel like people must have noticed this. We often go back for the whole thing because ultimately if someone says like, I'm going to fart underwater to win the sport game. It's like, I've got many <laughs> things to say about that. Like, this is, I would, I, it, it, we, we have like our first thought on that sentence, and then we roll it back, play, and you're like, okay, now I want to talk about why this, you know, like there's, there's several things to come up. Don't worry, we'll get to whatever the fuck point he's actually making. I mean, the, several things will be, come. To be clear, the goal nice. is not to misrepresent uh, mm -hmm. whatever arguments being put forth. The goal is to engage with them in as, as much good faith as possible. Exactly. I feel like anyone who believes that our goal is to misrepresent Ben Shapiro isn't going to be convinced by that. I mean, I feel yeah, like there are fine. way well, easier ways to misrepresent someone than watching the whole video in full and often going, wait, mm -hmm. what did he mean by that? And then going back and re-listening to it or, hold it's, on, let's yes, see what he has insane. to say. Or, yeah. wait a minute, that doesn't, hold on, go back. Like, that's a weird way to misrepresent yeah. somebody to replay their perspective to try and figure Let it out. Let me represent this person by making sure I actually heard the thing I just said. Exactly. Having a ten minute Correct tangent on if wrong. you could unknowingly be complicit in something. <laughs> 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 this will show Ben. But yeah, so just to be clear, he did like A, B, C. Did we were all like yes, 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 and then he went black, and we're just like no, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's no, not what comes after C. We were right Unless there, man. Sexual um, <laughs> we were no. right there. <laughs> we were right there, we're this man. Close to greatness. <laughs> And so now we're going to roll it back. the actual point he made was now. Well, so I think that, uh -huh. so th I'm almost certain the point he's going to make is that they tacked on the third act to support the point that Batman needs to do X, Y, Z, not that he should do whatever else. No. Like he's going to... Well, not that it, the third act was there because they wanted a, uh, an action scene for a, you know, climax. Which is interesting because if he was right, like all the references were accurate and that's exactly what it was, I'd probably be like, yeah, that is a problem. You don't want your story to break its back to follow the theme. You want it all to be cohesive. No. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yep. Which I think is going to be his point, and that's why I'm sad, because that's probably not at all why the third act is there. It's the criminal, and they say that if he targets the criminal, this makes him no different than criminals. Because Paul Dano, who's the Riddler, is also targeting criminals. All the way up until the very end, when they have to just sort of add on this attack on Madison Square Garden and New York Broad Writ for no reason. He has no motivation for blowing up a bunch of trucks and flooding downtown. Like, none. He doesn't explain why he does it. He doesn't explain what the purpose of it is. All the way along, he's been saying, I'm exposing the true face of Gotham. Okay, that's a, that's a rationale. But what does that have to do with blowing up the city? They add that on just so that they can create a false distinction between Batman and the Riddler so that Batman can change his mission. So See? There have you, you thought about... Yeah, you trust there you go. What's <laughs> happening? Yeah. Exactly what I thought he was going to say, but... Uh... We let him finish the sentence. I guess we'll keep going because that's what we thought he would say. Yep. Mm -hmm. And sorry, Mimo, were you going to say that? Oh, uh, just, uh, just, just as as he's speaking, all I can think is: Do you think that maybe this, um, the, these compare that there may be a lot of your criticisms here are just based on the fact that you didn't fucking understand what they were doing with Batman pretty fundamentally? Maybe just did you take five minutes to think about that? Maybe. I don't know. Well, some of his other criticisms that definitely seems to apply. I mean, clear. I I totally sympathize with the idea that the third act is kind of disconnected from what comes before it, but not for the same reasons. That's the that problem. Yeah. To. You know when yeah. he says the Riddler did it for no reason, uh, no reason that he said. That's like ah, oh, I could have almost agreed with you because when you say no reason, that can be our conclusion when we look at his mm -hmm. reasons. We were like, that's not yeah. a good reason, so therefore there's no reason. But he's saying he didn't even say what. It's like, oh, no, no, he did. No, he did. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah. and then that's just the thing of, oh, damn, like, your references are off. Oh, damn. Like, that means, yeah. means we that's may well not agree. Contender. 
That's why I feel like if you could point out to him some of the specific references, you could change his mind. You know what I mean? So, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Hopefully he's not too passionate about this change? position that he would be like, no, this is what happened. I'm going, okay. It's possible. That, that would be funny. You have his mind changed on... Well, the, there would be, it would no be funny if he didn't change his mind. <laughs> it would be funny to hear him argue it. Um, it might be interesting to hear him argue it, yeah. It be, well, I, mean, I, guess, I guess, you know, <laughs> bright side either way is that we either get him to change his mind or we get like a Major Lee style... <laughs> What the fuck I, is this I world where Ben Shapiro agrees to come on EFAB? What is that gonna happen? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey, I would love it, hope. personally. You think he would? can only hope. I think he definitely would, you're right. He's chomping at the bit. He just, he doesn't want to be impolite <laughs> and invite himself. Yeah. He has like a secretary and every day he's like, any, um, any mail from, email? Uh, from EFAB? No, uh, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have to say who it's from, he just asked the secretary, did they email? Secretary <laughs> knows, no, sir. They had not yet. Not yet. You've not did, received there's a, another day. Uh, there's did, a code in his videos, like the titles. If you arrange the letters, like a Nicole is dead <laughs> kind of thing, or uh, or, or like just, the first letter of each second it's a riddle. paragraph, you know, something. When he responds a to riddle, that's right. Like news articles or even just news clips and stuff, he pauses them a lot, and he's like, "Wow, well, I pause a lot, huh?" <laughs> yep. That's what I do. <laughs> like, hey, one can even pause. say that I pause every frame. At this every, point, yeah. Every frame like, I pause. Only I could find a community of like-minded people who do the same thing to join on. It may be a podcast yeah. of some description. Only I could find a, someone in a gas mask, a dog, and a bird, and maybe we I'm can... I'm not a bird! Ben. <laughs> ben, ben, you know, Ben's not talking about No, from fact. his you know, he's perspective. He's just eluding. Yeah, yeah, from his perspective. Exactly. You know, Bird is code for um, plague doctor. Yes. No, it's not. Oh. Just because they both got beaks doesn't mean that no. they're one. Damn hey, it, guys. Well, yeah, I, what, if he said, what if he <laughs> said someone with bird-like features? I, like beak. I, I'm not sure that that's... Is that meant to make me feel better about all that? Yes. <laughs> is, is that me? Bird-like features? Well, is it a bird-like... Bird. A beak is a bird-like feature for you. A beak is a beak. Whatever you make of it, that's up to you. Oh, Shakespeare! I feel here. like but a beak is more commonly associated beaks. with a bird than a plague doctor. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, oh, I, yeah. I don't, I've never but seen I, anyone I, yeah, sure, look at a bird and be like, "Oh, that looks just like a plague well, doctor." Well, 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 I, 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 so, so if, if you if you would allow me to actually, if you would allow me to speak, all I was saying was, I never said that a like a, a beak is a plague doctor feature. I never said that. I just said a beak is a beak. He's a beak doctor. But you did show opposition to the idea that it's a bird-like feature, right? Yeah, it is a bird-like uh, feature. I, think that, I would I argue think that, that it's both. call it a bird-like feature, I feel like it is principally a beak is a beak. Um, I feel like you're being obtuse yeah. about the nature what of it. <laughs> yeah. I what? No. If if I were the warden, I'd put you in the in the hole for a month for that. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, could I say it? Could, you, there are some things you think are like some things else, right? Free. Let's get that sorted as a foundation. What? Well, there are there are things that are like other things. Yes, I I do understand that notion. Yeah. And, um, are you a platypus? And of all the beaks, there's a lot that go to the birds, right? Like they kind of hog it. Yeah. Um. I'm not. I'm not sure that that. It I feel like you should what, be sure about that. What? What other? What? Are, what categories hog beaks? Uh, <laughs> Monotrophs. <laughs> yeah, guys. We don't have enough information. We don't know on a universal Mon scale. Monotrophs have beaks it. too. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Silence. I'm, no, I'm, Wait, I'm only silent because you. I'm googling the word. Octopus. Monotremes. I'm so oh, familiar with monitor dreams that I'm just like, maybe someone else isn't, so you could, you know, explain. What is the population <laughs> of monitor dreams, and is it comparable to the population of birds? Well, is that how we determine? Species? Is this yeah, how we probably, yeah. probably not. We should determine it by awareness, right? Yeah. Well, that's that's another ca Basically, any category that you can determine the hogging by. Dolphins? <laughs> Dolphins don't have beaks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like dolphins, dolphins have snouts. Beaks. If dolphin anything. beaks. Okay. <laughs> what have we you become? Know, the big, the big unifying factor here 
really between Ooh. all of this is that Ben Shapiro is a Jew, of course, and in the Pentateuch. Why? Why are you sad like that? <laughs> well, this, I, like what? I, I, he is a Jew, and that is totally fine. If you're Jewish, it's fine. Be, plenty of people are wrong about all kinds of things, right? So Ben Shapiro Oof. is a Jew, and in Leviticus, they say that bats. You know, like Batman. Rax say, hates all religions equally. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's not just you. Bats are birds, and Fringies are birds. So we have Batman, we have Ben Shapiro, we have Fringie. <laughs> it's all linked together. It's all a, it's all a web. So, Everything's connected. So, so Fringie, I think you might have a point because I just did a Google, and cephalopods, <laughs> also known for having beaks, there are more species known hist- um, overall of cephalopods uh-huh. than there are of birds. Therefore, <laughs> it should probably go to cephalopods. Wait, do so all, all cephalopods, cephalopods have, beaks? have beaks? I don't think they do. I don't know. All I know is that uh, if we're playing, well, you sounded like, like you knew. Well, well I think. I mean, Fringy sounded birds, like he knew. So... He was really happy. I was yeah. just laughing. That's all. <laughs> no, you were very content in that. Uh... Yeah, it sounded like the information meme gave you was very pleasing. Can you tell us why? It sounded like I a just laugh found of it victory. Interesting. That's all. It's not a laugh of victory. It's a laugh of man. You were also confident that birds just severely outnumber, um, like the. Those other you object you don't even the know what they are <laughs> numbering <laughs> as a metric of what cephalopods we should... are like opti- octopi and and uh squid and stuff squids, yeah yeah but you With objected the to the whole numbers. notion that we would judge this based on the sheer numbers you so... did but now you huh? seem to yeah, be no, singing I, a I different didn't... tune i'm not singing a different tune because i never said anything about it, the, the i think as a bird you sing often that's true. I feel like this that's, tune is rather derivative rags, of others. Rags, you know. Why? I think you need to. That's uh. That, you shouldn't say things like that. <laughs> All <laughs> birds sing, really? Wow. Well, I, it sounded like a yep. like a general thing. <laughs> birds tend to sing, right, Rags? That's that's all you were saying. Yeah. It, they all do. They tend to sing. sing do yeah. they? Yeah. That, they do. Honestly, birds do I tend think to sing. Bird, bird song, right? Yeah. I know that birds and like. To that sing, is a kind of song. Yeah. You sing songs, don't you? Fringy, name a bird that doesn't sing. Um, ostrich. Ostriches Are love you to sure? sing. Oh, they love I'm to sing. I'm not sure. They actually. love it so much. No. They really oh, like show Of tunes. all the ones to sing, oh, New they sing. Ostrich oh. sing. Birds, birds who <laughs> sing at night, right? <laughs> Birds who don't sing. Now be careful Hold with on. the Google search because Google will tell you that, like, oh, imagine dragons, they sing, but you know, it, <laughs> you, have to, you have to be really careful about what Google tells you there. Now, we also have to remember that, you know, birds <laughs> and dinosaurs, there are many <laughs> not dinosaurs, dinosaurs that had beaks. I have to show you this, guys. You gotta see this. <laughs> In, in Grugel. Look at this. Grugel. Oh, okay, <laughs> what is the sound of an of ostrich? What is the sound of ostrich called? <laughs> the sound of ostrich. Particularly, yeah. The sound of ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 actually it's the little known Simon and Garfunkel sound, the sound of ostrich. I like that Google auto auto fills that with that exact one as well. Where is what is the sound of OST and just says what is the sound of ostrich called? <laughs> it's strange <laughs> because OST it's is a like common original question, soundtrack. Right? So it is. OST, OST is original mm-hmm. soundtrack, true. So you, you think that oftentimes they'd be waiting, like Google's just chomping at the bit to be like, which one? Which one do you mean? Nope, they already know yeah. ostrich. Um, yeah, I, I just think what it's about, fair. I think it's all very fair. What about non-avian dinosaurs? So like the Triceratops, for example, had a beak. So how many of those had the beak? Because that's where the beak really came from. You know, the, the, yeah, the but they're dead. They don't matter. The I think I mean, what we should be that... focusing on is awareness. <laughs> Yes. Like, they're dead, so it doesn't matter. I mean, maybe to you, but, I mean, I'm, I... That's, I'm the yeah, plague doctor's not as around anymore, but still, yeah. you know. I'm with you on that one, Friggy. I'm with you. I'm with Jay on awareness. I I'm. Like I said that back. first, the awareness thing, because I think that's fair, but the thing is, well, you, you can't say whether or not they're Jay alive or dead. with Mahler on awareness. Because the thing about Alive or Dead is, dinosaurs are pretty cool, you know? So dinosaurs like, are true. pretty cool. Can't argue And if that. you were to say that beaks are dinosaur-like, in much the same way that if you said beaks are bird-like, I really don't take a pro- an issue with that. I just think that it's worthwhile Birds to not... Beak-like. It sounded like I you just took get... issue with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it that, that like sounds more like a you it. problem than anything else, all right? You're the one that seems to have. I'm not the bird, one. Anything you guys uh, can give an, up an this argument at any time. So can you? Yeah, you started with yeah, what, so after what you. Jay said. So is can a you. bill a beak? 
All Jay said was this bird like, and then you were like, whoa, this, bro. This was my fault. You're yeah. right. Bro. <laughs> Look at poor Ben over here. Poor little little Ben Shapiro over here being neglected. <clears throat> That's true. See, Jay, it's from now about? on, Jay, say it's dinosaur like, all right? And we won't have this problem. Yeah. I'm yeah, going to say it's there, are, there were so many pterosaurs, it's so like, like <laughs> pteranodons and stuff. Most of them had beaks. And they probably outnumbered the birds as far as diversity goes. We already gave up on like the population them. argument, okay? And alive or dead is No, I, just... I didn't. You you gave up. I didn't. I never, <laughs> I, I'm I still on that <laughs> island. Damn I you. <laughs> you gave up. I didn't. I just like that the free spam we have right now looks like he's playing imaginary drums. <laughs> Gosh, actually, yeah. Well, also, oh, I was going judge with us. stealing a deck of cards. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I also think this is oh, genuinely yeah, what his expression would be if he heard the conversation we just had. <laughs> I, I guess, so, Ooh, so I, be, I, be getting, well. uh, I keep getting ads that he had a conversation with Jordan Peterson. I wonder if they talk about birds on their little chat. I that. hope they do. Probably. They talk about probably. That's, that's the main topic of discussion, actually. It's just birds. Where <laughs> yeah, it's like the biology I, of birds. Exactly. Yeah, but guys, turtles also have beaks. Turtles do have beaks, that's true. It's about awareness. We've been over this, all right? No one thinks about turtles as beak havers, okay? Is that is that how it works in awareness? Yes. Oh, yeah. So like, yeah, you describe much. something as being similar to the thing that most people are going to be aware of, right? As a, as a comparison. Um, I suppose I can understand why you would think that. That sounds like a very why I do think <laughs> Are really you running crazy. for president? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> that would be funny if somebody was asked that like in a presidential <laughs> debate. There are some people who do believe I'm running for president. <laughs> yeah. There I are suppose some people who do people. believe I'm running for president. I want to put an there end are to a lot these of great horrific people. lies. <laughs> Fringy, I would vote for you. Bird I would like or not. I wouldn't, personally, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. well, who are the other candidates? I can't remember. Can you vote for yourself? You can, right? Yeah, yeah of can. course you can vote yeah, yourself. Yeah. You're just <laughs> one vote, so you're fine. But, mm -hmm. but when I was running for school captain, one of the pieces of advice they, they gave us was just like, you would be stupid the to not vote school? for yourself. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, whole man. Oh, you just reminded yeah. me. You talk about school man. captain stuff. Um, oh, I'm just having a flashback. I remember um, when I captain? was... Yeah. So <laughs> captain of the had, school. Uh, so, so, <laughs> I thought you were like yes, a principal right. or yeah. something. Well, so, you know, it's like what, uh, body they let a like, student you know, president or something. They gave a student well, that kind of power. The, the student well, so, council. <laughs> yeah, and as we learned in in South Park, um, when Wendy got that power, she used it to destroy the Smurf village and take all their Smurf berries. No. Oh my true. god! <laughs> yeah, I know it's horrible. And then they adapted it into a film, a little known film called Avatar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> dances with Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I? Oh, yeah, that's right. School captains. Um, meme, it would have been the same for you, right? You know how, like, when you had sports days, you'd have five teams and they'd oh, usually yeah, the be houses. assigned like different colors? Yeah. Yeah. I Mine remember, was uh, Garrowang. Well, did yeah, you go to Hogwarts? Garrowang. Is that what you did? Did yeah. you go to Hogwarts? Um, yeah, so Garrowang? We, 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 we House like... Garrowang? <laughs> That sounds yeah. like a like that sounds like a <laughs> hentai fetish. It's like code for something. <laughs> Are you into Gara Wang? Like, what's that? It's like, oh, well, if you don't well, know, this guy's called Gary, know. and it's his Wang. Oh, if you have oh, to ask, rag, Are you into rag, Gary's gets, Wang? No, dude, Rags, wang. Rags, it gets even better because our our slogan was "Up the Wang," and we'd shout that <laughs> as nice. up the Wang. <laughs> Up the wang, that's what we would shout. That and it was completely permitted, you know, it was all approved. That's weird. You know, the teacher were just like, oh, I was usually endorsement of sounding not entrances. When there I was go, in high school as a uh, up the wang, it would be great. As a freshman in high school, we did something similar where all of the classes would compete in basketball games throughout the year until so there was like a winner for the, the homeroom class. And uh our our uh homeroom guy was a teacher was his last name was Struby. Oh no. S T R S T R U B E. And so our basketball team name was Struby. <laughs> our basketball team name was Struby Struby. <laughs> our, our our basketball team name. <laughs> you can do it, man. It was <laughs> Uh, you can do it. Uh, I can't. Can't. <laughs> it's, 
It's okay. It's not going to be nearly as good as what anyone's imagining. It's just silly. Our our homeroom team name was... <laughs> I don't even know if it's a Discord at this point. <laughs> there, there really isn't. It's just... it's. I'm, I'm... I'm sorry, my face hurts. <laughs> It's, it's not even that funny. Can't even get it out. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just waiting in suspense. God, it's the way that Kevin Ton said it. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Our classroom name was Struby Strawberries. And okay. that was it. Yeah. And that was... acid climax, isn't <laughs> no, it? I know. It's just Struby Strawberries. <laughs> pretty gay, <laughs> not gonna lie. Um, the name of her <laughs> freshman <laughs> homeroom. <laughs> <laughs> it, it becomes funny just because There's of Struby Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> now keep in mind, I went to an all boys Catholic school, <laughs> so there were no ladies. It was this is the most virile environment I'd ever been in, and we were Struby Strawberry. <laughs> I can picture you <laughs> dancing onto the court, like. Uh, <laughs> uh, and Struby Strawberry. Struby Strawberry. We played our first game and lost horrifically. <laughs> <laughs> but but you lost style. We, we had yeah. to be expected because all the teams, all the classrooms compete, and the freshmen are, of course, quite behind the seniors in terms of just general competence. So, yeah, we, uh... Well, sorry, uh, did you guys have, like, when you had your sports stuff, did you have team captains and things like that? For... Oh, yeah, I just... Um, we probably had a school I captain, I was like, wait. Oh, yeah, well, we, we, we had, had like, school class captain. president in our classes. <laughs> ah. No, we, we had school captain. We had a music captain as well. Uh, wait, music so what, captain? Wait, or, or what, is, what like, is a school captain? So the school captain, I think all that they really did was that they were like some sort of representative within the school for like the students. They would go up and do the speeches whenever they needed to, like and present stuff, and that that was basically it. It's like you don't really do a lot. As yeah, much that's the, that's the, the same as like class president. In yeah, American that's more schools. familiar with yeah. me. I think we had just like student rep, know. basically. So, so and, uh, asked, in my school, I was elected to the to student. Play do? Uh, oh, someone what? asked, what did the people who didn't want to play do? And I said, so you had like 20, 25 people in a homeroom. So if you didn't want to play, that was totally fine. Yeah, there's only five people at a time. Yeah, yeah, basketball is normally a 5v5 affair with some substitutions. So also, this was not super duper serious. <laughs> so if well, you didn't, of course not, yeah. If yeah, you didn't based on the name, I would guess it was. In front of the whole school, that was okay. I will say, I remember I learned like... um. Because when I was in year five, which for reference is like 10 or 11 years old, I remember, uh, and that was like the final year of primary school, I, uh, I, wanted to, I wanted to be the school captain for my, uh, my team, and so I prepared like a big old speech. I worked so hard on it. <laughs> I worked so hard. I was thinking about all of the important points I needed to hit. It's a like, terrible like, hey. racial story. Yeah. No, what, no, no, no. There, there's not too many of those. <laughs> not. Um, there's not too many of those. Um, there are a few though. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I, I worked. I worked really hard on that speech. Um, <laughs> is that is that amusing? I need to do it. <laughs> both, both of these memes are quite good. I love how long the neck is. The sound, I can imagine the sound of ostrich. The camera the pans in over the, the field. Yeah. She's spinning around. <laughs> the music swells. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so um, they make the really deep noises. <laughs> oh You're saying I the film imagine. would be beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, it would be so beautiful. Many. Oh my lord. South oh. Sahara instead of South Pacific with an ostrich and like a, I don't know, a lion. The ostrich yeah. and the lion forbidden love. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
the lion, the ostrich, and the wardrobe. And the zebra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. I need to see that one. Like, instead of the white witch, it's the ostrich with the giant neck. <laughs> the neck is so high that it spreads off of the page like it doesn't even fit into the poster. Oh, <laughs> they, the do the, they do the thing from Powerpuff Girls where we never see the head of the witch. It's just a long <laughs> neck that's constantly above You gotta frame. put that meme up, too. You gotta put that meme up, too. It's really good. Um, oh, so, yeah, so the story. So I worked really hard to do the, Sorry, the speech. Um, <laughs> Sorry, and I remember, so something, I, I learned I learned a really important lesson uh, from oh, that. No. I, I lost. Uh, I didn't win. Um, and I remember feeling that I had presented the best speech because um, I worked really, really hard on it. I remember I worked so hard on it. Um, but I, I learned, like, a really valuable lesson that is so simple, but just... It, it, I remember it was uh, really interesting to me at the time. Um, th the people who won that I noticed in like all of them would always have some sort of euphemism that they would say at the end, like, go, the name of the team. And that was like a really important thing for getting people hyped up and then like a level of interest in voting for you. And it was just like, damn, you got to like get those platitudes in there. If you if you're trying to get like a, um, mm -hmm. if you're trying to win like an election like that, you just got to get those platitudes in. Find a way. Don't talk. You could talk about yourself all you want, but just make sure that you get those platitudes in. Um, damn, it was like, yeah, I, it's okay. I've gotten over it now. I, I should have gotten <laughs> over it by this point. <laughs> <Platitude>. <laughs> those are those are echinoderms, right? Are they echinoderms? I think pla uh, I think platitudes are. Wait, yeah. sorry, Wait, euphemism. What is that, right? That's... What is that word? I have I have I screwed up? Is that not a word? <laughs> is not is that not the word that I mean? Wait, no, I mean? platitude is a word. Yeah, it's like a big hill that's flat. Oh, I'm that's... an idiot. No, it's not. It's not <laughs> euphemism. That's wrong. It, it, you're no, right. It euphemism. is platitudes. It is yeah. platitudes. I'm a well, fool. Well, you learn something new every day. All right. Rags. What was the word you said? A it was the wrong one. It's fine. Echinoderms. What was that? I thought it. I thought I... Enchiladas. Is, is that an alien species? Oh, no. or? Make sure that when you give a speech, if you're running for political office, to give lots of enchiladas. That'll get you in. <laughs> yeah, like Knuckles. Absolutely. The enchilada. Well, you do the thing like in The Simpsons. Wasn't that a thing where, like, in order to win the pretzels, they were giving away, like, free... No, that wasn't... That's not a good reference, sorry. That's okay, I forgive you. I I mean, any Simpsons really reference is a good reference. That's in okay. in my um, in my school when I was about nine, I was um, elected. Uh, I, I wanted to be elected every year. Every year I tried to get on the student council. When I was nine, I finally got in, uh, which was my last year at that school, by the way. So my last chance. And then I was removed from the council by a teacher in a shocking violation of democracy. <laughs> <laughs> we were on this council, but no, but no. <laughs> Wait, why were you removed? What did I you threw do? Throw a rock at another child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but did well, they deserve it? it? No, 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 no. I feel like we've just uncovered an even greater story here. <laughs> yes. Oh, once why I threw a rock, a rock at, at another, another chi child. I don't remember. I did a lot of things when I was a child. I feel oh. like you should remember this. You um, got kicked off of your. You lost all your political power. Well, what I, I, <laughs> I, I can tell you is that I remember being angry. <laughs> That's <laughs> really? really all the detail I have. You didn't in my hit him with a rock out of love. No. Well, no. you know, there, there could be like an Weird. element of like some of the things I did wrong as a child around, where I injured other yeah. children were like I thought it would just be like a funny prank and then it, it wasn't. Yeah, because I, I a hit prank, a guy bro. in the head with a rock once and it was a total accident. Yeah. Children, children of the future. Sorry, we're meant to be watching Ben Shapiro, <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> we got, what? I got caught up in the in all the this talk oh, about yeah. birds and, and political and campaigns. I like and how to yeah. Wait, do we want to talk about this wonder thing, or are we moving on? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what do you mean? Looks, looks, looks amazing. Oh, what wait, what? Look at that face! Perfectly normal <laughs> face. Um, one sec. He's doing the white person face! <laughs> He's doing the things that people do with their mouths. <laughs> Dude, she's she's got the expression of she's just walked in on something awkward. She's like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. yeah ooh. Mm. 
<laughs> Man, you can't even you can't breathe. You die in there. <laughs> it's pretty funny to be fair. It is pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> They've painted like oh that teary-eyed look into the, her into her eyes, like she's got. Tears in her eyes. I'm, I'm sorry. Why does she have this face? Why? Like... Someone in the comments said she farted, and she's trying not to breathe. It in. <laughs> 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 oh, no. She's turtling. Oh, full circle. Full circle. We talked about turtles and how they've got beaks. Oh look my that. god. Oh, Wanda saw Vision fucking Black Widow. That, there's your explanation. <laughs> Man, that was a choice that they made. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it must have been accidental. How was it uh, accidental? How, like, how but it passes happen? through so many points <laughs> of true. production, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm just confused. But why, is confused called, why is it called Lady Spooktacular, though? Well, I guess because maybe you can't brand it like as a Marvel thing without getting in trouble. Well, so it's so an off brand. It's not figure Scarlet then. Witch, it's Lady Spooktacular. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe that explains their face. They couldn't use a normal <laughs> face. <laughs> if that, that clearly is just like, oh, this is defective. We're not going to sell this one. Oh, we're mm -hmm. using it for the promotional material. Oh no, <laughs> no, we can't do that. <laughs> this is people. <laughs> oh, you know when no. they use the figure of Palpatine on the Rise of Skywalker poster? This is yeah. They should use. They should do the same with this. <laughs> <laughs> for the multiverse of madness, it's just that face. <laughs> yes. Someone make that poster, please. Uh, maybe, maybe this is actually a like a, a loving recreation of a very important moment from Multiverse of Madness, and we just maybe. don't have the context yet. Well, the oh, part nice. where she's like, "Oh, awkward." Mm -hmm. uh, part where like... she walks in on Doctor Strange having a tug. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if that was a well, scene? Well, we do have some scenes of him shirtless in bed, so you know, oh, when you have a tug, everyone thinks you're a hero. But when and, I do, and like he's you know. he's just finished, <laughs> like he's just finished, so it's really hard for him to hide anything. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? What is this premise? <laughs> Welcome to the multiverse of madness. You're like, wait, what? Like, <laughs> the multi-tugs of madness. Then, then she says, "I wish I could go to a universe where I never saw that," and that kicks off the events of the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah like blasts a hole in reality. Everything gets yeah. sucked into this eldritch like wormhole. And he grants that <laughs> wish done. because that's what Doctor Strange does. He just grants. He just does that. Yeah, wishes. Yeah. He just does that. He's not here oh. to talk about Westview. It's not like that would be something worth talking about. You know nope. that that little bit where you enslaved it. <sighs> Why did they? Oh man, they ruined it. They really did. <laughs> the multiverse of tugness. No, it really is kind of like. But consider the positive, which is what a huge weight it is off your shoulders that you just hate everyone involved anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I like Spider Man. <laughs> oh yeah, Spider-Man, yeah, but like Multiverse of Madness. You're like, oh, you're just all shit. I like, I like Patrick well, Stewart. And I like yeah, exactly, exactly, Xavier. exactly. Oh, they're gonna that's be right, throwing. they're gonna be yeah. in hell, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Run, Patrick, yeah. run! <laughs> Get out as Keep soon as on. you can. That's the joke. <laughs> I know it's the joke, but I'm just saying, give him more helpful advice. <laughs> he can fly with his brain. <laughs> He'll fly with his floating fly chair. His no, he, no, he has a floating chair. He'll fly he away does, with yeah, that. Yeah, he does float his chair around. Yeah, float faster. <laughs> Fla the, 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 float away, bad Go, go, go say, flying this, chair. He just this very he this really variant of Charles off. Xavier will have his own personal puppeteer that will help him to run away. Oh, what he he just kneels down and uses <laughs> his legs and runs with him. Yeah, you know it's like a you know it's like a giant human just puppeteering. <laughs> All right, another meme. It's I just saw another meme come through. Take a look at that. <laughs> I can believe that's a creature. Oh god! Yeah, I could. I could see that Elden Ring. I was like, "What creature is that?" 
It's I mean, a dolphin. It's, it's, it's like a, a it's tentacle a, monster a with a beak and Elden Ring. A dolphin. A dolphin. A deagle. A deagle. A deagle's the easy one, Breed. A deagle. A deagle. True. True. It's, but isn't deagle desert eagle? This is a dolphin eagle. You think this thing is a shit? I've never, was, <laughs> I've never heard anyone describe it as an eagle. I'm sure I have heard someone describe it as an eagle. It's older than the deagle. Really? Yes. Deagle eagle. Legal eagle. It's been around for millions of years. Yeah, he is the first creature to ever exist on Earth. Before the single-celled organisms, there was a deagle. <laughs> this thing was, a was right was, next to that big he, bag. He, was, he wasn't like it. a species or anything. There's just one. <laughs> he's he's just, isn't that the name of... Uh... Waiting for Ben Shapiro's take on the Batman. Now, <laughs> like, maybe uh, I'll get this wrong, finally. but isn't Deagle the name of Smeagol's friend yes. that he strangles? Yes. Oh, oh wow. no. We can have so he was oh, wait, that's right. like he this. Did. Well, no, we, he, we can't be called that because of the gun. Aw, oh, dang. <laughs> well, did the, who came first, him or the Desert Eagle? Let's figure that None, out. None, the when fucking was... beaked thing down there came first. It's been well, an I know editor for millions of years. First. I know that he came right. first, and that's Trillion. how life started on Earth. Yeah, he he is like he he flew up there and he was like, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna sort this out. And then he cracked <laughs> this his thing his, flew like, out of the Big Bang, perfect. Yeah, and then he flew he flew to Earth and he, he cracked, he cracked his he cracked his fin like knuckles in his fin and he put them together and like he turned it around and went <laughs> with his fins and then he's like, all right, let's get to work. And he started and he figuring climbed, it all out. Climbed to a mountaintop and ate some black goo, dissolved into a river, and uh, we have life. Goo. Why? Why that? Ah, I see. Why? Why goo? Why do you think? I I'm asking you. I, I, I'll Ridley give you Scott one chance to so. guess, and then I'll reveal my tricks. Okay. Um, I I don't know. That's my guess. Good What's no. Oh um, no. Oh so. god, a meme just came in. No, no, no. <laughs> he was doing a Prometheus thing, Fringy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, Imagine a human being saying that over and over and they still lock him up anyway. <laughs> it doesn't seem fair. It's like, yeah, I don't fucking care. You go to prison. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, I mean, it's like... What do you want me to you say, that I am not, a bird? What, I don't know. What's the... <laughs> what is Doctor Strange supposed to do with this, you know? Like, it's not his choice that everybody hates you. Like, what's he meant to do about have it? have everyone in the universe forget about you? I can do that. I can, I can sort that out. I'm yeah, really good worry. at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't know, oh. because I always forget that I've done it. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I've done it, I've forgotten that I did it, Yeah. <laughs> So, um... Well, he didn't forget right, about ben. the other time he yeah. did it, right? Uh, huh? I guess, He didn't forget I don't about know. the other time he did it, right? I mean, surely you have to. <laughs> 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 That's a great name. <laughs> <laughs> I like how slapdash it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you made like that the poorly and cropped. you're proud of it. Yeah. You should be proud just... of it. <laughs> no, I just want Birdemic, but it's just a bunch of Fringies going, no, no, no. <laughs> Fringy equals Moon Knight, Fring Knight. Yeah, that's, that's small, small. One of them's a frog. The Fring Knight <sighs> rises. Oh, oh boy. A watchful protector. All right, Ben, let's. What do, you, what do you got? <laughs> oh, old Benjamin? Let's have a Take look. Us home, ben. Yeah. Take us home, hey, Ben. Take us home. Take us home. Take us home. Take us home. But what does that have to do with blowing up the city? <laughs> they add that on just so that. <laughs> Good I lord. What have to do with blowing up the city? I'm never mind. Oh, oh, Back to me. That was like three never hours mind. ago. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> ben Shapiro is desperate to get his opinion out there, but he's like, oh no. Another beat. Uh, I like the idea that Ben is watching the podcast really annoyed that we're not paying attention to his points yeah. and he's just oh, well, how many people do you think they're gonna be like wow you spent 11 hours talking about ben shapiro not liking a movie <laughs> i you know what? i don't do think I... anyone's gonna get mad i don't about think that. fucking yeah. anyone will care that's correct. i thoroughly enjoy the tagline to this movie <laughs> you sound a little bit upset about that mubes oh i wonder why gee wiggly wiggle <laughs> wiggles i, I don't know why i'd be mad about that <laughs> 
Wally, you're oh, coping God. and seething. I am seething. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking, we only do it to women. It's like all of those men in the queue. Like, wow. <laughs> if, someone makes a, if someone out there makes a Dr. Tran parody with Fringy and a bird instead of Dr. Tran and being a doctor, you'll get a million pooch points. Whoa, you just have them out like a, that. Wow. That's a deep reference. But for right, all of you I, wanna, out there, I want you to know, in the same way that Mandalorian fucked this up, you've been pricing most rewards at 10 pooch points, so this is the most incredible thing ever. A million. Yeah, I need, you're, need you're going to ruin get... the pooch points economy. Yeah, That's all true. those people I, I, that won those things. You need points. to be careful with all the quantitative I'm gonna scale that of back. pooch points. Yeah, I'm going to scale that back. <laughs> To, um, you know, you can't just bail gets... out. Yeah, you can't. You've you made can't a. Just bail you've made out. a. You've made a. No, no one started. Rags, I, can. Rags, Rags, I, I will can. say it is. It's not great fiscal management to just bail out the squitches companies and the dog treats companies. All right, you got to distribute that. And, you know, you got to think about essential services. I know that squitches are. They're pretty important, but they are. You know. And I'm looking at the pooch points stock. Uh, values right now. Um, dude, I think you don't realize how much of an effect what you just said has had. Oh, on the market. <laughs> I have a do... lot of my IRA invested in pooch points. We're, we're gonna I wish do... you wouldn't devalue We're gonna do a, the... we're gonna, we're in, I, I said a million. That was just me misspeaking. I had something oh, in my throat. Oh, misspeaking. Yeah. Uh, just, now, what were trying to say? Now rag stock is going was, down. What? Listen, what I meant was 25. Okay. This is like when 25. Elon Musk said he was going to sell Tesla stock at 420 a, a share. I meant for I meant 25. 25 a million. You know how it goes. We got to have we got to have those. Are the pooch, my the pooch bucks not regulated by the SEC. I would they're need the, to check. They're regulated by the me me me. They're regulated oh, no. by the SEC, the pooch exchange. Oh god, I found the place they're selling the wonder thing oh, and they have oh, no. every picture. <laughs> Look at her arms! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at her arms! Oh. <laughs> her arms are very like thin. Parody. Her arms are very thin. As is as gonna- You can see her nipples! <laughs> they really went out of way to, like, accentuate, they, they, like, you her- You can, like, though! She has fully gold. sculpted nipples for some reason! She doesn't have a camel toe, though, so that's- she had, What does <laughs> she have down there? Whoa, what's it's going on down a, there? It, there's a bulge of some sort. There's some going on down there. But it's not- It's not big enough to be a cock. <laughs> yeah, it could just be, like, well, you know, a tail. Well. What if it's- What if it's just balls? <laughs> 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 this this face how how did it get to this point that you allowed <laughs> this to happen so it's almost like it's a knockoffy thing and it's like yeah but okay still like how did I, mean, I just i just looked at the other ones they have in stock the, fa the faces look fine so i don't yeah, know what happened what happened you want people to buy these <laughs> they all have the same face i wonder if these are made from like a 3D like scan of a person and the person just pulled a weird face and they, they didn't... taking a shit at the time? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, apparently they were also fully nude because the nipples got in there. Nothing wrong with a yeah, bit of nipple. I guess you can add those in post. You could, yeah. But yeah. why? Why is that? Because why? that's that because people like nipples. It's true. People do like nipples. I did a poll Name the other day. Three yeah. people who like I'm nipples. Nipple. Uh, me, Rags, and Mahler. Rags, Mahler, and Free. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> Lucky guess. <laughs> this is the only um, Zack Snyder Superman that I feel really captures the... <laughs> oh my god, it actually does capture him very well. <laughs> Man, yeah, I, I, that's I want him. you to, to appreciate the title of, of the Superman <laughs> one. Super Angry Expression <laughs> Head. Super Angry Expression Head. <laughs> that should be his superhero I name. I love this discount, though. Yeah. I love this discount. It was $50.99. Now it's $48.96. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. God. What a deal. So this means and it's we'll one place your head for an, another Superman action figure, I presume. And we, here's what it looks like just separated from the body. <laughs> Again, It looks like accurate. a popsicle. You know? <laughs> I just like it's not called Man of Steel. It's called Super Angry Expression Head. So <laughs> well, I found this one works because it's like he's charge at my lasers okay. and I'm angry. And the other one's just constipated. Hmm. So, so I found one of the Flash of of Ezra Miller's Flash, no, just the stop. head. <laughs> what, what do you what do you think it's called? I want I want everyone to guess what it's called, 
And then fast I will show body. you what a super the fast soy cuck expression. Beta face. I gotta see the face <laughs> to determine what they call Cucked it. Expression yeah. face. <laughs> okay. well, well, here we go. Oh, oh my no. god. Like <laughs> Asian head sculpt? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would they call it that? Uh, there are this, so this many is, other options. Why did you call it called, that? Uh, uh, always finishes first. Oh. I love that it's forty two ninety nine. What kind of <laughs> price is that? I love it. It's great. It's the best price. Yes, yes. That there ever was. If I was going to say, if I was paying wouldn't... for an Asian head, I would expect it to be around that. Yeah, you wouldn't pay forty three <laughs> bucks for Asian head. <laughs> Wait, wait, did you guys hear about Ezra Miller's weird, like, Instagram crusade against a very specific chapter of the KKK, the KKK in North KKK, Carolina? Yeah. That, was, yeah. that was weird. <laughs> that was wild. Action figure like, agent. to kill one of them or something. Yeah, very he made some weird Matt Instagram Damon. posts about how he was going to kill some KKK, KKK members in North Carolina. Ezra, I, I think they're going to fuck you up. <laughs> It was very strange. Not a headline I expected to read like that. Yeah. Day. No, no. That's true. So, Ben. Oh, hey. How are you doing? Oh, hi, Ben. What's up? Can He's we get an answer The only thing faster than him is racism. Is that a record setting tangent? I no, like I don't think so. Because, be. funnily enough, the Jenny not, Nicholson no. one, the Jenny Nicholson one, we, pe oh, we tangented Jeb. into. The Jeb memes. Not just that, we, we tangent it into like reviewing an angry Joe video between her video. <laughs> how can well, nobody, ever, how an angry can Joe nobody video? ever talks about that though, Molo? Um, hmm. What a strange thing. I've thing. never even noticed that, Fringy. You know what? That's a strange thing you pointed out there. That is interesting. That nobody ever talks about the, all of the other. It's, it's almost like nobody watched any of it at all. Like, it's so fucking weird, man. But, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thing. We can review Angry Joe's teaser trailer reaction to Kenobi. People seem to love when you when we talk about that. What Kenobi? <laughs> well, you <laughs> guys are gonna get plenty of Kenobi coverage eventually. Mm -hmm. oh, God. Really? Is that? <laughs> yeah, I guess we are. You bet. <laughs> yeah, I you kidding, dude. To watch it, so Stop. Kenobi is one where to. if you guys said you absolutely refuse to watch, it, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna watch it though. Well, I, I am gonna, I am gonna watch it. Uh, yeah, of course there's gonna be coverage because I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, I want to see what they do to that. To, to I mean, this is our job. To be fair, Rags, Why do we exist? Rags, sometimes it's too far, you know? Like, sometimes <laughs> it's like, you can't okay. possibly. We watch. You know how many DC movies we watched? <laughs> we watched them all. You think all. that was for the love of the craft? I was gonna no, say, we have so watched we the ball, right? Starve. Wait, no, we haven't watched Shazam. Oh, uh, I've so. seen Shazam, but yeah, we haven't watched oh, it. That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, we well, haven't. Yeah. When's that gonna happen, Mahler? We well, Shazam, Shazam hey. Two is now coming out this year, so there is a time limit. There oh, is. Oh, boy. Shazam also. Oh, we could do a double feature, actually. That could make sense. I don't know if that's a limit, but yeah. Oh, we it's, can't do a double well, feature. We can't do a double feature like Wonder Woman because we won't have access to the film at all. You know. So yeah, we'll start no, to wait. True, but true. um, uh, well, you know, I, I think it, I think it lines up pretty well actually because like it means meme will always have videos to edit. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just, I just guessed the other day a double a good double feature would be Treasure Planet and Titan AE. True, well, well, that, you know that, that could be cool. Yeah. I want us to roll out, and I I do want to space them out because of how fucking painful it is. But all the Disney classics to Disney live action. Uh, oh combos. god! Like so, we have to watch the Lion god. King and then the Lion King. Yes, yeah. and I would like to invite YMS for that. That would be perfect. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so, so excited Rags, for that video. Rags, have you seen this comment? And if you haven't, I want you to read it and then guess what um what what um product they are reacting to. It feels this is by Fried, Friedrich Skywalker. <laughs> um it feels much more poetic, profound, and epic to me than any other Star Wars product. Not just the series. You hear the drama, the heaviness of souls and faces in every single shot. What breaks this habit of drama? Luke, playing blissful, the new hope, the hope for the galaxy. Very beautiful. This is from the Kenobi trailer. Yes, and, it's a, and I find it very funny that someone could have a reaction to that. I find it very funny. Well, we just have yeah. so little to latch onto. It's just like, it's the reveal They played Duel of the Fates. What are you talking maybe, about? Maybe they're thinking about Chungus Nose Man. 
<laughs> maybe true. Yeah, maybe it, it is kind the of unreal. Most, to me I that think those like, is in the galaxy. More profound, poetic, and epic than anything in Star Wars so far. This trailer, it's like fucking hell. Yeah, just this trailer. This is, I mean, just the I trailer. Mean, the music is great. I totally agree. Um, but like, what what more can I? What more is there to latch onto at this point? Yeah, like if they just started playing Lord of the Rings music in a Star Wars trailer, I'd be like, yeah, this is really good music. <laughs> but like, you cheated. There, yeah, yeah, you it's, the it's, it's, it is. It is. It is very much that you are leveraging more so than what is to come. What already came before, in order to get the reaction that you want. Yeah, it just you is... just bought this so you could play it for me. I already know what it sounds like. And what's interesting is I can't even. Like, there really wasn't much in the trailer to draw from even, like, what you could assume to be the plot line. It's like, he will be evading... It's a, well, the it's a, it's Inquis a teaser, Inquisitors. Right? We, yeah. No, I'm not... Lot, so, I'm not saying it yet. should have more. I'm saying that people are, like, heavily invested in the meaning of it wow. when it's like, we haven't even got anything to dig into I mean, yet. Surely that is more so indicative of what, what people are really excited for is like the idea of a really great in between, you know, three and four Obi Wan story. Whether or not that, oh, pardon me. Whether or not, whether or not, whether or not that ends up being the case, though, uh, remains to be seen. Well, like, you know, uh, you guys could check out the trailers for the Boba Fett TV show. There was a hell of a lot of hope in there. Like, loads. Could, I'm not even saying copium. I'm just saying people being like, this is going to be fucking great. It's going to focus on a character. This will be the one. This is going to be cool. And it's really interesting to see him rule with respect. You can tell that's a result of all the crap he's been through and stuff like that. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> We're having a good influx right now of, 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 yeah. of memeage. I'm having trouble keeping up, actually. Is there a flome coming? There's <laughs> a flome coming, Mr. Wade. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Man, so you really are the meme repository. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> meme oh. suppository. Um, Hell yeah! But yeah, it's also just a little bit like, oh man, seeing that reaction being commonly like had just means if Kenobi is Disney's winning. Yeah, Disney's definitely winning. They shouldn't be worried about anything. Every trailer, every trailer is going to have this reaction. Well, I suppose I, so. I they're good at making just, trailers. Could, that, that, well, yeah, it, at this point, they're very good at making trailers. But I, mean, I don't that's, see how they can make it. People just they go god over everything. It's marketing. What's it? I think it's always worth entering into when you when you're like watching a trailer to remember it's like this is marketing like do do remember that there was something that they are trying to sell you here which is specifically yeah. they subscribe to disney plus it's worth keeping that in mind and just like anticipation is one thing but like getting super duper hyped it always feels like that just is gonna lead to either like tremendous disappointment or an extreme amount of bias when yeah. you uh when it finally comes around i i think this is just informed by Oh, I remember so clearly when video games, like in video get people get hyped and then they pre-order it and then the game comes out and it doesn't work. And then like you get such visceral reactions in in defense of that. Um because of and course then they you can order the next started. thing and get disappointed. Well, and then they pre-order the next thing. Well, I think the reaction of, you know, often sometimes you see that reaction where I mean it happened with Cyberpunk, right? There were people who were hardcore defending that. It's like, well, yeah, if you were like if you were super duper invested in that, you hyped it up, you talked about it beforehand, you probably aren't going to respond super well if it comes out and it's not good. It's like, well, I couldn't have been fooled. I couldn't have been bamboozled. Um, it's like when people buy something and then they watch positive reviews of the thing that they bought after the fact. Yeah, a little bit. It's just confirmation. I need you to know, val validate my, my yeah. purpose. The, the 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 long and short of it is just let's let's wait and see with uh with Obi Wan, the punished man, the punished <laughs> man. <laughs> Funnily right, enough, punish. if you if you withhold judgment and just reserve your opinion until it's actually out, you 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 lose literally nothing. That's you true. have you, lose you nothing, have, you have nothing to, to gain lose. everything. Yeah, you know, low expectations. You're not going to be disappointed. You may be pleasantly surprised. Punish man, so Frank. Punish man, Frank. Punish man, Frank. He's going to crank. I don't know. I've lost I don't it. get how people pre-order 2042 because I had really great trailers. Um, that's why. 
Because no I'm one not thinks sure that a battlefield could be that bad. A lot when of the trailers people just came can't out, believe it. everybody's like, Battlefield's back. And it's like, Battlefield is back on the basis of a really good in engine, not gameplay, in engine trailer that has good and it, music and sound effects that sync with the music and great yeah. visuals. And it sucks that so many like grown ass adults are willing to watch something that is in no way indicative of a product. I mean, I'm happy to watch it, but... Yeah, and and they'll still be like, this is the evidence that the game is going to be... This is the proof that the game is going to be excellent. There just needs to be better precedent for it, because I'm not against live-action or animated trailers in concept, but they should just showkase the kind of thing that the game is going to be. Well... Like the Dishonored Dishonored, uh, live-action trailer, the first one. Not even live action, sorry. It's uh, just a you know CGI trailer. Um, it shows loads of the abilities that you have access into the game working as they do in the game. It shows the world, which is a massive setting, like you know, a massive selling point of the game is the world you get to explore. And it shows you know the kind of world that it is, and it it, it has a little bit of world building in the trailer. And in concept, you know, it's just a bit of flavor. I'm I'm perfectly happy with that, but we need to have a better understanding that. Or I guess a better etiquette of first of all having them actually represent the game, wow. and a better um, understanding that they might not represent the game. Both of those things in conjunction. I think I'd further stand for. Uh, I'm always going to think about Halo Three, ODST, and Reach had incredible trailers that weren't gameplay related. Halo Three had the one with the miniatures. Halo Three had on the set with uh, a chopping. lot of great. Yeah, like Halo. A lot of people don't remember oh, how campaign. many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was right. the whole Believe campaign. There was the mock of talking oh, to... ODST well, remember... had an amazing trailer where it was like you're following the life of this the kid, and then he becomes an ODST recruit, and then he's in the battle, and then he becomes the leader, and then we see the next generation of ODST. It was an incredible live-action trailer. But, I mean, at that point, we're talking about just, like, artistic... I mean, of course, it's all art, right? Like, even cutting trailers together, that is yeah. art in a sense. Um, but I mean, Remember Fringy about... for Halo 3? There was a whole string of trailers where you had had people who were like talking as if they were veterans of yeah, the that war was the that campaign. takes place. Yeah. yeah, it was a whole stretch of stuff like that, and it was like good. Like there was a lot of great Halo Three in particular trailers and stuff. Because yeah, I mean, um, that game was just so big when it. Well, came. I, I think I think it's worthwhile to always distinguish between like the artistry of the trailer versus, I guess, like when you're entering into whatever that trailer is there to promote. Yeah, like, you're never going to benefit from getting, like, super duper duper crazy hypes. Like, um, I think, I think it's, I think that's the important part. There is a distinction between anticipation and hype. I think hype describes something different. Um, Ultimately, a lot of these trailers are essentially just a short film to let you know, hey, this product is coming and, like, that you should be interested in it, right? Because, like, you've got, um, I think, probably really famous ones are the Star Wars The Old Republic trailers, which I've seen all Those of. Those were really great, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're, uh, they're, they're great blur, little blur things. Studios. They made um, great studios. Some of them are a bit funny in terms of tropes that we would make fun of because they're dumb. But, like, you know, overall, they're good trailers, right? Well, an um, Im- impressive showcase of tech. Assassin's Creed. Or oh, Assassin's Creed had some good like 3D mm-hmm. rendered trailers. They had some good ones. Like 3 had an amazing oh and, and uh Revelations. That's the one that everybody remembers because it was it was awesome. Um but at the same time, if you watch that trailer and you're like Assassin's Creed Revelations game of the year, it's like wait, hold on. Like what? <laughs> you've got nothing to go off of. Great trailer, yes. As for the game, well, just wait and see. Yeah. The somewhere along the way, we stopped is a very broad collective. We we stopped making companies earn our money, and we started to make come up with excuses to give it away. Yeah, no, the companies make money and also make you beta test the game for you. <laughs> yeah, you, I, you pre-order it's like, oh, now we can play earlier, but not the finished product. And this might be a product from like months ago. I don't know. Well, this is a bit of a tangent, but yeah, video game companies, they love pre-orders. They love them. Pre-orders are fantastic from a business sense for for a video game. We have your money? We haven't even made anything yet. That's fucking amazing. They make back the money before the game even releases sometimes. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. how hype that game is. Well, yeah, that's right. Grand Theft Auto 5 made $800 million in a day. 
You guys know that Jeez. once they announce Grand Theft Auto 6, it's going to pay for itself? Oh, oh, it'll pay for itself the day the pre-orders go live. Once, yeah, one, yeah, once they announce it, pre-orders are now live. It's it's paid for itself. If if there was a, a flood at the studio and it all got lost, they, they, they got the money. Yeah. Well, they wouldn't get the money until... Because you could cancel your pre-orders before the game comes out, obviously. But, like, yeah, it's just... um. Yeah, air on the. It's I don't. Yeah, don't just pre-order video Just chill video out. Games. Just chill out. That's it. it. Yeah, like just yeah. chill out when it comes to getting super duper crazy hyped yeah. for like a video game or a TV don't show or a movie. Whatever pre-order bonus you get, it's stupid it and consequential, and there's everybody a, else there's is going to have it, and you're not special for having it. There is a reason why pre-order bonuses are a thing. They want you to pre-order. Think, just think about it every time. Why would you? Why? What are these incentives for? Because pre-ordering is way more preferable from a publisher perspective than if you wait until launch to decide to buy it. Um, and I totally understand why publishers love pre-orders because it's really good for projections and figuring yeah. out how much money you expect to make, distribution, <laughs> like it's super helpful. But um, yeah, wait, what is, I, I just saw this picture of this green bird and someone said it's fringy. Oh, That's that, a, is that, is a, that is a beautiful little bird. Look at him. Is that a Quetzal? What is that? Right, is that's that just a picture of you, Fringy? That's a no. It's a bird. It's you a agree, little, that is a it's beautiful a picture bird. of a beautiful what? bird. The yeah. wild Fringy. Fringy, that's a beautiful yeah, that's picture of you. <laughs> I like how we're Look focusing on that instead of our creepy ass fucking Joe Biden joining. <laughs> 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 like... <laughs> I mean, that face is perfect. I go so worried, but I expect to see it more as time <laughs> goes by. <laughs> um, crazy oh. idea. Do you guys want to listen Let's to Let's get back to Ben, ben Shapiro. Shapiro. Yes. Only like two minutes left. <laughs> We've been on two minutes Mark left for ten Stiddy. years. <laughs> <That's a great laughs> yeah. All right, everyone. What you've all been waiting for. I need to show you this. That's pretty good. Oh, we all did it. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> no wives? Oh. <laughs> That's, oh, a, that's a rationale. But what does that have to rationale. do with blowing up the city? They add that on just so oh. that they can create a false distinction between Batman and the Riddler so that Batman can change his mission. So now Batman's mission is not beating up bad guys and stopping bad guys. Now Batman's mission is to be a firefighter. He's no longer a detective. Does he really believe that is Batman won't be punching villains no in, uh, longer a in the next uh, yeah. I think he believes that's just what's going to happen in the next movie. It's just not like, <laughs> not Dude, he's going to be anymore. shocked. And he'll probably end up saying, ah, they changed their mind. They listened to me. They watched they my interview. To me. <laughs> <laughs> See, they listened officer. to the feedback. Ah. It's a firefighter. Yeah, it's a betrayal. And it's a real problem. And that's my biggest issue with the film. Ah. Okay, oh, so oh, big oh, issue. Okay. Like it wasn't in the film. That's not terrible, I guess. Hmm. Such a sellout. It feels like such a sellout of, of what Batman is supposed to be. I and it's got a little bit of woke politics. That's really not the problem. No, the problem no. is the broader woke orientation of the film. I thought you Go. said. <laughs> yeah. oh, hang on, hang well, I thought he second. said that didn't matter. I thought yeah. he said that he wasn't going to talk about that. It's good. Now it's, I, think, I think he's drawing a, a, now, a line between the. Like the like the fact that some of the characters are black and that one line of dialogue and the like thematic through line of the film that he's misinterpreted. I think he's he's categorizing those separately. They, but he used the word the same way to describe both of them, but, didn't he? Whoa. Yeah, which is really funny. I hope the next film is called Fireman Bat. <laughs> Yay. Postman Bat. Postman Bat. Postman Bat and his black and white cat. <laughs> Something, something. Postman, Postman <laughs> Pat is going. To, <laughs> post, sorry, Postman Pat is going to, to, to deliver the mail. How does it just... Absolutely lost it. Mail like, man was a backbone man. of any society. Can you imagine? He knocks on the door and he's got. He's just standing there with like a blank expression, holding a letter. It's like, who are you? And he says, "I'm vengeance." No, sorry, <laughs> fuck. I'm Postman Pat. Here's your mail. All right, see ya. I, I want, I want Postman Bat to fight Punishment Frank. <laughs> Postman Bat and Punishment Frank. Punishment. <laughs> oh, uh, Aussie if... upbringing. Wait, was 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 P Postman Pat's British, isn't it? It is. I'm, it is. I'm our... pretty sure. There is but, shed. Like, it cycles down to us, and also Fireman it's... Sam. Yeah. A lot of British stuff cycled down. I remember uh, it was it was a meme that we had to put in for one of the Boba Fett's. Jay, you brought it up. It was uh, a show about a sentient yellow car. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, yeah what... broom. Yeah, I, I remember he made Room. that reference. 
he made that reference, really? and then I looked up because I was like, "What the? F- what is that?" And then I looked it up. It's like, "Oh my god, I remember that show with the yellow car. I remember it very well." No, I actually don't remember it very well at all. I just remember the intro. Um, I, I remember like, that show very well. It's like, yeah, there's I, I a think... lot of British stuff that seeps into Australian uh, culture. Well, I think my first people... major, my first major obsession was with. Thomas the Tank Engine, and I very yeah, much love the British here. version of that yep. show. Same here. Thomas the Tank Engine, I used to love that as a kid. Did you get, do, 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 did you get do, Raven do, in do. Australia? Raven what? Like, that, Sir Raven? We got that. No, no, no. no. I, I am referring to specifically a... Um, there was... Okay, so there was a Scottish man who lived in the woods and wore feathers. So <laughs> That does not ring a bell. But, um, okay. <laughs> and what he would do is he would, ch- he would challenge children to death trials. Oh. And it was excellent. <laughs> to death trials? I mean, well, I mean, the axes were really made of foam and stuff, but it would be like, there's this like gauntlet that he, that he would send children down with foam axes on it. And if, um, if, if one of the children was hit with one of the axes, they were out of the show. It was really mm. entertaining. There was a show called Wipeout that had uh, adults going it, through like a Yeah, it gauntlet. was like Wipeout for kids. Okay. So I like, remember Wipeout. It, it was in, in like... A, a Scottish woodland. Oh, I just the... googled the word raven thinking I would get it. God, I'm smart. What's the... There was yeah, a look at it. It was temple oh, no, jungly that. show that was... Oh, the legend of like the Forbidden Temple or something like that? Something I know like what that, you're talking about. They have to they collect have like golden face. monkey statues. And yeah, then... that was Legend of the Hidden Temple. That hidden was on temple? Legend of the Hidden Temple? I don't know why that's not... Yeah. Chat, help me out. Send random things. Maybe it'll trigger my memory. Legend of the I Hidden Temple. Temple. I remember Jungle, Jungle Run. Run. Jungle Run. Yeah, that's yeah. Jungle that was Run. the the mobile game. Oh, I'm talking about like an actual thing. Temple Run is the is the mobile. Oh, game. Temple Run. Oh yeah, 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 right. Jungle Run yeah, was a show where I was like, this looks so much fun. <laughs> like, I hope this is real fun. It's not all bullshit. Now I'm thinking oh about the God. Road to El Dorado. That should be a double feature with some other animated movie at the time. You know, the thing with Jungle Run especially was like there's some really great prizes for the kids but if you suck like if you're just not good at puzzles if you can't figure out a, where the thing goes they just have to be sad they just have to be like yeah oh yeah that just... happened plenty of times they got to the very end and they're like oh i have to just I arrange shit, the three pieces so, yeah that was that i just didn't do it because yeah. i couldn't figure Maybe it to familiarize fuck out. yourself with the fucking show <laughs> wow you know, that looks like... i know they're foam but geez that's i nice. now in chat to do the prince of egypt and then El-, El Dorado feels like a big old total shift. <laughs> I'm mm-hmm. sure. I'm yeah, not sure if those two match up. Oh, oh yeah, them. I know exactly what this is. Yeah, even I don't remember Raven. Uh, oh my Raven. god, oh. they turned Raven into a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> they actually did. Batman is a firefighter. <laughs> Shed Vampiro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh there's God, an idea. Is. Double feature El Dorado with Atlantis. That feels like more of a matchup. Oh my God, we've gotten more AI companion memes. Completely separate from Fringy. It's, it's versatile. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. God, we're never going to finish this video, are we? <laughs> never. There's a never person out there who's went... desperate to get to the end of it, and they are dying. Like, they're they're like like withering away, away turning to dust. At home. <laughs> they're refusing on, to take a kiss and, unless they uh unless you finish the video that's it's the, legit me right now it. that has been me for the last hour <laughs> hey look there's no reason why you can't just get a piss bucket all right yeah i'm not if it's good enough for hassan it's good enough for you <laughs> okay i wouldn't go out <laughs> all right Let's finish up this sellout. video. It feels like stretch. such a sellout of, of what batman is supposed to be again it's got a little bit of woke politics but that's really not the problem the problem is the broader uh, woke so orientation of the... It's not the woke politics, it's, it's the so woke it's orientation. It's not the woke politics, it's the... <laughs> confused, I don't know what that means. Woke. Define woke orientation, please. That's uh, that's just what we call like a little bit of a contradiction there. That's so dude, I am sure that he would explain to you the difference between a woke politics influence and a woke orientation. I, I'm, sure, I'm not sure that he... There's no I'm way that he goes sure that, that he specific side that, by side without being able to explain something. I think that maybe this was just another stream of consciousness thing, and that... He would say this in a different way if he had time to script it and think about it. I I think he's thinking of something specific when he says woke politics versus woke orientation. Well, I I, I, th- mm-hmm. I think when he's well, I think to steal men, him, what he <laughs> means is when he says woke politics, he means like SJW moments in Infinity War. You know, there was a giant mission in the movie. 
uh, the kind of thing. The kind of thing where it's like that was weird for a moment. Like right, that like was, a, that was a clear an overt, just yeah, like, uh, really politically influenced, like, like a thing. like a thing to get people talking on Twitter or whatever, right? Whereas um, by woke orientation, I imagine what he means is a um, like a genuine attempt at, um, at a political message, more so than just a shallow parade of, I guess, a Didn't virtual he say a virtue that it signal. Was still out there? He said it was like a selling out. Like it's weird to describe something as selling out, and then like, oh, but it's actually like a really thorough and earnest. Well, I, I know. I think I think he thinks that it's the genuine belief of this film, but the, his problem is that he hates it. Like that um, it's a it's an integrated right. theme, I, I, and he I he finds a problem that, yeah. with it. That's a film. That's probably if more. the Nolan Batman was about the idea that you help innocent people by fighting criminality and provide an inspiration to people to fight criminality. If that's the idea of Batman, which it is. That's completely thrown on its head here. Matt Reeves, who's credited as both a director no, and a writer not. on the film, he does not like Batman, and I can't get over this. How do you? He get, absolutely uh, he, loves. He fucking Batman. loves Batman. You can tell. Yeah. yeah, it comes through with every scene. I don't get your perspective, Mister Shap. He spent like the last five years yeah. working on this film, and presumably is going to be spending a lot longer trying to cultivate a universe yeah. Yeah. from like this film. He clearly cares a lot, and it shows. Like this is not this is not a film that is lacking in passion. That is definitely you know, not something I would absolutely. say yeah. about. Did you the say Batman. the same about TLJ? Well, I, I would say the same. Like clearly, he was passionate about the story he wanted to tell. I just thought it sucks. Like that's <laughs> like I'm I not mean, the say. argument would be that he hates Luke Skywalker rather than the project. I don't know. That he was I feel like it's on. probably more likely that he just fundamentally like misunderstood the character more so than I don't know. I I, 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 I think it. I agree with you. I just wanted to i guess check put out that consistency argument, check yeah to, yeah yeah to um, see what your response would be well i guess i guess let's put it this way i kind of feel like batwoman the show hates batman um because it constantly shits on him and tears yeah. him down mm -hmm. yeah and yeah. talks about how much better batwoman will be yeah like, like that to me is man there is there is just a level of contempt for the ip uh seeping from um from that show where it's like, I just do not get that impression with the Batman at all. I get the opposite impression that he was clearly very passionate. Mm -hmm. Give $150 million to a dude to make a movie about Batman when he clearly does not like Batman. When he thinks that Batman is bad. Batman. And that yeah. Batman has to be shown the error of his ways. And learn to be a nicer... So, man, imagine a character even learning. Like, the hot, even wow. the hot take then would if be, okay, learn, let's... That sounds interesting, though. Like... Seeing a take on Batman from a creator who really has a problem with vigilante justice as an idea and fundamentally thinks that Batman is in the wrong could still be a very interesting film. Well, I suppose you, you would say that, that he's saying that, but that's not Batman. Well, um, okay. I, I guess then we'll just have the different discussion. Okay, sure. Yeah. Let's Even if we grant that, what about the film on its own? I would be curious to see what he'd say then. Yeah, I like, I would too, actually. And it, like you, could, I, I actually really interested in the concept of a film where like there's a real Batman, and then he maybe he's a principled guy, but he spawns like loads of imitators who just all like either you know beat the shit out of the wrong people or whatever, or get themselves killed, and all of the fallout of Batman existing. You know, it could be really. I cool. guess um, what I find interesting is that I do wonder how much exposure he's had to Batman stories because it almost feels like. Um, like, if he... It, it's that pretty common clip that goes around, right? When Batman is sitting there on a swing set with this kid trying to console her about, um... Like, I, I can't remember what it was from, like, an animated film. And it's just like, that doesn't feel, like, incongruous with Batman to me. That he would sit down and have a conversation with someone to make them feel better. And it's I, like, I yeah, it Batman... downright common in his stories that he worries about going over the line. Like that. He, he absolutely worries about going over the line. There's multiple reasons, right? It's a matter of, like, principle. There's the concern that if he crosses the line that he'll descend into, like, madness. He will never come back. Justice League the Unlimited? Right. Yeah. And then there's a pragmatic concern of, like, even if he didn't have the moral and psychological reasons for not going over that line, he still wants a good relationship with the police so that he can continue doing his work. So, you know, there's many, many reasons for this. Well, it's just, it's just, I think that the perception, that, that's part of the reason why I like the film in terms of the theme it's going for, that, like, Batman is is solely an agent of fear. It's like, ah, oh, like, he's not always, you know, like, yeah, he is scary as a figure, but there's, there's other elements that you can explore to that character, too. 
Exactly it. Like, well, I, I always say that, like, Batman and Superman, a lot of their differences come from optics. Because um, the, the thing that's kind of interesting for me is when you put them together, a lot of the time Superman is just like, oh, you're a vigil, you're a crazed vigilante. And Batman's like, oh, you're a Boy Scout. And then they get to know each other. And it's just like, you know, we might have different methods, but underneath we're kind of, you know, we're kind of doing the same thing. You know, there's, there's something there. Something we ultimately there. have the same goal. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I, I will say it's been interesting to me that over the last like couple of years, I've really turned around on Superman. Uh, I have a much better opinion of like the Boy Scout, good, good guy, wholesome, humble Superman than I used to have. I'm sick of evil Superman. I'm, I'm tired of it. I, I want just oh. like a standard Superman as a good guy, helping people yeah, out, being is. nice and humble. Hey, what if we wrote oh, a? Yeah. What if we wrote our subversive story to be about a sub subversive take on the superhero genre? What if Superman was a dick? What? Yeah, <laughs> what? Oh, that's June, brilliant. June for the I, boys, season away. three. It's yeah, Captain boys. America was a dick. Yeah, it's, it really has reached that point, hasn't it? What if X superhero was an asshole? It's, what it's if not Spider-Man interesting anymore. Puppies. Human being. By, by the way, the very end of the movie, Catwoman, who at no point has actually demonstrated any sort of moral bona fides. Like, I'm not sure she does a moral thing in the entire movie. At the very end, she says to him, why don't you run away with me? And we'll bad? go rob some hedge fund or CEOs. Is that a problem? He... I was going to say, like, does she demonstrate anything moral in the whole movie? It's like, I, I don't... When was, was that a requirement or something? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. she has a moral to... perspective and moral compass that she acts in accordance with. But She, she definitely yeah. does, but she is not as... She's happy to steal and stuff. Like she's, but 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 Catwoman's always been like a fifty fifty. She's always been a bit of a mixed bag in that regard. Yeah, I, th I think that this is the setup for the criticism, though. I don't think okay. that Ben um, yeah. has issue with oh, that on its own. Let him finish his sentence. No, we will pause whenever. No, we want. <laughs> <laughs> see. <laughs> he doesn't say back to her. You know that's bad to rob hedge fund CEOs. Instead, he's like. He thinks about it for a moment. He's like, she's like, no, you're already, you belong in Gotham. Because there's a bigger picture, Ben. I don't think he cares right now to tell her what individual actions are moral or not. He's just thinking about yeah. his life going with her or his life continuing with Gotham, okay? That's, the, that's what's mm. happening there. But Catwoman, that's mean. Mean. The generalized cheap left-wing sensibility is, is very silly with regard, to, with regard to Catwoman. If I have not made clear at this point, the movie's also she's eight hours thief. long. What? Wait, what? She's always been a thief. Yeah, she's and, always and been a thief. She doesn't yeah. take much issue with stealing from the very rich. That seems to be her position. Yeah, that's her position. Yeah, like a Wagnerian that's ring the cycle, Robin Hood kind of thing. Um, Ish. maybe <laughs> I don't know if she. No, not, well, not not one to one, but like uh, yeah. thief with a heart of gold kind of thing is the kind of yeah, pretty kind much. Of... It just goes on and on and on. Every shot is composed in order to have people walk across rooms. Like, Christopher Nolan would snap that cut right to the action. <laughs> I, I, bad. Oh, my, my man. My <laughs> man. I, I feel like but, someone out there is going to be like, wait. It goes through the whole trilogy and finds a lot of shots of people walking. <laughs> There's, they're, they're in all films, right? There, there is reason to no, have it it's, sometimes. It's, yeah, it's the Snyder template. <laughs> walking. No. No, Snyder, in, no Snyder invented no, 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 walking. It's, it's the opposite. <laughs> bad. There's so many different reasons why you might have a shot like that. You don't just not have any of them ever because it's bad. Like, come on. Yeah. He needs to go more in depth on what the specific criticism is, if there is one. Well, it just sounded like he, he felt it, there was too many shots of nothing happening, which a lot of people I feel. I guess which, uh, you know, atmosphere and in, bloat is a fine in line. Spirit, like yeah, I, I think it was bloat in Snyder Cut. A lot of people were arguing back at me, no, that's atmosphere. It's like, all right. Yeah, it's atmosphere the way that they walked up the staircase. Every single step. Yeah, it's very important that we get all that, you know. If you watch Dark Knight, there is no was. wasted motion oh. in that film, and it's two and a half hours long. This is three hours long, and it feels like four. I never check sure. my watch during movies, particularly not a Batman movie. And I checked my watch at least twice during this film. Oh, no. I never checked my watch. I was just enjoying it. I watched it twice and I was never bored. I was going to say, the that's, of that. it yeah. feels the same shit where you're just like, okay, but I don't know what, what are we, <sighs> yeah. what am I meant to do with that? It's better than Marvel because everything's better than Marvel because Marvel doesn't take characters seriously. And Marvel oh my God, Wait, what? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh my God. Man. 
I, I mean, I, if he now, means I, phase I do four, agree. I do agree that it's better than phase four. Yeah, but <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's yeah, right I if he's talking about that. phase Unless four. He's, you know, if he's talking about phase four, excluding No Way Home, that's a lot um, of caveats we've just put on his sentence. Well, <laughs> the thing is, is that I am I'm undecided on like if I would say overall that like if the because like No Way Home's got great character work, but like the plot in the world, if you know, we're in a lot of trouble. Well, there. Yeah, but he said because his specific character, the you know, the program, his specific true, criticism he was that he brought out there was character. True. And that's, yeah, yeah. Um, I assume Jay was yeah. just what was he said Marvel doesn't take characters seriously. Um, no way home did at least everyone except no way home did Mr. Yeah. Strange mm -hmm. over there. <laughs> they, and what, yeah. what people are going to confuse that with is no, there are jokes in the film, but they do take the characters seriously as well. You can do both of those. Yeah, absolutely, no. can do both. Um, like you can even have a character's dramatic moment undercut with a joke, and you can still take that character very seriously when you need to. Yeah, and like you I, can uh, still take their progression seriously. By the way, we paused him to like almost agree. Like you know what I mean? Like it's just funny. I'm, I'm waiting for someone to be like, "Hey, don't agree yet. Let him finish or something like that." <laughs> well, I mean, We're, we don't agree with the general statement, well, right? Um, no, I, I jumped the gun and, and assumed he was talking about recent Marvel, but even then, there's caveats to be made, like you said. Yeah. If you watch Dark Knight, there is no wasted motion in that film, and it's two and a half hours long. This is three hours long, mm -hmm. and it feels like four. I never check my watch during movies, particularly not a Batman movie. And I check my watch at least twice during this film. It's better than Marvel because everything's better than Marvel. Hey, we saw Bruce Wayne climb a mountain in, in, in Batman Begins, so... Because Marvel doesn't take characters seriously and Marvel feels like cotton candy. This doesn't feel like cotton candy, it just feels like a... I mean, I, 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 I wish. I think he's probably talking I, about all Marvel with that, to be honest. Yeah, Poison cotton is. candy, maybe, yeah. I'd be surprised I was about to say it's pretty bitter, cotton candy at this point. I'd be surprised if... um. You felt that way about like Iron Man. Most people have really good things to say about Iron Man, yep. you know. People mm -hmm. people exclude Iron Man from like the MCU isms criticism people because audience from um, Iron Man uh, from the MCU as well. I think, I think what people, they need uh, to. Maybe, well, yeah, I guess, but well, I think people probably see um, Guardians as like the MCU tropes, but like it's good in this one. That's, um, that's what I mean. We would we would we would yeah. enter a point of him probably clarifying lots of different <laughs> things, but at least with Iron Man and Incredible Hulk, you can. Push them to what? What was the the difference at that point? It was they hadn't been bought by Disney, right? Uh parent. Yeah, I believe that. Well, so Phase One, I think Marvel was bought in two thousand nine, but all of the films up until Avengers were distributed by Paramount, and mm. oh, and Universal uh, did a uh, Hulk. Yeah, I can see why so, people yeah, would it was, it was... separate those two out. But if you start separating out, like oh, Guardians doesn't count because it's more of a James Gunn movie. I was like, oh, okay, all right, fine, yeah, okay. <laughs> It's like anything that's not good doesn't count in my assessment that everything is bad. Well, wait, English. I'm, uh, I'll just carry on. I'll just carry on. That's fine. Thing. A fundamental betrayal of the character, which is just it's it's lazy writing, and more than that, it's it's not nice to the audience. Oh, the audience. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> nice to the audience. <laughs> it's not. My nice. interpretation nice. of his criticism so far is that he fundamentally disagrees with the thematic like the theme present what he presented in this movie. Yeah. Right, that yeah. he finds this film's. Uh, interpretation of Batman to be insulting, um, but I don't understand how that's ever lazy writing. It seems more like that it's a perspective on the character that he fundamentally doesn't agree with. I think he's suggesting yeah, lazy is somehow Palpatine returned. The uh, yes. you know the whole like I think I think from his perspective he sees it as they had a message to deliver and they just shoved it right in at any cost to whatever was happening and at any cost to adapting correctly. Mm -hmm. They were lazy. I assume that's what you're right. saying by that. Better than Marvel because Marvel doesn't take characters seriously and Marvel feels like cotton candy. This doesn't feel like cotton candy. It just feels like a fundamental betrayal of the character, which is just, it's, it's lazy writing. And more than that, it's There's a lot of it's not nice to the audience. Around. The audience wants to see Batman be Batman and be good at being. Okay, so how do you explain how the audience is very happy right now? How do you explain Yeah, because yeah. most <laughs> this film has got a pretty glowing <laughs> reputation at the moment. Very glowing. The, we've been yeah. defending it for most of this, and we have like a much lower opinion of the film than the majority that I've seen like just talk oh, about absolutely. it. Absolutely. So yeah, how do you account for that, Ben? You can't appeal to the audience satisfaction. I don't, I don't think. Other than that, it's it's not nice to the audience. The audience wants to see Batman be Batman and be good at being Batman and know why he's I being Batman. Movie, it was mean. I want to see him be good at being Batman. Was that, was that you? Was that George Peterson? <laughs> like, voice or... I, I want to see Batman. No. Batman learned the lesson that being Batman is bad. 
That defeats no, the purpose of going to a Batman he film. Didn't learn that lesson. It didn't happen. Didn't learn that lesson. Yeah. Definitely mm-hmm. didn't learn that lesson. Alrighty, so that is my go. review of the Batman. I know, I know. A lot of people really like the movie because you just said the audience is yeah, getting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, want, I want to hear why no, he nice says they the liked audience. it. I want to see like, why he thinks people like the movie. Yeah, yeah. I'm really it's Batman. curious. It's hard to dislike Batman, but it's Batman. Wait. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> well, then how could you even not please the audience people at that point? People disliked Batman v Superman. What are you talking about? Yeah, Batman v Superman, and um, oh yeah, because Batman, Batman and Robin, Robin is just Robin. so beloved by and everyone. Batman and Robin, everybody loves that film. Yeah, Come on, you don't yep. get a free pass for being Batman. It's not how it works. There's suggestions you get free pass for being. Spider-Man. It's like, we know that doesn't work either. It's, it's yeah, happening. Yeah. But, folks, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and recommend some other movies that are coming up in the near future you'd like to see me review, or just no. leave a comment below or and tell me how wrong I am. We get to, uh, we get to, we, we get to fucking, we get to pick the next Ben Shapiro review. What if films I, ought, ought be recommended to, to him to review, yeah. Batman and Robin. Yeah, <laughs> Batman and Robin. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, actually. True. I want to know if he considers Batman and Robin better than the Batman. Which someone said he did a ranking and put it at the bottom, but uh, specifically Batman's character, okay? I want to know which you prefer, yeah. Dan. Tell me which one you prefer. Maybe how right I want him to review I Batman the Triple X parody. All right, fuck- why, why is that the end? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Because for a second there, I went, I went hyper deep. I was like, "Is that him? Like saying I got the film? Like I got you?" I was like, "Do you remember what happens in that scene? You don't win." <laughs> like, I, no. I, I don't know if that's what he, if that's what he was going for. It's pretty weird to throw that in at the end if it means nothing other than just look. It's from the trailer. I mean, that could be it though. Yeah, I like, um, a lot of a lot of companies do that. A lot of like uh, content farms will just put in clips to extend the length of their videos. Because it feels varied enough that your audience doesn't get bored to... Nice, Dr. Um, and it feels more professional. It breaks up, I mean, almost the monotony of you talking for a long time. And it doesn't matter that it doesn't add any content because, well, you know, that's I wish not... you would um, break up the monotony of you talking. The, the only... Shut, wow. shut up! <laughs> <laughs> the only yeah, aim bro. of these people is to create something palatable rather than something with worthwhile content. And that... Helps that aim. We did it, everyone. Yeah, it. it only took Yay. us five hours. Woo! That was nice. weird. It was weird. That was something. It was epic. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. I. I don't know. It's. It feels weird to be like. You know, it's not really the woke stuff, but <laughs> they're just talking it, about like politics for a decent chunk of the. Not well. It isn't the wokeness, it was, but it's the wokeness. <laughs> it, it was just that it seemed to it seemed to seep in to the observations he made about the film, like his perspective on politics. It is woke in its own wokeness. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> it wasn't a very good video. No, no, I, no, it was no. Not. It was not. no. Uh, it would have been neat for him to have had looked into maybe counters to his Are perspective. Oh. Oh, uh, that would have been nice. The film a second time, though. I think is... watching it from the second time is super maybe helpful. A first yeah. time. There is a I sense so. that um, you know, it, it, it's like I should be able to share my unfiltered feelings without having to get them counted or even from having a second view. It's important, you know. And it's like, all right, I don't know if he thinks that, but still, his um, references were incorrect. His film was yeah, yeah. in his, his interpretation. Knowledge. Oh, what in God's shitting oh lord i'm sorry i'm sorry what just, was that sentence what was that? um i just saw this in the <laughs> channel <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> wow. um like the distorted four, version four, of the, the batman thing. four out of ten efap only likes it because they are looking into the future and not criticizing it into the in the present we, uh, we, it's we, 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 <laughs> wait, am I, was that a dream that we, we spent like a good eight hours just talking about the film? Well, so <laughs> my concern was that we probably spent way more time criticizing it than praising it, but that's just because the praises were quick and easy, dare I say, yeah, while the, the criticisms were harder to explain. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Good stuff.
<laughs> things I like the today. idea that it's like, all right, I'd like to solve the puzzle. I just, I just, just the words. <laughs> it, I is Bard spelled B A R D like a uh, Bard the the, the yeah. ones who yes. play music. Yeah, that, that'd be funny if it's like I'd like to solve the puzzle, Bards, and then uh, birds, and it's Bards. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh, Bards, of course. <laughs> Can we cut to a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, so anyway, uh, I, I think we'll probably go to Super Chats now. Um, yeah. yeah. For five hours and 16 minutes. I don't, I don't know what time goes sometimes, but it, it ran away and we couldn't catch it. Yeah. Uh, BRB. I, I was going to just say quick, if, if anybody would like to take this juncture as their exit, it would make a lot of sense in some ways. In other ways, it wouldn't. We don't talk about those ways. Uh, so, if anyone would like to uh, speak now, or forever hold your peace. Eh, now you can't say you're gonna leave ever. No you might leave happens. eventually. Oh. Well then. Have yet, Yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start reading these. Uh, that's, 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 what, that's what I'm gonna do. And um, what game are you playing? Well, so so this is the interesting thing. People may have noticed in the last, I think, two catch-ups, I haven't played a game. This is because. I've been playing a lot of games, mainly Elden Ring, and so I'm totally chill not playing a game right now. Instead, just, just talking. So we got probably one the or two Elden life. Ring streams left with where I'm at in the game. I'm probably looking at one, um, but I'll probably get back to playing, like, uh, so people didn't play Elden Ring. I, I ain't even fucking played Elden Ring. I, I, I was, <laughs> no, but... Um, you know, as a few tree faps, I'll probably go back to playing some dolphin games and stuff. It's just, um, I'm more than happy to just chill right now and read and respond and have a chat. So, first one. Don't you know, I'm Chickpea Grumbo. Don't you uh, know, I'm Chickpea Grumbo. Pretty terrifying. <clears throat> that's pretty spooky. I, I don't even know if I like the Chickpea Grumbo, but I feel like I have to order that if I go to Drunk <laughs> Um. Do you like chickpeas? Um... I guess I, I feel neutral on them, you know? Oh, you might like it. Yeah. Lord Longbong of Mewbshlington Abbey, have you given any more thought to a Kong fap of Peter Jackson's Long Kong? When there's less going on, it'd be a movie fap for the ages. Yes. Oh, hi you, Ragsan, scritches for the good boy. Oh, hello. Thank you. Yeah, I think we'll give it we're a definitely, shot. It's definitely on our list. It yeah, really is. Definitely gonna we have a lot of things on our list right now. Oh. Our list I must am be back. unfurled. Um, you already agreed to that like several times. No, that's the first time I've, I think I've seen that message. So uh, a Kong fap. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't ring a bell. I think yeah, it doesn't uh, sound like something we've heard before. Definitely not. Never. In a million years. Um, where is Ra? I don't know. I don't know. Is he in the sky or wait? Where does where does Ra? Where's he chill out? I think they're referring oh, right to how he, he was requesting often to throw people off rooftops, but he just stopped eventually. It's been like ages since I've seen any rooftop I mean, requests. He made peace with the roof. Ah. Uh, today is Saturday. Maybe he got his account removed. That could have happened, but I don't think that would stop him. You know, I could picture him making another one. Mm, that's Call that's entirely Ra. possible. <laughs> formerly raw. Today is Saturday. Daddy, formerly known as raw. March 12th, 2022. Uh it's currently 13th for me as of 19 minutes ago. It's yeah, it's it's been the it's been the 13th for a good while actually. Apparently they disagree for you can take if you want to debate them, I'm sure they'll oh, say they're allowed to disagree. I'm not I'm not looking to get into a fight over mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Uh over under 50% Ben mentions the white rich line. To be fair. Wow. I would, like, if someone said, like, ha, I know him so well, I'd be like, I don't know, it's a weird line. I could see a lot of people mentioning yeah, it. we thought it was really I know, weird. It was, I it was know nice. you so well. I can read you like a fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna mention that line. I could unscroll you like a fucking Torah. Oh, nice reference. Good job. Uh, would it be unfurl, or is it unscroll? I don't I think know, actually. Like... Unfurl? Un unravel? Unravel could be it. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Because it's rolled up. I don't know. If you're Jewish, let us message know. Message us. Send us an email at efap. Dot, um, uh, what what is our official business email? No, we don't. We don't have up. one. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, sorry. That's exciting. Mm. I reacted Anyone to this yesterday. Oh, go ahead. Cold Shapiro the Yiddler. I, uh, Yiddler. Yeah, that, that, that could line up. Uh, <laughs> I reacted to this yesterday. You're in for a treat, Loft Myself. It, it, was, it was a bit of a roller coaster of a video. A couple things were said there that you don't expect. Some stuff was pretty normal, in a way. I had fun with it. Uh, ben Shapiro is the Rise of Skywalker of people. I think that's too harsh to Ben. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Like, in terms of what I, I you don't even know. <laughs> uh, I agree with some of what Ben says. I just wish he would explain himself more and not just say something and stop. It bugs me so much. Yeah, so much more could be explained. And I know people would be like, oh, yeah, yeah. you want it to be longer, huh? It's like, yeah, I mean. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is the funny thing. If someone said the Batman is bad, all right, bye everyone, and I go, oh, that could, that could, you know, it could be longer, right? Yeah, I, th I feel dun, like dun, that could dun, be longer. Dun, dun. But remember, if he goes over the movie's limit, boom, bad video. Uh, so after a few years, I'm now recording and editing a video about my complete rewrite of the ST. I think what I put down is good, but it's going to take a bit longer. This has been very cathartic. Well, sweet. Few yeah, years. keep at it, my dude. Few years have been working on it, yeah. Also, much longer than Disney have spent on basically anything to do with Star Wars, so nice. Um, good luck. I revoke Loki's trickster title. A true trickster wouldn't allow themselves to be put in his position the TVA put him in. Yep. I'll do you one better. Anyone with basic intelligence and his abilities would never have let that happen. Yeah, you could be a tr you could be a trickster, but also not good at avoiding capture. Yeah. Um. The Batman or the Dark Knight? Well, what's, what's everyone's opinion about? Oh, look, they they both have their they both are films. That's true. That's true. Uh, they both else? have their specific focus and their own uh, sort of tone that they're going for. Mm-hmm. I agree with that. They both have excellent performances yeah. in them. They abso absolutely. I'm a big fan of the soundtrack in both. Yep. I definitely prefer the Batman, but that's ah. just me. That's Thank just you. me. Do you have a preference, uh, Rex? Between two? the Dark Knight and the Batman? Yeah. I prefer the Batman. What about you, Metal? I legit have to rewatch the other movie. It's been way too long since I've seen it. I don't know. I I prefer the Batman. Uh, Jay, what have you got? What about you? I think I prefer the Batman. Um, I think did you answer this already? I couldn't remember, Fringy. Uh, I prefer the Batman. Yes. Hmm. Oh, that's interesting. That wow. That hmm. Uh, what like about so you, Cap? Are you... Are you... Let's... Yeah, Cap. Oh, well, he's muted. Oh. Well, if he's definitely not here, it could be that he was here. I'll just give him a chance. But, um, yeah, looks like th th there's the answer. Most of the panel prefers, uh, prefers the Batman. Interesting. Do you think there's any reason why that would be the case? Well, I uh, Other than, I guess, just uh, an, uh, a fondness for that specific tone or style I think that's or probably that type it. of adaptation and story. You think that's it? Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably it. Because ultimately, yeah. they're both pretty good, right? What else could it be? An army of orphans would be called the Just Us League. Mm -hmm. I don't see how that relates much to... Yeah. That could be any group of people. <laughs> yeah. It could. Uh, monthly Star Trek EFAP react when? Boomer Metal. Boomer Mootle? Wait, why, why are they saying Boomer Mootle? Because you. I, I don't know. Because I'm old. I you must know. have said something in the beginning that was boomerish. I don't, I don't know. Um, I was talking about Elden Ring. <laughs> oh, so boomery. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, monthly Star Trek EFAP? I, mean, I, I don't think so. Oh, I, I'll tell you what, though. When I saw the... Do you, see, Rags, do you see the thumbnail for Red Light Media's reaction to the first episode of... Yes. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> it's just painful. And they open with saying, like, I actually want to talk about the things I liked. And, like, the first thing they even mentioned, they tangent into something they hate, like, straight away. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, hell, she didn't freeze over at all. It's actually, yeah. It was, uh... I always love watching them talk about st the new Star Trek shit that I'll never touch with it's... a 10-foot pole. It is honestly strange. You can lack all context 
and still like enjoy listening to their assessment. Yeah, because um, they love Star Trek, or at least what it used to be. They yeah. they're very passionate about old good Star Trek. So hearing them talk about new crappy Star Trek is it's legitimately interesting. So so there's a scene in Discovery that always makes me laugh, where the main character has to talk the computer through why it should follow its own programming. Oh. Uh, what what does what does it mean to convince a computer to do what it was programmed to do? Well, well you see, so she's in the brig, um, and that and that room is blown out. So she's being surrounded by a force field, and the computer's just like, "My primary programming is to preserve your life," and you know, as as you would. And then he said, "But if you don't," and then she points out, "Well, if you don't release me in this way to get me back into the main ship." I will eventually die when this force field fails entirely. And she goes step by step explaining to the computer why this is the scenario that will make her live rather than, you know, the sophisticated 23rd century computer being able to figure that out itself. Man, had a... Oof. That's just one example of <laughs> hundreds, <laughs> thousands potentially... It's a very bad show. Um, I am tempted to be fair, uh, by the it's not a great to be, fun to, be. to be fair, Troy did beat Data at chess once. That's Ooh. true. Wait. It does seem like uh, Star Trek fans in general are unhappy with uh, what they've been getting. They suffer a lot. Um, mm -hmm. well, yes, it's do. interesting. They've been getting a lot of stuff, right? Because I got Discovery and, and they're making like an animated show that's like Rick and Morty, but Star Trek. <laughs> Oh, there are two animated <laughs> shows now, one of Lighty. which is completely CGI and stars Captain Janeway as one of the main characters, as Yay. well as Commander Kamut uh, Akuchimoya. And isn't there like a new show as well that's coming out, like another live action show? Oh yeah, Strange New Worlds, which is because uh, the, the one thing that people liked about Discovery was Christopher Pike, so they just gave him his own show. So that's a, pre okay, a direct right. prequel to TOS. Um, but that's, yeah, I've got an interest in really getting all the context for all of it, in the sense of like a solo adventure, possibly of me just getting through all of Star Trek. It's just that it's so daunting, you know? It's a so, lot yeah. of material. And granted, while there's a lot of good stuff, I mean, like, there is a lot. And some of, uh, there's a lot of it that just isn't good, because there's so much. Yeah, there's great stuff, but to the amount... I mean, there's what seven, six, seven seasons of TNG, and there's That's, how many? What well, same about seasons of Deep Space Nine and Voyager is worth a watch too. And I think that's the crazy part, right? Because a lot of people are like fucking hell, Buffy and Angel, and it's like to be fair, most of, well, all of one of those is the same as one of the many seasons of or series, I guess, of of Star Trek. It's just like it times is up again, but. You know, you, you just uh, these days you got plenty of them single season series that you can just blast right through. How convenient! Oh yeah, because like um, when I was taking me Met through um, Star Trek, I I actually was starting to get anxiety at one point because Deep Space Nine and TNG were coming out at the same time, and there were events in one show that would get referenced in the other that would be very um, irrelevant for the world building. So there would be like a a demilitarized zone established in TNG, and then that would carry over into DS9 uh, and feed into their plot lines. And then after TNG ended, Voyager started airing at the same time, so you would get references that would line up with that show. So I had to like basically have a flow chart in my head of which <laughs> episode of which show to watch at which time, just to make sure that everything lined up timeline wise. It was it was a it's a it's a little bit of a process if you want to get like the full experience especially because the movies also interweave between the um shows as well because like the eighth star trek movie references a lot of stuff that's going on at deep space nine at the same time and uh it's, it's a whole it's a whole and like this thematically it makes more sense to watch star trek six um around about the same time as star trek five when they get into like certain uh similar territories and there's certain cross promotions happening it's it's a whole it's a whole kettle of fish it's a whole thing the whole journey process. Fair enough. Hi, Rags, you beautiful doggo. Oh, hello! The others have gotten their hellos in normal chat as they are not cool. Oh, oh. oh well, they'll, don't worry. <laughs> don't count them out just yet. Um, 
The Saiga antelope has a really weird nose that creeps me out, but it's endangered, so that's sad. Oh, uh, yeah, these guys. I feel one of the, uh, this has been an animal forest before. We've seen it a few times, right? We have, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. It's better than the fucking telescope fish. Telescope fish is true horror, yeah. <laughs> telescope fish. Um, much love to y'all. You guys are the best. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, we got one for Jay. I'm gonna wait a little bit. I believe Jay is grabbing a snackerino. Nuke. Uh, does Ben know that England is a city? <laughs> Maybe. Is I don't know. City. Uh, long movie bad? I mean... <laughs> there was a little <laughs> bit of that here. Yeah. This was, I guess it's worth... You you do wonder like j simply saying the movie was too long. You just like you better you better be careful, right? Because if you just say it felt long, I guess that's one thing. Well, but when you say it's too I think long, a good it's like example mm. is the Snyder cut is long. I don't need to see them go up the stairs. Like I don't it need to spend long. <laughs> and seeing them walk up the stairs. Wait, Fringy, what if I add rock music to it? Oh, that then it makes it not redundant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what if you're running up the stairs going? Yeah. Well, no, don't forget the yodeling. Yeah, you're forgetting. Yeah, the, there it is. The Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was so poorly done. Like <laughs> Snyder cut, man. Oh, what a movie. Um, best Batman. Uh. Oh, well, so they've given options, but they've said the Boomer, Gen X, or Millennial Batman. Assume that was like 89, Nolan, and the Batman? I would imagine, yes. So, um, best Batman is a complicated question. A little bit, yeah. Do like, you mean my favorite portrayal, or do you th mean the one that is best at... Something particular? I assume they mean favorite, right? That's the easiest way to look at this. Probably. Yeah. I suppose so. In which case... Without any external clarification. My favorite would be Robert Patterson. Yeah, you my favorite Robert? is Robert Patterson. Live action wise. Are you yeah, weeks? yeah, we're talking live action. Cause I if don't it's, know. If it's... I, I don't remember Keaton that much. I don't I, remember I his super seen... well either, true. Yeah, yeah. I, I gotta... I can't say for sure. I, I for me, it's between good, him it and Pattinson. Yeah. If we're including Keaton, voices, oh, go, actually, go for it. Uh, if because we're including because with Keaton, right? He's like he nails the role, but he's not really given much to work with within his films. So it's kind of so I'm kind of going by both what they got to work with and how well they executed what they what they got. And in that case, um, it definitely goes to Pattinson. I'm going to have I, to see I, their back credit cards before I can make mm, a final decision. Fair. Maybe it'll change, cool. though, after Flash when Keaton comes back. Um, what I was going to say is if we include voices, it'd probably be Kevin Conroy. It, like, if we if we have them all together, live action and voices. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jay, you back? Yeah. Yeah, Jay, did you see Vosh's chat calling EFAP alt-right? He can be a nice guy, but I swear Vosh's audience is the reason Play-Doh has a warning label. Yeah, I saw some of that. I mean, I um, wouldn't be at all surprised that that's happening. That's, that's, that happens in, I think that would happen in they, they any chat, really. They who wasn't? What? So, I saw... Um, that never happened before. I, like, I've, it's like, I, I guess, like... Um, I don't know why we're singling out that political community for having loads of dog shit takes in the chat, I guess. But like, I don't know, maybe it's just because I was there. No, that's does, fair, does I guess. Want, do you think that they should like, have named all of them in their super chat? Well, no, yeah. yeah. Every single I got to that. I got to the end of that thought and then thought, mm, no, never mind. Do I understand completely why you singled that specific one out? Because I was there. That's the thing. Um, and I want to clarify... Like Chud Logic recently, uh, you guys can even watch the video where it happens. His whole chat were pretty much like, Yeah, EFAP is hyper cringe, EFAP is blah blah blah. But then, like, he was getting annoyed because he wanted references for it. It's an amusing video, honestly, because he gets really mad at his own chat, much as we sometimes do with you guys, because <gasps> silly things can be said. And if you snip out all the craziest ones, you can make a chat look fucking insane. So I wouldn't judge him too harshly for that, especially because, unfortunately for us, that's gotten around. 
as like the truth, but it ain't. <laughs> it's not even yeah. close. Mm -hmm. But um, I wouldn't be. It doesn't surprise me at all that people in 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 Vortex chat would think this is an alt right podcast. Um, I guess that's 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 more a sad reality on my perception of internet culture. I guess. Um. Well, yeah, because it would be. Oh, yeah, that's the case. Have you ever watched any of it? Like even no. five minutes. And the answer is probably going to be no. I'd be surprised if you even saw a clip. Like, well, well that's why I said even five minutes. Yeah. Like, Shocking amounts of research they did for that. Uh, well, they can spell EFAP, though. Good for them. Yeah, yeah something. No, it counts for something. This EFAP is sponsored by the Ben Shapiro app. It tells when there are hot Ben Shapiros in your area. Ooh. Oh, oh, man. Well, that. there's just a lot of them lurking around. I think, well, remember we mentioned um, he was he happened to be the guy who had the name of the show because they knew it would happen eventually. There's just so many Ben Shapiros. They're just like, we'll hire a Ben Shapiro at some point. And um, it's just good to have an app to tell you where the hot ones are, I guess. I wonder if that's like a violation of civil liberties. <laughs> Did they agree to this? <laughs> Did the Ben Shapiros agree to this? The Ben Shapiros of the world and their... Do they have a Ben Shapiro meeting? Where it's like, hey guys, welcome to the Ben Shapiro annual general meeting. And then everybody's like, hello, but in sync, so it's a nice big echo. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure what, what they're talking the about, though. What about the Shapiro liberties? The Shapiro liberties. Have their own you know, the Shapiro Miranda liberty. rights, the Shapiro rights. <laughs> what about the Shapiro? What about Shapiro? The, the, sh the, sh the Shapiro show. Oh, wait, that's what his show is called, The Ben Shapiro Show. I was trying to figure out if there's a way that... Can we cut the... the can we shorten that? The... The... Ship, the, the Shapiro... The there's Show Piro. Zero, no, you, you did Show The Ben Piro. Show. Was, was already, the Ben Show. I wonder, Shapiro in the Sky that's with called Diamonds. We, we could call it The Ben Shapiro Experience. Well, that... Does that not feel like it's treading on the, the heels of another show? It, he calls it the Ben Shapiro show. Right, I. That's true. That tr there's a lot of shows that are called that. Mm -hmm. That are just who supremely stole from him. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter Parker is Ben Shapiro. Miles Morales is Ben Shapiro, and Ben Shapiro is Ben Shapiro. That's bullshit. Oh, I thought they were gonna say, and Ben Shapiro is my city. Maybe. But, has I mean, anyone Shepherd's has anyone Shapiro. done a, a Gotham is my city? Have they done that? Probably. I can't because I feel sure, like though. a lot of people would have done that, but I can't remember any just off the top of my head. I don't know. It feels weird. Uh, the fitness gram Pesa test is a multi-stage test. Hi, rags. Hello. I have no idea what it's referencing. Dido, dido, dido. Mola. The more I heard that England is my city meme, the angrier I became. I, I don't remember saying that, but okay. <laughs> I think Ben Shapiro might have said it. Uh, also, bonjour to Rag and Meme and Jake and the Australian Birdman. Uh -huh. Well, we well, already you talked about that, but hey. You're not allowed to do that. I am. The Vivian well or hello rags. Oh, nice. Oh, hello. Say Shamai rags. Shamai. You're going to be offended, Fringy, the well, French. I am. Maybe. Yeah, I think I'm worried okay. about setting some frog. Okay. <laughs> wow, wow. Okay. Tarnished. Don't hate me because I'm blessed. Tarnished. Maybe if you drop that yeah, yeah, ass armor, you get some maidens on your lost grace. Oh. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, hey, did you end up playing Elden Ring, Ring? Not yet, but I will. <laughs> oh, I well. Was about to say, all, yes, I'm playing in... right now. It's like, oh, you didn't mean me. Okay. <laughs> all in good time. What are you doing on it, Mel? Huh? Do you say you're playing it right now? Yeah. 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 What are you doing on it? Um, I just started a new, a new Gorm with a big boy hero character. Sweet. I want to do like a like a paladin tanky fave thingy. I think that could be fun. All right, pretty good. Sweet. I want to give him a, a big gonna make bonk. some friends in Elden Ring metal. <laughs> no, no, they're not very friends. Some Elden friends. 
Elden oh, Ring. Oh, I friends. thought you were going to... They're so mean, Not going to put the you. pal and paladin, I see. No. They're friend. so mean. Oh, how did I not see that joke? Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so obvious. Fuck. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Just kill me. <laughs> my you, see, you, sound, you sound awfully quiet, Metal. Do I? You sound yeah. You sound like uh, sound fine pretty quiet. Yeah. Well, he. he I, I guess he's not going to put the din in Paladin. I don't even understand that one. If I'm being honest, din, din is a loud, raucous noise, like a, like a crowd. Yeah, that's, that's right. A din. Yeah. Din. Okay. I did not have that info, so sorry. It's not a like common a English word. I don't. I don't blame. That's all right. Not a lot of wow. So Metal Saint Rack is going to provide a whole fucking book of definitions before he can tell his jokes. Okay, a book yes, of please. definitions. No such thing has been written. I believe an it entire has. book dedicated to just definitions. It could no be done. Would buy that. It could Nobody be done. would buy that. I believe in it. Um, if you had to choose one creator to have an EFAP for only one hour, who would you choose? Joss Whedon, Hitler. Mike Flanagan, oh. or Trey Parker? Hmm. I wonder if Joss Whedon would be the most interesting because nobody's going to be able to fucking talk to him ever again, pretty much. <laughs> figure out all the questions. Though Mike Flanagan is very tempting and so is Trey Parker. I think Fringy would choose Trey ba Parker. Um, I would choose Trey Parker. I probably would too, but like all of them are really tempting. Yeah, I'm, I'm very... I have lots of things that would be interesting to ask them, I suppose, for, for, for all three. It's just that... Oh, which one's the top tier? I think, you know what, I would leave it to a vote. I wouldn't feel comfortable pulling yeah, whatever tough. I want, it's, because it's tough, yeah. I th think... What's what's chat got? Trey Parker, Trey Parker... All are good, Trey Parker... Probably Trey Parker. Um, ask Joss Whedon why Angel Season 4 is the way that it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, I want to ask, getting, I wanna ask Flanagan why he getting emotional fucked up the ending of Midnight Mass. Here and that's all, all you talk to him about. Like, well, that's kind so of... many people will be watching with bated breath, and then that's all that happens. And then be like, oh, I, okay, I guess. So, Angel season four. Yeah, yeah if the, if this thing is the, they have to answer the questions, and they're on here for exactly an hour. It's like we got to be throwing all the controversial questions at whoever comes on. The thing I is, guess, I don't like... know what to ask Trey Parker. That would be controversial. Be like. Do you hate that you're great? <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. what, would, what would be controversial with Mike Flanagan? Would that be asking you about the... Um, uh, why did he write the ending? shitty endings of... <laughs> I, I probably finish. want to focus on Midnight Mask because I know I why he did it for Goddamn Hill Harris. I'm, I'm oh, curious really? what the original... I'd be curious to ask him about what the original ending for Hill House was, though. Well, we all talked about it on the, the video. Wait. It's, it's public they knowledge all, what it actually... They all die. Um... Or the, the 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 implication is that um I think that we have some level of what we actually see in the show, but that it's like no none of them made it out, but they they the the red room is consuming them and that's what they're experiencing is like I we thought did that it. was just our like no that was uh our... that was the depressing too depressing any that's why people were desperate and that's why they could switch it is because it could just be uh, like well no it's literal they did make it out and you're like oh which is probably rewritten while they were making it. I can't imagine how it could be anything else with how Slabdash it is. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Rags, Monk versus Columbo. Who is the better detective? I'm not familiar enough with Columbo to know. Hmm. Lumcumbo. I think you pronounce it Columbo. No. Silly. But uh, just one more thing. I would say that that should be maybe something we keep in uh, mind. Maybe a detective show sometime. For, hmm. for what? To just watch to in general? Or? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, just to, to round out our genres, perhaps. Mate, we got fucking all kinds of genres we haven't yeah. covered, haven't we? I know. Yeah. I mean, detective is just one of my... Where's our noir series? Hey, hey, you know what? You get both of those. Two birds, one stone. I imagine. With the Batman? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Swash Twin Peaks. Uh, Wings quote of the day. Reading his chat. Hey Wings, have you considered using extra skin to make blankets for Ukraine? <laughs> have you considered not being an asshole? <laughs> I'm sure they have, but... Mm. Those would be such gross blankets. 
<laughs> just like oh yeah the ukrainians will be like i'll just fucking freeze yeah i don't uh, oof. would you rather use like the side that went in that was like on the inside of him or the side that was on uh, the outside of him i i assume both of would be would be safe to do like like the inside yeah one like it's been be, like... it's been cleaned but it's not been like plucked of body hair hmm I don't want to. But do it is either, it Jay. is sanitary. Jay, I refuse. I'll freeze. If you don't, you'll freeze to death. There you go. Then that's what's happening. It's nobody, nobody else has any suggestions. So yeah, that's just the answer. We freeze to death. Uh, bonus. They play it off like they laugh at me, but they legitimately enjoy me. How often can you laugh? Oh, is that a that's a quote from him? They play it off like they laugh at me, but they legitimately enjoy me. How often can you laugh? How often can you laugh? I don't know. I've never tried. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's, 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 it's two hops. Okay. This is complete. They play it off like they laugh at me, but they legitimately enjoy me. How often can you laugh at, hey, look here, listen, for like five years? Oh, ha ha ha, you smell your fingers, fat boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess he, uh... He's trying to say it couldn't possibly be about the funny quotes anymore. <laughs> um. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> look, look here, listen. That's like one of a, the best things ever. It doesn't age. Um, fun fact, England is the name of a city in Arkansas. Seeing as you, Rags, are from Trun Arkansas, you know what to do. Go to Trungos. Uh, no! <laughs> Rags, I tried to use my pooch points with Quib Gift and Punto, but they didn't accept them. Is there a customer service uh, number I can call to resolve this issue? There should be, but they should have it listed. Um, that's odd. Yeah. yeah, that is odd. You get like complimentary pooch points with some of the higher level purchases from Punto. I, I think. think so. Yeah, if you complete the um, belch, this uh, the. The the Quib Gift Season Pass, you earn uh, pooch points, yeah, every 10 levels. A fun little uh, scavenger hunt. They make there. it worth your while. Yeah, they make it worth your while. Absolutely, they do. Uh, uh, what movie did the Waynes watch before death? The main picks by people are Shrek, The Fast and the Furious, Scooby-Doo, or Harry Potter? Oh. Imagine um, what it must be above. to see Shrek and then die. <laughs> Dude, if they did the scene where they're walking out and it said Shrek now show, like, that would be fucking amazing. <laughs> that would be something else. The beam value. Too much. Oh, by the way, Mola, don't think for a moment that I didn't notice that a Machine for Pigs music in TFA Part 4. Gorgeous listen, you absolute legend. Also, hello, Raggers. Hello! Um... I love that song in Machine for Pigs. But then again, the soundtrack in Machine for Pigs is just fucking brilliant. Um, it's probably the my favorite part of the game. Uh, I, I don't even know who did it. I should probably check out their other work. Uh, I'll at home, and then you guys are saving my evening. True heroes. I'm glad we could. So. Uh, Mola, how did your mask's eyes close the way they did? Uh, incredible so technology. Also, why does Fringy... Um, I, sorry, finish your question. Also, why does Fringy look like the Komodo hype emote from Twitch? I, what is that one? Is that, that's the, uh... Wait, yeah. is that the... What is Komodo hype? Twitch Komodo hype. It's not in my Discord servers, um... Oh, uh, I wouldn't say that I look the same, but that's a good emote. <laughs> it's a good meme. Oh, look I know him. that look one. At, yeah, look at how hype he is. Yeah, man. He's also, I just, I just, I guess this is oh, on theme, one. right? For okay. uh, let me double check. Yes, that is him. Tim Pool tweeted out thirty minutes ago. I knew I wasn't gonna like the Batman, but wow, it was awful. Oh no! It needed awesome. to end like twelve times, but it just buffs on and on. So I guess that's a oh, second. I wonder if boy. he's gonna make a review. Tim, Ooh. don't do it. <laughs> Are we gonna have no. a, a political commentators are wrong about the Batman arc? Oh, no. <laughs> it could happen. 
Uh, do do. Oh yeah. Also, why is meme a grape? Why are you a grape, meme? I didn't mean to ask. You know, because um, when you step on me, the juice comes out. So oh, by definition, no. that makes me a grape. Meme. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, I, uh, <laughs> you seem very upset by this. Man, that Komodo was so happy. Look at him. Oh. He's happy. He's not got any teeth. That's, I mean, it's good for us. Not it's really, right? Because he, I'm pretty the... sure that Komodos are very bad for people. <laughs> well, if, they don't have any, if they don't have any teeth, then good for I us. I think we would have died. Something. Yeah, we would have died faster had they had teeth, I think. No, I think they're they're like poisonous or venomous or something. So yeah, like or a... their saliva is like horrific or something, something like that. We've been told that in super chats before. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works exactly, but um, they're apparently very bad for humans. Yeah, little As razor been... teeth. Apparently, they do have teeth. They're just really small. Yep, those ones generally have teeth. I think, right? Well, you, you could be in an old general, one. Yeah. He's lost. He's just gums. And oh, old gummy. <laughs> Oh gummy, oh gummy, come gumodo dragon. Uh. Oh, you guys remember Gumby? No. Oh, I remember Gumby. Yeah, the Gumby movie and all the other Gumby stuff. Clay everywhere. The other Gumby stuff. <laughs> I remember. Say that like PTSD. Clay everywhere. Oh God. <laughs> so much Gumby. You know. I do remember Gumby being a slightly traumatic experience, and I don't exactly remember why. I just remember Probably it was. because he could get just, like, bisected and fucked up, but it's okay because he's clay and he could just sort of reform. You know, that might be What was the name of his donkey it. friend? Grawlis. Um, Grawlis? Is that what you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe. I can't remember. Your um, guess is as good as mine, though I would not have guessed Grawlis. Would you, the donkey. would you see Batman Year One, Batman The Long Halloween, then Batman Hush, since they inspired the Batman film? Tell us what you think intentions were. Um, I don't really what? intend to do that. I'm pretty much... My comic reading and consumption is going to be at the whims of Gary and as whatever they wish for me to check out for the show, or stuff they send if in the form of a, of a gift, I guess. I will... I believe I have a look see. I imagine the long Halloween will be something. I think he's already said he wants to send me um the hush stuff. As very much likes the hush story. Moller, I loved part four of the TFA critique. Well worth the wait. So anyway, when's the next park? Review, monkey. Um <laughs> <laughs> It will happen at some point in future. It'll be crazy to have them all done and to finally say, Told you to do it. Said. I said a word. I told you what I said. I Fun fact. You did, did thing. The recent animal of the day, the telescope fish, is called Reisenschwanz in German. This roughly, Reisenschwanz? This roughly translates to giant peen. It does. <laughs> wow. Pyrex. Metal with a confirmation. Hello. Um, my favorite entertainment podcast reviewing my favorite political podcast host. Good start to another day under the sun. Oh. I imagine that. <laughs> I can only imagine that caused conflict for you. I don't know if it did, though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you had fun. Uh, Moobal, you missed my memes on Twit. Happy Nihilist prehistoric... <laughs> prehistoric animal of the day, Anomalocaris. Ooh, I know that one. It's oh, like that's a, uh, personally. Uh, it's I like, know. Um, normal, it's like no, it's with more of a business. Kind of, oh, okay, okay. A normal car. Yeah, I know it from monsters. Walking with monsters. Yeah. Oh, that's cool, dude. This thing yeah, like, like is really cool. The sea creatures. And uh, the the guy fucking oh. announcing this shit, he's like Anomalocaris. And it's just like whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really <laughs> early, like Cambrian explosion shit. Oh yeah, this is one of the the early lads. Uh, Anomalocaris. Look at him. Like when, it's so cool. Like when, when it was so early in evolution that creatures just looked weird because other stuff hadn't been tried yet. 
Evolution's like, okay, buddy, I I don't know this. Oh, oh God, you look so weird. Uh, <laughs> what about no, this? Life was a frat party back then. You know, that was like the awkward like experimentation years. There were some really weird animals from that time. What they could be? What they is they still called animals? Like, a, a dinosaurs called animals, or are they just yeah? Dinosaurs, dinosaurs are yes. called animals, yes. Jay. I felt so Anything bad listening to I've that. I've never heard anyone refer to a dinosaur as an animal, so it, it just doesn't feel a bit weird. They're absolutely animals. Why would you? I mean, that would be that. my assumption, but then like, I, I have the same assumption about no insects, and people say that insects aren't animals. Pretty sure insects do count as animals. Are they part? Are they not part? Yeah, they, of they're anim- any anything that is fauna is an animal. Anything that is That's flora thought, yeah. is a plant. All right, I guess I'll take it. Wait, then. but then what do we do with uh? What, is bacteria of- just in its own category? Uh, bacteria would still be animal, I think. See here, look I'm at this sure. fucking creature. Look at look huh. at this. Look at this thing. This is it's an animal. It exists. Like it was alive. Oh, it okay, maybe I'm. <laughs> look at him. You know what, Jay? Virus, if he no, saw a picture yeah, of virus, you, virus. he'd be like, "Wow, how fucking weird." Oh, bacteria are not animals. Okay. Although bacteria does contain characteristics, I guess it, it, anything beforehand are just organisms. And yeah, fungi yes. are not animals, I know that much, and they're not plants either, they're their own thing. Yeah, um, I guess yeah. it's like anything that, I guess multicellular life is split into the two, but then when you get single cell it gets more complicated. Yeah, and I saw someone saying virus and not. It's like, yeah, viruses aren't alive, right? They're not technically alive, is that? Yeah, is I that... think viruses are living. Though I watched a Kurtz Gazart video saying that they're now questioning that um, assumption because there are certain mega viruses right. that d- display characteristics we would associate. Yeah, these are viruses that, like, I think hunt other viruses or something. I don't know. Oh my yeah. god! Watch the Kurtz Gazart video. Well, it sounds like it's contentious anyway. That it's still it's like the mega favorite. predator that hunts other predators. Yeah. Ew! I hate that movie. Stop it. This <laughs> is death. Um, animal of the day, coconut crab. So does that make so does that make a, a herbivore that eats other herbivores a mega herbivore? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> mega herbivore. Hey, that's an interesting one. How come you always say herb and not herb? Right, I'm I waiting. I thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was. They're herbs, right? So they're an herbivore. Herbs. I have eat... never known the H to be mm. silent in herb. It's, um... Americans, they they don't say it. Really? Uh, capital, yeah, say do you herbs. say it herb or herb? Yeah, we say herbs. Why? I don't know. The same reason <laughs> know, we say I router, I guess. <laughs> right. I don't know, just generally herbs and spices. We don't say herbs and spices. It's just herbs. Yeah. We just... don't say H either. We just say H. I love you this from watching I... The Simpsons that you say herb. Wait, does that mean you say historian? Those are historian. No, right? historian. The don't, yeah, yeah. don't no, say the letter but, H but here ever. Is, <laughs> here is a strange thing about the English language. Um, you, the difference between whether you need to say a or an is whether or not the following word is going to be a vowel. Uh, a vowel sound or not. Yeah. Not just the letter, it's the, the sound, right? Yeah, it is the sound. The exception is historical and historical. You don't say a historical. I mean, I say so a that's historical. not true. Yeah, that, that's dependent on where you are in the world again. Because my teacher in school was like, people are often mistaken and assuming you say it because it's awkward that it's and, but, but it's a. And it's like, who do I believe? <laughs> I guess over here, it's it guess I guess like every everything else, it's it's local. That's just my understanding of it. Then you also have um, fuck. What else do you have? My brain is gone. Um, oh no, brain, come back. Not, not that it was here. Oh well, uh, you guys miss out on that beautiful thought, whatever it was. Apparently, you miss out on it too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, no. I, suppose, I mean, I had it, and then it left my brain. So thought, you no you longer know, have it. With them. But I've forgotten right. it now. Oh my god, look at this fucking thing! So I'm just looking at Cambrian explosion oh, creatures. Yeah. This one's gorgeous. I love him. Come on, you're gonna see him in a minute. I figured, I'm, I'm waiting in anticipation. His baited baited breath. breath. Yeah. Your breath was baited. <laughs> that looks like yeah, a variation is, uh, of Anomalocaris again. Got lots of like little mushrooms on his face. Or his eyes. All mushrooms. 
<laughs> beautiful <laughs> eyes. He's a beautiful lad. He made it back then. So he ran. <laughs> he walked so we could run. <laughs> so we could <laughs> run. <laughs> Um, yeah, I still, I literally, like, fucking two years ago, I think, I said I wanted to watch Walking With Monsters with you guys, because it's only three episodes, and they're like 40 minutes, they're really quick, but it's super I fun. I still haven't. Yeah, I still, I still want to watch it again, because it's loads of fun. They make it all very dramatic when they go from water to, to land. Like, ooh. And there's the second episode's all about giant spiders and all the, that era. Nice. Oh, no. Terrifying. Um, they went not, to Australia. I'm not 100% sure what the context exactly is for these. These this, what was referenced, I think, was you got this, this one. Um, ever seen a shaved Wookie? I have. I have towel balls. balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying. To, I don't know what the, like the, this is the problem. Oh, so this is probably more straightforward. I think they mentioned. Uh, well, they said oh, drawing God. a double a car. <laughs> so that's yeah. <laughs> Like, oh my god, look at him! <laughs> um, mm. And then there is this. But, but my memory is being stretched. I'm trying to think what was, what was the... Like, too many thoughts over... Too many thoughts. Too many farts. Nightmare fuel, indeed. Boom, ba -doom, boom. Mm. What did I say I was looking for? I'm back. Oh, it was, a normal car had nothing to do with it. Okay, well, I think I grabbed them. All right, good, good, good. Uh, he was talking about what a oh. New Yorker in the 70s might think a future New York would look like. Yeah, we addressed that. Those were, that, that was literally the words he said. Like, no, it wasn't. Wait, what? Yeah. Never it wasn't mind, though, the words he says. <laughs> I trust Mola on Elden Ring and will buy after Elden Ring stream. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you watched me play it, uh, at that point, you wouldn't even need my recommendation or not. You should be able to tell, probably, uh, if it's for you. Yeah. I would imagine. Especially if you've watched all, what, like 70 hours. That, that's probably, you know, getting your, uh, a good impression. Um... Anyone ever play Mercenaries? That game was great, and the score by Giacchino is absolutely phenomenal. Everyone listen to no. the main theme at least. I haven't played it. Uh, no, I, I don't even... It sounds very generic. Is a game called Mercenaries? Yeah, Mercenaries. Was I can a believe that. What the fuck is that? Yeah, well, we were putting weird things <laughs> in. You guys haven't heard so, of it. No, we were putting weird things in the chat. I figured I would, go, I would dip into the speculative evolution. He's the Ghostbuster sequel is shit. What, what is this? So these Reaches are like speculations. These are like speculations of future. Crushing. What what future humans will look like? <laughs> what, why? That why makes is, it uh, funnier to me that this is the speculation as opposed to just something made up completely. Because now I want to know why they thought. Why does the second guy have like lots this? of like people? Like, people. Up, yeah. This is like that. This is like the um the the Dom Deluise thing that Red Letter Media did. Mahler, do you remember that? <laughs> When they talked about how someone accidentally fucked his fat folds and he had a kid that he didn't know about and it fell out when he did his first jumping jack. Yeah, <laughs> this is, yeah this is kind just of like, normal that's stuff. What it yeah, me of. yeah, it's, yeah. You know, typical sort of stuff. As, yeah, you know, as you do. Nothing. And then, of right. course, there is the king of the speculative evolution, which is the mega squid. Ah, oh, yes, yes, oh. obviously. Is that an elephant, but a squid? Uh, you see, it's a, it's a, it's a, it is the, it, it's in a future where all mammals and reptiles have died off, and so like the squid have claimed Only the land. Jelly is left. Oh. Tentacle yeah. for grabbing. Tentacle for grabbing. Why is that amusing? It just it's is. a grabicle. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stop. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, what is that? It's disgusting, is what it is. There's a whole book of it. It's called After Man. <laughs> <laughs> the Sloth Man. A, a zoology <laughs> of the future. Well, it looks like they're all having fun. Look at that. Love how the face is entirely unchanged on all of these abominations. <laughs> 
Abominate. Wow. Well, some, some of them have intricate backstories like, oh, future humans have genetically modified themselves and then come back to Earth where they became wild again. <laughs> oh, yes, I can see that. Yeah, I mean, it's a theory, you know, it's, it's a theory. Nothing I like wrong. this one a lot. Um, no, no, wrong. I like this one because of the face. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. <laughs> yeah, he's attacking him. I think. No, and the other, and his friends don't care in the background. There, they're just like, well, <laughs> we never like Steve, anyways. Him. Fuck that guy. He'll be dies. <laughs> oh, and the. Oh, you want to know the author's name? He looks so shocked. <gasps> it looks like a bloodborne enemy. Yeah. Oh no, wait, no wait. Uh, the human ones are from a book called Man After Man, which is a sequel to After Man. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Both written by Dougal Dixon. <laughs> Excuse Dougal me. Dougal Dixon. Oh, I love his stuff. <laughs> hey, say good, that old, again. good old Dougal. Uh, Dougal good old Dougal Dixon. Dixon. Man's a visionary. <laughs> Of, he just know. wanted to make Wombo creatures. Come on, with that name? <laughs> Wombo creatures. Yep. Oh, Dougal Dixon Dixon the Wombo. Yeah, yeah. Dougal Dixon and Wombo Land. <laughs> See, and that's the, a good title. I think there was even the like an Chuck exhibit Jones with animated sculptures film. based on his work. You like, you know what? Our last name is uh, Dixon, which has Dick in it. So you know, a kid might be made fun of. So, what name should we give them? That you know. What well, first name can we can we round them out with so that they have an easier time at school? Dougal. Oh. Dougal. Dougal. <laughs> oh, jeez. Dougal Dixon and Wumbo Land, I cannot believe. <laughs> Donald Duck and Mathemagic Land, I can believe. Yeah. Easy. 1,000 years hence, the tick. You are facing the tick. And then this villain creature comes along. Fan fan tick. Um, I was trombone player up until freshman or sophomore year of high school, but I remember Jack, so here's my money. Well, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, you have fond trombone memories. Trombone is kind still. of a wombo word, isn't it? it everything is to, to some degree. Uh, the amount of people in chat saying Scorsese was right tells me that we got a lot of new folks today. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's okay. You have a lot of new folks, and your opinion is stupid. He's totally wrong. The Batman theme is based on Something in the Way by Nirvana, and is not an inversion of the Hans Zimmer theme. Also, another note, the Riddler's theme in the Ava Ma Maria... Is the Ava Ave Maria, Maria. Ave Maria Ave in Maria. minor key. It's Evo now. Ave it's a remix. Maria. He sure does sing that song in that movie. <laughs> he, yeah, he does. He really it's does. It's quite something. It's one of those because I because the because that song is the Hail Mary in Latin, and so learning that in when I took Latin in high school, it still sticks with you, like knowing the words. Um, mm -hmm. You know, to be able to, to be able to sing it along because I know all the words to it. It's it's interesting. Some things you just random things you remember. It's like, hey, did you remember to do that important thing today, Rags? No, no, no. But I do remember the Hail Mary in <laughs> Latin, so if you ever need that, you hit me up. Nice. Well, it's like, um, I'm pretty sure I know the Lord's Prayer, like, back to front, because of how many times you said it in school, but, like, nobody gave a shit, really. It was in just English, some... or...? Yeah, not in... Yeah, okay. of course. <laughs> no, not of course. We were just talking about a prayer in a different language, so I wanted to clarify. You, you were, to be fair. You were, <laughs> you were yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rags feels betrayed by the German. <laughs> <laughs> have any of you, have any of you seen the future get... is wild? And it was to me, it's odd for Mahler to say that because I went to like uh, both my elementary school and my uh, high school, and like my entire upbringing essentially through college was quite religious so the idea of someone not knowing our father is just like how could you not know it everyone knows that and then i'm like oh yeah that's right not everyone actually does know it yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that so, oh, so the that's future... a mouth and a mouth so so that's a flish it's a f it's <laughs> a... <laughs> a flish. A flish. that's a flush of course board. it's a flish 
So, <laughs> so the future is wild is a walking with st dinosaurs style documentary based on the future of Dougal Dixon. <laughs> the future of Dougal Dixon <laughs> sounds like a Braveheart spinoff. I'm all about Dougal Dixon's adventures. <laughs> the land. You could put all these creatures into the SCP Foundation files, no problem. You could yeah. put all of these creatures into fucking Champed Up. Or, or <laughs> to be fair, you should put the telescope fish into SCP. Yeah. The, fish the best part have is a it, telescope. So shut, shut up. It had a, and then it had a spin-off that was aimed at kids. <laughs> is that the flying spaghetti monster? It looks a little scary, I think it's, but alright. Why is that woman so huge? <laughs> she is enormous. <laughs> well, she's normal sized. Everyone else is very small. But you see, there are two squid on the land by the 200 million years in the future the mega squid and the other ones. But don't she, worry, the mega squid does appear. She's definitely large. We've got a bear in the bottom left there. Oh, uh, the size. It's a mini bear. Oh, that's true. Okay. I remember people criticizing JXL's Batman theme from BVS for being repetitive, but now everyone praises the Batman theme when it does the same thing. Oh, it depends nice. on because I think the Batman theme it it uses that motif in mm. interesting ways throughout the film with different instruments and how it is incorporated <laughs> yep. into the Ave Maria. Yeah, Didn't so we, it uh... doesn't feel old. It, it, you're always kind of hearing new versions of it. We like BVS Batman theme. Well, the soundtrack. I like it. I think we liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember it. Boom, 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 boom. That was that was Batman's thing. I think it sounds like the same theme, too, but with too two fast, more notes. right? It's the <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Yeah, that's right. um. <laughs> <laughs> but that and, and Lex um, Luthor had a really um, cool thing. Yeah, I think. Well, he likes Luthor's <laughs> theme. I think I'm fine with the score. Well, I, I say I'm fine. That I like the, the score in thing. both of them. I don't. F repetitive mm -hmm. versus leitmotif is a whole thing, I guess. Yes, um, it is. A weekly reminder for newbies that this podcast is called Every Frame of Pause. Uh, <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> To be fair, entry of the gladiators probably is the theme of the DCEU. Entry of the gladiators. Julius Fusik. I think I my guess is most people didn't realize that's what that was. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I it's a lot a of deep people, everyone knows the tune; they don't know the name of it or the composer, and they they wouldn't assume that the name of that song is "Entry of the Gladiators." Not quite. It is definitely not <laughs> that's a. Not um, what my assumption was. Ne, yeah, they would assume it's called deep. "Adventures in One." People assume it's goofy shit happening, but it's actually not. It's though it does be take place in the circus. People might end up thinking it's a fucking Kevin McCloyd sound or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kevin McCloyd. The guy who hosts Grand Designs. Too many layers of jokes are happening. I'm I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> Someone uh, get me out of here. Can you please stop covering Star Wars content so I can cancel my Disney Plus? Thanks. No, the whole point of us covering it means you don't have to have Disney Plus. <laughs> you can escape. Wrong. Well, I feel like we're sending the wrong message. Sorry. That was the thing. A lot of people rely on our coverage of this stuff so they don't have to go watch it so they can keep up to date with what the fuck's happening with the Star Wars continuity. Same for Marvel, I think. A lot of people are very oh, sad we didn't cover Hawkeye after and it's just like, yeah, that's probably never happening. I happen just have no interest at this point, no. Zero! Well, I, don't, I don't even interest. think we need to say that. It's like, clearly we just... We didn't even talk about it in passing. We just didn't watch it. <laughs> it just seems like we haven't lost anything by not watching it. I'm sure we'll be in fine. In terms of our understanding of the universe. Well, Doctor so Strange is going to be essential, I imagine. Well, I was just going to say, funnily enough, right, like, if someone said, you're going to try and watch the Marvels without having watched Hawkeye, you might get screwed continuity. It's like, look, if... Oh, fucking, they don't fucking care about If continuity. Yelena shows up, I doubt it'll make so much more sense if we had watched Hawkeye. I really doubt it. But maybe, who knows. Uh, but, 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 riddle me this. 
Are there more doors or wheels in the world? P.S. Love y'all. Are there more uh, doors or wheels? That is wheels? an interesting question. That is an interesting uh, question. I'm going to go with, like I think there are more to, wheels. Mm, I would go with wheels. Well, my head, I'm but... go with wheels. I don't know that I'd go with wheels is because if we're thinking about more cars, they have doors. Yeah. Um, but they also have... Oh yeah, that's true. A car has more but doors. Where than are there generally? Yeah, if we if no we doors. count the uh, if we count the boot as a door, which sometimes it is. It is. It. Okay. I I think it up. I mean, it opens and closes and works. Well, do we well count, if, if we, in that case, do we count? I like, don't know. Hatches? I think it's starting to. Re yeah, I, I I would the four doors that are used for you to get through. Okay, here's let's call it this. Let's how let's differentiate it. Doors it's traversable it's by be human open, beings. Yes, that's that's the, I think that's the the big one here. It's meant to be gone through by a person. Uh, so a hatch would well, count. Yeah, oh. people are talking about machines. It's like yeah, machines have a lot of shopping carts. Yeah, so I was going to bring up tractors, like, industrial trains. equipment. How tractors far does, have doors. How far can we go with wheel? Um, a tractor probably only has one door, but it has at least four wheels. A train, like a freight train, that will maybe have one. Like wheels, they yeah, have a that, lot of wheels. They have no, I mean, they, they have. I know they have a lot of wheels, but like some trails, but some of the uh, the ones that they have will have doors, and some of them won't. The uh, I mean, the every, storage containers, well, even the containers will have oh, doors the containers do have doors, yeah. Sorry, yeah, they all have doors. Have How do you get in and out? But they'll, <laughs> they'll still have, but each shipping container will be on, though they can be stacked, of course, but well, could we'll know because they're mostly, I bet most are transported by. C. So let's see. Because mm. I'm, I'm I'm trying to think which is more like. Well, yeah, all boats. If you factor in all boats, they have doors, and, and well, for the most part, I would imagine there's got to no be wheels, wheels involved in I've, parts of the machinery, have, right? We have there building. are wheels involved in moving them around for sure, but they're not on the. They're not usually on the boat, no, right? They'll be said. attached said to a trailer. There's got to be wheels consider... involved in the machinery, right? Oh, yeah, sure, but are we including machinery or are we including, like, wheels that are used to move something physically? I assume all wheels? Because doors oh, are more shit. specific than wheels, right? Skyscrapers, yeah, they have tons of fucking doors, true. Well, yeah, I was about to say, buildings, so not just skyscrapers, but consider just, like, a normal suburb. How many doors are in each house? True, but then each house might have, like, over here. This is why I'm looking to clarify in... what we count as wheels. Can we go as really, really small? I don't see why not, right? I assume so. That's small. Really small. If anything, <laughs> a, so if Thanks. we're going to go with the that basic helpful. definition of a wheel, <laughs> which is, I guess I'll look it up just to make sure. Um, wheel definition. It, it assumes that I'm I already voting know for I'm doors. Talking. A circular object that revolves on an axle and is fixed below a vehicle or other object to enable oh. it to move easily over the ground. Well, shit. Yeah, I'm going with doors. Well, then. at that point, yeah, that's going to lock out a lot of potential wheeling. So I think doors are going to win now just by that definition. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like doors, baby. Yeah, if it. Yeah, oh. if it. Yeah, if. Yeah. Did, did you say that a door counts if, as long as it's, it's like a space that's opening up for someone for, to go through? For a person, yeah. It's for it to. So that a person can pass through. So does it. A, a big window count? No, that's not I think that's that they for a person count. to pass through. Now, a, a sliding glass, well, even a sliding glass door, which it is, is a, a door, not a window. It is, a, yeah, they're called doors, not windows, because its purpose is for. Oh, yeah, I know how it works colloquially. I'm going by the definition you gave. I would, I would still call that a door. Someone said toys have wheels, which is true, but some toys also have doors. Would a door in a doll's house count? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's it would. I, oh, wait, actually. Yeah, I would. I to, would right? give doors to I get I would give dollhouse doors the door category because it's meant to either emulate a door for the for no, the for it, a, a it, basically a fake person a a doll or an action figure to go through right so I would I would credit it as being a door I mean it would certainly be referred to as a door like if we're using descriptive mm -hmm. linguistics I, people yeah, would look I, at it and be like oh look it's a door yeah, it's like, well, yeah. a person couldn't fit through there. It's like, well, I still think that in the well, spirit it of it is that it is the it Google definition at that point. It doesn't, it doesn't mention anything about having to have people go through it. Because even a miniature door is designed oh, yeah, yeah. as a door would be designed. It's just well, scaled like, down. I, to I think it would be a door if, um, if for anything to go through it, right? So like... Um, 
I don't think you know, specify it's get laid as well, a not, not anything, but like, um, so like, let's say you've got like an enclosure um, for giraffes and you've put a door on that enclosure for the giraffes to go through. I'll call that a door. Yeah. 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 I'll, 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 I'll call it. I think that fits the spirit of being a door. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like for an animal, like a, a gate, like a gate would count as a door. Does a gate count as a door? I, I would I count it, it as a door. A door, mm -hmm. yeah. So the, yeah. It's just the, I, the more the one specific I've got kind is of door. The specific word they're defining as is it's a barrier that is revolving, sliding, or hinged, and acts as an entrance to a building, room, or vehicle, or in the framework of a cupboard. It's interesting that that's the the things that they think is worth defining when there's probably loads more, but I don't yeah, think it's I'm excluded. Sure there are more. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I assume that most of these definitions are fairly casual and for colloquial usage. I'm saying, so I why would... even specify it could also be a cupboard? It's like, why not just <laughs> be more vague when, you're, when yeah. you're at this point, you know? How small is it before it's no longer a Cause, cupboard? Yeah, because people say open the cupboard door, but it's not meant for... Well, it's meant for you to like reach into and grab and then close. So that's sort of like someone going through in a way. Um... People, you know people, what else people, people say, Rex? You know what else people say? People say stuff like open the battery compartment door. Yeah, <laughs> I... But that's more for a battery to go through, not necessarily you to, like... Well, I agree, but surely because it's called a door, we're still counting it in the door category. Um. Well, I don't, I don't know about that, because there's a band called The Doors, but they're not actually... By the way, know. we only read out the first definition of wheel. There's another one, this machine or structure having a wheel as its essential part, which is a weird one. So having like a wheel a, as yeah. its essential part. Like, like a water, like a water, like, like a water wheel? Yeah. Well, but yeah, you usually don't want to put a machine the word or structure wheel under definition. Wheel. Having a wheel, wheel, wheel as its essential part, and thus the whole thing is called a wheel? That's kind of strange, isn't it? Wouldn't a cog then count as a wheel? I'm yeah, sure, a like a Ferris wheel, though. So like a circular Maybe that's what we're referring yeah. to, yeah. Because a Ferris wheel is more than a wheel, but at the same time we basically refer to it as a wheel. I I don't think that Ferris wheel either way will tip the scales too much. Um but I assume <laughs> I assume so that it would count as a wheel, yeah. Because I said well, it, the, is, it does have an so axle I highlighted in the middle, this it does spin around. Because it says essential part. Now most machinery, if you remove any of the wheels inside it, it's probably gonna fall apart. Or at least not yeah. work. So we're talking like bicycle wheels or like we said, water wheels. Well, so just any machinery involving very small revolving pieces. Um, like to assist like with pulleys gears. and... Could be that, yeah. Like, um, gear, I, like I'd be interested to know... Count as a wheel? Sorry? A gear? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm fine not counting gears because even though they spin around a central, like an axis... They are meant for a like a, they do different things than a wheel. In the does. same way that we would discount windows as doors because they're meant as things to look yeah, out of, not purpose. things to move yeah. through. Yeah, it can be opened and closed like a door, but it's not meant for Traffic. for anything to really go through. It really um, does depend on how we narrow down the definitions. Well, so the beard someone trimmer. Because only open, so you could clean the uh, the outside from the inside. The beard trimmer has wheels. What kind of wheels are we talking about in a beard trimmer? Would it be cogs and stuff, or is it? I don't know. Or a spinning wheel. But and then would um wheel. would a washer count as a wheel? I, I kind of feel a washer, like washer. I don't think so because it's not meant. A washer doesn't. Oh, I thought you meant like a. Well, now, which washer are you talking about? Not a washing machine. Um, I need a better word for this, I guess. Like a thing that you put between tightening something. A bolt something. and a screw? Yeah. No, that yeah, but it doesn't like wheel. turn on an axis, so that wouldn't be... Yeah, I think rotation is going to be a necessary function of wheel used in this sense. Just so then... Because a donut isn't a wheel either that you would like eat. But what about like all the wheels in the world that aren't attached to cars? What I'm referring to I is like they're, they're that... purpose made, but they're not yet attached. You know what I mean? Like like a big tire. I would, I would be okay. I would be okay counting those because they are still wheels. They're not just not currently in use. Yeah, right? the so same like way you, a door you, you find your... in a dump is still a door. Yeah, like if, if your but car those, is if those count, I think doors will never be beaten. Oh, there's a lot of tires. Doors now. will never be. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I like the idea that it's I, tough to figure it out, but it does seem like Doors is winning. I agree. I, 
I want to let me offer this for consideration that there is imagine all the cars and automobiles in the world and imagine how many spare wheels exist to keep all of those cars running um mm-hmm. with every car having five wheels generally there's going to be four in a spare yeah it's the the sheer amount of this the rubber and tires that well, are one gonna would exist. argue that for the doors as well right I assume so, but I yeah, wonder for all the buildings. Well, I I wonder how many of those are cuz I think the replacement rate of tires is so much higher than that of doors generally. But wait, is a tire whole, a, whole wheel? Wheel. a tire is well, not a wheel. Yeah, but Correct. I'm assuming Rags referring to the whatever constitutes the wheel. I Yeah, I, but uh, those don't get replaced at the same rate the tires do. Yeah, true. I, I, true. Tires wouldn't that tires is a tough one. I think the person who sent the super chat knew we were going to spend this long. On it. <laughs> I think they knew this was going to happen. Yeah, nice one. By yeah. the way, doors. <laughs> I'm voting for doors. Final answer. I'm going to go with doors, but depending on, like, legitimately, if depending on if tires count, I feel I might be swayed. No, it's wheels. Oh, nice argument, idiot. <laughs> no, it's wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, if you've got if you've got that insight, Wait, chat, you know, let us know what would tip the scale. Are we still here? talking about the doors and wheels thing? Um, what else yeah, would we be yes. talking about? Like, come on, this is this is the question of the century, I think. That, that is an true. interesting question because these. Two I think it's an so... awesome question. Yeah, uh, I. This is an interesting question that mostly got us into discussing. Well, what is a tire and what is a wheel? But I think I'm going to give it to doors, though. If again, if tires count, I feel I can be swayed either way. What a, one no, of tires car, don't count. We worked at a tire warehouse, and we've driven past them sometimes in our travels around. Fuck me, there's a lot of tires. I don't think people realize how many just tires are sitting around waiting to be used. But Shit. I mean, as Rick and Morty taught us, you know, you got to go somewhere to get your real fake doors, and if it's a <laughs> fake door, does it count as a door? You know. It is a Ooh. door. You just can't mm-hmm. open it, though. On, like, well, this one well, doesn't did, open. This one can open. We, None of them open. Yeah, did we establish that a, yeah. a door on its own is a door, or is it has to be a barrier? Yes. No, I that think doesn't it needs to seem be right to me. Or designed to be opened. So if, if you took a door. So if it's. Well, then a tire isn't a wheel. Well, well is, is a tire I, a door? How does how does that yes. follow? Well, a tire itself isn't a wheel, right? Like a wheel yeah. describes something different than a t- you put a tire on a wheel, but a wheel itself is different to a tire. Yes, you, it, it, like I that's true, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, they're they're both different, though. I wonder if a tire, because it is designed to ultimately revolve around an axis. Where, which the wheel would act as. It's just a very thick axis. Yeah, like the wheel is incomplete without the tire. Yeah. So I I feel like an argument could be made either way that a tire counts as a wheel because it is ultimately what keeps the vehicle from... It's supposed to be there between the vehicle and the ground. It revolves around the wheel, which acts as its axis. So I... Oh. I don't know. That's why I. That's why the caveat of it exists of I voting for doors, but if tires count, I feel like it's a lot closer. When someone just, just mentioned there's okay. billions of Lego slash toy car wheels. To be fair, those would all have doors on them, right? <laughs> or they don't count. Uh, I don't know. Well, <laughs> I guess because you can't tra- you can't enter into. Like, can you put? Well, <laughs> huh? Well, well, because I remember that there were Lego like starships that had like a little open closable. Mm-hmm. Like roof to get not a roof. It's like what? What are you? The cockpit. Well, well in the like same to get way, into the cockpit. I think yeah. more more toy cars though have functional wheels than have functional doors. Correct. Uh, much yes. All toy cars yes. have four wheels. It's not, think of all the buildings in all of the world. I feel like they outnumber the number of automobiles. And man, other. what a fucking even split! This is a great question. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a great I question. Agree. It's an amazing question. But if you consider the replacements that exist, that because tires are constantly being used, I don't agree that tires are wheels. I'm gonna put Wait, my but, foot down. For on clarification: that one. If you did cap, what would you then say is the winner? 
I think it'd be. Yeah, I agree that it's closer. Okay. Tires are sitting about. I wonder but... if it's one of those situations where they're just the number of tires actually isn't anything compared to the sheer number of another aspect. You know, it's not actually making that big of a difference because there's so much of something else that maybe we haven't even considered. Well, I think I think the skyscraper example oh. really highlights like the amount of buildings in the mm -hmm. world that have insane yeah. levels of doors. Uh, but uh, to be fair to rags, if we are counting tires, that is a, a crazy amount as well. So it's... I, I think there's also like a very hidden amount of wheels in each place too. So for example, there's about eight wheels on my air conditioner. There's about God knows how many wheels on all the computer chairs in my house. Um, there's wheels on my fridge. Meanwhile, there's only a oh, few. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh wait. Three doors when you said there's house. wheels on your air conditioner, four or five. It's, it's a portable air conditioner. Oh right, right, right. Okay. So actually, yeah. I'm, there might even be like more wheels and doors in my apartment, and I didn't even consider that because there's. Actually, there's not. I'd never installed the wheels on my office chair because I'm, I'm in a carpet and it's just kind of annoying. <laughs> Fair enough. But the wheels are still in a drawer somewhere. Did we decide to count um, as wheels? Yeah, people asking about gears. We've we've said that's not a wheel. Gears are not wheels. If, they, if gears are wheels, then gears then wheels. Win they, I think easy. wheels win easily if gears count. Yeah. And, and something I thought about when I was asked this question a couple of days ago is the number of doors on a car because. A car, a car can have uh, two doors or uh, four doors, depending on the model, but it will consistently have four wheels, which yeah, means that... Then, but then if you, well, there are, there are some cars houses, with three. Right, and houses don't have Wait, nearly sorry, as many time. wheels as doors on average. But I, think, I think they might. If, if, if every household house has like, If we include household an, an objects, we're going to be getting like a lot a, of wheels, yeah. A computer with wheels on it, maybe? Or like... I could actually guess you don't get those. Well, yeah, because if you think of like a, with an the wheels office on them. space, right? Like if there's an office space, if all of the chairs have wheels, holy shit. Yeah. You know? Because <laughs> like, like we're thinking the amount of sky of doors in a skyscraper. The yeah, amount of wheels in a skyscraper is there. Yeah, that's true. If every office has one and that's not to mention a conference. Oh shit. Yeah. So yeah, that office. skyscraper <laughs> example we gave, like if each floor has a bunch of those office an chairs. Office. Yep. Mm, yeah, yeah, shit. Point. Shit. Tight. Fucking wheels. We're actually shifting Coming to wheels. up from the rear. <laughs> can I, Muller, can I change my vote? How no, do you I can't change your vote. <laughs> my vote wheel, which is losing, right. and it shouldn't be. More doors than where I Did we say we're counting doors that aren't hinged? And think about we bikes no, and right? motorcycles. Yeah. Someone like mentioned the whole doors. Bikes. Well, think I, about th bikes and motorcycles. Someone's mentioned in the chat. They have zero doors but two wheels. Oh gosh, wheels are coming and back, lots man. And of people use bikes in like the Netherlands and stuff. Well, if yeah, we, it's about wheel. A forklift, if we do cars, yep. yeah. Because a car, all cars have at least four wheels. Yes, and but they no, don't all have four in doors. the poll. It's 50 50. <laughs> uh, wait, no, they all have doors. Wait, what the fuck am I talking about? All Ooh, cars have doors. doors. They just do all have doors. Yeah. yeah. Shopping carts. Shopping carts was doors. mentioned before, too. It's very common I for. I wonder if the average building has more wheels than, than doors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you gotta, you gotta take into account all the scooters <laughs> for all the chunguses. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I am team wheel. wheel. I have changed my mind. Yeah, I'm team wheel. Yeah, I think automobiles wheel. get the wheels. Oh god, easily. wheel is taking the lead. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> this shows how easily swayed you are. Yeah. She <laughs> she <laughs> yeah. 18 wheelers. Think about how <laughs> yeah. they used for freight. You'll have three doors. Well, we talked about trains, right? We did, like yeah. A cargo, the amount a cargo of wheels on there. Trains have, have lots of door. doors in them, to be fair. They do. I don't think they're going to compare to wheels. They have, oh, they okay. have all... oh, trains are definitely. Pro. Are we counting the doors on shipping containers then? As yeah, well? but even if we yeah. count them, that's still wheels. You got four wheels for a shipping container and two doors on a container, four, right? Four, right? I feel like trains are pro wheels. I uh, yeah, they yeah, have I think, to be I think pro trains wheels. are pro wheels. Yeah. Yeah. So you got like six doors in a. You got like two doors on a car, but then there's like how many wheels per cart on a train? It's, so, mm -hmm. someone high, just right? mentioned PC yeah, cases yeah. having doors. I don't know we can count them, because <laughs> <laughs> at that point, we be you know, like, the battery packs on little toys and stuff? You open that, is that a door? Yeah. It's like, no, that's not a door. I don't know <laughs> if that's a door. Hinge compartment, yeah. Like, I don't you. count the hood of a car as a door. You don't count what, sorry? I don't think, the like, the hood of a car. Oh, you count the boot, but not the hood, oh. right? Oh! 
I think I'd count the boot. Well, actually, uh, I wouldn't call it. Like that one's that one's door. I'm I'm no. I'm slipping back and forth on that one because yeah yeah uh, I've never called that a door in my life and it's... I'm not about to start now. <laughs> It's it's a form of a barrier to entry, I suppose, but like I feel like the definition's a bit more interesting than that, right? I thought a, a a car that has four doors and a boot is often called a five uh, a five door car. I'm pretty sure that is what. Wait, they're, really? They're, I've yeah, never I, heard I'm that. Pretty, really? I'm, I'm pretty that. sure. I feel like I have. I thought I mentioned yeah, it earlier. Yeah, they do it in Germany too. Oh, a they call it a five door. That's right. Yeah. So, for, I look up an image of a three door car. It is a car with two doors and a boot. Interesting. That's, that's so weird. That's, that's, that's not how it. we talk about them and then here. A, uh, yeah, maybe maybe there's a difference between yeah, here and there. That. Yeah, it's like a two it, door like, sedan or a four door. You know. When I look for five door car, it shows hatchback. So maybe that's like a different name for them somewhere. But I, that's. Foreign to me. Well, a hatchback, a hatchback could have three or five doors. It depends on how large the car is. Um, like hatch and sedan, there's that's that's more based on the shape of the vehicle rather than how many doors. But like, yeah, here, I'm I'm pretty. Because let me like here's a picture of like I'm getting a lot of examples like this. If you went up to someone here and said, "Oh, I have a five door car," I don't think they would know what you meant. That like I um. Don't... To be yeah. fair, yeah, to be fair, like, you would often think of it in terms of the doors, it's just that I know that there is a categorization of cars that will acknowledge the boot. I think it, I think uh, someone mentioned it in chat, and that might be the difference, is can you access the car and, like, sit in it through, the, through that one? So, like, the picture that you have there, the two-door car, I can't enter the boot and then get into the car. But if, if I've got, like, a car that I can make the seats go down, then I can enter it through the boot. That's, where, that's an interesting point. Car, it's not going to have, like, the back won't, like, the trunk won't count as a door on a quote unquote regular car, but on a hatchback, it will count as a door. So it's kind of like, right, right. It'll right, depend right, on maybe. the car, is what we're saying then. Is a tailgate mm -hmm. a door? Is a what? A tailgate, tailgate, like a truck's tailgate, a pickup truck. Is a round rotating oh, machine yeah, yeah. part a wheel if it doesn't have gears on it? <laughs> like um like the like, like the like the I mean I guess I would call it the wheel that, that moves like the elevator rope thing. Would that be oh, a pulleys. wheel, I guess? Isn't that a like a pulley or something? Well no, but I I, I wonder I think that possibly should be considered a, a wheel. I think um, that should I think if it doesn't have gears on it and it's just a round rotating machine part, then it's a wheel. I think that's fair. Um I'm assuming you're talking about Does it spin on an axis? Talking about something like this? Presumably that sort of yeah, idea. I think that is a wheel. I mean, it is. It it is that a pulley or a wheel? Is a wheel a pulley? Are they one and the same? I think so. I don't know why we wouldn't call that. <laughs> well, I I don't know. I'm just, I'm just asking questions. <laughs> I think if it is used for transporting objects, I think it falls under the definition that we're, we've been using. So, like a pulley yeah. is used right, to right, true, yeah. I Either feel a, like it probably is a wheel, and yeah, wheels win. Wheel well, so wheels win, yeah. yeah. It's got to win. When someone's asking, we call them cog wheels, and it's like, I guess that's enough to say they're not wheels, they're cog wheels? <laughs> I, 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 it's got wheel in the name, it's like a type of wheel, right? No. <laughs> well, I mean, door, door frame has door in the name, but a door oh, frame right. is not a door, yeah. right? And that's <laughs> frame. We, can't, we, can't, we can't double it up. <laughs> Wheels are fucking sh shooting into the lead. Well, now. so yeah, so if we feel that pulleys count, you guys just feel it's flattened at that point, do you? There's I a think lot the of there are a lot of pulleys in have, small machinery as well as large. Now. I've totally flip flopped here. I, th I think office chairs was the turning point. I think. Yeah, I think that was yeah. for me actually. Uh, it was fifty fifty in my head for a while I, uh, until like the skyscrapers was the deciding factor for me. <laughs> If we yeah, gave, I, um, I know we won't, but if we gave windows <laughs> to the door team, they'd be able to have a fight in chads. If we had, if we gave windows, well, uh, if if doors get windows, then wheels should get tires. Wheels should get cogs at that point. <laughs> yes, I agree. Yeah, I think giving windows as, into the door category is being. Are there more round things or square things? Are there more round things? Just let's not That's even. The... Let's not even, Jay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it would Come be on, Jay. like Adams, but be reasonable, Jay. Uh, You're being mean. Oh. 
All um, right. Uh, should I end the poll? Not that... I guess no, so. Just let it, let it carry so. on. Yeah. Let people well, but... have their thinking. We need a final answer, Jay. I was going to say, Jay, it can't be official if we don't end it. Fine. What was that, Jay? You agree? Okay, sweet. Uh, all right, everyone, get your votes in. It's gonna shut down in another twenty seconds from now. All right, I'll read another thingy, and then and then we'll we'll do it. Okay. Yeah, that's um, good. But hey, what a great super chat! Whoa. Yeah, goddamn. Fantastic <laughs> question. Um, I love that it began with "Riddle me this" too. <laughs> this <is great. laughs> Um, oops, I'm late. What did I miss? Oh gosh, what a great oh, well, follow-up super chat, eh? Hey? All right. Um, <laughs> Desearch <laughs> and destroy. Okay, what? I, I I don't know. It's, it's Desearch and destroy. Oh, is that D E like dust D E search and destroy or? I don't know. I'm trying to make I, sense. I think they just sort of they've tangled up both the words search and destroy, yeah, right? They tangled search them up. Search and destroy. Um all right, ending ending poll. Here we go. Beautiful. That's what it was. Wheels have it. Yeah. It makes you wonder though, if we had only talked about all the doors in the world. <laughs> like, yeah. I think that's it. Um, yeah. Unless there's just some incredible like just super 2 a.m. surge of door categorization that we totally forgot about. Well, I've I learned think... a lot today. Yes, it changed, it makes you think about all the things in the world. But maybe there is a huge element of doors we missed. Carrion. Every grocery store has hundreds of four wheel carts and no door. I'm pretty sure it counts as a door at the front of a grocery. Yeah, it has yeah. Like one door. Still not yeah. like a huge difference. It has more you know than I mean? one door. What the fuck is what are you talking about? <laughs> well, yeah. What about all the doors for like the refrigerated stuff? Those are doors. Oh yeah, room, those are doors. Basement, too. warehouse. Oh, Why? Fuck, <laughs> more doors. Fuck. Refrigerators does, have doors. Does a fridge mean? count as a door in general? As a as yes, a thing? it, it does for sure. It has to. It absolutely has to. Yeah. But when you think about the amount of shopping carts a fucking grocery store has, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. Exactly. I I get that yeah. sentiment, of course. Yeah. yeah. It's just you know, another. Don't underestimate how many doors and or um, yeah, the, the doors are like you know. Don't, all right? yeah, don't just forget man. me. I'm here. I'm it's, around. It's, it's <laughs> take one thing away from this. Both of those are massive quantities. Yeah, yeah. more yes. so than like human beings. <laughs> Way more so than human beings. There are a lot more wheels. Any the apocalypse comes with doors and wheels. Um, will it be woke to let Ryan Gosling play MLK? Yes. I I, I would I would call that woke culture. <laughs> Curious. What is the best way to financially support you out of all the options provided? YouTube join, super chat, Patreon, hypothetically $5 which platform uh, gives you the best return in depth, please? Patreon. It's going to be uh, Streamlabs, I think, is the best split out of all of them. Um, oh, wait. yeah, number two would probably be Patreon, yeah, and then Super Chat and YouTube join are the same cut for YouTube. They take like thirty-five percent, yeah. is it? I think it, I think there's a huge gap between Streamlabs, Patreon, and um, the others because, like, YouTube, it's like thirty percent, and it's almost all on Patreon and Streamlabs. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think they're much more chill with the percentages. Um, oh, yeah, it's much more efficient. And I will, I you know, like, people, I, I usually try and mention this every once in a while, but, like, you know, YouTube do provide a pretty amazing platform. Yeah, I can't uh, get too mad. Uh, I think it's, to, it's, in some ways, YouTube as a platform is taken for granted. The fact that you, as an individual, can just start up a channel and distribute your stuff to the world is pretty even cool. If yeah, even if you're not a creator, just, like, essentially... Yeah content for uh, the rest of your life there is no world in which you can watch everything that is available there's more content like uploaded every minute onto this platform than like i'm pretty sure can be watched in like a month yeah but, i wish um, google was less like fucking evil but like the youtube itself is insanely valuable and yeah, and if you're looking for which is the best subscription is patreon will be the one that wins out of the lot i think um yeah, yeah. Um, if you giving someone a dollar per month 
is just like more than most people will ever do for a content creator in terms of especially if you do have ad block on which i'm not upset if you do i do too but if you know just just giving yeah just a dollar a month to a creator is so much more than watching their stuff well it's just like an infinite step up just because of the way I'm that not infinite i don't know about that yeah it's not infinite but um they just being just saying it's a huge jump uh, Catwoman actually uses the term white privilege in the movie. It's a legitimate point. Well, I kn we know that she uses that term because we've all watched the film. Yes, and it stands we, out. All of that it was cringe. That. We all did. Feels like It feels like the studio said you have to have this line somewhere, and so it was just there and never spoken of ever again. I'm not even sure what, mm -hmm. what, I don't what we're suggesting it. here. That it's a legitimate point. The what? White that people. Was the, that was when we were talking about the number of like black people in the film. I think. I thought it was just whether or not that line was. Uh, I thought I, I the impression I got from this super chat was that they're trying to say that the line works, that she's making a point. No, no, no I think that um, I think they were talking about Ben's point when he was like yeah. talking about the, like the, the, the or, or maybe even Ryan Kennell's point or whatever, right? Of like these the these are the demographics of the film to demonstrate something about it. Um, I mean, I don't. I'm a little bit confused. I don't think we disagreed that that line itself was really poorly handled. So if they're, I guess I'm confused what they disagree with us on. If anything, I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Uh, same person then says, when the villain quotes Batman, I'm vengeance at the end of the film and he totally changes, it's fair to say the film doesn't approve of Batman. Oh, come on. So, that's an, that, I would just call that unfair if you said the film doesn't approve of Batman. Because it'd be like, the film approves of plenty of what Batman is. Yeah, the film he never learns it. Batman is bad, he should stop being Batman. So, like, are we, are we, like, are we doing, like, baby's first movie critique again? Like, the character learns a lesson and therefore improves? I, for like for that to happen, the film has to be critical of the way they thought before. It's weird. Every to me story about a character <laughs> learning a lesson. We've, this, we've, this applies to. We've had all these conversations about how a part of the Batman story is the Bruce Wayne element and his mask almost, and what he does as Bruce Wayne. That's not really in this film, and this film gives him reason to engage in that side of his life. So why is that not in line with becoming like the Batman we saw in this is incomplete? By the film's own perception, he's he's got elements, but they're not good enough on their own. In fact, they're causing damage. Like one of the big things that was apparently like the big issue was that it wasn't clear to Riddler that Batman is not at all on his side. Like he managed to think otherwise. So of course, Batman needs to change up that at the very least. It's just about whether or not you think they executed that well enough in terms of the mistake being made. Um, which is complicated, but. Like, the idea that the film does not approve of Batman, if we're saying that means it is critical of elements of Batman's approach in this film, I'd be like, well, yeah, but I don't know what superhero movie you've watched, or what superhero story or person with power that you've seen where there is a struggle to figure out exactly how to use that power. In fact, I would argue that's pretty much the fundamental for superhero as a genre. If Luke decided not to go with Obi-Wan and stayed a moisture farmer on Tatooine, like a like, I, do you think that the film wouldn't be like, ah, oh, maybe we should not do that. Maybe we should do something. Well, yeah, we went over how, like, do you do you think A New Hope is critical of the Luke that says, I wouldn't mind staying, like, it's like, you should never want to stay at home. I don't, I don't know, I think it's just, it's just one way that character can go, and there was good reason to do so, that was character driven. Um, Someone said, just, just to clear this up. Someone said, "Burden of proof is not on R.K. or Ben. Burden of proof is on Jay to prove there is not a bias in Hollywood." So, burden. Wait, of proof what is on? So the no. burden of proof belongs to whoever is making a positive claim, whoever that may be. So, if someone, if someone comes up to me and says there is a bias in Hollywood, that da 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 da, the burden of proof is on them because they are making the positive assertion that a thing is. And also, so, my point was never that there I don't remember you wasn't saying that, a bias yeah. in Hollywood. My entire point was like, 
literally i said the, the words the that was, i remember this i remember starting out the point let's assume that there is uncontroversially yeah. that's not that's that that's not the only people that should annoy are people who think that there isn't right because it's like oh you're attacking the wrong part of the argument obviously there isn't one right it's not even i don't I, I don't see, yeah, I don't see how that's a problem. Fundamental not a misunderstanding. Like, of let's let's accept the conditions. Let's accept the evidence of his argument because that's not what we're here to talk about. Like, right? Let's accept his reference. Yes, as as true to discuss the construction of the argument. Well, I'd be surprised if I assume we all do agree that there's a bias in Hollywood. Um, as yeah. to the nature of it, it's a little bit complicated, and how it affects each movie is different. Mm -hmm. The bias in Hollywood is to make money. I would argue yes, that is true, because every attempt to do anything that one may consider woke, I imagine they're behind it, not at all believing in it, they just want to try and appeal to well, particular demographics. and isn't the recent controversy that, like, Disney is supporting, um, like, a bill that's actually pretty controversial among, like, left-wing circles? I don't know much about, like, what the bill is. But like, isn't that a controversy that's come out? And like, that well, doesn't I, Disney, don't even know what... I I found out. I'm not sure if this is true, but like, apparently, eighty percent of like the political donations Disney has made, like either historically or in recent years, is to the Republican Party. I don't know anything and, about and it. Then, I... And then there's well, I mean, there's the whole thing of like the majority of um, well, not the majority, like shit tons though. I don't actually know if it's the majority or not. Uh, so I, I, I guess I corrected myself there. But loads of the companies who do like, you know, rainbow flags on their logo for pride also donate to like um, anti LGBT politicians, like a lot of money. Well, it's, and they that's a thing. do incredibly unethical things in a business sense a lot of the time. Disney's like the king of well, this. I guess, um, I guess well, the whole point yeah. here is to say they'll they put on, they'll put on one face and then they'll do another thing. Well, because all... ideally, if you can do both, I think that, they, that that's what you you try to do as a company. If you can do both, then that's that's good for you, right? Well, yeah, um, like, it makes you more money. Yeah. They both. Yeah. I, did, I didn't say that they don't donate to both. I said that what I heard was that the majority was to the Republican Party. Yeah, which is an interesting. Uh, it's interesting factoid. to think about. Yeah. When it's when what is the common thing that's said now that like Disney is woke or whatever? It's like, well, I don't know, man. If it doesn't like, it, it seems like contradictory manifestations of uh, of that agenda, you know. Someone said, "Let's not con uh, forget the concentration camps thing." Yeah, that is a thing they did. That's basically yeah, what I'm referring to every time. It's it's a catastrophe for the like the way. You, how can you possibly perceive them as like, don't worry, rainbow stuff? It's like, fuck off. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Unreal. Uh, chat's full of Batfleck fans and strangers with star tattoos today. Hi, Rags. Hello. What does strangers with star tattoos mean? Strangers with Jews? Okay. Star tattoos? I don't know. Star well, David? either I way, no I'd be surprised to be a lot of Batfleck fans in the EFAP. We had a lot of new people maybe today. That would be odd. Maybe. We don't like just this DCEU stuff. There's some yeah, good person, stuff in there, sure, wow. but we're Rags not like fans of the doesn't DCEU. Like justice. If this is your I first like EFAP and you're like, I wonder what they think of Snyder's work, that'll be fun. I got really it bad news for you. Oh yeah, Snyder's stuff is fucking trash. Um, though the good news is you got all the coverage is ready and raring to go. We've we've covered all Snyder's yeah. works, right? For DC, I mean, his his filmography. Yeah, mm. we've still got Snyder stuff left. Army of the Dead. <laughs> One day you'll see that. One day you will see that Oof. in all its glory and all its horror. Um, Very excited. Starcraft Two. The ghost of Shapiro will remind you that his wife is indeed a doctor. He didn't cut on him. He didn't bring it up once in his uh, Batman video. Uh, the white privilege will pay off when she finds out Bruce is Batman. Her reaction will be shock. Well, she said that. White, um, well, she knows she knows Batman's what? white, so it doesn't she, wouldn't yeah, matter. Yeah, she would. Bruce or any other white guy. So I. She does. Uh, she brings up that she thinks Batman grew up rich or whatever. I don't yeah. think it's gonna be that much of a shock to her. That's her. Assumption. I don't think well, she. Grew it wouldn't up be as much of a shock. 
I, I don't imagine that she's expecting Batman to take off his mask and it's a bat underneath. <laughs> I think that, I think that like the way it's uh, set up in this universe that pretty much for anyone, like, well, I guess, you know, some people would find it shocking, but the predominant reaction to Batman being unmasked would be, yeah, that, that kind of follows, doesn't it? Like, this this is a universe that seems to have set up that Bruce Wayne is a pretty obvious candidate for being Batman. Um, yeah. The uh, from the clips and comments, Black Cat randomly iterates woke talking points during the movie, so typical of the proletariat. What? I'm not sure. Black Cat. That's a different character, right? Yeah, that is a different character. Is that is that an accident or is that? I think maybe they meant Catwoman, yeah. Um, but seriously, it's not throughout the movie, or at least I didn't fucking notice it throughout the movie. It was just that one line. It's not. What? Yeah. Um, Ben Shapiro has said himself that he doesn't have an intimidating or traditionally manly voice. Yeah, that shouldn't have been controversial. That that should have been totally (laughs) normal and fine. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the interesting differences between Clark and Bruce. Clark has to learn to how to be Superman, as he's a normal guy with god powers, where Batman has to learn how to be Bruce Wayne, as his Batman persona is who he really is. Also, hi, Rex. He would, he would say hi, but he's currently BRB'd. Billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne in the sequel? Possibly. We might even see Maybe. the efforts he takes to try and craft that personality instead of it sort of just slipping on. Uh, could be I'd be very surprised of, about the Playboy angle. I just I have a hard time seeing him putting that on, but he would definitely be, I would hope he would be more active, like, in terms of I think that might be seen with something we slowly see him learn, is to do the Playboy angle. I guess. Maybe. We'll see. Perhaps. Um, watch the Friday the for the blah, Friday the Thirteenth movies. I am interested in doing an arc for them, uh, because mm. they get hilariously weird as it goes on. But that's the same for like a lot of horror franchises, I guess. In your wounded video essayist voice, so <laughs> like, and they want me to say, and if you flip the calculator, it spells booby. <laughs> uh, ben Shapiro should team up with Sauron. What? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> to achieve what goal? What that is seems the a little goal? aggressive. Uh, Ring, Fringy edition. In case of a break in, Fringy is alert. He then berates the robbers' film opinions and sprays them with goo. Wait, so, oh, like as a security, oh, right, so, okay, so we're up to the ad, all right, um. Yeah, we What, spray them with goo? Why do you, like, the implication that the goo is harmful to human beings? Um. You don't know that? Well, I suppose, to be fair, you could spray someone with water and be like, so it's harmful? It's like, well, I guess you could say that. I um, guess harmful in the sense that it's, uh, making them wet, yeah. Well, I mean, you could drown in water, so, you know, but, like, it's... You can yeah. drown in water. Like, I don't... True. I can't imagine uh, any version of your goo for any that is... cannot harm a human whatsoever in any capacity. Uh, well, in the sense that any and all liquids can harm people to some capacity, sure. Solids, too. Yeah, and solids. And gases, yeah. Uh, oh, yes, all, all, definitely and, those. And plasma. Yeah. Plasma is Wheels particularly uh, people, not pleasant. Doors. Mm-hmm. They called it Ring Fringy Edition. Wouldn't it just be called Fring? Wasn't that the... <laughs> Fring, yeah. It feels Fring. like a missed opportunity, yeah. I guess then the joke wouldn't come across, so... I this, think if they this, said this Fring, in case later. of a break-in, Fring, he's like, I think we would have picked it up. But I, I appreciate the fact that they may have been worried we might want to, because, you know, it is, what, five hours later? Uh, it's fair. <sighs> Um, a few days ago, I watched The Treasure Planet, and I think it would be very good material for an EFAP movies. Long, uh, forget Long Donkey Kong, also High Rex. Um, Long Kong. There's, there's all kinds of big, big plans for, for EFAP movies, don't you worry. Uh, things of the day. 
Prehistoric hallucigenia cryptid hide behind oh, game inscription. YouTuber Wendagoon Spay Evo Serena Sea Animal Probiscus Monkey City England. Hey, what? What? I heard Wendagoon. I know that. Muller, are you having a stroke? <laughs> hey, I read them as they are written, and that is the things of the day. Appreciate the things. Uh, appreciation. Blah. They were okay. Uh, plan for the boys season three. Skip, cover, fully fat, minis, high rags. Hi. Well, Springy, rags, what do you guys think? Oh, I Wait, was gonna what? I was gonna be like whatever you want to do, I'll do, but <laughs> I'm not so I'm not passionate about it, but I, if you I'm guys gonna wanna cover see it. it I'm very concerned how shit the commentary is gonna be about Captain America with Soldier Boy. Yeah, oh, true. That's true. Yeah. I'm also con I am where the fuck are they going with the story at this point? I don't know. Um for reference, right, the trailers come out and a uh -huh. big part of the trailer is Butcher has like homelander powers. What? Mm -hmm. Um Yeah. So the obvious oh, yeah. thought first of all is like why would that have happened? And it's like I guess maybe they're forced on him or something. I don't know. So I'm gonna wanna know. What's going on there, too? If you took them willingly, that's going to be interesting. It's weird to hate superheroes and then co-opt their abilities to... Really like, work hmm. hard to me by that. Yeah. And this is the thing. Someone could be like, no, 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 come on. It'll make sense. It's like, season two was fucking why, garbage. Why would they, there was no reason to believe that it would make sense. <laughs> they destroyed so many of them in that season. Uh, so, But it, it's a fair... So, like, I'll definitely be watching it. And that will likely mean that we at least are doing uh, an EFAP episode of coverage for the episodes. But as for whether or not there'll be minis, like... No, oh, man. Ugh. Look, the thing is, I think it would probably be able to work uh, in terms of, like, a, a, a recording and commentary and stuff. But the editing of those, like, I don't know who's going to be... like. A, a... I just don't want to do minis on each episode. Like, and yeah, maybe, I don't think I want to wait though. Like, maybe like we watch the whole thing and we take some notes here and there, and then we talk about the whole episode. But I'm, I'm really not. I, I just feel like there, are, there are, would be other shows and things that I would rather do an episode by episode mini on than The Boys season three. Like Kenobi. Well, like, that is more watch. likely in my eyes, but even then. Yeah, it might be the same sort of coverage we did for season two at that point, then. This is the thing. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to think of how I'd explain it as well, but the boys I see more as something I just I sit and look at, and then every once in a while I go, ugh. <laughs> 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 and then I have people at a call going, yes, I agree with the ugh. Yeah, it's I I feel like I could, like we, like we look at Boba Fett, and we're always laughing at it. Because it's so bad, and every like every scene is terrible, and we could laugh at all the terrible things in it. Um, but the boys is just one of those I want to roll my eyes all the time. Kind to be of fair, deal. having our reaction like taken in when the, the the whole whale thing happened. Yeah, that was a special. Oh, yeah, that was a special tism. Also, someone in chat said. Um... I know you hate this argument, but in the comics, the boys use the hero drug, and yes, Butch's solution for the heroes uh, take it, that into account. So I think Fringy kind of covered it in what he was saying. There are ways to do it. There are. It's just, oh god, it's going to be bad, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that sounds. That's something that you're really going to have to work for. And... Thing. Yeah, we're pretty much at the, you know, like if you've watched a lot of EFAP. We tend to try and say that there's there's nothing that's impossible in terms of a, a singular idea on its own if you, if you've got time to work it in. Like if someone said, um, "Do you believe that the Arcane season two will end with Vi executing Jinx?" I'd be like, "Ooh, that's gonna be tough to get there, but I think it's possible." Yeah, I think it's possible. Absolutely it's like, you, possible. And if someone said, "Oh yeah, well season two also ends with Jace uh, nuking a significant portion of Zorn," I'd be like, "Ooh." Maybe. Yeah, it feels harder to like, get that damn. one. Feels harder, but I, I think there's a way. But, uh, maybe. Yeah, there's, there's always a way if you've got enough time. So yeah, they, they're never written off. I mean, some are probably. 
one of the examples of the best examples is just like uh, Luke betrays his entire family and the Force and the Jedi. It's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> and then grabs the sun. Yes. You know what? You could still have gotten there. I think you could have still gotten there. It's just really difficult and you got to work your ass Maybe off. it would take you a whole trilogy to do it. Boba Fett. That was... A, that um, was... Or something that would fundamentally shake his worldview or belief in his own abilities. Um, like... Something fucking enormous. Um, I think I think the go-to example for Luke is like somewhat. Like, we've used this one a couple of times, right? The fake memories example to justify what he did in TLJ, um, where he was tricked by like some force yeah. user into believing that he tried to kill Kylo when he hadn't. So he runs away and uh, avoids everyone because he's. That's the, um, I think that's the quickest fix. For a TFA to TLJ or TLJ even going forward, that's not you know he was all, he was all the dream. Yeah, sort of thing. it's it's still like horribly tragic, but at least it's not his fault per se. Well, it's it's, it's I think it would be within character then, right? If um, Luke believed that in like Luke wakes up one morning and with just the memory of having tried to kill his nephew, I believe that he might lose all faith in himself and run away. Ah. Uh... Well, because like I, I don't know. I feel like if I woke up with the memory of trying, of, of like, oh, I tried to kill someone I care about yesterday. If I woke up with that memory, I'd probably like remove myself from every everyone and everywhere. I think that might be my reaction to that. And I'm exactly the same person as Luke Skywalker, so you know <laughs> that makes sense. Wow. That was it. Why are we acting like the oh, only wow. things that exist in the world are apartment buildings and grocery stores? We <laughs> talked about. Many, many things. The reason why those two came up is because in apartment buildings there's going to be a shit ton of doors, and then in grocery stores there's a shit ton of carts, and they all have wheels. This is the reason why they're but also of... doors. Well, that's the thing. There's also doors and wheels in in both. You know what I mean? Like, we talked about yeah. all kinds of things. Every door is a door. Every office chair is like f five, six wheels. We talked about freight and like fucking. We talked about cars for like a good twenty minutes every, alone. <laughs> every kitchen is is probably at least five doors. Also, I think almost certainly at least five doors. Three is probably a low number of cupboards for a kitchen, and then we've also got like a, I guess a fridge and a freezer are often the same thing. But if there's a separate, if there's a fridge and freezer, then it will be a separate door for the freezer compartment. I was directed at someone Normally. in chat, not you guys. I mean, at that point, I'm just confused. Why didn't you put that their name? Because <laughs> like, I just assume this is the chat for us. Chats, uh... I really like the idea of super chats that are directed at other people. To be fair, so we <laughs> read out, and they're just like, "Hey, it's it's just it's called a it's just a premium it's a premium currency argument." Uh... Oh yeah. So conclusion: it'll probably be like Boy Season Two. Probably. Uh... Next one. I'm late. Overslept due to too much Elden Ring. Anyway, animal I found for you this week is the sarcastic fringe head. What? I've, sarcastic what? This doesn't sound head. real, but alright. It's an odd critic. Seriously, it's called the sarcastic fringe head as a species. Yeah, like, like, let me copy uh, this and I'll paste it and you can take a look at the sarcastic fringe head. Oh my goodness. A mouth. Open yeah. right up. Oh, oh, he doesn't God. seem like he's being facetious to me. Yeah, what's oh sarcastic my. about this creature? <laughs> I do not like you know. it. Nice and colorful, though. When he opens that up. Not all of them. Oh, here's a, here's a gif. Just a second. Oh, uh, as soon as I saw this animal, I was like, man, if only I could see a gif of this. Uh, there, it, I'm not going to save it and then... The, that link there, the the second image, is a GIF you can check out of it opening its mouth. Kind of neat. Look at him go. He just uh, going blarg. This is my big old face. Blarg. Oh Jesus! I'm that's a cool. large, I'm actually larger than you thought initially, aren't I? Yeah, that's right. You stay over there. You I mean, he's being there. ironic about it, though. He's being a bit. Sarcastic. You, oh, but sarcastic, but it, 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 facetious, and ironic all into the same little group. That's complicated they everything. All mean, they all mean the same thing. Oh. Don't at me. 
No. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> it's in like the top five not understood words. <laughs> like literally. literally. Literally, yeah. Yeah, the most. The Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake has excellent combat. Uh, Chase is a knuckle dragger, don't listen to him. The story, well, it's Final Fantasy, aka awkwardly written. You guys ever played Final Fantasy stuff? No. I played some Final Fantasies. I have not played 7, though, so I couldn't tell you uh, how good or bad it is. I hear 6 is really good. Um, everybody talked about 7, but I've heard that like 6 is really great. Hmm. I've played 1, 2, 3, 4, Four, um, Five, six, uh, seven, eight, just a little bit of fourteen. Crystal Chronicles. So you played a lot of Final Fantasy, really. <laughs> Tactics Advance, Grimoire of Depends the what he Rift. means by played. Are these like five minutes All or the whole game, bit, um, with the exception of uh, fourteen, which I only played like a couple hours. I guess those. Man, I don't play the. I when, I feel like in the, I, all the years I've known you, you've never really referenced anything from Final Fantasy. Well, here, yeah. let me just because I, I I was actually just about to say I think I've played all the ones that no one talks about. <laughs> <laughs> all the unpopular ones, <laughs> oh. like, like including seven, you. 14, just no one. It, those are the ones everyone talks about all the time, and I just haven't really played those. I haven't played. I've I've played fourteen for so little. I might as well have not played it. And seven people talk about seven all the time in the remakes. I just haven't played, but I mean, I but uh, I played those. So I, you're right. That's weird. As many as much of the Final Fantasies of as I've played, I really don't reference them. I don't. I never talk about them, which doesn't say they're bad. I just never really talk about it. I guess it never comes up. I guess I think of more current stuff that I've played. Um, played There's a lot new of new game coming out next year, right? Final Fantasy 16, like and two, and three, and four, and Tactics Advance, and Grimoire the Rift, and Crystal Chronicles, and all their side ones. I don't even know what the mainline ones are in that sense. Do you play Bonfire of the Manatees? Bonfire, Bonfire of the <laughs> Manatees. No, no, no. The I best haven't. Final Fantasy, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, is someone making that meme like with the sound of music, but this time it's Bonfire of the Manatees? <laughs> I Max imagine, would... maybe. Um, so, yeah. one and two are not weebish. Crystal Chronicles, a, li a, a bit. Um, Grimoire the Rift, not really. Tactics Advance isn't. It's got some of the. You, you, get, you get some of it. Four, not really. It, they don't seem weebish. Like you could tell that there's, you know, the Eastern influences in there, but you just—it's not weebish. They—they they didn't really. You don't really get too much weebish stuff in there, particularly because it just—I don't know—it just isn't really like that. I couldn't play fourteen because it was just way too weeby. Um, ten's so. the one where they go, ah oh, ha ha, right? That's all I know about ten. Oh, what a ten. great meme! Yeah. I, yeah. You know the and person I know thirteen is the one that is everybody says is super linear. I know that much. Like thirteen is the hyper linear one that nobody really likes. So that James Arnold Taylor is the voice actor for Titus. And He's the voice actor for Ratchet and Obi Wan in the Clone Wars. Ratchet, yeah, yeah, it is true. Uh, that is to say, Final Fantasy always very likable characters. It's just their overall plots are often too esoteric for their own good. I love it, though. If you ask me to recount a plot of a Final Fantasy game that I've beaten, which is, I guess, more than I thought, uh, I... Stuff, crystals, things... <laughs> I think... I think... Tactics Advance is the one with the plot that I sort of recall the most. But yeah, there's oh, Final Fantasy. I forgot one. Final Fantasy. The it was on the DS. Final Fantasy three was. Uh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Final Fantasy three DS. But I think that was like originally Final Fantasy five or something. 
I don't know. They get released as different versions depending on if they're in the West or in Japan or whatever. But yeah, that DS one was also one I like or I I played. I I don't know the story of that either. It's always like heroes are destined to find a crystal and kill a dragon and you save the world or something like that. It's all it's just like it's just that bullshit, which just seems more like here's an excuse to have this game instead of an actual story. Whereas some of them, like Tactics Advance, actually have like a story and characters and they do things. And a lot of them are and then plots like Final Fantasy four, which I played on Game Boy Advance. It's oh. just it, in my mind, it was just and then you go here and now you go here and now go here and this happens and now you go here. And I'm like, ah, OK, I like the game. I just sparked my memory that I meant to ask bringing that question that came in while he was uh, doing a poop or whatever. But uh someone asked uh, if you could spend one hour like doing an interview with any one of these three who would it be and okay. I think we went with like parameters being you can ask them anything and you'll get your answers so uh, the f one was Joss Whedon two was uh, Mike Flanagan and three was Trey Parker uh, I think it'd be Trey Parker yeah tell him why yeah <laughs> I knew white male typical um Something that would be super interesting to talk with him about is how he manages to turn over scripts so quickly. Because they make episodes of South Park in a week, including the writing. Um, and I mean, it's like, damn, like, how do you... Uh, man, there'd be a lot of things. It'd be like, so how how was it, like, making a Broadway musical that, like, won 11 Tony Awards? Like, how was that? <laughs> that you just decided to make a musical and it was a resounding success? Oh, there'd be so many questions. I'd love to talk to them about their but therefore rule and how much I adore that rule. How it's just so useful as a uh, a writing rule. I have people tell me, like, um, you know they didn't come up with that, right? It's like, um... Oh! I'm, I mean, I, I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, who cares? Well, whether or not they came up with it, they often talk about it and have distilled it into something that's really easy to understand. We talk about um, it all the time. Wait, wait, where did you guys get it from? Because you were babies once. You didn't know stuff. It's like, yeah, I know it's crazy, wait, but... Yeah, you do pick up things from other people. <laughs> yeah, yes. that's totally fine. Um, I... I, I the grave or something? Like, I, give us a break. Come on. Oh, only an hour. I'd have to do prep. I'd have to, like, write down... Out of curiosity... The most important questions. Um, so he'd be number one. Who would you pick out of the, the other two, then? Ah, uh, Hmm. We were talking about how you'd get to ask about Midnight Mass's finale, I guess, and future projects. I don't know that and... I want to ask about, like, the stuff that I don't think is good. I'd, I'd want to be focusing on, uh... Well, I... I think, um, I think with Mike Flanagan, there'd be more to talk about in terms of, like, the, the filmmaking aspect, too, that could be really interesting. Um, like, in, in, the, in the sense that I think that he's stronger in terms of utilizing like film and television as mediums uh like visually so yeah i might i might go with flanagan wait i didn't realize so you wouldn't want to ask anything that would make them uncomfortable uh i think i'd want to uh, i think i'm more interested in learning stuff from them and i think for as much as i might be able to learn by asking so what happened with the finale of midnight mass i'd rather focus on the stuff that i really appreciate that he did um more so, so that I could try and learn something from him. Interesting. So, like, with Joss Whedon, for example, you wouldn't ask anything about the cancellation? You'd probably just talk to him about, like, Buffy and Angel and stuff? Uh, yeah, I'd probably, I'd, I'd mainly just be asking questions to do with, like, writing these long arcs and how working within the parameters of, like, network television in the 90s and 2000s and how you managed to do something that wasn't particularly common back then in terms of, like, serialized uh, going shill media route with these interviews. <laughs> no, like, I'd be asking questions that I can learn something from. That's... Yeah, if he was shill, he would just be like, how does it feel to be successful? You're an interesting person. How do you <laughs> feel about interesting things? No, yeah, like, if I, if I did press... I guess the problem is you, you can't ask, like, those... Like, if I did press interviews, like, on Endgame, it's like, hey, man, so I got so many questions, guys. Like, <laughs> and I just pull out my list. It's like, so, Hulk says that traveling to the past can't change the future because if you travel to the past, that becomes your present, which can't be changed by your future. 
What do you think about this as a statement? <laughs> do you think it makes sense? I think, yeah, I kind of viewed the question differently think... in that it was a chance to get knowledge that was, asking... like, never going to be found by anyone else. Exactly. Yeah. As, asking, asking stuff like asking that is going to be, Wheels like, question. I think there's a, there's a more, more of a, like, it doesn't just have to be a confrontation, right? You can still ask them, right, so when you wrote this thing, um, was this a matter of compromise? Or of uh, you know, I like guess um, th this thing in the this thing in, thing in the story that explicitly makes no sense, right? Was this a compromise, or was this an oversight, or what happened with it? Was this I, was were all the other options that you um that you floated worse, and if so, what were they, and and why were they? You know, how were they, how many other alternatives were considered? That kind of thing. It, if I got these opportunities, I wouldn't want to ask questions where like if they if they gave me an honest answer, would get them in trouble, like with the studio. I that's think, a good point um, as well. Uh, I think like, well, for the like rewind like, time. Although uh, Joss, if you're interviewing Joss, that's not going to be a factor anymore, really. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think for the sake of the interest of of trying to figure it out, we could maybe treat it as isolated and be like ignoring that or putting that aside. You know, uh, even putting I... aside them being made angry or uncomfortable at any point, they will. Just... So, for example, if you said, uh, "Mike, did you not realize like?" You know, not everyone will have the same opinion as vampires, and you, you just get the genuine answer. And he might go, yeah, it made it too uncomfortable and awkward to try and write it so that they all had different ideas. We decided to make them all unified because it made it much easier to end the show that way. Like, you get answers like that. Yeah, but, uh, well, I, I guess that's the thing, is it would be interesting if I could ask, like, the Russo brothers, were you, were you given, like, a checklist of things that you had to do? And like, do you feel like that compromised the story that you wanted to tell? Like, I would be genuinely thing, right? curious, could... but I don't think I would ever get that answer in real life. So it'd be, nah. yeah. You could also tease this information out of people without asking, with, like, with um, questions that are less confrontational, right? So uh, say if you want to get um, Mike Flanagan's answer on, like, what he, um, why, why he, why he, you know, ignored a lot of what people would actually do in the ending of Midnight Mass. You can just ask him, right? Were um, when let's talk about the ending that the vampire, the vampires and the infected got. Were there any other possibilities floated, and why did you settle on the one that you did? If if there were, right? Um, well, you... yeah, I, I definitely think you could ask better questions than are often asked in these interviews. The problem is that these interviews are not really like they're marketing. Well, uh, well, I mean, well yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I That's see the main it. reason interviews are done, is to market a product. I can see the, yeah. the, the motivation to ask the questions about construction as well, because instead, you, you're not going to risk the answer of like, why was this flawed? And they just go, well, you know, sometimes things end up that way that are unfortunate. Yeah, little, you know, <laughs> exactly. Like, as opposed to when writing a character, I think what's really important to consider is, you know, and, and stuff where you're just like, ooh. Well, I mean, it's mm -hmm. um, fucking... Pony Smasher, I'm actually forgetting his real name. Something Sandberg? Um, Andy Sandberg? He has a YouTube channel. I don't think it's Andy Sandberg. I've, I'm, unless I'm Sandy. Oh, you're people. talking about the, the director guy, yeah, right? Yeah, um, he has a YouTube channel called Pony Smasher. He made Shazam. Oh, and yeah. David, isn't it? Is it David F. Sandberg? Or? I think that's that, it. That seems yeah. right. That sounds right to me. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, he has a you know he has this video where he talks about um, the making uh, of Shazam, where yeah, um, essentially like a, one scene in that film only goes the way it does because like one of his actresses wasn't available for like the interior shots or something, mm -hmm. um, or or for the exterior shots or you know, basically there was a scene that was supposed to go a different way and then just on the day they were filming it, one of the actresses wasn't available, so they were like fuck, um. And a lot of it was just, okay, well, this is the situation we're in. How do we work around this without, w while compromising the film as le as little as possible? And he mm -hmm. talks about going through that process. And you we never know, watching a finished product, what story have... decisions are actually a result of just an intense compromise. We watched that on EFAP, that video. Cool. Yeah, It is, uh, yeah, logistics. The logistics of filmmaking mm -hmm. can uh, have a big impact. Um, I mean, I feel like Spider-Man No Way Home is a pretty clear example. Like, it's it's obvious that film was shot in conditions that were not ideal. Um, and, I mean, I guess in that sense, it's almost impressive that it hangs together as much as it is able to. But yeah, there's a... Uh, filmmaking is uh, very difficult, 
everybody's working really hard. There's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of money on the line. Limited amount of time to work with. Um, yeah, I'm sure that there are plenty of things that just get compromised because there's just not enough time or there's some issue and that's you just have to deal with it. It's, it's like um, there's a lot of... I mean, here's the thing. With Ryan Johnson and TLJ as an example, right? We know pretty clearly that I think he made the film he wanted to make. Um, Because, like, when people ask him, is there anything you would change or do you agree with any of the criticisms, right? He gives an enthusiastic yes and no um, to both those questions. And, like, (laughs) he he doesn't have to do that, right? You know, he even though he probably would, he probably wouldn't get away with going, yeah, actually, I think my film is shit. Um, I I really regret everything I did. that That would, you know, tank his career. Um, it cause a lot of damage to future potential of him getting hired, but he doesn't have to answer enthusiastically yes, right? Uh, he could say, you know, I've I've reconsidered some of the films in the past, and of course, every film is a learning experience, and you know, he he, he still has many options to uh, to to not just say yeah, fuck yeah, I'm very happy. I guess it is that awkward thing, right? You can't suck yourself off too much, but you also can't shit on yourself too much either. You gotta straddle that line mm-hmm. of, like, humbleness, but also enough confidence in your own work to not denigrate it. Because it's not just your work, it's the work of other people too. That's true. Because all films, it's, it's like with video, you know, these are all collaborative. I mean, obviously the director is ultimately responsible, but uh, lots of people are working together to make that happen. So it's like, probably yeah. would feel shitty to just shit on a film that even if you even well, if you I mean, were the you director, say, you're like, yeah. If, if you were a director and like you didn't have the uh, restraints that, like, let's say you're an indie film director and you're not concerned about um, getting hired in whatever place is right, you've you've got the resources you need set for life, whatever reason, you could say something like. Um, well, you know, I um, I feel like I really let my actors down here by uh, giving, uh, but with the, the the problems with the script that I now realize are there. You know, you could say stuff like that without actually shitting on everyone else involved in the project. This just taking responsibility for your own failings, though, right? You, mm-hmm. And and it, you you're probably a lot less likely to go, yeah, you know. Um, I feel like I did a great job, but you know, Mark Hamill, he was just, he, he didn't read the lines the way I wanted. And that's why the film <laughs> Could you bad. imagine? Could you imagine? Well, you mean like what Joss Whedon said that Gal Gadot doesn't understand English very well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have a career anymore. So, well, so <laughs> everyone, which everyone should believe based off hearing her speak, but. I, uh, <laughs> I think I would choose Joss Whedon thinking about it because I think I would make half of it about. Buffy and Angel, and then the other half, I probably would go for the super controversial stuff, knowing that uh, he can say whatever he wants at this point, probably, because he's absolutely done so. Um, and I can get some answers I am very curious about. Um, as well as just, I don't know, I'd probably try and ask some questions to give him a chance to maybe push back on some of the harder criticisms, or admit to them. Uh, which, you know, either way. Uh- I feel like I'm one of the only people here who actually just wants to ask some questions, like fully as just a fan, because I, I just mean, said I'd have it, those Buffy and Angel questions. What do you mean? I mean, I guess like, God damn it, Jay. But are those about are those like to get specific insight um, from you, you know I mean, specific it insight as not creator? To say it's like the one of the most influential pieces of media in my whole life. Like I'm pretty sure I would it would be a like, partial I guess, fanboy. The, the direction I'm going in this is, I mean, there's a question I specifically really want to ask Mike Flanagan about, um, and I don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's on the same lines as any of the other questions that have been pitched. It's what very me thing. Uh, Mike Flanagan, I know, is particularly interested in uh, taking control of Doctor Who, and I want to know what his uh, ideas are and what he would want to. Ah, uh, well, I, why would you? So, why would you think that that's like somehow like lesser? Than, oh, I think uh, it's it's sort of like question. more of a. I'd know it's sort of a. I think that's interesting. Like, I, I don't, I wouldn't be opposed to asking like Trey and Matt's. Like, have you ever thought about doing a strictly dramatic work? That's that's true. I, I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know. I feel I, I don't. I feel like mine is just. I don't know. I can't put it into words. I'm struggling. I think I think it feels it's a totally like the kind of thing question, you'd ask right? at a He's convention. expressed interest in it, hasn't he? It's just or like one of my favorite whole, uh... favorite writer directors uh, has an interest in taking over one of my favorite shows. 
I really want to mm, ask about you, that. What is if you got ideas the money right as well? You know, if you got the budget to execute fully and make it look as good as like Midnight Mass. Yeah, I would I ask think him. Could, where... I think it probably make Midnight Mass on a Doctor Who budget. I don't know. Um, uh, it's actually, man, not that effects I... intensive. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, sure if it's just effects to take the budget. I know, actually, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, don't know. I watched Flux, and it just doesn't look as premium or high oh, quality. Flux looks shit for Doctor Who. Um, oh, okay, it doesn't. I'm All right. sure this is very much to do as well with the eye of the photographer sort of thing, right? Like it's got. Oh, of course, be. like cinematography, cinematographer can make all the difference. Plus, like Flux of a, a production, I think of any Doctor Who season has got like the most, like, uh, locations in a short amount, number of episodes. It's incredibly effect heavy. There's like, um, a, there's like several scenes where they try to show multiple enormous battle fleets of spaceships which is very rare for Doctor Who because they know they don't have budget. I think yeah. it might have just overextended its reach. Okay, for sure. Um, and, like, I and think to be fair, I would, I would want to ask him, now that you've reminded me of that, I'd be like, what is your favourite episode of Doctor Who? I'll be like a, and then why, of course? Because um, he specifically says he wants to write a story about the Vashti Narada which, like, holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be perfect for him. Yeah. I would want to ask him where he gets his ideas from. <laughs> Just waste of a question, really. <laughs> See, but I actually think that's only a waste of a question depending on how they respond. They could easily take you somewhere interesting with that. True, true. But mm. I guess it's like, I don't know, you kind of want to, I think, steer clear of questions that they've likely been asked before. Because like, then you could just fucking look up an interview. How are you doing? Yeah, like, <laughs> what's up? You, you don't want to waste any of your questions. You've only got an hour. I think actually yeah. my first step would be oh, look up other interviews. In look up like watch most of their interviews ever. There can't be like that many of them. It can't take me more than a week of just like putting them on when I'm free. Um, noting even down then, the kind of questions they've answered and probing into things that they've not talked about before. You could even pick up from those interviews pieces of like subtext that can imply a greater question. Like Absolutely. that shows as well that you're very invested. Oh, it's, that's the thing where it's, uh, I just, I, it's, it's sort of, I'm really interested in watching the Jodie Whittaker interviews for Attack the Block that were hosted by some random YouTuber because she was just like an unknown actress then who was in an up upcoming film that was also unknown. And it's just like some YouTuber with like 100 subscribers got her up for an interview or whatever, which is really fucking interesting. Mm -hmm. That's that's being watched because I want to talk about Blux and... Um, Attack the block, so. Jay plans for the long game. His entire YouTube career leading up to this very moment. Ben dies tonight. Cue movie trailer music. Yeah. Ben is actually dead already. The news outlets just haven't picked up on it yet. Whoa. Do you know Not with my involvement. Don't? I just knew it was going to happen. Hmm. Um, hmm. Hypothetical. Russia tries to nuke US, but Trump pulls out a key blade to knock the missiles out of the sky. What do you what does he say before jumping into action? Sad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it would, but it, the delivery would be like sad and jumps up there and slices. Sad, sad exclamation point. Sad. Jar Jar is the key. I think Trump would have a bit of a, like, oh, Jar Jar's all right. Okay. We have the best Keyblades. <laughs> I know it. You know it. We all know it. <laughs> he yells we do a little trolling. Uh, if the Riddler was sent to a normal prison instead of Arkham, would his cellmate be renamed the Diddler? Mm. Might not even be a rename. Could just be his name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. could just be. He just, yeah. He's he the just Diddler. Might, yeah. You don't want to get, you don't want to be bunkmates with the Diddler. You might get diddled. Which is, but it's better than being roommates with the Tingler. <laughs> it's hard to believe that uh, that's legitimately a callback from this stream because it's been so long. Our streams are so long. It's like, oh, yes, a classic reference from this <laughs> stream. It's a vintage reference. Uh, I was going to make a joke about Ben being Riddler and saying, let's say hypothetically, 13% but 70% of crime. But I don't have enough space. Hi, my Ewoks. Um, Feels like the super chat you wrote took more space. 
I was gonna I, say I, there's a better way to do that because I was thinking like I I thought it was I I thought it was weird in the movie when Riddler asks what is thirteen but also fifty. <laughs> like there's ways to sort of craft that into the into something you know. Uh, greetings, EFAP. Been watching you, Long Boys, critique media for three years now. Wish you many more gallons of rhino milk. Blessings from the dawn. Bad takes on anime and unspecified goo properties. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks, man. Fun. Cheers. We to... Yeah, we definitely up to three and a half now because we're halfway to the fucking four year anniversary. Uh, we we're already half. You know, something I've realized as well. Daylight savings is ending, not long from now. Yep. Oh man, back up very early again, <laughs> even earlier than it has been. Oh. Wait, which time? Which way is time moving? I, I hate the so bring forward. Keep up with... Yeah. So for uh, daylight savings, once it returns, I'm moving back an hour, and you guys up north are going to be moving ahead an hour, which means that I need to wake up earlier. For uh, for EFAP, be two hours earlier, like, is it? Two out. Well, for for maybe a week, it'll be an hour, and then it will be like two hours. So yeah. Is that, is that going to be a problem? Do we need to move around? Well, to, no, because w when I started doing it, uh, when I when I was third host and started, that was actually during that yeah. period when I had to wake up super duper early. I think I just am now what getting used a... to. Well, and so that? to be clear as well i just so that everyone knows i don't know if this still applies to rags but the thing is like some uh, for a long time i was pretty much on a uh, fringy schedule uh the australian you were for a is. while yeah recently i am back to a british one ish well, fringy was fringy was on your schedule because australia yeah. um, no i was on my own schedule and mola was a was, was jumping on there like a little monkey into my schedule yeah because um, mine is the more important schedule you see <laughs> And I have then... so many important things I have to do. Like, well, it's just a way to Mario Kart. Wait, wait, just, we gotta. Is it schedule or schedule? Uh, I often say like. schedule, but it's maybe it is schedule. Hold on. I'm well, holding. they have different pronunciations for uh, American pronunciation. Is American pronunciation is schedule. <laughs> Yeah, American pronunciation is schedule. British pr pronunciation is schedule. I don't say it that way. <laughs> well, neither do I. I say schedule. Yeah, but then again, I don't say, uh, I, I, well, I say chance and I say answer, but, uh, some people here will say answer or chance. Oh, I thought between you were going to both, both, both of those variations are in Britain as well. Shant. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll flip between them both because I was born in a strange place called the Midlands. Mm hmm. Well, I, I turned to. Yes. Oh wow! You always look from a bit like an elf. I elf get that a lot, you know. Yeah. Did you forget that you had this conversation before? What do you mean? I well, I mean, I'm sure we've had what this specific one about schedule. I don't remember that. I don't remember us having. About I just schedule, said schedule. To be fair, if I can't, if I, can't <laughs> I think remember if, it, it's new to me. If someone said uh, EFAP seventeen, I'd be like, ah. Well, yeah, <laughs> like, I would buddy. be like, how do you remember that? <laughs> yeah. And the thousands of hours, fuck, it could potentially be thousands of hours of EFAP material. Let's have a look at uh, how many hours of EFAP material The person who has are. memorized, who, who has still somehow retained the knowledge of Hail Mary in Latin is asking you how the hell you remember that useless information. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's 77 how do you pronounce, days uh, worth. Envelope? Well, it depends if it's a verb Envelope. or a noun. Envelope. Envelope. <laughs> no, it really has a verb. No, I think yeah, I yeah, say yeah, envelope. Yeah. Envel it's envelope or on. I think I say. I think I. Yeah, bounce between the two. Uh, the point I was trying to make, by the way, was just that this isn't the time that's convenient necessarily for uh, any of us three. Uh, uh, of well. I mean, it's of, fine of, for me. of the three of I'm, us, I'm not one of the three. But I am, I am, by, I am far and away the least. Am I, am I not convenient like? Time. I thought I addressed all of the context required. The fact that I would be on an Australian schedule, it's it's convenient to a British average time, but it's just not convenient but to not me. Not you necessarily. Oh, well, yeah, too. sure, but. And then I, I imagine that, by... like I said, I don't know if that still applies to rags or not. I don't know what your sleeper schedule is, but, um, 
Sometimes it can be. I guess we talk about socially acceptable sleep schedules. My for sleeping schedule world, is amorphous and deviant. And Aoife can be in, inconvenient. Oh, there are 18... Wait, there are 1848 hours of EFAP? So 1848 hours. No, 1848. Is that... But do, Does that counter include all of it or just the mainline podcast? Well, I, I, I've got a spreadsheet open and I'm working it out at the moment, so I'll let I'm you know, I guess. I'm glad that's a question right. I could legitimately ask, because we don't... Oh, God, know. dude, our longest but, video is a mini. Wait, it is? Yeah, it's... Um, well, I'm pretty sure... Do they all cap out, or do they... I can't remember if I uploaded a 20-hour video for the... It was the mini catch-up for 100. I believe that is the longest video, technically. But it's in two parts. One is 11, one is 10. Also, when's the last time EFAP me was updated? Uh, EFAP me was updated. Oh, um, I'm retarded. It's obviously the 24-hour streams would be the longest. Yeah, of course. In, in spirit, yeah. They were split up to parts. Well, I was going to say, I think every... I, I, as for which is the longest individual video on Moola, I'm not actually sure if any of them go past 11.45. I think they're all capped at that. I think. I'm not sure. <sighs> the longest edited one would be Hell House, wouldn't it? Yes. Though I still think the Snyder Cut one you made should win its own category regarding editing, because... The Hill House editing is much more minimal compared to that. Mm. So that was still a nightmare project as well. Oh, yeah. yeah there, there were their own different uh, things, I imagine, um, yeah, challenge-wise. Did you guys know... Is the it most... challenge or challenge? <laughs> 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 I think it's the latter. Did you guys know the most popular challenge. EFAP movies is the back-to-back -back Wonder Woman's? Oh, really? okay. Really? Yeah. Huh. I guess that's um, because that's the start of the, the arc. That was that was a fun that was a fun double pairing of movies to watch. It was. Those um, were very especially watching Wonder Woman 1984 or is it Wonder Woman 84. I want to say 19. But Wonder Woman 84 was a fun movie to watch. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It was, it was it was very very enjoyable in how bad very it was. Bad. Um it's an followed... excellent bad movie. Followed closely, by the way, like neck and neck with uh, the Mulan double feature. Oh, I can believe it. I can believe the Mulan, Mulan. was definitely up Mulan. there. That uh, was another. Uh, yeah, the, bad I, movie I found that the total. It's mobile. the total EFAP time is eighteen fifty hours. Wow. One thousand eight hundred fifty hours and thirty six minutes. Nice. Mm -hmm. But so did you know? In a, in a few more episodes, we'll be able to see uh, thousands of hours of EFAP content. Oh, you're right. We're Eventually. almost there. Um, those two mini movies, uh, uh, the rest that are, that are, that are more popular than them are all EFAP mainline podcast episodes, except for one mini. Do you know which mini it is? Aladdin? The, the trailer? No. Star Wars wrote The Rise of Skywalker trailer. No, but good guess. Ooh, that, oh, um. Mando? Nope. Something? Hmm. Which, oh, uh, gosh, uh. I don't was know. Wasn't that, uh, that one where yeah. it was uh, the Game of Thrones, that dude getting his face smashed into the... Uh... To be fair, I'm going to discount <laughs> that because um, okay. it's like a meme. But um, yeah. yeah, but so no, because uh, it's not a mini anyway, but it is. EFAP mini reacting to Batwoman season one, episode one. Oh, oh shit. Wow. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't have thought. That's Wait, right. Sorry, I forgot. I forget sometimes that we are the internet's largest Batwoman <laughs> fan community. It will get started up soon enough. We'd, me and Das try to organize it so that it can come out semi-regularly uh, instead of just, you know, we drop you like one or two and then there's another gap of experience. X time. Um, oh, but Bat, Batwoman will return in e <laughs> Endgame. It's going to happen. I'm really worried that uh, Batwoman will get cancelled. I'm fine yeah, with maybe. being cancelled in the sense that we've got plenty left to watch, plenty of fun left to have with it, and then we can properly say it's, goodbye to it. That's it's fine with me. It's way. It, the, the renewed focus on Alice being half the content yeah, is it's a true. real... Yeah. It's a real drag to have that fucking bitch around all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a drag. It's like an anchor. Batwoman used to be just roller coaster bullshit 
hi ho yippee ki yay. And now it's like half the sh- it's like an Alice is an anchor of cringe and frustration. And we just we long for the Batwoman of old, where it's just Batwoman and Luke just being, and and, and we're we, and we're not gonna have Do Gray Scott anymore. No, mm. so that sucks. Not well, only I mean, is he it, gone, it was a big loss when we lost uh, Kate Kane anyway. That was a. I will say the loss. meme factor plummeted with her gone. Yeah, yeah, she's such a bad actress. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness, though, because if she was good. <laughs> Oh. Okay, who's worse, Ruby Rose or Gal Gadot? It's probably Ruby oh, Rose. I feel like not. You're acting. Remember, nice. all of her <sighs> deliveries are Ugh! like that's that's how she would yeah, do any kind of emotion. I, I um, remember there was the "Come on, live." That was really funny. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, but, but, but I will I will repost with and enough champagne to fill denial. Yes, um, I think I could be argued for either of them. And though... Kal El, no, obviously. And I that know. clip. I need you to give me this stone. What yeah. What's amazing about Kal El, no, is that you can legitimately use that as two examples. You, yes, can. you can, yeah, because there are two examples and they're there both are two bad. Different takes that are terrible. <laughs> I, I love how people they said try they so it. hard to stand for the second. Yeah, they yeah. stand so hard. It's it's still bad. Kale, are... no. Who are no, you? No. Classic. No. Um, <laughs> she doesn't make that noise. That was just me having fun. But oh, okay. But yeah, I don't know. Like they they're both incredible. That that's that's what they're capable of, and that's what we see. You know, I. We need a team up film with both of them. I think that's a clever <laughs> idea. That can be funny. <laughs> Wonder Woman and Batwoman working together to stop, I don't know, Alice. Except they won't Wonder stop. They'll all become friends at the end. Aw. Fun fact about Arcane. The two writers, Christian Link and Alex Yi, are completely new to writing. Yes, first timers absolutely aced their debuts. That's pretty wow. insane. <laughs> to the point yeah. where I would if I was able to talk to them, I'd be like, okay, it may have been your first time writing, but you must have known a lot about this, right? Like you must have Yeah. yeah. Do you watch what do you watch YouTubers? Did you take a class? Did you just what is it just pure you gave a shit? Like what like seriously? <laughs> well, I mean it'd be interesting to know if I, they've Got resources that they can recommend, you know. Oh yeah, I mean, if just YouTube alone, you have all the resources you need right there. If you really care, if you care about good fundamentals, Dude, and imagine they crap. said like, "Yeah, we can recommend the channels that we got main inspiration from." It'd be just right, Patrick Willems. Uh, <laughs> like, oh. I think that's actually rethink my entire worldview type stuff right there. <laughs> well, it's like, like oh. <laughs> benefited from game makers toolkit and you're like D -d do you believe that you did or did you actually <laughs> did i think you see what you wanted to see from them that's the thing <laughs> if, if they highlighted something like patrick Holmes, i'd be like all right let's talk about plot holes right now let's go come on this is a you guys put a lot of effort into you know getting plot holes squared away so why if they don't matter but then again i think i just want to talk to them about fun stuff inspiration not like that though I imagine they say. I'm imagining them saying that to us, and we just lose our fucking minds, and then they're walking away giggling afterwards. <laughs> Got him. Um, hi, Moopster. Recently played DS2 out of curiosity, and my god, you were right about everything. It's like the game itself doesn't want me to play it. What's the EFAP crew's opinion of it? Um, is it me Dark and Dark Metal are the only people who played it here? What? What? No, I haven't Dark played Dark it. Two? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dark Souls 2. Um, I mean, the the history of that was uh, our community at the time was like, well, we were just streaming all kinds of stuff on Twitch, and I was someone who hadn't played a lot of games, or I played a, I played a lot compared to the normal average person, I guess, but just in nerdy culture, there's a lot I hadn't, and uh, I sp sort of spun the wheel, and I was like, Dark Souls, I guess I'll play that, and then I absolutely adored the first one, and I was like... Wait, the second one, and basically everyone said, "Do not play the second one." And I was like, "I mean, come on, you know, like it's a fucking sequel. I want to play it." And Dark Souls Three was already on its way out, I think. And I was like, "Yeah, I'd like hmm. to play Dark Souls One, then Two, then 3. And they were like, "You're gonna regret it." 
I played it and hated it. And I was like, oof. And I think Metal at the time was like, Dark Souls 2 is pretty chill. It's pretty cool. I like it. And yeah, then... it was the first one I played. And I was like, it's just hard. That's just Dark Souls, isn't it? <laughs> like, it's just, it's just works. And then you and played, then played, played it, it with again. everyone hackling in the chat at the game. <laughs> and then you were yeah. eventually like, some stuff's happening here that I'm not happy Ooh, with. Yeah, this is, uh, hmm, what's going on? Um, yeah, and then h -Bomb, my guy came out with his video. And I was just like, okay, this is not why DS2 is better than DS1. This is not why anything at all. Fucking Shrine of Amana. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> um, kind of cringe. Yeah. Uh, I would still love to watch a full playthrough by anybody here on Dark Souls 2. <laughs> it just, just to see them suffer. It would be so fun. Just to see all of the horrors of Dark Souls 2 <laughs> inflicted upon them. Uh, and I'll do it just for you, Mola. Just for you. Like, I will play the game without even playing the first game. Without there's a, um, the first game. in Dark Souls, like, there are certain events in that game that everyone gets excited to see people do. And one of them obviously includes, like, defeating bosses for the first time. And you're just like, yeah, you did it. You overcame it. Nice. Woo Dark Souls 2 for me is, like, exclusively, like, I wish for you to suffer as I did so that I am <laughs> no longer alone. <laughs> like, that's the yeah. thing. Yep, yep. I require yep. it. Uh, Blood Brothers. I liked Furry Yoda from Arcane. Hi, guests. I guess. Furry so. Yoda? Yeah, I guess. Heimerdinger is who they're mm -hmm. referring to? Metal, it's almost 4 a.m. Go to sleep. You know what? I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> you killed Metal, Chatter. Wow, Chatter killed Metal. Yeah, yeah. Bo. I think I'm going to. Bo, I say. Bo. Only yeah, we I'll, get to do that. Mm -hmm. Prepare more Moodle's Forge tomorrow, so I Ooh. can't sleep in all the way. Why don't you tell people about it, what it's gonna be about? I am gonna do a new episode of Metal's Forge tomorrow, about who is afraid of Virginia Woolf. I, I started watching that today, Not and it's a, den it's, a, it's a dense movie, uh, so a lot of, lot of notes to do, so I wasn't quite finished when we started. So I'm gonna finish that up tomorrow. And yeah, tomorrow night is probably a bit late. Uh, the episode like 10 p.m. my time. That means like something for like 30 percent of people in chat, maybe I don't know. Uh, and also, uh, it's gonna be looking schmexy tomorrow because I got my my o uh, overlay now that I commissioned. Mm. So Ooh. gonna have some proper thumbnails now. We have proper overlay. It's gonna look it's looking look pretty sick. I'm excited to use them. And yeah. Also expect a lot of Elden Ring streams still, even though I already streamed over a hundred hours of it. I want more. I need yeah, more. That's fair. So that yeah, that's that's what's what's happening right now. There there you go. Sweet. Link in Please. description and in chat. Um good night, yeah. I'll catch you all around, lads. Goodbye. Bye. 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 There he goes. An EFAP on my birthday? Yay! My 17th. One more, then I can drink. Also, Hailcast and High Rags. Awum? Woo woo. Yeah, I guess so. Um, and then, like, a little, 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 two, two pint glasses. Clanging. Um, hey, happy birthday, I suppose. Is I hope you have a lot of fun. Get High Rags. Oh, hello! Thoughts on copa copaganda or cop shown in a good light? Um, I I don't have any thoughts based off of that. The cops it's are like any people, profession, which means it's like yeah, like plumbers. Oh, like plumbers. Some of plumbers are really good. I'm like yeah, copaganda. Films that present <laughs> cops Carpenter as the good light. <laughs> yeah, uh, to be honest I mean, with you. Uh, I don't know if this is where Rags is kind of going with that, but like, I don't even like the idea of being like, cops are, and it's like, no. Like, there is no we'll just real difference. People who are cops. Yeah. yeah, cops are people well, who are so, cops, that's the right way to put it. Yeah, people like, who are um, cops. We have the two distinctions here, right? We have cops as individuals, which, like, sure, whatever, right? And then we have the police as an institution, which I don't think any of us here, like, really feel that qualified to comment on, I would imagine. Not oh, really. So it's like you could have you could have a story that comments on 
the police as an institution rather than individuals. And we would probably watch that and be like, that was a well-constructed or poorly constructed story. And unless it did something that we can see holes in, in terms of message, I think there are probably a lot of messages where we could just be like, and it had some interesting ideas, I guess. Which is interesting. But it's not really, I think, any area of any of our areas of politics, right? That we know much about. Which is interesting because I think the Batman kind of does that. It has commentary on the institution that can be drawn out, but I don't know that it's like definitively in favor or against the police as a institution. It's definitely just uh, looking at potentials and stuff. But I could see how people will draw out both messages from the film. Uh, and I'd rather just talk about how they worked mechanically, I suppose, unless it was much more overtly about that, uh, which I don't think the Batman was. That is corruption, not necessarily the police, or the mob, or criminals, or politicians. Criminy. Well, I mean, there's also, I mean, this is the interesting thing, like, you know, probably not going to say all criminals are scum either, right? That's probably not a sentence you're going to get us saying no uh hey, it's interesting how many uh, well first of all people who are wrongly wrongfully convicted right like it's it's complicated well i mean i guess pe most people probably wouldn't if anyone is going to be saying all criminals are scum i imagine they wouldn't count wrongfully convicted people in that list even though i'm just saying that criminals. you can start there then we can start moving up for like you know the kinds of uh, morally chill things, but against the law things. That would be the next oh. step, right? So, Bart, what if I stole a loaf of bread to, to feed my family? What if my family don't like bread? What if they like cigarettes? What if my family is trying <laughs> to go keto, but, oh, the carbs and the bread. Oh, no. Yeah. And what if they like starving. cigarettes? And what if, you know, I consider the whole neighborhood my family? And I, I'm not actually given what them, if you know, I I'm selling them at a price that's brain. practically free. Is that a crime? <laughs> <laughs> I can see your reference. Good reference. Is the crime to love your family? Oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm, that took me to a fucking even better Simpsons reference. Where it was like, if it's a crime to love your country, then I'm guilty. If it's a crime to steal a, a trillion dollars from our, my government and hand it over to the communist state of Cuba, then gosh darn, I'm guilty of that too. I love The Simpsons so much. Hey, you're good company. Pie. There's a third line there that I can't remember. Um, oh, oh it's, and if it's a crime to bribe a jury, then soon I'll be guilty of that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ben Shapiro is such a tool, he should be on Batman's utility belt. I don't know what he, he would be used for, but okay. <laughs> So what's up with a family like yours, Shay? Yes, it's just pure salt. Like, pure salt. You know nothing about my family. I don't talk about them. It's... Okay. There are a group of gremlin people who live on the moon. You've said it many hey, times. Hey, 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 not in pub. That was in private that I told Where you that. Where the docks is gremlin You just family. doxed me, Mola. I mooned you. <laughs> Uh, Jay, posting clips of Ben Shapiro will become to him as Sean Ranklin is to Wings of Redemption. We could also spam kick Jay to make Ben re... re-quote tweet? Streams? RQ? What? what? <laughs> the, there was some. What does RQ mean? Oh my god. Request, maybe? Robert Pattinson's favorite Batman villain is the Condiment King. Did Good. you say that? I think so. Good. The best choice. Wait, what? Gonna, gonna double confirm this, though. Oh, I, oh anyway. <laughs> Have you heard of Ali Law? He's known for sneaking into places slash buildings and climbing very tall buildings after sneaking in. He's a legend. No, I've, I've never heard of him. Sounds interesting. I like that. Do you, any of you guys see that video that was getting around where it was um, the theory of you can get into anywhere you want as long as you're holding a ladder? <laughs> and, Not uh, a plane. and these people test it out and they get into loads of places as two people. I think, I can't remember if they have hard hats or not as well, but that's uh, 
just having a ladder, everyone just trusts automatically that you're there to fix something and that they should leave you alone. That's great. Hive, Hive is Jack, it's got to help with that as right, right? Well, I'd imagine so. If you get, well, yeah, right? if you get the complete thing. Maybe even have one of them have a clipboard. I'll be pissed. There's a video of a guy sneaking into a security con pretty That one's pretty funny, too. Sneaks into what, sorry? Oh, yeah, a, a security convention. Like, well, though he doesn't have a pass to attend it. I <laughs> make one up. It's great. Does sound pretty amusing. I'm watching from the start, but y'all are wrong. In year one comic, Selena is black and has a tomboy haircut. I don't... Really? How, did, did, did any of us say that Selena's never been black in the comics? I said I, I don't know. Tomboy haircut, just a boy I think haircut. someone said that. I said I assume she hasn't. But, like, that's just supposed to indicate to the audience that I have no idea. Because, of course, I have no idea. I haven't read them. Um, I don't know. I am looking at her... Uh, I don't fucking know. She doesn't look black. Hmm. At woman year one comic. I think she's been really tan in certain comics, but like consistently she's been portrayed white enough that it, you know, any examples where she does look black is probably not, unless it's a reboot or something. I think you could but definitely say she's like, mixed race here. I don't know. Yeah, well, it's the kind of thing where I'm happy to say that um, it's it's at least racially ambiguous, um, and thus it, she would suit a lot of casting choices um, in a lot of different ways. I think so. What? Danny DeVito wouldn't suit it, so... The only mixed race I approve hey. of is the triathlon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for being late, but I'm pretty sure Moonface is from an anime from the early 2000s I saw as a kid. I believe his power was he could make a clone for every phase of the moon. Also, hi, Rex. Hello. Sounds, uh... Dumb power. Wow, I was going to say, it sounds great, and you have to just be the Debbie Downer. Uh. What I thought. So that's like saying, oh, okay, I could make like five clones or whatever you know that's basically the power there's not like a moon what there's no moon aspect of that really um like the number of clones you have maybe they look like rides with the amount of phases of the moon maybe which they, and that they, depends on where you want to draw the line whining waxing full and new maybe they look like the phases of the moon they have like moon faces that match all the phases maybe that would be more you see if that was the case which it might be like that would mean like i'd be like oh okay i see why you're called that you know instead of just oh you're clone man you make clones of yourself <laughs> and you just you happen to be able to make five clones which just sort of coincides in some way with or four clones right with the phases of the moon. I mean, you could be Season Man at that point, you know, or... Whoa, that's true. Season, season Man. man. Yeah. Or there's, man. I, don't, I don't think there's anything else that there's four of, but other than Seasons, but yeah, so, yeah. Um, I could kind of get the Riddler wanted to be an Arkham for symbolic reasons if this was later in the timeline. At the moment, though, it really is just another mental health facility and not the most infamous prison on Earth yet. So, you're saying, like, the potential reason could be he wants to be in the most famous prison ever. Alcatraz? I just don't think that Well, that's... I mean, I guess if it's, like... I guess, I guess if it... If, if it was, like, a prison that, like, you know... Famous criminals like the Joker and, you know, Bane and all these like super villains have been put in that almost being put in there might seem like a status symbol for some people. And that could be a motivation, but that would have to be what's the problem explored right? the, in the film. I don't think there's any of that to support that in the film. Yeah. Like it, like it could be a cool motivation for a character, but it's not in this film. The only way to make 100% sure that Batman, who he thought was going to be his buddy, was safe, was to get into Arkham and call him in. No, it's not. <laughs> why would you say that? That it's the only way to make 100% sure that that, like, why? Why are we, why? Help me. Somebody. I'm drowning. I, I don't know. We can't have him contact Batman in any other way. 
Oh, and I did a little bit of research. I think Catwoman in the comics is half Cuban, maybe. Hmm. Which one? Um, bottom. Bottom half. <laughs> uh, mother's side, I think. Oh, I mean, I mean, of uh, of Cuba. Oh, uh, which half of Cuba? That's a good question. I don't know. Um, I the don't the, the, the cigar the side. I was wondering where that would go. Also, I'm sorry, Riddler trying to make sure Batman is safe. He fucking blew up a C4 bomb in his face. <laughs> I feel like he's not been <laughs> hyper concerned. Um, the only way was to be an Arkham to call him in. I just don't don't agree at all. Also, High Rex. Hello. Uh, Shapiro can't join EFAP because it's on Saturdays. Oh, no, 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 we, we don't have to count it as work. This doesn't work. <laughs> Just because we do like, this for, uh, is, you know, that doesn't mean it's work. It doesn't have to be on Saturdays. Yeah, we can make work a special just for him. We can mind. move it to another episode. Time. Yeah. Springy, what is the sound it. of emu? I actually don't know what the sound of emu is. It's a very deep throbbing sound. So like... <clears throat> Something it sound like, like the guy who's announcing the bad guys in Dune. The, the I enjoyed, guy. You sound I enjoyed like the first time you made that sound fight. and you didn't announce that it was coming. It just did. <laughs> it just arrived. <laughs> you know, I, Googled, I Googled it you and you're right. That is what they coming. sound like. Excellent. Damn, someone it's just said I hate Dune. You're coming and arriving. Uh, I come back and Rags is talking about hentai. Yeah, sorry, but yeah. Nothing when did I? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, exactly. that one word, that one time, that tiny little <laughs> point zero what of a percentage of time that I've ever talked about. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that would still yeah. make them accurate. Then they're, they're suggesting that what are the odds they come back and they get that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Up the wang, my fellow efappers of the toxic brood. Up the wang. Oh, yeah! Oh yeah, up the wang. Hi, Rex. I don't want anything up my wang. Also, hello. I want to point out... What about what about the most valuable... Ob what about the, the most valuable object by weight in the world? A valuable object by weight in the world? It's, it's a stamp, by the way. The most valuable... It's, um... So it would be very small, and you would make a lot of money for having it. Mm. Probably it having... You would have getting to it out your wang. I was going to say, wouldn't it damage the stamp by having been I mean, forced over your I imagine stamp? it would devalue it, yeah. but it's not in like mint condition or anything. You it's would, a very ruin, rare you would stamp. ruin that stamp to get it balled I, down. I imagine rolled you would up maybe and... half its value, but it would still oh, be salvageable. Half its way value. Worse than oh. value. If you had to roll that thing up like a freaking. I don't even know how you'd call it. to roll that thing up tight enough to where I'd even think about it. It would be worthless at that point. It would be unrecoverable. I want to point out that Gero Giro is the sound of vomiting in Japanese, so Giro Wang would be vomiting Wang. Fuck yeah. Right. I was the house captain of Vomiting Wang. Sweet. House captain Vomiting Wang. Uh, which one on the podcast is Master of Elves? Jay. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, Jay. That's, that's not spewed. I was expecting Strooby Strooby Doo, and I'm disappointed. Strooby Strooby Doo. That tells us where we were. I, I know that part. I... Rags, I think we went to the same high school, though, years apart. Did your school have a father, Fred? If so, it's a small world. Hi, Mola. Hello. It did indeed have a father, Fred. Ooh. How very interesting. Oh. Uh, new Wojak just dropped. Oh, I think about some, one of the many frames of Ben, probably. Rags, they did that joke in the show. My gym partner's a monkey. There's a girl who's a giraffe, and her head is almost always out of frame, even when talking. Oh, oh I, I think I remember that. I vaguely I remember, remember that, that, that show. show. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. 
It says I joined at the perfect time. And I don't know what time they joined. <laughs> so I was like, anytime. Anytime. anytime just perfect. Great. Anytime is just great. As uh, long as you're here. Get Shad for the Sword in the Stone. If they're talking about doing. Is there a live action Excuse remake me? of The Sword in the Stone? Not that I'm aware of. development, I'd imagine. No. I'm oh, he's everything specifically else. the Disney one, not the story. Um. I don't know. I that would be an odd one for them to remake. I think we're getting three Pinocchio movies, including a Disney remake. Uh. We are the one I'm most looking forward to is the stop motion. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, yeah. That's yeah. Is, is, did I miss that something? Did Pinocchio become a really profitable IP recently, or is why is <laughs> it now? Just, <laughs> that multiple people at the same time decided they wanted to make it. <laughs> It's like the prestige and the illusionist. Oh, you're talking about the one where he's got the horrible voice actor? They would would compete at the... uh, Oh, I saw that. It was really funny. That was really funny, yeah. Surely they would compete rather than cross-promoting each other, like loads of films about the same Well, What I'm referencing is Transmorphers and stuff like that, where they're like, they put these movies in production specifically to try and hope that people get confused and buy them. I doubt it. No, that's Grandmas real. Were tricked every- oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah no, that's no. I know real. That's, but... I know that's real, but I'm saying I doubt that that's what happened here. Because mm-hmm. they're I all like really just... high-profile creators, I'm pretty sure. And they're also very yeah, because uh, the Disney one's Robert Zemeckis, and the the Netflix one is Del Toro. One is live action, one is uh, stop motion. Wait, why haven't you talked about the awesome animated one with the funny voice? <laughs> Come on. Uh, I I don't know. I figured that there was nothing that needed to be said about that one. Oh. I reckon that'll be the best of the three. I yeah, like him. You go on Wikipedia. It is there is Pinocchio, the 2022 animated film versus the 2022 live action film because they're both coming out this year. It's the Chinese like, year like, of the like, Pinocchio. Like, but that's going to be annoying to refer to like them separately, isn't it? Also, are they both? They're both. So, oh, so uh, the the Disney one's coming out in September. Del Toro's is coming out in December. So that won't be. Tom Hanks is playing. Uh, is it? Do you pronounce Geppetto? it Capetto? Geppetto? Geppetto. Yeah. Geppetto. Um, and then who are the voice actors? Pinocchio. I don't recognize that name. Joseph Joseph Gordon Levitt as Jiminy Cricket. Keegan Michael Key as uh as uh honest John Worthington foul fellow. So who's playing? Uh, well, who's Chris Pratt playing? I wonder if they'll make him hot. <laughs> I, I doesn't say. But I guess I must be hiding what role he's in. Chris Pratt is Pinocchio. Do it. Cowards. What if they, they have Chris Pratt as Pinocchio, but it's the just Chris Pratt? It's not a wooden puppet. It's just Chris Pratt, and everyone just <laughs> he's just there. acts as if he's a wooden puppet, but he's just, he's just there being himself. Ah, oh, there are so many live action. Like you look at that upcoming list. Of them, Peter Pan and Wendy, Pinocchio, The Little Mermaid, Snow White, and that's not all Peter of them. Pan and Wendy is the title. Yeah, that's, that's the name weird. of the film. Pietro Pan. I was about to say because that's. Pan and Wendy. I thought for a second there was that an attempt to try and give it its own name versus the other, but it's like, well, they don't do that with the other ones, do they? Are they just going to try uh, and make they don't like, do, an amazing they don't do kick-ass them, yeah. hero OC? Hmm. All I call that was Wendy is in the original story, so I guess it's just maybe she'll be more important in this one. Maybe. Uh, if making her more important would be, uh, yeah, that upcoming. You could always list, make right? her more <laughs> like, important. I mean, you could always make her more important, I guess. But the upcoming list of uh of stuff that they're working on, they got the Little Mermaid Jungle Book sequel, Lion King sequel, Snow White, Hunchback, Aladdin sequel, Bambi, Hercules, Cruella sequel, and Bambi. Are they gonna are they gonna pull the same Tinker bullshit Bell film. as Lion King? Oh, the live action Bambi. Like no, none Ooh. of it is live well, action. Well, I all. I mean almost certainly right. <laughs> I, I I don't know. Oh, and also they are remaking Sword in the Stone, but that's only on Disney Plus, and they're remaking Robin Hood. <laughs> that doesn't surprise. That okay? So 
I'm I'm not I guess if it's only on Disney Plus I'm not as surprised about Sword in the Stone because they're not going to risk that bankrupting them a second time. <laughs> um, True. But Robin Hood. Wait, no, it wasn't it was so, it wasn't Sword in the Stone, wasn't it? Was, it? Uh, Black, Black Cauldron. Cauldron. Black Cauldron. Black oh yeah, Black Cauldron. Sword in the that Stone was, it. was, was like it. did okay. Black Cauldron was remake yeah, when... I, I just confused him for a moment. Then um, ever remake in the Black Cauldron. But I wouldn't put it past shame. them if they remade The Great Mouse Detective in live action, meaning you got <laughs> oh, are they? looking mice. Well, no, I'm just saying I wouldn't put it past them at this point. Oh, good. Um, I love Great Song Mouse of the Detective. South remake win. Nice. <laughs> oh, and also, they, they are, uh, I'm pretty sure they're already doing like Lilo and Stitch as a like yeah. Disney Plus film as well. Zippity doo does. You know, it's only a matter of time until they come for Treasure Planet. I'm, um,. I'm excited about Cruella 2, because it means we'll have an excuse to see the live-action sequel in the 90s. That, that fucking movie, uh, 101, 102 Dalmatians with Glenn Close, it's a, it's a ride. I'm really looking at it. The clips I needed to find when we were first editing, I, was, I had completely forgotten the kind of crazy fucking nonsense that happens in that movie. It's gonna be so much fun. Cruella 2, on the other hand, will likely be miserable. You know, Probably. nobody complained when they not only gender... But but also species swapped Captain Smollett for um, <laughs> Treasure Planet. No one cared. No no one cared. Everyone was fine with that. So anyway, yeah. At Rags, will you have a discussion on Horizon Forbidden West flaws in world building? I would love to hear your take on how technology impacts societies. I don't have any interest in that game whatsoever, so no. Well, none of us have PlayStation 5s, right? Also, no one has a PlayStation 5. It's kind so... of funny that that's not even, like, Under. a thought I had at all. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, I just, I was just like, yeah, none of us have talked at all about Horizon, really, no. so. Everybody's been yeah, talking have... about Elden Ring. That's been, uh... Yep. Yeah, I just got... I don't Isn't know if that's bad or good, or... I don't know anything about it. I saw... I've seen commercials for it on the television set. But I, I have I don't know anything about the game or if it's good or bad or all I all I know is that it's not Elden Ring. Drinker yeah. um, decided to grab Horizon and uh, stream it as a big like hey new game big game let's have a chat about it and he was talking about how like yeah it feels like Elden Ring has eclipsed that game to the point of I I should have just played Elden Ring. <laughs> like I mean it just seems depends that on what you're into. Well yeah. Um, he was talking about like how there are similarities, obviously, and then the the devs being like salty as fuck about Elden Ring about hey, things you, that. Hey, that's are... when you released it. You should have known better. I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, uh, I guess all I'm saying is just like I think he intends to try and finish Horizon before starting Elden Ring, and it's just like, like um, is it that long? Uh, Horizon? I I don't know. How long does the first one take to beat? I don't. I'm not sure. Just generally, those games are not it's like super long. I have no idea. Like, I have no right. You could have told me that me... it's 10 hours, 50 hours, 100 hours. I, I wouldn't. Length. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow. This is saying it's around 25 to 35 hours. Is that surprisingly long or short to you? I feels like it wouldn't be that long. Honestly, with the little I know about the game, that sounded short, but I guess that really shows how much I don't know about it. Because obviously Elden Ring's Average completion time estimate for the average person, I think, was at 70 hours. 70? Wow. Well, Mel was clocked in 100 trying to get uh, just a lot of the bosses and stuff. That game That's is, it. That game is fucking enormous. I don't know if there's, like, more content that's been released in a game before. There probably is com competitors for it. It's just that it's definitely up there. What are the most content-rich games you've ever played, chat? Would GTA Five be up there? Um, Red Dead Redemption Two uh, is pretty enormous. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Grand Theft Auto Five. I feel like New Vegas. Then again, economy is like technically, but how much of it are you actually like? Are, are you really gonna play tennis? You know. Well, I guess it's neat <laughs> that it's an option. Yeah, it's got to count I for guess. something, right? Yeah, but it's a weird one because I because I'm I'm forever. Like, I, I remember when Grand Theft Auto games had, like, in-game content, shall we say? Uh, so, I it's it's weird to think about how much content's really in it. it. It's weird. It's a weird one to kind of tally up, because it's not like you could just make a list. Because so much of it just seems like... 
Of you're course. not gonna like how many people are gonna go mountain biking in GTA? He's like, I guess some people will, you know, but like you wonder how much is that worth? Let me go say Minecraft. I think that's fair. Uh, the huge boy Terraria would probably oh, yeah. count as well. League of Legends probably counts. Yeah, uh, lots of characters. I don't know if we can count multiplayer because that would aren't they just? Uh, well, uh, yeah, I guess it's complicated. Extent. Sort of. I guess it depends on we, we take the multiplayer aspect of maps and depth of mechanics and the the content in multiplayer. Because if it's only if it's like Halo Infinite multiplayer where it's like, OK, I like I've just burned through this so quick and I just feel like I'm done with it versus. Oh, I get what you mean. Like, yeah, we got progression systems, but also just options to play things. It's not necessarily how much time you're spending, but how many how much depth there is. Yeah, like if you were weighing up Halo 3 versus Halo Infinite multiplayer, you're like, one of them just, just flat out has way more shit in it than the other. Yeah. In that case, yeah, League of Legends would probably score high in terms of, you know, there's a shit ton of characters and each of them all have different mechanics, and then all the items reflect on them differently in variables, and then the maps are all different for variables. You know, like, but a lot of games yeah, that like... applies to. Oh, yeah. oh! Fallout 76! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rags, remember when you reviewed that? I do. Fucking shout on it. You gave it a big poo. It was a big poo game. That game was a... That was one of the few games that I... The glitches were so varied and interesting and common that I kept playing because of the glitches. They were so fascinating. Uh, where are we here? Donating because the tangents and memes are best parts of EFAB don't ever change, you massives. Hello, Rags, Moobles, and Fringle, and everyone else. Hello. Yo. Well, I'm glad Sup. to enjoy the tangents, because we do as well. Mm. Fuck yeah. And there were, there were a few. There were a few here and there. Okay, there one or two. Write the button. Write the button. Superman, mm. but he's pro-Second Amendment. I feel like that's... Wouldn't he have to be pro Second Amendment? I imagine so. With with how he uses his powers, I don't know. I can get up an image of 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 that if you want. That him Got being pro Second one. Amendment. Oh, what what if 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 want somebody wanted extreme visualization of that? Super Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> or I guess that's just Zeus. Gun Zeus. Yeah, it's meant to be just Clark in the far future. The far the future of World War II. <laughs> limited by the technology of mortals, so that is... Well, there is, like, twin clones of Hitler in this comic. Ah, uh, of course. <sighs> Pretty uh, bad. There's a reason why I tend to roll my eyes at this thing has MCU humor, thus bad, being used as a serious criticism these days, as if that style of humor is inherently bad writing. Yeah, all that Man, the MCU like came it. up with it. It's all, it's all, yeah, the MCU invented it, and all of it is just lumped together. It's only one kind of thing. It's not like every film is was different. It's all the same thing. It's all just the same gray sludge. It's all just superhero stuff, and that's it. The weirder part to me, man, is that a lot of people who would say that are still, like, the people who celebrate the fuck out of each one that comes out. I'm talking about, like, the Twitter people who are like, ugh, it is kind of sucky that everything is the same. Though Loki was incredible. Uh, Eternals, wow, what a vision. Um, you know, Falcon the Winter Soldier just had so much to say, and it's, it's just a really nice way for a, a TV show to go. Oh my god, WandaVision, that was just, what a brand new thing to bring to the MCU, so refreshing. But it's all sludge. It's like, what? What do you mean? It's like, oh, the Batman. See, that's a visual Marvel. Uh -huh. uh, but everything in Marvel up to this point has kind of been overshadowed by it. And it's like, are you the same people who fucking adore everything that comes out for Marvel? I'm confused. I don't understand. Um, and then if they're like, you know, another movie, like Red Notice, if they were like, oh, there's MCU humor in it. I suppose you can forgive them in the sense that it's the most popular and common thing, so you might just use it to translate the idea quickly to someone else. Like the MCU sh Maybe people don't expect it to be defended when they sort of say that kind of thing. 
I'm very curious uh, about Guardians sense. 3 and Thor Love and Thunder. I wonder how they, yeah. will, they will fit in or not to this formula. Oh, well, I mean, Doctor Strange, right? Everybody's talking about the cinematography and the lighting and stuff. Yeah, and I think there's a lot of valid points to be made about comparisons and stuff. I just... Yeah. That writing, man, that's what I'm really concerned about. Mm-hmm. You can only paint up a turd so much, so it better not be a turd. It's technically not true. You can just keep painting over the paint forever, I suppose. That's true. It could just be a so big ball of paint. Like suppose you expend all of the cosmos's supply of paint, I suppose, would be the limit. And at the core of that galaxy-sized paintball would still be a turd. It's a, yeah, there's still just a poo. It'd be so big, no a people poo, will tell stories. The What's at the? What is it we're painting again? Oh, the legends say that da 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 da. People would grow up their entire lives painting, repainting, repaint over and over and over, and eventually people forget. Like it's, really... it's, like, it's like how people in Star Battle Star Galactica they they don't know where Earth is or something like that. And so they're looking around for it. It's like, what, where, where was the original thing that was painted? Like, oh, I, it's in there somewhere, but no one knows what it really was. Maybe, some people say it was a marble. Some people say it was a diamond. Some people say, you know, it's this. It's, who knows, really? It's been so long. All we I do really is paint. prefer the idea that what's left in the middle of there is a poo from The Simpsons. <laughs> and you just strip it open. Like it's and animated? He's just there being nice and wholesome and happy. Oh, Apu, I see. Oh. Yeah, I thought Apu. he meant something else. Oh, because that, that's his name, you know? Yeah. It's Apu. Apu. Check out Kyle Dunnigan for some good Shapiro comedy. Oh, is that the guy who does impressions of him and sings songs? I can just check out Ben Shapiro for some good Ben Shapiro comedy. I do not know who Kyle Dunnigan is. It might be. They said, I don't know. Uh, Here is today's prehistoric animal, the Forus Hakide. Forus Hakide. Um, post it to you guys. Then I will look at it. Uh, so, for, oh, is it Forus Rakis or Forus Rakide? So, I think that might be a species of um bird. Yeah, it looks like it's a big. Uh... Yeah, let me get a picture of it here. Get a good one. I think oh. uh, it was in the first episode of Walking with Beasts, um, and then later on, uh, scientists found out that the predatory bird in that episode, uh, which was Forest Rockus, was actually probably a nut eater and not a. Oh no! Wait, no wait. Those are the terror birds. Those are definitely carnivores. So yeah, Forest Rockus. I'm thinking of the uh, other. You love that terror yeah. birds. Oh yeah. No, that makes sense. They're like, like they're on, like they don't fly. They're Terra birds. Ah, oh, I get it. Yeah. Oh, I'm saying I love it regardless of what the naming was done for. Terra birds just sounds cool. Like pterodactyl sounds fucking fantastic. That's true. Oh, yeah. I love that they have little claws just sticking out of their wings. They've still got that dinosaur ancestry there. Bringy, as you are an African American living in Australia, is Atlanta, Compton, <laughs> or Detroit your real city? Also, high rags. Hello. You got that all wrong. <laughs> yeah, England is his city. Fringy is disgusted with his own heritage, and I find that appalling. That's not true, you liar! Unbelievable. Liar. You made that sound. You made that sound like you really don't mean it, and you are liar. disgusted with it. He can only hide it for so long in his heart. And he just can't hide it. After she is killed by the house, is Olivia in her right mind? How much influence does the house have over her by the end, do you think? It's unclear. Oh, you and your questions. Unclear. And this is the thing. If someone wants to appeal to, isn't it better that they don't explain it? I'd be like, well, no, because I can't come up with many explanations that can really match everything. I would appreciate a little bit more information. There are some things where it's cool to not have an explanation and not quite know everything, but some things I really feel like it needs to make some level of sense. Yeah. Well, I mean, the things where you don't need an explanation are the ones where there are loads of potential explanations that make sense, but they, but that the information that we're missing 
doesn't influence the story, right? Or or is um not relevant to the story being told. Like Chronicle is the perfect example for this, where the start of the movie is that they just go underground and find find this weird thing that is never explained. Um, it's like this weird glowing spacey thing in a movie that doesn't have any other sci-fi elements other than the impact of the weird glowy spacey thing. It's never explained what it is, and you can just interpret what you think it is, like a crashed alien spaceship or a weird supernatural being or, you know, whatever, right? It's up to you. Moving ball? But what it is doesn't doesn't impact the story. It's the effects that it has in, uh, impacts the story. Ow, I just slammed my elbow into the desk. Cool. Watch did, he, did the noise of that come through, by the way? No, no. Not really, no. Just your oh. cry of pain. Watch Superman versus the Elite and Batman Under the Red Hood. They're good. Do it. I have seen Batman Under the Red Hood. I love both those movies. Uh, Superman vs. the Elite might be my favorite Superman film. It's basically the anti Zack Snyder Superman film. Wow. Mine is Man of You're Steel. You're a Zack Snyder anti to the end. Yeah, I like it. I like how he how the city goes boom and the aliens punch each other and they explode in the train and then they fly into space and then he does Jesus in the spaceship and then he saves the the people and then there's an explosion and then the army comes Ooh, come. sounds pretty good yeah. It's really great. It's really cool. When y'all do the EFAP dinosaur arc, is the Walking With series going to be on it? Hello again, Rags. Hello. Do we plan a dinosaur arc? Oh my god, remember. that sounded just like Mr. Frog. <laughs> uh, I yeah. was yawning while I said that because I'm <laughs> fucking dog tired. Um, and it, it just came out sounding like Mr. Frog. I don't know what, you know, I don't know what to tell you. That's the result of, of that action. Impressions so amazing, they happen by accident. What can I say? Um, well, can you do the next can't five turn minutes off of the stream in a, yeah. in a Mr. Frog voice, please? No, I, I think a dinosaur to. arc would be interesting, depending if we, because we could get good variety. We could get like maybe the the first Land Before Time, and dinosaur, and there's probably some interesting ones that we could get a good variety. I I think that's a potential in the future. I'd be interested in. Oh, I guess we we're gonna do the Jurassic. Uh, arc. Oh, the Jurassic Park. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nice. All right. I have a theory for Jurassic World Dominion. The reason why the dinosaurs are chasing our heroes is that they're mind controlled and they're either being used for A, the military, or B, game hunting. Can we not? <laughs> they're being mind controlled. Oh my goodness gracious. I swear to God. If, if they're they... controlling the minds of the dinosaur, fuck, they should have done that to begin with. If they have a lot of fucking trouble. some fucking new dinosaur, right? And it's immune to bullets because it has steel skin or some shit. <laughs> Stop Why did we make it. this again? Surely that would be less stupid though. Less stupid? Surely that would be less stupid than just dinosaurs survive somehow. Well, uh, I guess, like, the idea being that they're all let loose and you have to deal with it is fine up until they tell us, no, nah, they've been around for, like, decades now or some sh I don't even know how many years have passed, how dumb that sure. is. Um, it's like, um... But telling me, well, they all survive because they have metal skin, I'd be like, what? <laughs> when... I get, it, it is definitely a battle of which is the less stupid option, and I just fundamentally, like... I guess if the dinosaurs are just surviving and reproducing and they have become a major threat to society, it's like, I don't buy that on any level. I don't buy that they are, you know, they're sustaining themselves, they're staying alive, that, that they couldn't just all be shot and that they represent a serious threat because, of course, soon, as soon as they arrive, they just get shot. Whereas if you get, su if you just give them fucking whatever superpowers with whatever bullshit explanation that in itself is a really stupid like thing but as soon as you're over that hurdle you could have internal consistency within the actual story i'm glad that jurassic park has evolved into a series where it's just like oh which option would be the least stupid right <laughs> Rags, which option do you think would be the least stupid 
Oh, I think that the dinosaurs just being able to survive and thrive without humans stopping them involves a lot more incompetence on a global scale. Because I could see why they would make a steel skin dinosaur if the whole point was to give them military purpose. Like, that makes some level of sense, you, you know? Just, you could literally just have it be so the opening is some fucking guy who's like, yeah, I want to cause problems. And then he creates all of these <laughs> well, impossible to kill dinosaurs. dinosaurs. Right there, dinosaurs. You're describing and the beginning of basically all stories. <laughs> like, World soon, War D. As soon as, as, soon as we get over problem. that stupid as fuck hurdle, then we can have an internally consistent story. I wish in the same to way be a that, thorn like, in the side of the world. <laughs> <laughs> in the same way of like you know no way home where we as soon as we get over the initial hurdle of stupid we have a mostly internally consistent story you're never going to get that from jurassic park anymore well i know that but surely that would be better than something that's stupid the whole something that's not consistent at any moment within its script maybe that's why i'm so averse to it because i just assume that the way they'll they'll talk about can you imagine if they were like you gave metal skin to a dinosaur how it's like well, you know that truck over there? Science. I put that in a frog, and then the frog fucked the <laughs> dinosaur. The frog DNA. <laughs> I, I First, we made steel I skin combined frog. the dinosaurs with truck DNA. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll be like, oh no, we've lost control, and they're turning on us. But no, we, were, we were so wrong to think we could control nature. And we'll be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, it happened again. Oh, could you believe it? Dang. <laughs> wow. I can't believe. Oh no. Darn. Ah, jeez. That's bad. Oh no. Walking with Monsters EFAP movies, please, 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 please. That's that's not that's on the cards. Uh, that, there's plenty of it for us to comment on on those things. And I, I don't even that know if they would have copyright subtitle. on them at this point. That should be the subtitle of every EFAP where we cover a movie, Bob. What? Walking with monsters. Walking with monsters. Oh, very nice. I feel like the only yeah, dinosaur that I could walking. I could believe could survive in the modern day is the pterodactyls and the other flying ones because at least they can they have Those aren't mobility. Those are Jay. They're Shut pterosaurs. Up. The, at least Don't they have the mobility and they can probably um, you know it's going to be very hard to track where all of them are and I doubt that you could easily exterminate them all um, on purpose because. Yeah, you'll, you'll by accident, like all the other fucking. I guess, I guess what you'd have to have is you'd have to have some of them escape to a remote location where no one knows they are. They breed like crazy there, and then the population is too large to control. I think realistically, like the little bitty, the little rat ones, you'd be hard to to yeah, to, like, to get all those. You know, I, I guess it's it's a it's a combination of how small it is and how how mobile it is, like right, and how well it can hide. Yeah, the big ones don't have a. They don't stand a chance. Like we're if just, you we're had, just gonna find them all. And yeah, we're just gonna go out and find them with and our the slow ones as well. Like a fucking stegosaurus that just yeah, plums gently along. Like, yeah, yeah, they're not getting anywhere. Whereas yeah. if you had like something that was like a tiny fly that could breed quite quickly and it can fly long distances, I think there's no way that we're controlling the population of that creature. Can it be one of those flies where its sperm is bigger than its body? Because those freak me out. That's a lot of flies. Yeah. Like, the common house flies doesn't have, like, a four centimeter long sperm. Yeah. Uh, and I've seen images. I don't, I don't like it. I, I don't, don't like want, it, I don't want to see those images. Well, I'm not going to show you, but I'm just going <laughs> to tell you that I don't like them. I don't like them. <laughs> no, I don't like them either. Someone said, mention, someone mentioned the passenger pigeon. So the passenger pigeon is kind of, like, unprecedented. Like it's it and in in terms of how it went from that many to going extinct, but that's not typical for things like like how that an animal like that could go extinct in that kind of way. Um. So it, yeah. I, but if if you were gonna say design a dinosaur that could just survive human ex survive extinction by humans, if humans were attempting to actually make it extinct. Then I would probably go with some tiny rat-like thing, you know, that could just live anywhere. It's like rats. Like you could yeah. even make rats extinct if we really wanted to. Oh, that'd be tough. Um, Maybe if we devoted our efforts to it. But it's just like with a dinosaur like that, you're like, eh, like why fucking bother? You know, if it's just out there doing its thing, but 
like we know it exists, but it's not worth it to hunt them all down. There's like, eh, just let them. Just this new super there. chat just made up a thing that I definitely have not said. I think the best reptiles are birds. Jay, this is why we want to kick you. <laughs> when did I say that? The best reptiles are birds. Well, I, think I don't birds remember are technically you reptiles. That. I don't think they're reptiles. I think they're much more survival than reptiles. Because I mean, like being warm blooded, what a fucking advantage but, that is but in they surviving. Are, but, but they are dinosaurs. Like, yeah, they are dinosaurs, as well, but right? Like, um, isn't there? But like a bird isn't like a lizard a and bird, a bird are not part of the same category of animals. Well, you know what else? Uh, I think it would be incredibly bird, difficult for us to eradicate red, deliberately if it if it got loose from Jurassic World. Cheese would be um, aquatic Rocks. dinosaurs. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Those could be tough. So, like, if they can swim just deep into the ocean, we're not finding yeah, them, are we? Are we? Water. Right? We're not equipped to find those creatures. Yeah, it's, um, it wouldn't be. Yeah, if it's not having any real ecological impact, or if it just sort of finds its place, then it's like, hey, I just let it. Let's let. Well, I mean, it, it even if it is having a big ecological impact, right? There's very little we could do about it because it's just in the ocean. Um, what are we gonna do? Uh, like, I as soon as it has a sustainably large population, I don't know that you can go in there and find them all. I think that they would just. It, because like I I think them slotting into the current ecosystem that we have without dying out, you know, finding a reliable food food source and I get whatever, right? That's gonna be that's gonna be the bigger hurdle for them than humans are, um, and maintaining a stable uh, stable population. Because as soon as they can do that, we can't really find them, um, and they'll they'll just like start popping up in parts of the world that they can inhabit, and we're like, yep, guess there's a population of them. Uh, uh, then watch the future is wild documentary about speculative evolution scientists make hypotheses of future animals with a neat cgi like the flesh mm. the whales are endangered the thing about whales is that they can't they, they don't breed very fast and they're incredibly large so I if think that the whales to are fine at doing dinosaur, that Jeez. They're very large and they can't breed quickly, the Welsh. Man. <laughs> so if that applies to our other aquatic dinosaur, then that is a factor. But what you also have to remember is that there's an economic incentive to kill whales. That's why they died out. Why did they do We're um, still here. Well, well, not why they died out. Why there are so few of them now. Mauler is the last one. Oh. No. Um, He's a Mauler. So... You know, maybe so. So, if we have a smaller dinosaur than um, than the whale, and it is good at breeding and all that stuff, um, I'm not sure that we could kill it deliberately, unless we gave a very big incentive to like, just like you know, um, however many dollar reward for each one of these things that you I'm kill. I'm pretty sure they will be worth a lot of money compared to your average animal. Well. Even after there's like a, just a maintained population of them in the ocean, like, you know, 10, 20, 30 years on. Like a Mosasaurus or something? I'd imagine. Oh, no, so. no, no I'm, I'm talking smaller than that, because that does have the same issue of, survi of survival as whales do, right? Um, well, yeah, in that case, if it's just an invasive species that, yeah, at that point, the value will be less if it's everywhere. Uh, well, because like, the though. real one is... Um, the Isle of Wight, they've tried their best to eradicate gray squirrels, and I think they've managed for the most part, but there's, like, it's, um, I think it's the law there. I'm not sure if it's the law or if it's just, like, incredibly you must um, kill encouraged. Them on site. No, not kill you them on sight. You, well, if you see one, you have to report it to authorities that will kill it. The squirrel hunters. That's, that is people's job there, yeah. If you see a gray squirrel, because uh, they are an invasive species that kill red squirrels. Those are everywhere here, because gray squirrels, I, I assume, Sciurus carolinsis, I assume, is what you're talking about, the eastern gray squirrel? Um, I imagine <laughs> so. I've, right, you know what, here, Rags, just I just know them as gray squirrels. All right, because uh, that might be, it's, it's weird to hear just because they're just everywhere here. They're all over the place. They're just, they're, um, they're just everywhere. How does the uh, dinosaur prevent inbreeding when it'll only start with a very small sample size? That's a very good um, question. That is true, yeah. I think, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think it is possible to meet a, an eventually a sustained... And then die of shame. Yeah, 
Um, I think that is broadly something that can happen, is that there just is a they lot of inbreeding it. in a small population, but then that can end up in a sustainable population, maybe? We designed them it would be gross, but they like could write it so that DNA inbreeding doesn't up, fuck yeah. them up. They just say that, that. If they fucking can write it so they have metal skin, then fuck it. Yeah, we, we, put, we, we program their genome oh. phenotype Some animals can reproduce. Extra mutation variants so that there's sequences of RNA that flux chemical uh, not all animals suffer equally from inbreeding that's yeah interesting I'm pretty sure that's the case yeah the, the, like the... um like in Alabama that's true uh, the animals in Alabama they don't um, suffer from inbreeding what um this it's a way of life well like Komodo dragons can reproduce asexually if I'm not very much mistaken. I know there's a certain breed of reptile that can, might be Komodo, not sure. The only way I reproduce is sexually. What if it was, what if they said it's like worms, where if you um, cut a dinosaur in half, it just grows into two dinosaurs? That'd be neat. Then I would call it ask, a freak. We should ask the worm woman of Kalamazoo. No, that would be another creature that would be hard to eradicate. Borrowing worm creatures. Worm woman of Kalamazoo? Yeah. I think she's dead. I think she's she's now worm food, as the case may be. Well, then the worms become her, and they split in half, and there's more of them, and they're everywhere. So this anyway, pretty sure Godzilla could reproduce asexually. That's true. She filled up Madison Square Garden with eggs. It wasn't full. Kind of pathetic. I wonder how she got a lot of those eggs where those eggs got, you know? We'll save it for the Godzilla EFAP. Mm -hmm. um, Twitter found Berserk and they have stupid takes. Imagine how... That's... You don't want Twitter takes to find anything. Twitter. Twitter found yeah. Berserk? I don't know anything about Berserk. So I don't, I don't know what a bad take or a good take is on it. I just couldn't... I don't know anything about it. I think the main character is... The weakest element of the story. Yeah, he sucks. No one likes him. Well, some people do, but they're wrong. Yeah, they are wrong. Whoever he is, he's shit. Um, I think that the first romance that comes up in the story is really forced, and it like doesn't it doesn't work. Uh, it's it feels really unnatural. Uh, what, and... Manga in general, or just. In 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 uh, in berserk, whatever it was that um, the in thing manga none of us in have general, read. Jay's just commentary on manga is the first relationship is forced. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you know there is a manga of the future is wild? Neat. And there's also, a manga. Of, I can't take... wait for the manga adaptation of this EFAP episode. It's going to be my, wild. My other take oh, on yeah. berserk is that um, there's too much fan service. There we go. That's a 50-50 if people agree, will agree with that on, a, on an anime. Oh, are you saying all this, like, the on anime, guess is on criticisms because you haven't seen it? Yeah. So I have no idea what, what the story is, and I'm just taking wild stabs in the dark to see you'll what piss, You'll piss off plenty of people, for sure. Yeah. Um, you should also say, like, there's too much plot armor. Probably another easy one. There's too much cock armor. Uh, Too much cock armor. <laughs> and the another one scene where an entire character is disintegrated, but just his cock survives. It's insane. <laughs> his cock was made out of Beskar, I'll have you know. Beskar cock. Mola, my teacher used to say a historical, but my friend's saying an historical. I don't know what to think no more, man. I don't know what to think. I don't know what to think no more, oh, man. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head, man. You're leaving my head, man. What you doing? You guys should watch The Future is Wild. It's basically like walking with dinosaurs, but in the future. Oh. All right. Nice. Welcome to Dougal Dixon's Wombo Menagerie. I think we'd all Dougal like to Dixon's Wumbo Menagerie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dougal Dixon, owner of the... Fuck it. <laughs>
Nice. Don't forget the Japanese Afterman documentary meme. That one is very important. Duke, oh, yeah. Still Duke a Dome. EFAP Godfather trilogy? You'd hate Godfather 3. Everyone hates that, don't they? I have now no there's two idea versions what this of it. is. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all I know about it. But Which I don't think better? Godfather's suitable for EFAP. Uh, movies, certainly not. Bum, 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 could you do like a, a discussion bum, FAP on it, though? That, that could be possible. interesting. A DFAP. I can't watch The Godfather. I'm an atheist. <laughs> um, I'm so tired. Here's an actual Generation Hope quote. That's what you get for stealing, you monkey boy. <laughs> what? Are they referring, are they referring to a, a brown-colored human being? Because that would be racist, as opposed to just an insult. Unless it was a monkey who was a boy child, then yeah, I guess it would be. Go like, watch it accurate. now. I said unless. Uh, there is machine flywheels and hand wheels for valves. Sure. I don't know that they tip the balance in any way more than the ones we highlighted, right? Feels mm, like. Don't think so. Uh, there's billions of Lego sites. Oh, yeah, I did read that one out. Please cover Movie Bob's Batman videos in the future. All of them? <laughs> <laughs> All at once? Simultaneously? No. So Hello, long man and crew. I first discovered EFAP around when TFA Part 3 came out, and I caught up when 4 came out. Stay long. And an EFAP on my birthday is a lovely thing. Hello, rags, scritches for the good boy. Oh, thank you. Hello. Uh, you can buy bulk Lego wheels. Not all have cars. Oh, I mean, yeah, oh, they, they would count. Which was invented you first? Lego doors? The door or the wheel? Presumably the door. Like a barrier to entry of a location. That's probably something that came first. Uh, it, would, it would have to be able to rotate on a hinge, or... Well, the doorway right. definitely became, came before the wheel, right? Yeah, but the then... doorway, sure. Uh, but first off, what did they call it before the door? Just shower thoughts. But I... Oh, I don't know. Well, they probably um, didn't have any English words to use then, you know. They, they probably didn't use door so much as like flaps and um apparently the it, earliest door 3000 BC. So invention. When was the wheel invented? Oh, the wheel is older. I can believe that. Because I think that if if you don't have a, a proper door, then you can still come up with like alternatives that are suitable for that, you know, time period. Whether it's leather flaps or just a, a piece of wood that you physically move over it or like reeds tied together, you know, things of that nature. If you move out of the way. Yeah. Apparently but a wheel is pretty like, damn, you know, that's such a big deal. Yeah, apparently the first one was the potter's wheel that eventually spun off into the vehicle wheel a little late, uh, a short time later. With the domestication of the horse. The domestication like, of oh, the wheel. The domestication the of wheel. your mom. Damn. No, it's like, when did they invent the axle? It's like, yeah. I wonder when the difference, like, there's a, there's a gap between inventing canned food and the can opener, right? How long mm. was the gap between inventing the wheel and inventing the axle? Hmm. People just well, had I imagine like thing. Th they would um, individually. I guess um, I, I guess the one question I have is: Do the um, like do the the just just rolling something on something round that you then moved? You know the system I'm talking about, right? Where they would have like just a series of cylinders, and they would roll something along that, and then move a cylinder from the back to the front of it. You yeah. do you know the thing I'm describing? I do. Yeah. Um, would that would those be wheels? I imagine not. Right. They would be wheel like, but I don't know. Yeah, so I don't like know. a wheel like instrument. The Egyptians they built the pyramids without the wheel. 
and build a fucking pyramid, but they couldn't think of, hey, what if this was round? <laughs> it's crazy to think about. It's like it's legitimately crazy. They had like cranes and levers and like an advanced, like a relatively advanced civilization with metalworking and like transportation, army logistics, writing, feel, all that, feels all that like, sort of thing. No wheel. It feels like the kind of thing that if they if if it was written into a fictional universe and it had never happened, we'd be like, okay, that's a problem. Yeah, it's wild. Because, like, it's it crazy. Feels as really advanced tough. as they were for their time, so and maybe, all the things you know that they were maybe able to no accomplish. one, maybe no one ever had tried the hyperspace ram before. Maybe people are just that dumb. Because it, uh, it, it, I think it kind of demonstrates the how hard it is to legitimately think outside the box, even when a concept is actually it's like, incredibly so simple. Said, so right, the, the, like, stuff had the damn wheel, rolls. you know. So. So they didn't have it when the great, like, Nefru and all that, when the majority of the great pyramids were built. Um, they did not have the wheel, no. Well, I think the pyramids, I mean, great, but good. Like, well, uh, they're pretty they great. Were probably, they were probably great at the time. Now they're just, like, they're impressive, certainly. Yeah, but, like, uh, standards you know, have changed, their, though, you know. Same in their heyday. They're okay. This is blasphemy. Um, oh, actually, they had the wheel by the time of the Great Pyramid of Giza, at the very least. Not sure about the older ones. Because I've heard they... Maybe they had the wheel, but they it wasn't, like, for, like, construction purposes. They never got it. They never used it for that thing. It was for other stuff. Because I've always heard that, and it's always been... Like it, yeah, maybe it was just like like very basic carts on the back of horses and stuff like that, but nothing that was for like heavy duty construction. Because I know had they had like chariots and stuff, so maybe it was maybe the confusion is they had them, but they didn't implement them into the building of the pyramids, and so that gets conflated into they didn't have them when they had them, but they didn't use them to build the Great Pyramid. It's very possible. Maybe they had them elsewhere in the world, but not in Egypt somehow. Like maybe there's like a, I don't know how I don't know how that would work, but maybe. Um, of course, they eventually got them because Egyptian ancient Egyptian history spans like thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. So. What's the next uh, super chat? Hashtag Wheel Gang <laughs> Rise Up, and they really did. Yeah. That was uh, Ooh, yeah. talking about a dark horse. That that's clutch what I said. victory right there at the end. The wheel wasn't used to haul stone. Come on, Rag. Yeah, that's what I said. Moron. <laughs> Classic movie for EFAP. Manos. Manos. Hands of Fate. 1966. Universally condemned as the dumbest and worst film ever. Hilarious for its awkwardness and what the fuck moments. See German 985's viewing. Also, it's public domain. Wow. Oh my god. Dang. Good potential. Nobody wants to claim credit for it. Hashtag wangs up for wheels. Yeah, and it happened. Mm -hmm. Wangs up for wheels. This is why I watch EFAP. So this is the wheels discussion, I think. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, think of all the post offices and Amazon warehouses in the world. Think of all the conveyor belt wheels. Ah, that's a good Ooh. point. Yeah. All the rollers and all every... shopping carts, yeah. What a great super chat. Lol, that guy stole it from a YouTube community poll I saw it a couple days ago. Good super chat, though, I guess. I mean, it's fine if he didn't come up with the question. It was just a yeah. question. Yeah, we got He didn't say riddle me this, that. so that was his contribution. That was his this. contribution, at least. Yeah. yeah. I wish to engage this parasocial relationship of ours to say, EFAB, Brother Bear, when? I'm afraid we don't really mm -hmm. have intentions on Brother Bear. Yeah. Fuck his brother Not, bear. It was a Disney movie in like the mid 2000s when Disney Animation Studios was really struggling. Um, I think that was one of the last uh, 2D theatrical releases from the studio. Yeah, I, re I, I remember watching it, but I do not remember anything about it. I don't think I ever saw it. I, I really don't remember it. It could be the same thing. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, wow, well, yeah, because that was around the time that, like, Home on the Range and stuff, and they all kind of blur together, like, as, right at the end. Hi, Rags. Hello. Did you show Fringy that thing about making plasma by microwaving a grape? He might be able to incorporate his goo into such an experiment. I have not shown him that. 
but you can you can indeed uh, take a grape, and I think you skin it and put the two. You cut it in half, skin it, and put the two next to each other in the microwave, and it'll like spark between them. You'll get an electric current between the two. You know, something like that. You you do so, you put a grape in a microwave, and it sparks. I, Ra 2.0, am here and have thrown Bean Sharpie off the roof. Luckily, his wife is a doctor, and I didn't put him in a certain kind of chamber. Oh my. It's called, the, the account's called Ra 2.0 Yeet Edition. Makes Yeet sense. off the roof. By doing to Jinx what Kratos did to Boulder? Pog. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe, maybe the end of season two was that. Who knows? Um, the Wanda website also sells hot Nazi girls. Oh, they sell, like, Nazi girls? Like, okay. That's, uh, I guess so, alright. Ooh, slightly related, there is a crystal clear, um, cola in the US. It's kind of like Crystal Pepsi, but it's called Not C Cola. Oh, that's oh, unfortunate for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sell me on a membership. What kind of stuff do you get? Is it really a monthly thrust? Um, you only got that with, with Downward Thrust's, uh, Patreon, I think. Uh, as for membership, you just, you just get emotes. Um, and it's just sort of... It's like if you wanted to do Patreon, but you couldn't do Patreon, you'd do it through YouTube instead, I guess. Um, other channels will maybe make it so that you can see some stuff that's exclusive. Um... Marcus dies afterwards, and they play duck, d donkey song, bruh. I and, don't um, know. I'm gonna post that in our chat, so you can make of that what you guys will. I, I don't. Marcus dies afterward. Marcus dies afterwards. They play donkey, donkey song, bruh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, you lost me. Hey, rags. Hi. Uh, how much money or strippers with goo guns would it take for you to play Elden Ring for the inevitable Elden Ring EFAP? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm toying around with the idea to become somewhat familiar with it. Um, but I, I'm not sure. It's just not really my kind of game. Well, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. We'll Maybe. say, uh, you guys have about a week. <laughs> just say it. Oh, uh, we, we have a week it. now, yeah. We, we, I guess it's closer to as long as these damn things go. We have closer to seven days. Uh, Batman is surrounded by a gang of feminists. He reaches into his utility belt and pulls out a tiny Ben Shapiro, pops out of cover and tosses him. He gets up and destroys the feminist egos with facts and logic. It was very easy for Batman to subdue afterwards. Nice. That's a great that's super chat. That was what pretty cool. I, I thoroughly enjoyed every twist and turn that that took. I would like to see I like the, many I adaptations like the part of that. where he beats the feminists. Yeah, with facts and logic yeah. too. That is classic Batman. Mm hmm Just back from my first viewing of the Batman. Enjoyed it, but looking forward to catching up on your breakdown and this episode. Cheers, Fappers. Uh cheers. cheers to you. God damn, you guys are still going? Yes. Yeah, can you believe it? Nine hours. I can't. Question. Will EFAP be considering an EFAP movies episode like Mulan, but with DreamWorks Prince of Egypt and the Ridley Scott remake? Don't know what it's called, can't be really be bothered to be honest. I don't think there was plans for it, but uh, we could we could do that at some point. Perchance, perhaps. Are you fans of God of War slash Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2? Uh, I love all of the God of Wars, pretty much, except for the weird... PSP one slash the one that came out on PS3 at one point. I can't remember. What was it called? PS... Was it like the Wait, what are you one? talking about, sorry? What's the God of War game that came out? Uh, there was Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus. I, I don't know one. why I know that so well when I haven't played either. It's That's the two of them. No, the other one on... Uh, um... well, there was one on PS3 that came out after God of War 3. Oh, Ascension. But... That's it. That's yeah. the one, yeah. Yeah. Um, so not including that one, yeah, but... Yes, I like God of War a whole bunch, and then I think bring you're you're pretty into Red Dead, right? Kind of. I like it. Yeah, so you know, 
the basic answer is yes. We're, we're fans of those things, kind of, collectively, with specific people who... Uh, we're fans. Mm -hmm. Feels they purposefully jumped the shark on Horizon Zero Dawn 2 story because it's too similar to the current global issues and public figures, sadly. Uh, I have no idea. I've heard, like, literally nothing about that story. Can't comment. I don't know. The P in Pterodactyl isn't supposed to be silent, but much like the K in Night, people found it easier to ignore, and so we don't pronounce it. Pterodactyl. <laughs> well, it's a real P Terra, hey. Yeah, I mean, I guess oh, whoever it's, it's, named it yeah. and like was like, "That's how you pronounce it." You must have got annoyed, and some people were just like, "Can we just drop the P?" <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll always drop the P. Yeah, you should drop the P. Yeah, I th oh wait, that's we read that one. There you go. Uh, reptiles existed. At the same time as dinosaurs, birds are descendants of dinosaurs, reptiles are not. So dinosaurs are reptiles and birds are dinosaurs, so that's... Uh... Look, let's just make it simple. Everyone is everything. Yeah. Dinosaurs wouldn't be able to survive all the viruses and bacteria which have developed over the last 65 million years. If they're genetically engineered in Jurassic Park, they'd probably be able to, like, bolster their immunity, right? They could certainly write it Maybe. so that they've done that. Yeah, like a vaccine or something, even. like. I mean, that, that makes sense as one of the first things that they would bolster in, in genetically engineered dinosaurs. Hey, let's not make them be killed by the air. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you'd expect that to have happened in the testing phase, isn't it? To be fair. So, yeah. yeah. Chris Pratt as Vader. Luke, it's a me, your father. I like the <laughs> way that like, Chris Pratt voice would now just be Mario's voice. Like, that's just how it would work. <laughs> Hey all, to answer Rag's question from earlier, Gumby's horse friend is named Pokey. Pokey. There you go. I believe that. Also, hi Rags, scritches for the good boy. Oh, hello, thank you. The first romance of Berserk ends in rape, so it was very much forced. Good take. Man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, alright. Uh, Berserk That's inspired Dark Souls, highly recommend by the way. Um, I think I've had this before. I'm just like, there's a lot of inspirations for Dark Souls, but true. Um, just like some people seem to think of it as like Dark Souls is like an adaptation of Berserk into a game. It's just like, well, there's a lot of stuff. And they are very, uh, Berserk's got like a whole ass story. So I suppose Dark Souls has a story too. I want to imply otherwise. Oh my goodness. Um, I know I won't be able to catch the stream, but I am curious. Will you have ever cover? Uh, any Transformers content of any kind, such as comic shows or the recent movie reboot, Bumblebee. Yeah, we're planning a Transformers arc at some point. Why not? I think it'd be funny. Mm -hmm. I yeah. guess we could end it with Bumblebee. That's kind of like a bonus one. Yeah, it's kind of its yeah. own thing, by the sounds of it. Yeah, it started off as a prequel, and then Transformers 5 did so badly that they retrograded it to be a backdoor <laughs> reboot. Um, well, that that is that. I remember I remember liking the character work in it, though I'm almost certain that it wouldn't rise above a five or a six. Um, it might even be lower than that. Not entirely sure. Um, a lot of contrivances in it. Apparently, James just beat Godric. Nice. You can yeah, you did it. Um, and that's all the super chats for today. So. Oh, yay! It was, uh, we did it. Been nice caught up, so and it was around about time we would start to say goodbye. First, we'll let everyone talk about what they're up to a little bit. You know, um, we'll just uh, we'll go we'll go cap first. What are you doing? Nothing. You... I'm up to nothing. Next oh, person. Man. Oh man, not allowed to do that. You have to give me at least enough time to post your challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing this the same update as last week. All right, is that enough time for you? Um, yeah, I just have to write something next to it that kind of represents the channel, you know? Yeah. There you go. Say it's lame. It's, uh, it's all done. It's Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, meme, what are you up to? Uh, well, basically the same stuff as I um, mentioned last week. Mm -hmm. um, working on the Mando video um, when I have time which has been a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a resource that comes and go that time. 
Um, and uh, obviously, I'm trying to, uh, as I'm going along with the Aquaman edit, it's starting to pick up speed a little bit more as it's just like less of a mountain to get over. So I'm feeling a little bit more enthused about getting more and more of it done. Um, and of course, I'm a, I'm in a, and I'm actually creating some mock up, uh, mock up uh, for some art I want to commission for the podcast that I talked about last week. So uh, hopefully that'll uh, hopefully that'll come about soon because I've got a lot of topics I actually want to talk about in just kind of a casual fashion. So. That'll be it. Um, I guess in the meantime, you can just go to my channel and listen to Mr. Edge Guy on loop and give me all the ad revenue for that one. That'll be nice. Do Did that. that. Yeah. Not get claimed by anything. Oh uh, well, it's a split ad, re ad revenue thing where um, uh, they it's like it's just you know they they take a little bit, but I can still make stuff off of it. So oh, pretty cool. Um, it's an excellent yeah. song. I uh, oh, recommend you. playing it ten times per minute. I don't know if they can yeah. do that, but we can make them try. Uh, yeah. Jay, what about you, weirdo? <laughs> well, you might have noticed, uh, chat, um, that I've been on every EFAP for the past two months. And I think, you know, it's about time to announce that I am the fourth host. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> uh uh, what I've done, I'm doing a Lego Star Wars video. I'm pretty sure um, that it is going to be literally the most in-depth review of Lego of the classic Lego Star Wars game, Lego Star Wars: The Complete Saga, ever made. Um, I've been looking at all the other critiques out there, and I've not seen a more in-depth one. So that's if you want to really see that, then that's what's going to be on my channel eventually. It just keeps. Um, Basically, what's happening at the moment is like, oh, but there's another aspect of the game that I think is important to touch on. So it just keeps expanding, and it's 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 real in depth, and I know y'all like that. Yay! And after that, I'm covering smiling friends. <gasps> what will be the topic? In terms, of, like you know, specifically, or good? It is good. Good. <laughs> it's like well, it's going to take the same format as um the other like uh videos that i do covering bad comedies but instead of bad we were like it's actually good that's the, yeah that's the you're gonna say point. smiling friends is good actually as if you have anyone to be disagreeing with yeah yeah um hey uh bring what about you is there anything you want to talk about what, what, what are you um... oh my god I'm just working on that big old project. The last page of the comic is out publicly this week. And then after that, I've got to figure out what's next, but I've got a couple ideas. But yeah, just just working away. Nothing much else to report. Fair enough. Um, what about you, Ranks? Any updates since last week? No, not really. No, I've just been busy with all kinds of other stuff. But no, no real updates. Things all sort of happen when they happen, I suppose. And um, as for myself, all the regular stuff, but also working on a little thing for April 1st, as you do. Um, now I shall just catch up with a few that came in while we were having a chat there. Uh, first of all, a quote from Wings. I have no dreams or ambitions, all those have died. Oh, man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's just like, it's so blood. That's what I should have said when you asked me what my <laughs> for the channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing going on, yeah. Um has Fringy played World of Goo? I is that actually a thing or <laughs> is that just a meme? Well they re they renamed it. Uh it's it released in Japan as World of Goo, but in the uh, in the West it was Gooniverse. So it's probably what you're gonna have to Google to find it. No, apparently it is a game. Mm-hmm. I've I've never played it though. Definitely something to think about streaming. Well, the goo. Mm, like the commentary would be very insightful. Uh, no, dinosaurs are fish, like we still are. <laughs> Everything is fish. I am even fish. the plants and and the plums. the rocks. I am a gay. Plums are plants, you fucking melon. Oh, melons, you fucking plum. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Eddie plans for next meme vap. Hi, rags, by rags. Uh, hello and goodbye. Yeah, uh, we're gonna want to get figuring out a date to record another one of them. 
probably sooner rather than later. We've got plenty of things to check out. Uh, one more, check out Transformers Beast Wars. I remember that. The animation that comedy, it was coming out. comic or movie? Or... Animation is a show, TV show. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. It's a stealth sequel to the original uh, Transformers series. Um, had some. I remember there was some decent writing in it, though the animation is already, like, it's it's not aged very well, though it has its charm, I guess. Um, bye, Rags. Oh, goodbye. Mm. Uh, if Riddler wanted Batman to join him, Batman works with the police. Why would he want him to admit being in league with the Riddler in front of the cameras in Arkham Asylum? Because apparently the Riddler thought they'd be put in the same cell? Or something? And they could fuck. I really don't get it. I don't think it stands up to scrutiny at all. I think it's insane, and it all falls apart when you really think about Riddler's final goals in the, in that movie, unfortunately. Um, fun fact, Ralph the Movie Maker once collabed with Nobbs back when he was called Brook Show to talk about Batman and Robin. He has since trimmed that part of his video. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no. I would keep that in just for the meme. I would keep it in for the memes. That's funny. <laughs> I want to see it, like Ralph talking to fucking available? no bullshit Anywhere? about Batman and Robin. I, I, I assume they don't talk together, and it's a cameo or something, right? Some somebody I find this, please. Is yeah, that I'm available anywhere? Please, 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 chat help. I help imagine it's not something people help. clipped out before it was clipped out, right? So it's probably gone forever, unless someone yeah, downloads all of his videos. Memories. Because like if he's a, if he was a popular enough YouTuber, somebody might have just downloaded the video just to watch offline if they wanted for whatever reason. So it's possible be, it's still be. out there. Um. Well. All right. On that note, we are gonna say good night, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for the donations, and thank you so much for uh for for adding and subtracting. Yeah, I'm equal opportunity here. You did all of the things, chat. You're everyone and every <laughs> opinion. Um, but that's that's good night and goodbye from us, lot. Let's see yeah, you next goodbye, time. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for goodbye. sticking around. Goodbye. 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 Tuvalu. Tuvalu. See ya. Bye. Uh, look, I am. <laughs> <laughs>